Since I was born, but now I am Gansi Yot Akuna Mota Mwa Akuna Koda Buk And there it is, a yen de ba, a yen de ba So a yen de ba, a yen de ba So there it is, uh, good day, good to see you all uh, uh, Good to have you here uh, uh, So uh, good day So I, I don't know why I always start nervously uh, I, I don't know, how, how, I've, hundreds of these sessions I've done and anytime I land on the screen, I just feel a jolt of uh, palpations and uh, but good day. Anyway, good day to you. Good to have you again. Uh, always a delight uh, to have you. Uh, so I have a treat for you guys today, a real treat. Uh, I've got one of the biggest name, if not the biggest name in the Nigerian social media space. He'll be joining us uh, shortly. Uh, you've already seen the title, by the way. And one of the most controversial people as well, uh, certainly within uh, the Christian faith, uh, the mere mention of her name, it sends shivers down the spine of every uh, so-called preacher man, uh, big or small. So, of course, Maureen Badejo uh, will be joining us shortly. And if you don't know who she is, then you, sh then you probably have been living under a rock. Uh, so, uh, if you don't know what she is, then you're not a Christian. Uh, I, I think every from Oye Depo to the guy that preaches to uh, five men, and two women, uh, they all are uh, living in fear of this woman. She's the nemesis uh, of, uh, of every wayward uh, uh, Nigerian uh, preacher man, and indeed preacher, preacher men globally. So she'll be joining us uh, uh, shortly. And then uh, and she's, had quite a, she's had quite a colorful uh, three to five years or so, and we'll be unpicking some of the controversies uh, that has parked at her doorstep uh, 
in the course of this session. So we await our company. She, she has promised she will be joining us and she will be joining us shortly. Uh, so uh, before she joins us, uh, let me uh, I, I'll play um, the Kegite song and then I'll give you a little feel of uh, who she is and, and, and then uh, hopefully she would have joined us by then. But first, let's go. And by the way, uh, the usual protocol, of course, click on like as you're coming in. Click on subscribe if you haven't done that already. The hyperlink that says stream yard uh, is uh, for you to come and uh, have conversations with Maureen, uh, with Maureen uh, when she joins us. So, so click on that. And then, of course, the invitation to buy your host cups of coffee that's ever ready. Uh, but let's take uh, a pit stop uh, with the K Guide song. And then when we come back, we get to uh, first see her in action and then and then meet her in person. But first, the K Guide. <laughs> There it is. Ikuko niriwa gbeshe ame epo, ame epo. That that I always say to you. That's the first and most important prayer of all. Ikuko niriwa gbeshe may death have nothing to do with us. So first, ikuko niriwa gbeshe, and then every problem you solve after that. So so first you be alive, and then you solve every problem after that. So it's the first most paramount prayer. Iku koniriwa agbeche. So amen to that on behalf of myself and you, my friend. So as I said, a total departure from our to, to, uh, political uh, back and forth uh, that we do every single day is not a, uh, no Tinubu bashing today and no Peter will be flogging. It's just really matters religious. So a special guest, as I said, uh, Maureen Badejo, she'll be joining us uh, in a moment. Uh, momentarily but uh before she joins us uh let me give you a little flavor of who she is a lot of you probably already know uh, but here it, she, here she is in the fullness of her glory honestly i miss you guys from the bottom of my heart i miss you guys i miss you Oh, sister, I'm smelling a good. Oh, a good, a good evening, ma. Alicia, I'm quite good evening. Emmy, triple plus. Good evening. Ogulade, Pauline, good evening. Linda, my lovely sister, thank you. Joy Bella, good evening. Cynthia, Ajuwa, good evening. Oreo, Oreo Lu, Ocho Sikme, good evening. 
Fawole Remi, good evening. Africana reality, good evening. Oh, lovely people here. Oh, Ola, Ola Femi, Ola, you are good evening. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sister Tinu Abdusalam, Sister Tinu Ekaleo, good evening, man. I decided to come online because I know a lot of lies are going on. Because they have the money to waste. They have people's money. But I don't blame him. It's not his money. These are free money. Oh, oh, all right. So so that was a little bit of a flavor uh, 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 of... Uh, uh, that was a little bit of a flavor of Maureen. I didn't want to play that for too long because that's part of some of the conversations that we're looking to have with uh, uh, just as soon as she joins us. Uh, uh, so, so like I said, she's going through quite... Uh, a controversial uh, few years. Uh, she's taking on the uh, high and uh, uh, mighty, at least according to them, or those who consider themselves to be high and mighty. And she's brought down quite a few of them. So she's taking some bruises, but she's landed some as well. So uh, how that panned out, uh, so she'll be momentarily uh, coming to discuss that with us. Uh, so so we're, we are waiting her to join us. Uh, I did contact her about 10 minutes ago. Uh, so, so she knows we're here and waiting. So as we wait for Maureen to join us, uh, let me play you this clip. Uh, let me play you this when clip. Video, my time is our time is our class. My video. Actually, that's not the clip I wanted to play you. I had a clip of um, the... Um, uh, I had a clip of, um, of uh, the army preparing the Eagle Square uh, for the inauguration. Uh, just really to highlight that uh, events are moving on in spite of our uh, people agitating uh, that they want this, that, and the other. So so as we wait for uh, uh, Maureen to join us, uh, let me see what is going on in the news uh, to, to just uh, ho hold our attention uh, as we wait for our guest uh, to join us. Uh, uh, actually, let's listen to a little bit of more of Maureen uh, uh, as I look through the news. Easy to waste. That was how the issue of MFM started. I'm not the one that started MFM story. MFM started with charity commission. Well, those of you that don't understand, go online. Go and read about it. But unfortunately, the United Kingdom owned. My barista messed up. And I came here and I let everybody know. <laughs> and I know that because he leaves, my Redeemer leaves. Those who know they are God. They will do exploits. You will all remember how one man, Olukoya, begin to gallivant from one court to the other, from one country to the other, just to stop the truth, just to stop me. They wasted so much money. Not only did they waste money. Not only do they waste money, they wasted so much resources, time, and everything. Come and see prayer. Come and see prayer. Deny prayer. Boy, the word. Because of this, because of this, Maureen again. And all of you know that the whole thing came, and that was. The, the London own before London own start before London own, before you could not get judgment easily in London like that. He ran to US. He sued me in the US in California. He did it in he, there are so many things that he did. But for all of you not to I just kept quiet or just looking. Because I know that God cannot be mocked. Except if this God that we are calling is fake. 
I had. I know God. You see, your Ruba man sucking it, only show Sherry, a mirror shell wall long. My living, my even sitting down here talking today is just by the special grace of God. I am a living testimony that God is real and He still rules in the affairs of men. There is nothing Olukoya did not do. There is no thing that he didn't try. I did not come here to just talk. There is nothing. I was just looking like this. For all of you to hear as of last year, December, Olukoya lawyer took me to court. They claim they want to put. You see, my people, when God is for you, nobody can be against you. Oh, look here. Can you fight a woman under grace? Can't you see that the God that I serve is totally different from the fire, fire, fire God that you are serving? Don't you see it? Can't you sense it that? You are serving a dead God. Nobody can fight any soul that is under grace. My name is Maureen Badigo. If indeed this is a spiritual battle. <clears throat> oh, all right. So that's Maureen. Uh uh, so she will be joining us. I, I, I think maybe uh, there, there's some uh, 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 confusion with the link, uh, but I'll free send the link again. But but uh, before before she joins us, let me let me play you that clip of the army preparing for the inauguration at the 29th of uh, of uh, April. So um so so that was the army preparing for um for for the inauguration of our uh, uh so I, I I'm I'm not sure if the link if the links are conflicting somewhat uh because our guest assures me that she is here and I cannot see her in the studio uh so uh, we we're, we're just trying to resolve that uh but she is about she is about uh, uh I'm not quite sure uh where where she would be uh yes uh. Let, let me just resend the link again and, and let's listen to us some more. To tell you and all of you that you, all of you that you, all of them are higher. One million of you cannot do me anything if not for the rule of law, if not for the respect for the rule of law. By now, I will have exposed the whole thing in my hand. My name is Maureen. I am a child of grace. I carry grace. What of us you can be, they can give you title. Kind of. Great. Oh, 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 all right. Um, let, let, let's let, let's speak with Bishop uh, whilst uh, let, whilst we are waiting for uh for for Maureen to join us. So so Bishop, good to have you.
Uh, uh, all right, it's going swimmingly, isn't it? So, so Bishop, good to have you, Bishop. Oh, oh, all right, let, let me let Bishop go for a moment. I think we have our guest now. So, like I said, um, uh, so she is here now, Maureen Badejo. Uh, like I said, this scourge of uh, every Nigerian wayward pastor, she has taken quite a few of them down and uh, she has taken quite a, so, some, some bruises from them as well, we have to say. So she's now uh, a, a very checkered last uh, three to five years she has had. And she's now going to talk us through now to the experience. So uh, you all know who she is. She needs no introduction. Uh, Maureen Badejo, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, good, good to have you, Maureen. Good of you to do this. Uh, good evening. Uh, uh, good, good, good evening, viewers. You. Good evening, everyone. I, yes. Uh, so, so yeah, a, a, a real treat for my audience. You're turning up. Uh, a, a lot of them, I'm sure, they know you already. Uh, uh, but for those who don't, I, I cannot explain... Uh, uh, you to those who don't know you, but thankfully, there are those who don't know you, there are very few and far in between. Uh, so it's very good of you to do this, as, as I said, and uh, you have certainly had an active uh, five years or so. Uh, I think we, we are safe to say that. Uh, but you've come out at the other end uh, fully intact. So how, how has it been the last few years? Good evening, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, viewers all over the world. My name remain Maureen Badejo, the unstoppable Maureen. Actually, the journey is um, rough. I say, but so far, so good. To God be the glory, it's been a very, very... How did I start this journey? Honestly, I remember vividly. I was once like once a member, a follower of uh, Sakaba J Pastor. Initially, I was sharing, doing all those things for Samu Job to be precise. I thought he's actually serving God initially, until not quite a few months into the whole thing. I happens to be his admin, and I found out so many things, and I realized most of these pastors they were like lying. So I proposed in my heart that this thing is a scam. I'm going to expose them. And that was how I started. Like play, like play. Initially, I was doing it for the fathers. I just made up my mind that these guys, I'm going, I want the whole world to know what they're doing. But that was how, how I started. And today, to God be the glory, a lot of people are liberated already. So many eyes are opened. Um and so many enemy as well. Did, did, did you have a particular experience uh, with a pastor that triggered this? Did, was there a particular thing that happened at some point in time that you thought, okay, enough is enough? Actually, yes. I am a believer. I am a child of God. But I happens to be a follower of a particular Sakamaji the first prophet. But initially, when I came into the system, I thought they were doing the right thing. I thought they were serving God. But me looking at the whole thing, I realized it was a scam. And this scam is not, it's not the only one. There are many. So I, I found out that they are actually deceiving people. And that was why I said, come on, I'm going to expose them. And that was all. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, and, and you have certainly had encounters with probably some of the biggest names uh, known within the Nigerian Christian dumb space. Uh, you've had encounters with, uh, uh, the, with, with your permission, uh, there's a particular man from Auchi. We are not going to mention his name for reasons that you know. So we'll call him the Auchi uh, uh, Apostle. So yeah, yes, let's call him the Auchi Apostle because uh, he has a reputation which we don't want to uh, come in. Uh, you, you, do you understand what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So the, so 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 you've had encounters with the Auchi Apostle. You've had encounters with the Redeem Space. You certainly had encounters with the MFN, but then you've had quite a few encounters. So um. A, a lot of controversies uh, trail your name, of course, and uh, a lot of people uh, 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 actually, uh, you've also had uh, encounters with Professor uh, Olubori, so so you've had quite a few encounters. You've had the encounters with Coco Mama. 
for uh, you know so you cover the whole spectrum from uh, from uh, from religion uh, to to social media and all of that drama uh, but uh, let, let's take it from from the beginning so uh, I, i'm sure you know that uh, uh, a lot of allegations so far are uh, false accusations uh, levied against you. So a lot of allegations of false uh, accusations. Can we take it one by one, and, it, I will, and I'll be very frank with you. Yes. So, 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 so let's kick it off then with the uh, with the uh, MFN pastor. Uh, okay. uh, the story, uh, as I'm aware, is that uh, you questioned the paternity of his son, and and that led to a legal suit in London. Honestly, uh, I want to be very, very because of a leg. You see, uh, the MFM on. I'll be a bit because of the legal, because we there is a legal implication which I need to be a bit. There is a legal restriction when it comes to the issue of MFM. Unfortunately, I won't be able to say more. I never, what you said, that question is totally wrong. I wasn't the one that, I wasn't a member of his church. Uh, he Members came out, they cried out. And it was a live program. And it's not from me. Everybody, uh, they came out, they said it with their mouths. So it, it wasn't me. I wasn't the one that, I was, I'm not a member. So I wasn't a member. So how can I? I don't know what is going on in their church. I have a platform. I got a save my so called, and it's not one person. It's not two. It's not two. It's not three. They came out with their mouth live. My program is a live program like this. People calling. People express their feelings. So because of the legal part of it, I won't be able to go into details. But that information is wrong. I wasn't the one. It was their members that cried out for help. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, like you said, um, you, you, you are not able to go into too much information. But uh, but but uh, what 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 you have said publicly is that you felt somewhat that you did not get your full day in in court uh, regarding that MFN space. That your your lawyer was somewhat compromised and he did not. Uh, and that is, do, and that, yeah. that, that is nothing but it. unfortunately. You see the MFM issue. A lot of people are mixing things up. Yes, the United. I know that we. You see the issue of, like Suleiman own. Suleiman case was a clear case whereby I was given the opportunity to defend myself. So we got everything. But you see the MFM own. I I believe God allowed that to happen because to teach me a lesson so that any other stupid pastor that come out to try nonsense, I will know how to deal with them. So I thank God that it's happened. In everything you do in life is a learning curve. So that thing, my lawyer messed it up. And because of that thing, it's affecting whatever we do. But I still, I strongly believe the truth will come out someday. And the whole world will know exactly the truth. Oh, 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 all right, Maureen, the format we usually do, I have like a, a, a half an hour inter interaction with you thereabout, and then I'll let the audience in uh, who may want to have interactions with you as well. But it's a very civilized place, so so nobody's going to... Uh, so uh, no, they'll, they'll ha ask you hard questions, but it's not going to be offensive. So so that's the you format. The question, if it is the one I can answer, I will answer. Yes. Yes. Well, if it is the one I'm not ready to answer, I'm not under any obligation to answer any hard one. I won't. Right. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take you to the prophetess Olubori space in a moment. But before I take you there, um, how do you get these informations that, um, not to reveal your source fully or, or whatever, but how do you get the information that you broadcast that leads to all these controversies? You see, if you want to do any job, you decided to look for how to get. You see, my information is very, very easy. I go out. I don't even struggle. Most of the information comes to me where I am. I live in London. Some of these victims are all over the world. They call me, I listen to them, I investigate. So when I investigate, there are some, there are some allegations that are not correct. 
a lot of people call me and tell me stuff. When I investigate, if I find out it's not authentic, it's not right, I won't publish it. And I stand by whatever I put out there. That's why I will not come out and say anything that I put out there. I stand by it. Even in the court of law, I still I told, I, I told the judge that, yes, I said this. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, let me take you to uh, Prophetess Olubori and, and the, uh, you know, that storyline, I find it actually quite revolting. Um, the, the, the thing came out that uh, you alleged that as part of uh, the blessings that uh, she gives to her congregation, and correct me if, if I'm saying it wrong, but um, you alleged that as part of the blessing that she gives to her congregations, she invites them to open their mouth and she spits in it. That is that is that what what, what the storyline is? This one is not this one is not hearsay. The Olubori's case, uh, yes, he sold she sold her saliva for one thousand pounds, and I have a receipt for that transaction. And the sister that it happens to. She's in London here. And there's another one in Canada, the video that went viral. That lady said it Why? she was on live. She was live with Olubori like this. And I have that video. We posted it at that time. But but um, I saw an interview she granted to uh, a, a man in Ibadan. And, and she was quite aggressive in a pushback against you that... Uh, I, I, I think she was actually even making legal threats. I, have you heard from legal her? Thread. Yeah. The woman that ran away, legal thread about what? Oluboli ran away. She couldn't finish what she started. Which legal threat about who? With who? This thing happened a few years ago and I'm still here. She ran away. She went to Nigeria. She couldn't come back. She was the one that went to court. She could not finish it. She ran away. What, what, what's the background to that uh, prophetess Olubori space? Uh, she's a white garment uh, 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 Christian, isn't she? Uh, so what's the background to it? And um, um, what is your opinion about that whole white garment? Uh, is, is it really Christianity? What's going on there, the white garment space? Honestly, I will not come here to condemn um, one sector of the Christianity. There are some Christians who call themselves without white garments that they are worse than the white garment. So it doesn't mean, it's not about what you put on. It's about who you are. It's about your relationship with God. It's about you, who you are. It's about your person and your personal relationship with God. It's not about denomination. It's not about what you put on. It doesn't mean that you put on white, white apparel, that you are, you are clean. Suleiman and all of them and all of them and MF, all of them. I did not, I did not born again Christian, they call themselves. It doesn't matter. It's not about denomination. It's about who you are in Christ. It's about so many of us we don't even realize we don't know who we are. So it's not about white garment. Only Bori, she's, she's she her background is Babalao's daughter. So Olubori is not she's not practice, it's not about Olubori is not Christianity. She's not she's not a Christian. Right. That that that's quite a thing to say. <laughs> uh, but uh uh so so uh, you know because um uh, anyway let me not let me not voice an opinion because of, of course you are more of an expert in that space. But but as I said, uh a lot of controversy around your name. Uh, hey, well, go so, ahead. I'm asking you. Oh, oh, Please bring oh, oh, them on. I'm ready. Oh, oh, I'm here. Oh, 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 all right. Let me take you to the next one. But let me build the next one up with a couple of video clips. Uh, this one will you will this one will delight you. Watch this. Who has the finance? At 
least they know the truth okay. now. They know, the they know that this is United Kingdom. Me? You don't take, you know, they take no the blue hair. Uh, uh, all right, so that was you and your friends in a celebratory mood. But uh, what was the cause for that uh, celebration? Uh, the Archie man, no doubt. Uh, uh, what actually happened is, I'm not going to call him Archie man. His name is Johnson Suleiman. What actually happened is, YouTube is not going to bring your video down. Because I'll be very... <laughs> so, the rest are sure. Uh, uh, actually, let, let, let me build it up a little bit. So... Uh, you you had uh, you had um, an altercation with uh, Johnson Suleiman, uh, which led again. Uh, you know the lawyers must be buying the house of your of your of your fees. That uh, you know, let, which led let again led again to a legal case. But in this uh, in this instance, you gave him a flogging. Uh, but why did Suleiman take you to court? And then and then talk us through that first, and then we'll, we'll talk happen? about yeah. What actually happened is. Um, you know, after normally everybody knows that ah, where you get to Maureen by the job, because one, I'm not ready for their bag, come and give them bribe, beg them, I beg and give me money, negotiate. I am not, I'm not ready for all that. So what actually happened is. What actually happened is Amos, there is one guy, he's even a blogger on this on this on YouTube. That was the issue of Coco Mama and the rest of them. She, he came to me, he sent in some things, and I look at it. Actually, what arose me initially is the voice note of Coco Mama. And I was like, why will any woman talk like this about her own husband? So I I first of all started with that, and before I know it, the whole thing is a big, is a big, the bigger one is the Suleiman. And Francis came to me begging, and with the other one in America, Darlington or whatever, I have their voice note. You know, when you call me, automatically, it's, my phone is in automatic, automatic recording. So, and I told them, this guy said you are owing him. You are owing him. Why don't you resolve this issue? I don't want to do Suleiman own because whenever you do anything, he will break down your video. He will do all sorts of things. I said, I don't have time for this man. But one thing led to the other. But because Suleiman feel is the master of the game when it comes to social media, nobody can exp expose him. He does all sorts of things, but he knows how to maneuver his ways. So the best way to do it is he, he what happened behind closed door. A lot of people don't know, so they know how to. Tr if if they if they if they offer you money, you don't take. They will send you. They will try. They will send. They, they will. They will send. They will threaten you. They will do all sorts of things, but eventually, they met their a wrong candidate because I was like, no way. Because I warned them before I start. I told Francis, I said, go and resolve whatever issue you have with Amos. I don't want to do Suleiman case. I was even, I even offered them. Why don't you, this guy said you should buy him a vehicle. Why don't you buy him a vehicle and let the, everything end? That was behind closed door. But because they, they were like talking as if they, and I said, okay, oh. And I started the case. And you know, when I start my own, I'll go deeper, 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 deeper. And it's, they were not comfortable. They were sending people. They were trying to look for who can help me, who can talk me down, who can beg me. They offer money. There's nothing they did not do. But eventually, I stood my ground. And it doesn't, and because MFM has gone to court, so they were able to stop me. So he taught by going to court, he will stop me. And because so Suleiman came after MFN, the legal yes. suit, he came after yes, MFN. He came yeah, after right. MFN. So because of MFM experience, he thought that the best way is to stop me. So he, he went to court, and as God will have it, well, because, because like I told everybody, and I'm still saying it. I have learned my lesson from MFM experience. So I, I said, any pastor that come my way, 
I will make sure, except so I went to the man came. So, 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 sorry, Maureen, uh, what was the charge? What was Suleiman alleging uh, in, in the lawsuit? He said, I uh, called him, defam it's defamation. All, both of them is defam defamation of character. Can okay. you defame a man that doesn't have a character? It's not possible. These are men that don't have character. Well, you you had your day in court for that one, and the judge found in your favor. I think it was around about twenty thousand uh, pounds you were awarded. Yeah, but he ran away. He didn't pay up to this moment. Oh, 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 all right. I I I I had a rumor that he was offering to pay a uh, part of your uh, settlement for uh, the MFN guy. Uh, so what was that? That is, uh, that is a lie. I don't know. That is a lie. Why will you offer to pay and I will accept Suleiman money? Oh, 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 all right. Uh, let me let me um, answer this question. This is uh fr from the from the comment section. It says um it says uh Maureen, uh, explain your relationship with Pastor Ojo. So so uh, talk us uh, through that. I, Sam Ojo, Pastor Sam Ojo Authority. Mm. I happens to be. I met him online. I've never seen him one on one. Up to right now, up to, as we speak, like the way we see Pastor online, like this, I followed him. I thought he was doing the work of God, and I found out that it was a scam. And I and I stood my ground. That was how and I was that he made me, he's the one that that give back to all this, my whatever I'm doing today. So I found out that they were all scam with uh, Genesis. Uh, what is the name? What is the name of this? What is the name of this? They are gang. There are many. So and I and I decided to like and I picked them one by one, expose them one by one. And no, no regret whatsoever. If I have the opportunity to do it again, I will do it over and over again. I've never seen Sam do a lot of lies. Hey, it's Maureen. That's why no, because Maureen doesn't want to, because it's, I've never seen him. Oh, 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 all right, because I, I think I also heard uh, Coco Mama allege that as well that they were in some sort of a, a relationship. There are so many lies. How can you? How can you be? Go, how can, you can go out with somebody online, but how can you be sleeping with a man that you've never seen physically? Is it possible? Oh, 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 all right. Um, talking about sleeping with men, I, I want to play you a clip, and then I'd like you to react to it, or to respond to it. Let us uh, watch this. We are going to talk about public announcements. I am no longer <laughs> she's a liar, a deceitful woman who promised to help me with connections and security. If I come up on her platform to say my story, she brought me out with no plan and left me to continue fighting by myself. I wasn't informed, and I didn't permit her to use my story on the book she recently launched and sold. This book is on sale right now. You all can see she's about using people to make money and fame for herself. It's all selfish. She's a snake and deceitful. Never to be trusted. Beware of her. Maureen told me she has every contact I need to fight my cause and started playing deaf after she used me. She will convince you to come and speak up on her platform so she can have content to post and create on YouTube and other platform and get paid from it. She is selfish. She'll do everything to make you trust her and back off when she's done using you. She doesn't have a plan for you. Be careful how you expose yourself on her platform. She's a deceitful woman. Now, this matter... Oh, oh, okay, so uh, a woman you're familiar with, of course, are uh, still uh, within that cycle of um, Suleiman, etc. So Stephanie Otobo, she's been going around to the social media spaces, uh, uh, coloring you bad in all sorts of manner, used and don't is how she's describing your relationship with her. So uh, what, what happened? What promises did you make her, uh, if you made any promises at all, and were, were they fulfilled? Tell God you are equally in the same business. Uh, unfortunately for... You see, when you have a woman that does not have a mind of her own, Stephanie, you know, I refuse to talk about this for a long time, but I think I will shed more light. Stephanie, she's a damaged woman. A damaged soul. 
I was look, I did my investigation when I was doing Suleiman case, and I found out that she did not receive any money. And I just want to confirm that did you actually receive any payoff? If Sefri can come out and say anything, he has said the same thing about Sahara. I have all this video. He has said the same thing about people who are, if you know what she said about Shidi, I have it here. But I don't want to, I, I kept quiet. You cannot, I don't, I'm not this kind of person that will use my hand to build a house and at the same time, I use my hand to destroy it. No. I can't come out because that was what Suleiman was actually, that was their game plan. You see, when you always go back, Stephanie, we always go back because of small, small, you know, when you, small, small, small coins. So I am not surprised. When I saw that, I was just smiling because uh, she told me, I have it on tape because everything she was telling me, I have had that voice note. But because Suleiman was looking for opportunity just to bring me down, just to do all those things, I was just laughing. So Stephanie went back to them. And they thought they want to use they they want they they, they thought I would react, and I ignore her because I know how social media rule. Uh, so, let, 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 let's take it from the start, uh, Maureen. Um, who, who contacted whom? Did you contact Stephanie or did she contact I you? Did. I did. Apparently, some, Stephanie was watching me when those things was going on because she told me uh, nobody will believe her because because she was she wasn't she. I, I gave her the courage to come out. I told her, I said, no, if you did not collect money, how can I give her, certainly she is in, uh, you know, she's in Canada. What kind of connection I want to give to somebody who is living in Canada? Do I want to remove her from Canada to United Kingdom? Because I was just um, wondering. Uh, so, sorry, Maureen, because the impression she's giving is that um that you were going to help her build her profile and then uh, and then help her present herself within the social media space and create her as an entity. So so that was I, the impression that she yeah. immediately when deadly, I honestly I noticed this and I will say this Stephanie is not looking for justice, she's looking for money. You see, it's a two different thing. She's asking for money. So how how much do you get? How much do you make from uh, YouTube? That uh, one, 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 one p. I I only make one p. Oh, but you I, make more than me. You, see, yeah. me, you know, a lot of people talk. Maybe I make millions. But you are all of you blog. All of you are into it. How much do they pay? Nothing really. <laughs> And at the end of the day, I told, I said, that I, 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 my platform, I will use my platform to assist you. And what I did is that I did not call, you know, normally at times I collect money. I refuse to call, to touch Stephanie money. Put, she came to on the, on the platform, put your account. And they gave her money directly. If anybody give her money, I will send it to her personal house. I'll give the person her PayPal link. To pay to her directly. I can't be. I told Stephanie can I said, Stephanie, how did she start immediately she said me she bring all her problem? And I said, How do you survive before me? Before coming to you. When, when you say she brings her problem, are you talking about financial demands? Yes. I try not. She thought she would hey, you, let's go out again. I said no. I have my reason and I told her, you see, I've already go out there and, and use your mouth to tell the world your story. So they're saying, how, how many people have I, if you come to my platform, if I see that you are genuine, uh, we will assist you. It's not me alone. People genuinely help. But when you want to abuse it, I know what I'm saying. But it's not everything I'll come online because I can't, I decided not to talk. So how do I, how, how do I, I do, so I should use my own personal money to be feeding her. But I'm saying it now. How did, which promise did I promise her? How much, how much, is it the video that you, that Suleiman did not allow, immediately anything on, on Stephanie. 
Suleiman blocked it straight away. I didn't make a dime. I'm saying it openly here. Suleiman, we will continue to fight. You know how we fight, appeal, do this until eventually. So what kind of uh, money did I make from Stephanie? Did, did, she, did, did she reach out to you before she came out publicly against you? Did she reach out to you to say that? If Stephanie can yeah. say that, what about what she said about Chidi? What is, Chidi started the whole thing. I have it here. But you, I can't come out and start. There are some things you don't, you just let go. Stephanie, anybody can buy Stephanie when it comes to money. So what do you expect? I thought she wants, she wants justice, but she's looking for money. Oh, 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 all right, Maureen. I, I've got quite a few people waiting in the studio that want to interact with you as well. So I, I'm going to let them in in a moment, but I'm going to ask you a couple more questions just before I do that. Uh, you made some very, very controversial uh, commentaries about uh, Davido's son. Uh, so how did that space play out, Davido's son? Ah, did you, you see the video so the video son the guy the the pastor the fake guy that stupid guy let me put it that way that fake guy is a liar the wife has already exposed him that guy is a is among them so i was shocked when he wanted to like use the video son to blow that was why i came out that you are a liar Oh, oh, oh. He did another one recently. I've 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 talked about that guy on my channel before. I exposed that guy. I have the voice note. The wife gave me all loads of everything. The X Y. So I know how how they use um the power of uh, all the all this do as I say and all everything. All the shrine they go to where they have their court shrine in Nigeria. All the big big names are behind it. I have their name on my, I have them. So when that guy came out and started talking trash, he's a liar. He just want to use the video song to blow. Oh, 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 oh right. Like, like I said, you come with a lot of controversy. One of the allegations they are alleged against you is that you run a sham marriage racket. So have you heard that, uh, yeah, that you are doing sham marriages in uh, in London? Thank God. You see that you see that that thing that they were talking about. I will tell you how it started. Uh, Genesis, Israel or La Dele Genesis of Celestial Church of Christ. When I exposed him, he went and contracted one fake newspaper. That guy brought out that story. For your for everybody, and I will say this because I've decided not to talk. I've never married anybody in the United Kingdom. I've not done since I've been abroad. I've never done any marriage, and there is no how you will do marriage that they, it will not be on the system, either in Ireland or in United Kingdom. There wasn't any any marriage, or I've been a single single parent. Or somebody claim on my behalf. It is all lie. It is all fabricated lies just to tarnish my image. So it means nothing to me. Whatever they say. You see, when you don't have image, when you, ha when you don't have image, you see fake people, they will be fighting to cover something. You see truth. One day they can lie for one year, one, day, one donkey years. One day, truth to overcome it. So, if if any if I'm if they are looking for me in the United Kingdom, if I've done any sham marriage, I am here online twenty four seven, and I'm living in this country not as illegal immigrant. They will find me out. They've said all sort of thing, and I'm still here. So it is a lie. That one was Genesis handwork. And it was, and he used when he was when he wanted to bring out that story, he brought out three bloggers that were talking about him. So that's a lie. Oh, 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 oh all right. Um, I, I've still got several questions from you, but I think uh, the people waiting they are losing patience. I want to let them in in a moment. 
<coughs> pardon me. But uh, as I let them in, talk us through the saga with Coco Mama, which it, it nearly got out of hand at some point because I was because I, I know her personally, Coco Mama. Uh, it nearly got out of hand at some point. But how did it start? Because I did not. You, you both talk about pastors. That's one thing you have in common. But uh, you talk to different spaces. So I did not see how the two of you converged for all of that drama to play out uh, on social media. So how did that? Uh, how did that start? And uh, where is it now, Coco Mama? Honestly, I don't know Coco Mama from Adams. I want to. I want. Honestly, I don't even know. As of that time. When they brought Coco Mama's story, heaven knows I don't know who is Coco Mama. The only thing that triggered me is the voice note, and I was just wondering how could any right thinking person be talking about her own husband like this? So I don't know Coco Mama. It was later I find out that Coco Mama, she's a YouTuber. And when I did my investigation and I realized that what she did was wrong, she was actually she took money. And that was, and I, and I told them, I didn't want to do anything. Make sure you pay your in-law. If you can treat your own blood like this, your own sister, just because of money. And that was all. Coco Mama's case is no case because Coco Mama has no case. Coco Mama thought, I am this type of blogger that she would, she would drag. And I know how it rose. That was why I just feel a bit go. You, you know, for a moment, I thought the two of you were doing it for clouds. I thought it was just me, a cloud, a, a that, cloud, but cloud chasing both of you. No, me, me, she started. Ah, Saga, don't start. And I started laughing. I said, this lady, I'm going to surprise you. And I, and I, I was the one that killed the whole thing because I'm not ready for her. And Suleiman wants to use her as just to divert my attention. So they thought I will leave them, I'll face Coco Mama, I ignore her. Oh, 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 all right, brilliant. So, so uh, Maureen, we've got uh, a few people joining us, no doubt uh, eager to ask you questions. So, we've got Bishop, uh, we've got uh, Darati, uh, we've got uh, Thank You Daddy, uh, yes, Daddy, who is uh, you know him as well. Can you can they put bring out if we are if we show our face? Can they show their face? Let them put on their yeah, camera. Uh, well, they, they might not be able to for reasons that are uh, a lot of them are at work, they are at different spaces. Uh, uh, but the ones that can uh, put their cameras on, they, they should. I, I, I allow that just to allow for okay. so if you if you don't really object to it, then uh, but but Let the people who can have their camera. Uh, yeah, so let's let's kick it off with Bishop. Uh, Bishop, so uh, Maureen, uh, you have a question for uh, Bishop. You've been asking in the private chat. Oh, okay, uh, let, let's go to Darati then. Darati, are you ready? Yeah, uh, well, man. You've been yeah. asking in the private chat. Yes, okay. I was. Let, let's go to Darati then. Darati. Uh, okay, you can like Bishop, Bishop is oh, all right. I think Bishop, Bishop is fine. Bishop, mute yourself for a moment. So, yes. So, uh, in, uh, oh, all right. Okay, Bishop, you go first then. Uh, one of you mute yourself because you are conflicting. Can anyone hear me? Uh, I, can uh, hear you. I think, I think Bishop is coming. Can you hear me now? That was my, that was my, yeah. That was when I stepped down. Hello. Let him take his spot. When I put on my microphone, I can't hear you. I don't know what's happening. Hello, can you hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. Hello. Bishop, we can hear you loud and clear. Go ahead. Okay, you can go to Dora then. I'll probably come back later. I don't know what's wrong with my audio. Your mic is okay. We can hear you loud and clear with Bishop. Okay, if you can hear me. Yes. Okay, if you can hear me... Uh. If you can hear me, I sent a question in earlier on. I, I, I thank you once again and welcome, Maureen. Uh, my question I sent in a private chat was, I was actually trying to make something out of your encounter with uh, uh, Sam Ojo. Uh, I've never heard of his name before. I mean, I'm just hearing now. We're looking forward to hearing some details from you. Can you just be a little bit more specific about your encounter with him? What happened? 
how did it happen? Like we've touched quite a number of persons here, but I've not really been able to come up with anything very tangible. You know, so please, if you can, just be specific. What happened? How did you get to know him? What led to controversy? How was it resolved? And how did he end? Thank you. Thank you, Bishop. Sam Ojo happens to be one of the preacher online. So those days, he will come online, he will preach, they will do miracle, they will pray, they will do all sorts of. Something happened at that time. I was struggling with my business. And there's one particular guy, his name is Kenny, bro. Kenny. She lives, he lives in Holland. I I asked he, he, I was talking to him when he saw me. Yeah, like like the way we are on this platform now. Like the way we are on this platform now. Kenny saw me. I made a comment on Sam Ojo platform like this on Facebook. You know, send the message, say Maureen, ah, are you okay? And I said, Ah, you follow Sam Ojo? I said, yes. So he now, and I said, I want to speak with this man, but I don't want to use this number that everybody has that he should give me his personal number. So he now sent the personal number to me. He called somebody in America. They gave me the number. I spoke with him and I called. What he did that really, that really got me enticed to his, this thing is, he called me back by himself directly and for like 30 minutes. And I appreciate that. That was how we got talking. I started following him and I began to like, what is he doing that is not right? I help him with his ministry. I help him to set up a prayer line and everything. And from there, I, I, I become his admin. I manage everything. And I real and I found out that um it is all scam. And I found out that it is all scam. And I realized that ah, these guys, they are, they are, and he used me. He used me and I fair used. And that was when I now say enough is enough. And it has something to do with Olubori and all of them. And, all, and I realized he's equally sleeping with all those women. The same story he's telling me, the same story he's telling every other one. So, so I felt the time is right. Everybody was like, ah, I said, I'm not walking away. People must know the truth. And that was how I stood my ground. I said, all these people, all these people, they are going, I'm going to expose them. And that was how the whole thing, and I begin to dig deep, dig deep, dig deep. That's all. Because immediately, I told Brackeny, <laughs> you see, this story is a, is a very... Is a very I've never seen Sam Ojo even up to this moment. Yes, but I said mean yes, I was involved. I was involved. I was the one handling. I, I was involved. I was I even registered his church in the United Kingdom. I was fully involved, fully involved. I managed his media. I do I did so many things for that ministry, and I found out that it was all scam that they are scamming people. I hope that answers your question, Bishop. Bishop, I hope. <laughs> Where is our host to? <laughs> you see, Sam Ojo's case, Sam Ojo is fake and he knows he's fake. And he will continue to be fake. All these guys, they are scammy people. People need to wake up. They are doing their business. Sister Maureen, shout out to you. Ah, Ekalesao. Yeah, yeah. How are you? Yeah. Ah, my brother, how are you? I'm fine. I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm I'm the co I'm the co-host on the channel, so okay, I can step in. Maybe my oga my oga network dropped. Okay, okay, that's fine. 
That's fine. I, I, will do that. I think Bishop, I think you've asked a Bishop question. Yeah. Okay, sir. Yeah. Any other question? Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. So that um, we don't um, join us. Let's go. Continue uh, the program. Summary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good day. Good day, please, sir. Yes. Um, I just want to ask. I sent you a message question in the private chat. But, uh, you do that uh, all the world men of God talk to right now. They are. They are. Do that. They are. Home. None of them is here. As in, is it does it mean based on this uh, different saga, different uh, issues that we are talking about? Does it mean that we don't have uh, any true men of God? About who? I don't get your question, uh, sir. What, I, mean, I don't know whether you can state that logically or can speak to that. Speech. I don't. I don't get your question. Honestly, maybe you can repeat that question back, sir. Yes, I said. Based on what is happening, you know, some people will think like um, there's no other, um, there's no uh, good man of God. You know, somebody that will actually call himself a man of God, and uh, people think, oh, I, yeah, I do my thing by myself Dorothy, and stuff like that. Dorothy, Dorothy, hold on. Your yeah. audio is so bad. Thank you. So bad. Yeah. Um, Sister Maureen, what he's saying is, uh, are you telling us that there is no true pastor? Uh, Anyway, the whole pastors are fake. That's what he's trying to say. <laughs> Mr. Dorothy, I never said there are no men of God. Sincerely, we still have men of God in Nigeria. But there are very, very few. And they are not on social media. Most of the people that you see on social media, they are businessmen. You see, they are selling. What could what will I make any man of God fighting for his image? Taking people to court. If you say anything that is not correct about any man of God, if that man is actually a man of God, if that man is being sent by God, what does that man of God supposed to do? That man of God supposed to go to God because God is the one that ordained him. And when God called him, none of us were there. So what the man of God supposed to do? Take the matter to God himself and tell God, God, over to you. People, you, these guys, they are, not after, they are after their image, but Jesus' image has been battered. They've done all sorts of things to Jesus. Up to this morning, some people still come out. It is still come out. Some people still insult Jesus as we are speaking. Did you see or hear that Jesus take anyone to court? Oh, so most of them on most of them on, on in Nigeria, especially those A pastors, all of them are fake. All those mega mega nonsense, they are all businessmen. I stand to be corrected. All of them, all those big big churches in Nigeria, all those mega mega, they are all fake, sir. Hope. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Sister Maureen. Uh, do anyone have a question? Sister Maureen, I have a question for you. Um, Go ahead, sir. They said uh, you have four husbands. <laughs> so can you please, uh, because I listen to I listen to many videos saying oh. you have four, you have four husbands. Can you clarify that for us, please? My brother. You see, I will not stand here and I'll be lying. I'll be telling people. You see, people see all sorts of things. You see all those things? They were just fabricating it. Yes, I am single. I don't have four husband. I've tried twice. And the second one is not married. I only have only I was married once. So people should stop lying. Four husband, Dimbo. I've never been married abroad. Even not me, you see, even living together, I've been single in all my years I've been abroad. So people should stop lying. This is a country that has records. If I'm married, this marriage, I was, uh, this husband, where did we marry? Is it in Nigeria? They are here. So 
the best thing I can do for them is to ignore what they are saying. I, you see, I don't, I don't respond, I don't respond to them. For us, Bambo. Oh, my brother. Um, sister no, Maureen. All, all the lies they fabricate. I just ignore them. I don't care. Yes, I don't care what they say question. about me. Is what God says about me that matters to me. It's not about what man says. There's another thing going on on the internet back then as well. At least we are happy to have you here. What At least maybe you, maybe you can clarify that. Uh, Igbo, uh, issue that's good. They I said know. you collect, uh, Igbo issue. They said you collected some money on uh, GoFundMe and you pocketed the money. So, uh, can you please clarify that, please? I will say this now, and uh, and and heaven sees my heart. I don't believe in Yoruba nation. Honestly speaking, I do not believe in the Yoruba nation. But when I saw that they are killing our people. That was why I came out to support. They've been coming to when they started Yoruba Nation. They've been coming to me. They've been coming to me that ah, ah, Sister Maureen, join us. I said no. But event immediately I realized the Fulani, they killed him. When I saw that, and they said they needed help for security for those of you that contributed money. For those of you that followed me at that time, I only came out to help them to raise funds. And that was, and I made it very open. It was GoFundMe. It wasn't personal accounts. Every money that I collected was, and I decided to like, let's help these people. And I, when I realized that it was a serious, all of them, some of the agitators, they don't want me. They thought I'm coming from nowhere. I want to come and take their position. Some even said it openly online. Do you know the fight they were fighting inside the agitators' uh, WhatsApp group? I was just looking at them. Koiki went behind me. You see, GoFundMe has... Um, they have policy and procedure. This is United Kingdom. Before I was the one that organized it. So, but on behalf of Igbo. And I was shocked. Overnight, the money was like the whole thing. Punch carry. Everybody carry. Even uh, all the bloggers that don't like my face before. They went and contracted them. Because they knew that the whole thing, me, I was doing my own. Whereas what they are doing, they, are, they were not sincere with it. They had another plan. That was what happened. And everybody received their money back. When I realized, when they went, they went, instead of them, they went and changed the receiver behind me. And they were giving me the impression that we are doing it together. And when we could not cash the money, and 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 uh, what is the name of this uh, this one in uh, in Dublin? What is the name of Mayegun? Ma Mayegun. No, Mayegun is not. It's not Mayegun in Dublin. It's Tokumbo. Tokumbo used some bloggers and everything. They were like carrying rumors. Is, is, it, is it Esabot? Yes. Yeah. So, that was but Mr. Maureen, where is the money? That's what I'm asking you. Where is the money? It was refunded back to everybody got their money back. Forget that. Those who said they didn't get their money, they did not pay. Sister Maureen, mm -hmm. I paid, then I got my money back. Oh, you paid? I paid, then I got my money back. God bless you, sir. And I know a lot of people. And I have proof. As they are paying them back, they are sending me an email. When you receive your money, everybody that contributed money or that go fund me, they refunded their, everybody's money back. Because they have they have all the list. And when they are sending an email to you that you, they are paying you back, I can see this one is another fake one. I never helped them to buy 
ammunition. It was to buy vehicle. Some of you need help to buy vehicle. And at the end of the day, the vehicle, nobody buy any vehicle. We refunded back their money. Oh, 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 all right. Um, let, let, let's bring um, let, let's bring Ajan De Coco into the space. Uh, Ajan De Coco, uh, and, and by the way, apologies, Maureen. My system, my, my system dropped, so I had to. Uh, but hopefully, uh, uh, my brother, my brother, uh, 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 Thomas, he stepped in. Job. Yes. Uh, so, so yeah. So, so uh, Ajan De Coco, are you there? Are you are we are you familiar with uh, Maureen's work? Uh, because her work cuts across so many factors. Uh, so, so many stratas of society. Uh, she focuses especially on the religious space, uh, but she also has a presence in a in a, a Yoruba nation, the which money, I know. A point of correction. Let's get one thing straight here. The money is not for ammunition. The money is to buy vehicle for easy movement. So, a point of correction. Yeah, there's somebody in the comment section insisting that the money is for. Yeah, she be uh, let her bring proof now. She be I was the one, and he the the go for me is is online. So how come did I come online to tell anybody I want to buy ammunition? Yeah, I'm. I'm. Why would I? Why would I just support such a thing? Uh, 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 all right. So so uh, hopefully that clarifies that. Uh, so 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 let's bring Ajan de Coco in. Uh, Ajan de Coco, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Um, oh, all right, brilliant. So, so Ajan de Coco, meet Maureen, uh, who I'm sure you must have come across in the course of uh, digesting social media. Uh, did you have any questions for her? She has such a wide uh, uh, range of work. Uh, Miss uh, Maureen, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah, uh, we have not been getting notification from you as i used to. i don't know what is going on uh, you know uh, you... suleiman <laughs> lied to youtube i'm saying it now suleiman went to nigeria to do kangaroo and all that thing lied to youtube said all sort of things that was why my youtube was brought down so when will you be coming back on youtube i don't know yet so they suspended you indefinitely yes. they suspended me and up to now we 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 I don't know what he said. What they did, if you know what they did, but I don't want to say it because time is coming when I'm going to expose Suleiman. So the religious leaders that are preaching the word of God doesn't forgive and forget. They don't forgive uh, anybody <laughs> that uh, offended them or what is going on. These guys are. I I, I will continue to say this. These guys are. I think that is what at least that is what the holy book preaches uh, that. Uh, we should forgive uh, our adversaries or something like that. But what is going on with the Nigerian's uh, pastor, uh, Suleiman, that uh, he can't let you go, but rather to find a way to kick you out of uh, YouTube? My brother. I, I don't really know. It's just... Uh, it's it, no, it, that, you, know, you know how many people who has done that to? You know how many channels he has closed down? It says a lot about them. And, and uh, I thank God I eventually God exposed him. He taught by bringing YouTube down the whole thing. But God made it go viral. It went viral than the way I expected. God bless this lover. Whoever behind this lover will not go down in the mighty name of Jesus. The amen. person so, did uh, the I plan it to go to another platform other than YouTube. Uh, which other platform are you, you trying see, to? Honestly, I've been very, I won't lie to you. I'll be very, very busy. What he did to me is a blessing in disguise. And I thank Suleiman for doing that. The time is coming. I'm coming out. I will, I will say reason why I'm saying this. Okay. I'll try my best. But Nigerians too, they hate truth. They don't want to. They, they, they don't want to be. You know, you can only help somebody who wants to be liberated. But when some people, they don't want to. So what do you think what do you think is the reason why you have large crowd following these people even though many times a lot of people have said a lot of things um you know, on your own program you uh, reveal a lot of things um bad things that they are doing but still they are um what do you call it you, you, they, they, they 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 keep growing in 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 um, in membership I mean, what, what do you think is responsible to that? Sir, you see, spiritual control the physical. 
I am a spiritual person. No doubt about that. These guys, some of them, it is most of the thing you see is not ordinary eye. You see that holy communion they eat, those material they gave them, they've hypnotized some of them. Some of them you will see they, they will still be telling you, lie, lie, my pastor cannot do this. My pastor cannot do that. So most of them is not clear. Some of them is stupidity. Some of them, they don't even have something. They Nothing in their brain. Uh, how much of it is desperation, um, uh, Maureen? Because um, the situation in Nigeria, it, it leads to a level of hopelessness. And then when people are hopeless, uh, they just reach to, uh, they reach to some sort of divine intervention. How, how much is it is uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's down to the circumstances in, in Nigeria uh, while all these churches are parked? You know what? From my findings and everything, you see some, some manipulation, the spiritual part of it, because I, I happen to have some, I happen to have access to some deep secrets and it's a cult. You see, what you see they perform in Nigeria is a religious cult. These guys are cultists. Either you like it or not. I know it's a very... I know, I know it is a very, very hard to believe. But if, if you know them, you will know that these guys... You see, there are some voice notes. That woman revealed that 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 David son, the guy that said David, that, that, that said, the, the guy that said some prophecy about David son. The wife revealed some hard truth with it, with confirmation, whereby serious names. If you listen to some things, the way they operate, do as I say, the power. Of, you see, there are so many things they use them. They it's difficult, but I don't know how I will put it. You see, when you do all those things with them, I don't know what to say. And you, 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 you said it's a cult, Maureen. Is it a is it a particular? Cult? Are you or are you just saying no, that they, 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 they all go to Babalawo? They go to Babalawo. They have their own. You have the, the you have the the white uh, the white apparel the white prophet club. There are many like that, but it is difficult because they are the same kind of people that come on the puppy to tell you that if you do this, this is what is going to happen to you. But fortunately, it, it is very, very difficult for you to believe that the same set of people will be the one behind what we are talking about. You see, I know them. It is difficult. That's why you see they will go and tell their member, I'll go and attack her. Go and say she's a lie just to discredit the information. But... <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Do, do you have proof of that, by the way? Because that's a very big thing to say, to say that a man of God is actually a, an occult man. There are many. There are many. I have proof. <laughs> I, I, I have proof where you, there's a woman with a long breast in, is in, in a choir where they Where they go to go and get power. Ha, two of them, I saw them on Facebook. Their pictures cleaning in front of that woman. I posted it. There's one in Porta Court. So, uh, these guys, and, the, and the, instead of them to build your faith, they build fear. Okay, uh, me, uh, yeah, sorry, go on, Ajani Koko. Yeah, let me ask you a question. Maybe you can... Uh... <laughs> Between the this religious leader, leaders and the politician, which one can you describe as as the worst to 
Uh, religious leader, they are the worst, and that is why I will continue to say they are one of our major problem in Nigeria. You see, in a situation, if the if the politicians are bad, and we have religious leader that can call them to order, you see, politicians anywhere in the whole world, they are businessmen, they are liars. All it is is a game of number. If you want me convince me to follow you, is different from a man that go, that said God called him. That you are speaking the heart of God Almighty. You see, they are politicians, they are doing their business, they invest their money. It's for you, they want to, they want to convince you to follow them. It's because we don't know our rights. If if you want me to vote for you, if I vote for you now, and in the next four years, I realize you didn't do well, I won't be fight you. I will wait in the next time to, to vote you out. That's what they do in the Western world. But, but, but religious leaders, these are people that lie to you that God Almighty called them. And they are doing the will of God Almighty on earth. You see, it's a two different thing. They give people false hope. Instead of people to go to work, you keep them in the church Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and they are collecting money, they are doing their business. They are using people innocently to build their empire. So both of them are bad. But one is because the government is supposed to regulate this, this sector. They are doing business. Are you telling me there is no God in the Western world? So I'm asking you, sir. Are you telling me there is no God here? Ah, we, we have God, okay. Uh -uh. God, okay. God of the universe is everywhere. Thank you, sir. So let me ask you this question before I leave uh, for others. Why do you focus on the Christian leaders? Why haven't you done any work on the um, Muslim leaders? Why only the Christian leaders? Thank you very much, sir. You see, you do, I work in a terrain where I know. Muslim, I don't know how they practice their religion. You cannot criticize what you don't know. I don't know anything about their religion. I don't know what, how they do it. So I cannot go in there and be saying things that I don't know. I am a Christian. I was born into Christianity. So I, I, know, I know my Bible. I took my time. I studied my Bible. I know God. And I've seen God in action in my life. God is read has worked for me. So I can't go and say, I start attacking Muslim or saying something about me. All the thing I say about religious leader is nothing but the truth. I won't come out and say anything that I don't, that it is not correct. Forget how they are trying to twist the narrative and use their member to say all sorts of nonsense. But truth is constant. Muslim, I don't know their, I don't know their religion. So it is difficult for me. It's a difficult terrain for me to go in there. But if they bring any of their case to me, I will treat it. Uh, uh, all right. I, I have a few more questions. One more, so, one more. Let yes. me ask one more question, please. Uh, all right. W would you feel safe to travel to Nigeria with the present, um, you know? Why would um, I go to... Nigeria is my fatherland. When last, when last have you traveled to Nigeria? Maybe four years ago. If I have the chance, I will still go. And the last time I went... Okay, so uh, you think, I, I, uh, I know how to go uh, about this. It means Nigeria. Well, if I want to go, I go, I'll come back. So, with this fight, with this uh, struggle against this um, religious uh, liar, you think, um, and the fight they are the war they are waging against you, you think they you are waging wars against themselves. And they've been doing this thing, and, and God is taking me higher. Who is <laughs> and they are losing, they are losing their resources every day. Because business is not as the business as usual. Because God has opened a lot of people's eyes. We now realize that if we don't pay tight, nothing will happen. Okay. God God will continue to bless you and continue Amen, to bless you. So oh, good, oh. Job, good job to you. I mean, you are doing Thank a wonderful you, job. Thank you, sir.
Yeah. All, all right. Thank you, Daniel Coco. So uh, I'm going to bring Professor Data O in next. But before I bring Brad, Professor Data O in, Professor Neil, Professor, not Professor. Okay, professor. <laughs> no, no, no. The professor is still coming, but uh, the professor first. <laughs> and we, have, we, have, we, have, we have a bishop as well. So don't worry. They'll come for you in a moment. But uh, I'm ready be, for them. Before, before we do that, uh, what percentage of our uh, what, what um uh, so, sorry first are there any uh, Nigerian uh, uh, Christian leader that has a true calling and what percentage of them uh just from your interaction with that space what percentage of them would you say have a true calling? The Brazilians, <laughs> some they are very few. They are very few. I can't give them ten percent. They are not up to five percent. We still have genuine men of God, but they are not up to five percent. What about the LCCG man? Is he is he a man of God? Uh, by your... Are you talking about Baba Adeboye? Ba Baba Adeboye, yes. <laughs> Baba is a complete businessman. <laughs> Baba is a businessman, but businessman with too much. Baba is a complete businessman. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, let, let's bring keep planting churches, planting church. It's all about remittance, it's not about winning souls. I've come out to bring it out. I have I bring out their remittance, how they share the whole thing. I beg this bush just need me. No, what, 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 what's the formula? What's the sharing formula? Is it 10 percent cascading? Ah. <laughs> I've done it. I have the I have the remittance, how it goes, percentage that still go to come, the area pastor own, the uh, zona pastor own, the zona zone, the area zone. Ah. It is just, just, just by your just, just by your business strategy. Just by your estimation, still using uh, Pastor Deboye as the example, how wealthy, how rich do you think these people are? They are richer than some states. Two or three states put them together in Nigeria. They are richer. You see, they started. Baba started in is it 1980? They started early, and so many people did not. And another one, Kumu, you just started very. <laughs> These guys, they you see, they use uh, religion to to deceive a lot of people. And Baba, own, you see, humility from the highest order, and a powerful business strategy. Oh, 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 all right, your words not mine. Those also that Maureen's words are, uh, you know, thought not my anointed and all that. But uh, let's bring Professor Data O in, Prof. Uh, so I, I, I'm not sure that you're familiar with this space. You've been a man of science, uh, but let's hear from you. We have Maureen Badejo uh, gracing us with our presence. Prof, uh, unmute, unmute, unmute. I know we can't hear you now. What, what's going on? No, no. Uh, we can't hear you. Your mic. Something wrong, sir. We're just hearing a whooshing sound. Try one more time, and then I'll go on to Gideon. Um... No, we can't hear you. Oh, all right, sorry. Uh, let, let's go to Gideon. I uh, see if she has a uh, Gideon joins us from uh from from Benin City. So Gideon, um, uh, how buddy? G Gideon. I did fine. Good evening. Good morning. Ah, 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 are you there? We know they talk with you today on our religion. We they talk. Ah, uh, no. I, I hear with you now they talk, but I don't get interest for all those ones today. Yeah, now just to the beat Peter Obi, and I, and only that one. <laughs> no, I'm eh? not. I'm not there to beat Peter Obi, or not to pity Peter Obi. <laughs> Oh, 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 all right, oh, all right. Stay with us. Uh, let, let's go from you then. Let's go to Bishop, who, 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 no doubt, uh, uh wants to put a position. So, Bishop, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, let's hear from you, Bishop. Um, uh, uh, yes. Let's hear from you, Bishop. Okay. Uh, I believe you can hear me now. Yes. yes, yes carry on. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. You yeah. Yeah. I have a few so, questions. So, so, for sorry. You, you, use a Bluetooth or something. We're getting feedback. How about now? Yeah, carry on. Okay, now. Yeah, I have just uh, a few questions. Unfortunately, uh, the first question I asked earlier on, 
uh, I was not able to hear very well what I wanted to hear from uh, Ms. Badejo. Uh, what I asked was what happened. Yeah, she said quite a few things on the ferry ferry, but not as exactly as to what was your experience. You said you discovered that it was a scam. And then uh, you said some other thing that, oh, uh, some women within the something that she, he was having an affair with them. Did any one of them complain and confirm it to you? Were you used to perpetrate any of the scam that you alluded or you allege that, oh, it I was finish, a scam? I, Let, I, when I finish the question. Okay. If you don't mind. Yeah, don't finish. Finish. So now, and, and a question I was trying to ask you was typing that question. Well, I don't know where that noise is coming from. I was typing one question when uh, the host actually asked that question. What percentage would you give? Your answer too was a little bit too general. It was like a you know general that they are they are they are. Except you have something specific on individual. While I will agree with you that that space, the, in quote, the men of God have been so bastardized. Uh, but I think it should not be too fair uh, because uh, being bastardized and being perpetrated. I mean, being uh, populated by charlatans is scriptural. That's what the Bible says. The Bible was very specific that in this end time, but it will not be too charitable for us to just paint all of, paint all of them generally. I do mention uh, uh, Pastor Adeboye and uh, uh, Pastor uh, W.F. Kumui. And uh, of course, oh, maybe they are doing returns in Redeem. We know that Redeem, as at the last count, has about 40,000 uh, pastors on their full, uh, what do you call it? Full pastor. And they pay their salaries and the rest and take care of their families, give them energy, you know, all the rest. So if church is taking on 40,000 people in their employee, definitely there must be a way they pay for this. It's definitely not going to be from the uh, pause or the pocket of an individual. I agree with you to the extent that uh, the ma name of God has been so bastardized, but it would be very good to be very specific so that we can learn and not necessarily making so uh, so many wild... Uh, are, are you a man of God yourself, uh, Bishop? Are you a man of God yourself? Okay, maybe you, you should help me, put, help me put AKA before my Bishop. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. We'll, you, talk, we'll, talk, we'll talk about one later in private. Uh, oh, man, right. uh, okay. One man. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Okay, uh, uh, Maureen, respond. Hey, Pastor. Honestly, um, so you want me to respond to the RCCG thing that I said? RCCG is a business template. Unfortunately, this is a hard truth. And it will be difficult because a lot of people is not, they are not happy with um, what is coming out of my mouth right now, but. You said, you said, somebody said, how dare you talk about man of God like that? I read it there. Unfortunately, what we call them, is that what God Almighty called them? Will you call them man of God? Did God see them as his men? You see, RCCG happens to be a church whereby I was a member for years. So I understand what I'm talking about. But to be sincere with you, among all of them, among all the pastors, Baba still have a human face. You see, even when you talk like this, the next thing RCCG will do is when you come out to expose or say something about them, the next thing that will happen is that they will go into their bag, they will go home, they will go inside, they will correct themselves. That I can say about them. I am not God. And it has nothing to do with who is that you are God or you are anything. But what I'm saying is from my investigation and more, my more research and the information at my disposal they are doing business and most of this thing that you call churches is they have their templates this is all about business strategy 
It's not about winning souls. It's not about God per se. And their member has turned them to God Almighty. But it's so sad. Because instead of us to face the truth, they will feel, how dare you talk about man of God like that? How dare you mention a man of God? They feel when you mention their name, you are going to die straight away. Unfortunately, that is not correct. You see, what is your own definition of born again? I'm not going to answer you. I'm not going to answer you because I know people like you. Speak for yourself. These are men that you don't even know. You don't have access to them. You look at them on the TV, you feel because they are man of God. Your own definition of what to call men of God. Is it what God called the, the God definition of men of God? This is the problem I have with some people. But I've come to realize that in those days, I, I don't have time for such things. Is it that you believe and you don't believe is your problem? It's not a must. You have to believe what I'm going to say. All you have to do is go back, check it out. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, Maureen, Kenny joins us uh, and is joining us for the first time, by the way. So I know it's especially coming because uh, you are making an appearance. So, so Kenny... Uh, meet Maureen. I, I'm sure you have questions for her. So, uh, Kenny, on mute. Um, thank you very much, uh, woman, and thank you very much, uh, everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm very glad and grateful for this um, opportunity. Um, I always um, watch this program every night for the past few months now. I listen every night, every morning. You know I mean, I find this platform very educated and exciting for me. And I learned a lot from you guys. And I really appreciate that. Um, now, are, yes. are you surprised we are doing this? We are, we are trying to break away from politics and expand yes. to, to more in space. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm, 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 I'm not surprised. And I'm also surprised. Look, there's, uh, I want to add, ask Mori something. Yeah, that's, um, personally, I'm a Christian. And I was born and raised in a Christian home. And I know a little bit about Bible. Uh, there's one part the Bible says, if our faith can be as small as Koro Mustadi. You understand? So I don't think, yeah, I know my, I know the God that serve. Uh, I don't think it's right for anyone. If the Bible says that, I not judge. Madam, I think what you do right now is you are judging all, all those pastors. You understand? There are people that look up to them that listen to them, you know what I mean? That they, are, they have their big through to those people. You might not believe in them, but I don't, I, that's my personal opinion. So, my question to you, madam, is why do you choose to go after this man? Is it God that called you to do this job you are doing? To mention them, Pastor Kumuyi, Pastor Deboye, if you, you even mentioned Pastor Abera before, you know what I mean? And I have a testimony. Look, I, I will share my testimony tonight. Me as a person, yeah, I'm a true testimony of Pastor SK Abiara. No matter what people say about him, I'm a life testimony of him. Uh, what I'm trying to say is how I was born into this life was to that man. That man prophesied into the into, into my the it's my mother's life. Is it your dad? If it were, if it's not your dad, then no, it has no, no, nothing no. to do with your birth. What do you mean? No, dad? no, it has. It, it has. It's not your my, dad. my brother. Yeah. No, no, my brother. What I'm trying to say is, yeah. Let, let me just give a bit, little bit of story. Yeah. Before I was born, my mom was buried for eight years. My mom, she's one of the first choir of that CSU Kimoli Agbeni Ibadan. Right. Baba told. Uh, they used to do one program every Wednesday. Then, uh, they call it uh, those that look for fruit of the womb. They do every Wednesday. So, there are about 100 of them. One faithful day, I've told them that God asked him to tell you people that you should go and buy a dummy. If you want to have one or two or three, buy that dummy. Pretend as if you have your child and come and dance and give praise to me at the altar. Among all the other people, my mother and a friend, two people, they are the only one that listened to the force of God through that to a at that time. I was born 1973. Okay. 
my mom bought two dummy two baby dummy boy and girl my mom friend bought a girl yeah my name full name I'm, you can see as my, my name is kendi olatunji three months after my mom got pregnant she had a baby a boy and a girl without giving her water without giving her nothing just the, listen to the force of god so I, I i personally say this story for some people to know that god is still there and god is still using his own people for those that listen you understand so i'm not going back to my question is it god that called you to do this job or you decide to go after these people yourself and how do you know those story because you just said that through the fact that you have who give this story is it, is it god himself that reveal their secret to you personally or no oh, that's that's my oh, oh, all right all right good morning the, the chance to answer so morning thank you very much mr kenny uh you are asking if you ask me that is it god that gave me the go ahead to do whatever i'm doing i will not yes. come here to start lying to you and start telling you god say this when god did not say i said i was with them i saw what they are doing i realized they are coming and i came out and i exposed them isn't it what i said here i never mentioned god okay you say okay you say you saw them so so do you work with all these pastors before all of them you you mentioned? all of them i was working with, with someone and you find out and when i started the job information comes and I continue to dig deep and i continue to know their secrets and don't you think people can come out with lies and tell stories that's not yes happened. yes it's possible people can come up with lies but when you go deeper you will realize that some lies are truth something you call lies are truth something some of these things is hard thank god for social media if not for social media there are so many things that we will not believe can happen Okay. You see, it is, uh, this particular terrain is a very difficult terrain. It is hard to believe. Okay, but uh, what I will say is, uh, my sister, I love you so much, and God love you more. I will just give advice to everyone that listening and to you yourself is, you know what I mean? When it comes to things of God, we should tread gently. Especially when it comes to Christian faith or any religion at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, a woman, that's my submission, sir. Sir, yes, sir, ma I have. Yes, ma'am. You see, these guys, there is nothing like I don't. I, I don't tread softly. If indeed the God they serve is a true God, that God should fight for them. They are, some of them are liars and deceiver, manipulators. Okay. Yeah, see, you we, see are I just... about, we are talking about spiritual things. Yes. Spiritual control the physical. If yes. they know the God they are serving, it is not difficult. Okay, do, I do, 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 to be among them. If 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 you say anything about me and I'm not happy, I'll take I'll go on my knee in my room. I'll pray. It is okay I want to, to God and let God take control. If it okay, my sister, in my life. Yes, do you know this story that I just narrate to you guys now? If I'm not the one that narrated narrate this story, and someone do come you on think platform, I've never seen prophecy work for me. Do you think people have never prophesied to me while I was growing up and the prophecy has come to pass? No, no what I'm saying is, yeah, I know, I know, but what, what I'm trying to say is, if this truth did not come from me directly, and somebody come on this platform, on this place, and say, so, 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 if people will say, oh, in a lie. I'm saying, if you want me to continue to tell you all these prophecy that they've prophesied to me and it has come to pass, that doesn't mean that that person is using the right spirit. Anyway, please the Bible tests us categorically. We should test all spirit very well to know if they are actually from God. You know, you know, so many spirits that is speaking to them. The Bible says, by their truth, by their foot, you shall know them. We so know we know them. those are fake, exactly. So some of those ones you call fake to me. I don't believe they're fake. I know they are men of God. You, you, yeah. Me, I it, it's you what to believe is totally different from what I believe. Okay, and the reason why I call them fake, I have it. Unfortunately, it is a very difficult thing. People do not believe me. But with time, I remember those who, who were insulting me a few years ago. 
some of them now they, they don't get sense religion is a scam they use religion to deceive a lot of people so if that but, god but, is but, having his right why do they have to go and arrange fake miracle arrange miracle to make it look as if god is the one doing it yeah but but the bible says you know the truth and the truth will set you free free yeah exactly so it's for it's for those that don't know he that is in me is greater it's greater than, than those that are in them exactly so if my see god, if god is for me who can be against me it's, yes nobody can be against me you know what i mean so, so if god if the the god they are serving is a true god since i've been talking about them so which god are they calling and if the bible tells us that god cannot lie so who is actually mm -hmm. a liar Okay, okay. I, 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 can I have another question, ma? Go ahead. Okay. You know, in those days, back in the days, in the time of Jesus, um, uh, was Peter and all that. You know, the Bible says, uh, in those days, you know, when they call the name of Jesus Christ, when they call the name of God, action happened. So why do you think these days, when it's because the Bible says, don't call the name of God in vain. People call the name of God in vain these days and nothing happened to them. Why do you think that's all that has happened? You see, I'm still a firm believer of God Almighty. I believe in Christ. Why so many things did not happen in our life? Because we don't know who we are in Christ. The moment a child of God understands perfectly who is in Christ, you will see that you are you, all this fear, all this thing that is happening. Miracles still happen. God is real. But they try to manipulate people. Oh, all right. Let, let me just correct one thing, uh, Kenny. Uh, um, you cannot say your mother is barren because there's an inherent contradiction in that. You know, if she gave back to you, then she's not barren. Uh, that was then, even before I was born. I said yeah, before, no, before I was born. Yeah, no, she wasn't barren then. If she has the capacity to give birth, then she wasn't barren. Okay, maybe uh, my use uh, of food uh, is dead. No, no, but uh, <laughs> where, where, no, where I was going to actually is you, it may well be the case that uh, she, she, might, she may have carried pregnancies unsuccessfully till she gave back to you. So, 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 yes, she has yes. Like, oh, okay, so she's well, had miscarriages. No, 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 she has no, she has, she, she, she can't get pregnant at all. They call that a, a maid dog at that time. <laughs> so she can she cannot conceive, she can't, she can't do nothing until God intervenes. You know me, I hear I am. Oh, 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 oh right. And you're and you are making that attribution to a pastor. That's what you're doing. Yes, because through is uh, my mother gave the prophecy through through him, and she listened to the force of God, through the man of God. So, sorry and to put you, <laughs> hold on. Did she get that yes. prophecy? Did she get that prophecy uh, uh, in an auditorium or in a one-to-one? -one? But no, all the children, all the children, they are more than 100. Oh, oh, they do, do. Oh, right, okay. You, you, yeah, you they know. do that program. Yeah. They do that program every Wednesday. Do you know, the rest of those people that, that, didn't, that didn't follow the instruction, what God has said to do up to tomorrow, they have no child. It's only two of them that have, that, 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 I mean, that listen, that, that, that have the baby at that time, up to now. The rest of them, they, they, they don't have child up to today. You, you you know you know why I was asking you what if it was in another uh, sorry Maureen but at uh, this space um if you were saying religion is a scam and one of the things that uh, we've speculated on you know you have yeah. an auditorium of about a thousand three thousand people and you say something will happen the odds favor that what you are saying will happen to at least one of the two three thousand people you have there you know yeah. so to, it's just it's a it's a it's a statistical is you know thing now. If you have another man, children with people, then at least one person will get pregnant. One man is about faith. Is about ah, faith. All right. You understand? It's about faith. That's why I mentioned that the Bible said, if your faith can be as little as Koro Mustadi, Mori, you know what I'm talking about. Koro Mustadi is like a seed of a of a is uh, uh, um, this this food that we eat in Nigeria. Um, Koro uh, man. There are so I'm not a prophet. I'm not a prophetess. There are so many things that have come out to say, and it has come to pass. Does that yes. mean you're a prophetess? Yeah, but if 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 the person doesn't have the faith in what they told him or her, 
it might not come to pass. The Bible even says, on on doubted mind, yeah, will never receive anything from God. That's God. that's that's what Bible says. So if even if the man you think you, that is praying for you is is is, is, is something that you think is genuine, and if you don't have faith in what the man is saying, nothing will happen. That's what Bible says. On doubted mind, will never receive anything from God. So faith has is has got a lot to do with 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 religion. If one man here. Pray to say, Mr. Kenny, tomorrow you, you uh, something happens to you. If I have faith, I'm, I strongly believe in what he said, it will come to pass. It's as simple as that. It's all about faith. That's why the Bible says, if your faith can be as little as Kuru Mustadi, you 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 can less lose of anything. <coughs> all right. How, how long have you been following Maureen's work, uh, Kenny? How long have you been? I've been following. I've been following back to back. Do all those times when they do where they were doing. Uh, Urban Nation and all that. I, I follow her a lot on Facebook on everything. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> and, uh, and, and I know her. And, and, and what's the most controversial thing about Maureen that you know that you said, ah, me, me, me you know, what's the yeah, most controversial? Uh, it's about the, the, the about, about her husband in Nigeria that they said the husband was working in the bank. And she collect money and she then run back to London oh, and all that. He has never worked in any bank. My husband uh, an engineer. So you can see all sort of lies. <laughs> no, no, they say you collect money from bank and stuff like that. You ever borrow loan in all those stories at that time. So that but me, I me, I believe what I want to believe. I follow those I love because I love them. I don't listen to stories. You get me? So and that's the kind of person I have. This program, this platform. A woman, I've been following this program for the past six months. Every night, even if I miss your program one night in the morning when I'm going to work, I will replay it. I start listening because I learn from all of you guys. Oh, oh, all right, Brilliant. stay with us, Kenny. Uh, 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 um, uh, Maureen, in a moment, I'm going to ask you about your relationship with Essa Board if you have any relationship with her at all. But before I do that, let me bring um, Fatai into the conversation. Uh, Fatai, I'm surprised. Uh, this is not your space. I did not think. Do you know anything about religion? I thought you were, I thought you were all about statistics and flow chart. And all uh, so so uh, Fatai, meet Maureen, one of the biggest names in Nigerian social media. Uh, Fatai. Hello. Uh, good, yes. Hello, one man. Hello, uh, uh, even Madam of Prophetess. What? What? what how, no, 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 no. I reject this. My name is Maureen. Okay, Maureen. Okay. <laughs> no, one man. I heard also statistics. Uh, so maybe I can. I heard five percent. I said, okay, let's go in. Sorry. Yeah. No. Somebody was What's unmuted. That? Carry on. No. Somebody unmuted himself. Carry on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, actually, I, I, I have I've attended a lot of churches. Actually, my dad was a Muslim, my mom was a Christian, and I was a mommy's boy. And I've had also, I have had also, I have had the messages also uh, delivered to my mom and all of that stuff like that, like personal messages, and many of them not really. But a few have, have actually quite landed, but I don't know. I'm neither here nor there. I have tried many times to connect to spirit. I've never had spiritual encounter. <laughs> so I don't know. Yeah. One one thing that surprises me though is when I, I like when I came uh, when I came abroad. I've been to uh, these Orthodox churches, right? The the difference is amazing. Their service is so solemn. The church is like, I mean, it's like I, in, our, in the churches like back in Nigeria, it's always the church is like a festival, dancing and everything. So like it makes me wonder, okay, what is the essence of like the the church? Uh, should I call it church service? Like, is it? Um, I don't know. I, I, when I mean the settings of when I went to these Orthodox churches and their settings, you actually the solemn nature of the environment. Actually, you really feel more humble. You the way they are chanting and everybody is like this. You the space is kind of different. It's it's, it's a, um, engulfing. 
and it kind of makes you well. But when you go, when I go to my people uh, downtown, the churches, they have the dim, they have everything. It's all you, you know, I, Have you seen? Have, 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 have you seen uh, this uh, celestial sort of thing when they are das- dancing? It's almost yeah, like it's, yeah, yeah. it's like soft porn. It, the way they dance, it's almost like, <laughs> you know, like soft porn sometimes. Uh, but uh, but but uh, uh, so so two more in then. Uh, so the question that um, Fata is putting to you are the orthodoxy of traditional Western uh, worship versus our drum beating and shaking around. Uh, so which one is more uh, reflective? Which one is more the proper way of uh, worshiping? Uh, when I say own, yeah. from my own perspective, I love our ways of worship. I love praise and worship, and I love the way it goes on. You dance away your sorrow. You the way we used to do it while we we're growing up. I love it more than their own is too quiet for me. If it is that their own is too solemn, but our own me, I love the way we dance. We praise God. You lose yourself. I love it. Yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. Is it just a matter of a difference of a, or I mean, how do we know? I, I don't know. I don't know. Go uh, ahead. How but, do we know what, Mister Fatai? Like, like, is it just mere difference of a? Is it mere just different, a different approach? But because if we, if we're, if I mean, if it, if it's, um, if it's God, now, are, are you, are you, are you asking which one is the cleaner pathway to God? Is that, is that, is that where you are? No, I mean, we, we. Uh, the connection, the bridge to God, the connection to God, right? I mean, okay, okay, okay. Let me rephrase it. Like, in which in which environment, in which environment are you more likely to? Because okay, so like one Matthew you said now, like in the celestial churches, in the Sianes churches, and the less of dancing, and in, it's in the dancing that the spirit start to catch everybody and the. Well, I don't know what they call it. I mean, being one like that. So uh, you see, like even the more the music, the more likely you, <laughs> you don't have to catch the spirit. But but in these other settings, right? The more so when I have been there, when I have been there. Which, right? which one is your preference? I think we can already guess. Which one is your preference? <laughs> yeah, don't get me. <laughs> no, no, you prevent you prevent you you, 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 you prevent you, you know something, but he's trying to be diplomatic. So like that's why you no, no, I'm saying this. So the, 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 you know, when I say the solemnness of these, right? It makes me feel I am in an environment where I have to, I have to leave, I have to leave behind my, my oh, sorry. bullshit. Sorry, sorry, my language stuff, mm-hmm. right? But the alujo and everything, this other side, I, I, I never connected with the spirit. No, in this also, I didn't connect with any spirit. But it's just that that solemnness, like. You, I feel like I'm in a space that okay, oh, or I'll, <laughs> don't look like don't look left. Different from our ways of worship. Don't let us miss it up. Okay, just a difference. What way is different from our way? The way we are being brought okay, up, okay. the way we are being introduced to God is different from the way they were being introduced to God. So our praise and worship is totally different from their own style of worship. They see all our own as if some of them if they come, they'll be looking at us. What is wrong with them? <laughs> you know, oh, but, 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 but can I just ask the last one and just let no, 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 uh, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was quite shocked though. Uh, the the when you like, I mean, I, I think it's a continuation of what the what people have been asking about. Like, when you said, like, the five percent of the men of God are actually are the actual five percent really the uh, what who are the men of God. Right, and that the it's majorly like like you said the RCCG majorly business, whatever. It's your business, but, not only RCCG, all of them, all the mega mega yeah. churches are doing their business. It's a business. Yeah, yeah. But 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 all of them are businesses. Catholic mm-hmm. church is the richest of all. These Orthodox business. churches here, they are so rich, it's impossible. But those ones, is they do more charity. They give back than those one you are talking about. Um, 
when so many okay, of us so... came to the Europe for the first time, these are Anglican Protestants and that, all these people, they are the one giving you charity. Some of them pay people school fees, they give food, they give, they do charity, it's different from our own. Instead of them to come here and do charity, they come here, they come all the way from Nigeria to come and take money again to take it back. We all yeah. ran away from Nigeria to come and struggle here. They still come to scam us all here. The only the, 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 sorry, okay. carry on. Yeah, no, go on. No, the, the, the difference that I see here, like before you, you, you have to go to the monastery, you have to go to this, you have to learn the practice practices of the church. The reason I'm using this to compare is like I, I don't like as as a matter of personal principle, I don't compare something to itself. I like to compare with you know, make a comparison with another space. To know, I, I, if I just keep talking about something, it, 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 I, I like relativity. I don't like just comparing something to itself. So that's why I'm comparing to the. So, like, so the the is, is it that there is not this? It seems to me is it that there is not this? Like, I have never, I, I haven't seen just like to corroborate what you said. I haven't seen the past the priests here in private jets, right? But <laughs> if it, that is because <laughs> before you become a priest, you know, you go through these layers, layers, la like it's almost like madrasa of the of the Islam, where you go through the school, you become these and you become yes, that, easy. and then you become, you become priest. But here you can just say, God called me, and then today you are the head of the church. You you found the church. Is, is, is there an issue there? Is it, is it supposed to be? Is church something you just found and? Uh, I, I don't know. Actually, it's very. I don't really. At one man, you're right. I don't really like to get in this discussion. <laughs> I don't know where to go. It's not really my, my style. <laughs> yes. Don't, don't, I just don't to have fun. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, 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 we will have fun. Um, let me let me uh, let me ask you this. Uh, uh, let me ask you this, Maureen. I, I'm not sure if you were in this space. Um. The, the, the space of uh, uh, Pastor Kasani and uh, Dolako Awochika, uh, which surprised everybody, of course. Uh, she, an elegant uh, Ajebota girl, and he, somebody from the interiors. Uh, so did you follow that relationship and what played out there? Did, did you follow that? <laughs> I mean, that one, a personal love matter between them. You, you think it was love, not... Um, Dollar Paul is not stupid. And she's not acting under any influence. Forget about all this talk that they're talking about. She's not stupid. And today, Dollar Paul is, she claimed God called her. And she's still doing the work of God. Hope you know that. Dollar Paul? Yes, yeah, she has her own ministry now. Hmm. She didn't stop. After she left Kasali, she's still doing the ministry. So it is, you see, their own is a love matter story. So it, it's entirely different. A lot oh, of oh. It's jazz, it is jazz. Which kind of jazz? Yeah, that's what a lot of people believe, by the way, that it was jazz, you know? So. Dola Posh is not stupid. She's a very smart woman. So she knows what she's doing. Oh, and, when oh, she's, oh. and when she's ready to leave, what happened? Did she not have a son for him or something? Did no, she... I don't think so. I don't yeah. think that relationship produced any children. It doesn't produce any kid. But he has. she has her own kid before going into that relationship. Oh, 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 all right. It surprised a lot of people anyway. And, and like you said, they can were I, saying can, about... can I ask a question? Yeah, go on. Okay. Um, Maureen, is it um, Pentecostal doctrine that you really have grudge with or, uh, or what is it? Because I've never seen you go after any other, you know, uh, denomination. You talked about Bishop. A Catholic reverend, one reverend, one Catholic reverend. Oh, yeah. oh I've talked okay. about reverend sisters. I've talked about select people. Is Genesis not select? 
and I've talked about all because all these Pentecostal rascals, they are the one, they are the oldies. Some of them are many, there are many there. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, because I see you are, you're more focused on the Pentecostal than uh, other. The, 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 the Pentecostal are the source of our problem. Okay, okay. So, all right. I just want to. I just want to know that that uh, because I've never, I don't think I ever watched your show. No, of course uh, I did. After, what is the name of this Baba? This this big man. Uh, this uh, yeah. what's his name? Oh, I talk about uh, Sister Angela. Okay, Catholic Catholic uh, sister. Uh -huh. too, yes. Them. One of my life is from Kogi. Oh, and his name, I just, I did, I did I, I, so many things about him, even play voice notes and everything. And I know the other, the Reverend Sister is Angela. So that's what, that's what I did. I did of so many select pastors. Oh, okay. really oh. It cut across uh, every. The only thing I don't do much about is the most impact of people because I don't understand them. One man, what kill of Benicola and Shambi by you? When they call her, it's 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 it's, 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 come, it's come with the legal lingo. Ah, uh, but but. but, 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 but Yes, uh, uh, you, uh, it's all, all manners of strange people. That I'm, uh, I, I wasn't expecting uh, the politics people to come into this space. So politics and religion, uh, they're always intertwined. Uh, but uh, be before before I bring Ogbeni in uh, to put a question to you, uh, Maureen, uh, you've published quite a few books, of course. So uh, so I put links to some of your books at the moment. Uh, Apostle Suleiman and his knocking ministry uh is one of your publications so talk 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 to us about that uh apostle suleiman see, uh, and his knocking oh, ministry suleiman, <laughs> my brother <laughs> sule boy i call him sule boy you see that guy uh, when uh, honestly i never knew that guy did so much like that on the course of our investigation I found out that this guy now I me mean, I didn't know this is you know my book came out even before this lover brought out God who knows how many numbers of uh, women in the Noni wood and everything because it was when we we're going on we, the whole thing was like the list was endless and I said ah how can one man did all this and this is a and this thing is he has to do this thing before he climbed the altar. Eneka confirmed it. Amos confirmed it. Some of the women confirmed it. So is is knocking power ah that guy. <laughs> so uh, I, 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 sorry, are you suggesting that um it is spiritual rather than oh, having a, 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 a big. I, I thought you just had like a big libido. No, no, uh, no, no. It's know. spiritual. I'm going to check all those women. Go and check their life after everything. They are empty spiritually. You know, it's difficult to understand because a lot of people don't see it. But people still, people do not understand that the spiritual control the physical. Take it or you leave it. Before anything happens to you, either good or bad. It will first of all happen to you in the spiritual realm before it manifests physically. But it's just because some of us we do not take notice. Some of us we don't know. Some of us, it all depends. You know, we all have categories. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, Alexander Gomez wants you to talk about his favorite uh, pastor, TB Joshua. Uh, but before you go to uh, to that space, uh, are you happy to, to be with us for just a little while longer? People don't want you to leave. Oh. I'll try my best. When I'm oh, tired, oh, oh. I'll you, you, you. You let us know. Oh, all right. Before you are tired, let's hear from Ogbeni now, who is an SAN. So, so you, this is now, uh, if you ever need a lawyer, yes, okay. a, a real one, or not uh, made up. So, Ogbeni. I, again, I didn't think this was your conversation, but Ogbeni, here it is. No. I, she needs no introduction, of course, Maureen Badejo. <laughs> well, uh, uh, good evening, Oma. 
Uh, yes, okay. Good evening, everybody. I can see. I think it's Thomas. Mr. Thomas, which is uh, this thing, he's now 10 daddy, yes, daddy. <laughs> yes, daddy. And my friend, my father and others. Mm -hmm. um, and the my yes, God, my God. <laughs> my brother. <laughs> um, Omar, well, I don't know. I didn't um I didn't actually quite check the the topic before I joined. It, it's been a while I've been here on the one man show, so I just uh, jump in without checking the topic. <laughs> uh, like you have have one chance with that, though. You have yeah, have you know, one you, chance. The, the spirit led you here. The spirit, the spirit led you here. <laughs> no, 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 you, uh, you know, I won't, I won't join you on the topics like this. Really, uh, it's not a topic that it's, it's not it's not the type of topic I enjoy engaging on. Um, why? Because a a why because i've been a victim of um a victim of wrong accusation from uh, bloggers and floggers before and um, a lot of floggers fed on it and um and you would think the story was true the way they the way they coined the story i meet myself as i checking myself if <laughs> his story you know i had a program and um, a press guy came there you know, a book launch. We had, um, we made money from it, and uh, somebody came, and um, I gave press men. I used to say to press men, ten thousand, twenty thousand. You give them after the program for honoring your invitation to come to the program. So even those ones that will not come, yeah, that you didn't, you know, invite. So they all came, and these two guys from a very big media newspaper. I won't mention the newspaper home now from Nigeria. I, I gave them money, but he didn't share with the other guy. And the guy came and started arguing, you know, he didn't share. My partner didn't manage it well. And lo and behold, they all left, picked their pen. And the next day, the story I had on the dailies in Nigeria, headline everywhere was that uh, somebody who came and uh, dropped money in my program. Um, I'm a money launderer. I launder money for them. And um, I use, they used me to settle them. Um, they settled me with 200 million. I used to push drug from this and this. They went back to check my background. They connected it. And witnesses as they came coming out. I, I wonder where they came from. The ones I don't even, I never met before in my life, you know? So I'm really- are, 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 you, are, you, are you suggesting that uh, Maureen is uh, forced into that bracket, the purveyor of no, fake not, news? No, not yeah. really. First, I'm a lawyer. I, I, I know what defamation is, you know, and I keep talking about it and emphasizing on, you know, this program. Um, secondly, um, I'm always very cautious when it comes to listening to one side of a story, right, like this. Thirdly, um, when when you use border so much on privacy, I, I don't... Whoever you are, whether big or low in the society. No, no, no. I, I think I think there's a conflict there. Uh, a, a public figure and privacy. There's a chasm there. there there's a trade-off. You know, if you become a pro public figure, then, then you've presented yourself for for public uh, uh public uh interrogation. So there, I, I think that 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 there's that's somewhat of an oxymoron. Uh, a public figure. That's and another. Private, uh, that's, yeah. that's another area of free fall. You just get to. How do you define a public figure? Is one man went to more a public figure? Is Thomas a public figure? Is Ogbenike or Ogbeni call a public? I, I would say a pastor is a public figure. I say a politician. Are you, is a... are you a public figure? You you have followers. At least you have maybe five hundred followers. Are you a public figure? Uh, well, I have more than that, hopefully. But uh, okay, look are at you that. a public figure? <laughs> I, I wouldn't stop, say I am. I'm just a, I'm just a noise maker. Your, can, can we start probing into your into your conduct and your privacy? Well, you're, you're welcome to. You find it very boring. But uh, if you have no questions, because we have a guest and, and really uh, we have to take advantage uh, of our presence for as long as we have it. So let's hear from Yes Daddy, who may uh, be in that space. So Yes Daddy, of course, you know Maureen uh, Badejo, and she's here now to take on all questions. So uh, do you have some for her? Uh, yes, Daddy. Yes, Daddy. Look at that. Yes, that's the only sorrow now. One. So, 
What a mummerless airport. He, he just unmuted himself. And uh, so yesterday, are you saying something or, or are you just holding us to a stage? Oh, oh, all right. Um, who has a question for Maureen? Or oh, I'll take her to, to, to another question. Uh, does anyone have a question for Maureen? I, I, yeah, I have a question. Can I go on? Yeah, carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, I, could you speak about these uh, concepts about all these uh, born again stuff? It used to be like a... Is it every, everywhere? I, I, I haven't heard in a while all this concept of born again because it was a huge stuff with... I used to have a physics teacher in my secondary school. I mean, it was... I, I, I think it's like being the, one of the greatest teachers I've ever had. And it was super deeper life. <laughs> Every time I was asking us born again stuff, <laughs> you know, but I really heard, heard it now. Where is the line between... Where is the line crossing... The, crossing over to being a born again Christian. What's the call born again is when you give your life to Christ. So you are a new creature. Behold, all things become new. But these days, um, because the Christ they've taken Christianity to another level, it doesn't it's not used to the way it used to be. I remember those days, say by your appearance, when they see you like this, you will know this one is a Christian, this one is this, this one is this. But these days, you can't even differentiate. I hope that's answer your question. Yeah, I know. This is, this, this is where I, I always find a, a confusion with this with the spirituality stuff. Like, I mean, what different? What is the diff? Like it used to be like uh, if you become born again Christian, yeah, by right? Then know them. that is the different. Is it's it just the, the spirit that determines <laughs> by their fruit we shall know them? So it's just behavior. It's just behavioral change, or is there a spiritual component to being born again? This born again of a thing is simple but a lot of people misconstruct it what i mean is this as a christian you see when you are still in the world is different from when you are now in christ john 3 16 said it all when you see all things become new behold all things become new you are a new creature i mean your way you comport yourself the way you talk the way you do all these things it shows the godliness, the fruit of the spirit in you. I think that's the whole thing about the, the whole concept about born again. Oh, 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 all right, L let's hear from Princess yeah. Rosie. Yeah, uh, Gideon, you don't think of question now. Uh, I want to ask uh, Auntie Maurice, what did make camp say, uh, Pastor Kumo, you now fake and understand? And what did make camp think say, now fake man of God? I want to make thank you very much you see baba has been this is this a man that tells you that don't watch tv so it's god that told him don't watch tv at that time and the same god now is the one that changed the whole thing now the same man that is the one we are watching on the tv is on social media he call it akoti eshe you see, these guys has been uh, unfortunately it's, it's very difficult. It's very difficult to explain what I am trying to say. This thing has been on for years. Baba started his own 70. His own started his own ministry started before Baba Deboi and all of them. Baba owned they handed over power battle of leadership to him in 1980. These guys are doing their business. And all of a sudden, if God tell you something, so God is a Confucianist. He will tell them A today. Tomorrow he will change it. I'm asking you, sis. Okay, Madam, may I ask? I want to answer this question. That one okay. way you say me, um, uh, Pastor Kumu, you never talk saying that God tell us say me we not watch telly. Mm. You never talk. Huh? Is now that one is now for you. Okay, but us, God, Pastor Kumo, you did not say we should not watch telly. You, uh, his you members should not watch God telly. Send them. Now, what are they talking about? We're not talking about God telling us we will not watch telly. So, who's, who, so he gave that order himself? For you, for you, for you.
for a home. Now, what he talked that was for you to. So you just wake home. up one day and he said, for he, he said millions of people not to watch Tevli. And he Wait decided one talk, day. I see explain now. Now, let me quickly tell you so. That goes as he has the question. What he make and talk that thing? He still explain and say, because of what he did, he said, tell him, no be. You know, be everybody brave go quickly carry out so people will take and go on other side. You understand? But now, go what it happen now? Uh, my sister. So nah, now nah, their nah, brain, you know, their brain can carry it. But now you know, say people even self, even the, the same people where you tell me, you know, they, all of them, some of them still they watch her. You my understand? Sister, uh, you Anything see... where he just where he create by himself, he is he, he even talk and say before he go 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 fall, he go remove all those things. Not be saying I go tell her that one. Now he use the might. They use the use that they prevent your people for. Do you know how many people who have uh, died? Do you know how many people who now died on the course of? You know how many people who died who did not live to see the new, the new deeper life that we are seeing now. Because of the they not watch tell you go, what go make the person go die because it's not only there are so many things there are so many doctrines like, there are so many things that is wrong about those doctrines that is not even biblical I don't want to go into that. Ma, ma Mori, you know what to make me ask this question? I even mm -hmm. mean wait there yeah, I know what the uh, uh, the talk uh, that the pressure of that mother do for my life. Me wait there yeah. That is because personal that man, conviction. Eh, you yourself. You need to pray. You go pray. You go ask God. Say this man, a real man of God or no? Because before I enter church, I they pray. Go ask God. God go show you. No, just they judge anybody. No judge them like that. Just ask God. Uh, can, can I add something to that space? Uh, I, I know you you want to call me now, princess. Yes. But let, let me add a little bit to the hippo. Uh, it's not that I'm back in Maureen or anything. Uh, uh, but um, that uh, Pastor Kumuye space. He told his uh, people to dress in a very Spartan manner. No jewelries, nothing, no, nothing like that. When, when, when his daughter was getting married, it was the most outlandishly not elaborate. Not yes. not it not was time. gold, diamond everywhere. The, the girl was half naked to the pulpit, complete contrast to what he had been preaching for decades. Okay, um, um, one mouth. Mm. If you bought Peking, you can you you, you, you know if you oh different room for your Peking now. Oh look at that. Uh, your father boy, you not go fit for you. They do what you not uh, what you like, what you know what to do. Oh man, can I suggest please? Oh I, I, no, before well, you suggest, well, 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 yeah, no, let, let her let let give you round of her point and then we bring princess in. Princess wants to come in. Now what you why you're so good because if I bounce, I bought my picky now. I go, I know if you tell her same uh, I, I will tell my picky do like this. If not do I not go fit it now. Hold on, hold on, Kenny. So, 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 because uh, all, all the things we Maureen they talk, you say you know they're interested, but the moment when you can't mention your own pastor now, uh, oh, no, no, because ball, it, eh? uh, you know, eh? as I come, as I enter, I don't even know what he uh, what he did grant for. As I hear with the kind uh, question, that make me call. You understand? Now, so what I know, be that one. Oh, 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 all the right, question, what did they talk before? Oh, oh, all right, Let, let's bring princess in. Princess, come in. Uh, a, a complete different diet today. We are talking religion. Uh, princess. Hello. Good evening, everyone in the platform. Good evening, Sister Maureen. Good evening, Ma. Sister Maureen, remember me, Rosemary? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, good evening, ma. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you, man. I'm so excited when I saw when one man, I mean, yesterday said that he was inviting you to come to this show. <laughs> Yes, I have. Um, this is just to contribute to what uh, Sister Maureen is saying. You see, for a long time now, all these religious uh, pharaohs, they have been, they, they uh, put a lot of people up in captivity with their fake doctrines. They are one of the people that has contributed to the poverty in Nigeria. You see, a, you see a lot of them, they live this lavish lifestyle. Have, private jets, there are some members in their church cannot even afford to eat a meal. I mean, for instance, look at the churches abroad. When you go to the churches, they offer you snacks, they offer you coffee. They take, I mean, most of them are transparent. Like if they collect the offering today, they're going to announce it. This is how much we have uh, collected today. This project we have, this is what we are going to do towards it. They have a lot of charity pro uh, programs. Some, some of their members, when they lose their jobs, they have to support them. 
the churches support them until they're able to stand back on their feet. Those that can't pay their rent, they support them to pay their rent. You know, they do a lot of, I mean, good things to support their members. But the opposite is the case in Nigeria. These pastors, they are enriching themselves at the expense of the people. Imagine sometimes they would tell you to, uh, to, to plant fruit. At the end of the, the beginning of the year, the husband and wife will contribute uh, their first, first seed, first seed to the church. They will go starving. The family will go starving. They have nothing. So if each member is contributing first seed to them, then the top member, the, the, the GO, where are they, who, who are they contributing? Who, who, is giving, who are they giving their first seed to? <laughs> Does God have an account in heaven that they are giving their own first seed to God? They use the members to build schools. They build these big schools. At the end of the day, the poor members can't go to those schools. It's the rich people in the society. 419, Yahoo guys, other people that got their wealth in, uh, I mean, true, um, I mean, I mean, dubious ways. Those are the people that can afford to send their kids to school. But the poor church members that they use free labor, they did all this. They can't afford to go to those schools. Look at the missionaries when they came to Africa. They came, they established some uh, healthcare centers to provide healthcare to the poor. They provide missionary schools, which most of them benefited from those schools. But what are they doing today? Opposite. So, I, I mean, I mean, what is a private, what does a man of God need a private jet for? When Christ came, did Christ even have a horse? No, no, no. There's a there's an argument for that though. They because say, um, maybe, they said the word the assuming Christ is around they are, now. Okay, they are continuing to use one of the best private they are, they, they are deceiving themselves. When okay, they, they uh, the white people brought religion to Africa, right? What are they carrying private jets to come and evangelize people in abroad? Have no, no. Brought... So, 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 <laughs> sorry, like Rosie. Uh, so, uh, uh, Rosie and Maureen, uh, I'm not backing the pastors. But there's an argument for that private jet. So let's use the RCCG uh, uh, pastor as, as an example. Mm -hmm. Global church all over the world. Uh, so And he has to visit them just to uh, keep on top of affairs. So how does he get there? Is he going to be queuing every every every, every day for... Uh, there's an argument right. for it. It, it needs a private jet for that. Okay, why does he why have a Catholic church? Why, why, about, does, why does he have... Why Islam does he have, is he bigger than the Catholic church? Yeah. Why does he have the, to the doesn't with... travel now? Uh, and why he has a private jet. Wait, so, is, why one does... man, is RUC is bigger than Catholic Church globally? Yeah, does it the, the, the Catholic so, the Catholic RUC Church have the they, they, they have private jets now? They are do they not have private jet? The Pope church? does not have a private jet. The oh, Pope does not money. have a private jet. You can go hmm. research that. Why does the GO have to be going to visit all these branches all over the world? Do they not Let have people there? It's remittance. They are following their money back to back. They want to make sure the money comes back. Money, the kind of money laundry this would perform. They I tell you. Know. They tell you they want to open a, a churches in every ten poles. It's not because of the salvation of people. It's just to, it's to remit. It's to follow people their money back to back to collect money from these people. If they're just I believing. Look, I'm a Christian. Don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't believe in God. I, I oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Before you go any further, you are a Christian. Uh, you go to church. Of course. Do, do you do. pay tithes? Do, do you pay tithes? I do. An offering, an offering. The, okay, yeah. The the reason why I pay tithes is because the no, no, I, because I'm we are, we are, you know I'm going to hypocritical. Okay. Yeah. Wait, they, let me tell you. The, look, the church I go to, they they take care of the people. I when I was in that church, when I had nothing, the church took care of me until I was able to stand. So right now, that's why I want to pay back. To those that need help, I send things to the church, like clothes. I mean, things to support the poor people in the church. They are always going to be poor people, but the man oh, there yes. is not is not enslaving people. He's not enriching himself. You see, because when you say you are having a kilometer, you are you want what are you opening kilometer? What are you opening all these big churches for? What are you doing all these things for? To to save more souls. What Who souls? Should... Not souls. It's their bank. Is your bank? You see, I'm happy that uh, the, I, the bank needs to be look, saved too. Now, okay. what, what I uh, okay. uh, the thing is that I just wish the government will start taxing all this. Church. Let them start paying. Taxes. No, it's a, it's a charitable organization. Uh, charity? But but, uh, but uh, princess, um, uh, we have Maureen here, who I'm sure you have been following her for for a good while. So this is an opportunity. Then that question you've always wanted to ask her, uh, and also what has been the most controversial thing that uh 
Maureen has done that you say, ah, okoja, okoja, yembe, yeah, oh. Also, a, a, a question for Maureen. There is nothing that before there is nothing that Maureen has done. Doti koja ye ra 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 ra. Maureen has been able to enlighten, to open the eyes of many people that we are being deceived. She has brought to limelight all these uh, evil things that these fake pastors are doing, exposing them. That's why they don't like her, because people don't like the truth. Wherever there is truth, people don't like it. She's exposing them what the evil things they are doing how they are how they are collecting properties from the poor people what they are doing how they are doing their fake miracles okay imagine somebody that said he wanted to go make the walk blind uh, the walk the lame to walk he bought new crutches. okay somebody that has been that a lame man that has been using crutches for years why would that crutches be brand new <laughs> they took brand new cr uh, crutches to Cameroon to say they are going to go make the lame walk. These are all just arranged miracles. God, we have Nigerians first. They, I mean, they are, they, are, they are arranged miracles. If they really want to do miracles, let them go to the hospital. Uh, People that are, yeah, but, uh, let them go there. <laughs> let them go to Arrow. Let them go to Idia Rabba. There are people that are sick on the bed. Let them go and wake those people up. Don't go and rich people, pay them money and come and be doing arranged miracles. And then you see, there's a lady that was saying something that uh, Kumuyi did not say this, Kumuyi did not say that. Okay, where was he getting his ideas from? I just know the people that wine and dine with God. One of them said he drinks tea with God. I don't know what type of tea he drinks. If it is a, uh, uh, if it is lifting <laughs> tea, or, or if it is that one, will tell you that uh, if you don't pay your tithes, you won't go to heaven. That one uh, came well, to no, the. No, 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 no. That one came to the church and brought a, a magic wand and asked the people to look at it. He turned the magic wand. He, that one brought uh, combs to the church for people to comb their hair. When they go to American embassy, they should comb their hair. What type of... They are bringing paganism into the church and nobody is seeing it. People will go and sit where Baba sits and be much, and be worshipping the chair that they, they are tapping anointing. Oh, and people are, And you have professors in those churches too. Professors, their brain has been dumped down. I don't know if they are using some hypnosis on them. They will see that. That, Baba I said will that is it. Eh? Baba will stand up. People are lining up to go and sit in that chair. That they want to tap anointing. What anointing is that? What anointing? Do you know, uh, 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 but but uh, this is to, uh, to, to you and Maureen. Uh, but may, maybe Maureen lead on it. Uh, but do you think there are that there, there are people that are actually spiritually blessed to such a manner and uh, not not quite Christ-like, but we know about no. touching the we are talking about we know about touching the garment, but do you think there are people that have those spiritual auras that people can't tap from? Look, there is don't get me wrong, woman. There are some people that are really, really called, but they are very few. Maybe it is five percent out of the hundred percent we have in Nigeria. You see, have some real, true men of God. Yeah, I know on social media. But there what are very it? few, ah. very few. Okay, look at the Bible. What did the Bible say? It said the road is narrow and few find it. But the road that leads to death is wide. So tell me, when, what, when the Bible said, when, when Christ said, when I come back, will I find any faith? Christ was not wrong when he was asking this, that question. But look at today in Nigeria, back to back, every street, like some church, like RC, G, RCG or what, in one building, you might have like six branches in one building. What are they competing for? It is hard to get people's money and put it in their pocket. People don't want to go get jobs now. The fastest way to make money is to become a pastor. Oh. They are just exploiting people. I pray that whoever, whatever government comes in now, we get all these mega churches and start taxing them. They need, look, they are turning warehouses to churches, for goodness sake, in Nigeria. People are getting no. poorer and we oh, are not oh. doing anything. Oh, 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 all right. I, I'm going to bring Simba in in a moment, but uh, Ma Ma Maureen, um, what, what has been the most outlandish uh, sort of miracle or or preacher man story that you have ever heard? Uh, because there was some, um, I think there was one that actually came out of South Africa that told us he resurrected somebody. But there was this, uh, there was also this storyline. There's this woman uh, in Nigeria that she has some sort of a body, I, I won't say deformation, but her, her arms can pop in and then pop back out. And then she was going from church oh, to church, oh, and they were, oh, uh, uh, nice. and they were, 
so, 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 can, can you give us examples of that that you would that that that's just made you think that uh, this is too much, My brother? You see, if you want me to start giving an example, I, I can tell you one thousand stories. Like the the issue of Bosse, Bosse is her name. That lady that I have the Okafo, <laughs> Okafo Jeremiah, their friend, is happens to be one of them. You see, if the, if you try very hard, if you look very well, you will see that it is all business strategy concept. And you see the unhealthy rivalry among these pastors. They are trying to outdo themselves. They are in a business world where you have to come out with new concept, new dimension, new policy just to catch the mugu. That is what is going on. You see, when you all of them, so you remember when Baba said that he used anchor ship to raise the dead. You know what happened a few weeks after it? We all know what happened. A man came out, he told us how they, they testified how he used anchor ship to raise the dead. And you know what happened a few days later? Nobody can mock God. Sister Maureen, what are the ones that raised the dead in the UK there? And uh... <laughs> This auntie go kill me tonight. It's very damn you, Pada. Look out to. It's a sanumi. No, we are not mentioning any name now. The dead was raised in UK now, Abi. Can anybody raise the dead here? And people no go carry him. It's only deceiving them. Maybe I brought out the video, and at the end of the day, what happened? God will help Nigerians. You see uh -oh. our level of mumu. Oh. People do not understand me. God is real. I believe in God. God has worked for me. He's working for me. He's performing miracle in my life. There is miracle. But let them, let them, let this pastor, all I'm telling them, do the work of God. You don't need to lie. You don't need to help God. You don't need to arrange miracle. He said, I would build my church and the gate of it cannot prevail. Sister Maureen, please, I need to ask you a question, please. Go ahead, woman. Okay, all these geos, when they are moving around, they are having uh, bodyguards, armed bodyguards. <laughs> them. So why are they giving us stickers to guide us? It's because our, because we are stupid. We are, they are building empire for their generation or born. They build generational wealth for their family already at the expense of the poor. It's just a common sense. You see what redeem all of you that you are saying, why am I talking about redeem? You see what redeem the, the percentage redeem is taking when you have 40,000 branches. If they are giving you what 1,000, how much is that every month or every Sunday? I'm asking everybody here, common sense. Let's do the mathematics. You must pay the headquarter. And they are taking 50 something. I don't want to talk. I have the I have the I have the paper. I brought out here and I was doing it. It's all about business strategy. Is it God that is telling them? You see, some people when they get to when they get to heaven, they will now see that ah, I want to bawa, I want to bawa you, and people want bawa go. So if assuming what I'm saying is not correct, why are they running after me? Why don't so, they speak? So what you are saying is that it's a franchise, right? All this a uh, ah, about so, a business template. So I need to I need to go invest in it too. Nice. If you have to come, redeem. I'm saying it openly here. If you want to register, redeem in the United Kingdom, you cannot. You have to use a franchise here in the UK. You it is you, you you will go and register it as a franchise, they build it like that. It is not a joke, they know them a, a, a bit like McDonald's, have you? a bit like yes. McDonald's. <laughs> yes, that is the way regime is being run here in the UK. Go on if you want doubt me, go online and go on company house. Say you want to register regime, it's not possible. You have to go through their lawyer go, before you go to um charity commission and everything. Here in the US too, you have to go through the you you it's a franchise, you have to pay some certain amount. Not a, so who yeah. is fooling who? 
Is it this business, God's business? If God call Baba, so Baba call all of them. I'm asking. Is it this mass ordination that they are doing? Is that the way God is speaking to them? They're looking for people who will run their businesses. If you if you have a concept, you have a manager, it all depends on your about mathematics, don't know for one. Uh, uh, Maureen, talk us through that mass or uh, 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 um, ordination. What, uh, ordination briefly, okay. and then we we'll bring Simba into the conversation so that he can put the question yeah, to you. Yeah. You see the mass ordination. You see, they have all these branches, and they need free labor because you see, hey, talking, but you know, all of us we are all working for God. You remember. If you are working in the divine yard, you are working for God. Until now, they were not paying anything. And to have all these branches, somebody has to somebody has to manage these branches. If God actually call pastor, so Baba Adeboye now call all of them. And that thing where they are asking. Ah, but Jesus had disciples. Jesus, Jesus had disciples. I agree. I agree with you perfectly that Jesus has disciples, but this their own. That's why you see all sort of things in redeemed Christian church. People, you go go and check their pastors. There's nothing like some of them. Yes, there are some of them that has the spirit of God. There are some of them that is God is actually using, and there are some of them that have no business. And you see their target is not just anybody. You see those people in the financial world, those who has big big people. Go and check very well. And you know, pastor pay their tithes separately. And you must pay. I think one of these days I need to come back and do a show about remittance and come out with all the information and the sharing formula. How much is going to the camp? How much? What what happened? What did they do to the people that the people the, the founder of RCCG children? What happened to them? You you tell us. <laughs> I don't want to go into all that. Uh, uh, that that means so that that's for part two. Uh, uh, you all heard you Maureen see, telling us she's going to come back, so we hold up to that. Yeah, yeah. You see all these people, either they like it or not. And why do they have to write? You see, when I started the Lauren story, do you know what happened on the cyberspace? When they are one, some of their pastors in or one of their member, they they decided to fight against them. They rise up against the pastor, so they are all fighting because of money. Is it God that they are fighting for? There, that is RCCG. Sister Maureen, please, I have a question. No, since uh, Kumi, you said uh, TV is a uh, yes, uh -huh. yes, so right now with computer and cell phone, we shouldn't no, be using all these things now. Why are we using all? The, are they not uh, uh, articles of sin? My sister, you remember uh, Christ Embassy said 5G is COVID or what is, and he's using the same thing to preach the gospel. But, but yeah. they find they find him in, in UK now. He was fined uh, what some thousands yeah, of because pounds. there is law and order here, there is policy and procedure here in the UK. Because you see, this is a man, that man, that man, he can't enter UK, the Christ Embassy, you know, they find the charity commission. Go there, go and bring it out. Is that not for tax? Um, what they after him for the? Uh, is it for tax? It was for oh, COVID. Man. Now it was yeah. when COVID that came out. COVID. Hmm. But he had one. He had the issue of church. You see, we have uh, the charity commission report about him. About Baba, what is the name of the Baba White? Uh, and and some of them like that you see these people you see some of you you can worship wf kumuyi if we, we you see don't bring kumuyi into this so what what is so special about him he's a big time scammer that's nothing special he's just using people is the strategy they are using that is different. The strategy they are using is different from each other. Oh, no, scam. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, Maureen, let's bring Simba into the conversation. So he joins us from Saudi Arabia. 
Uh, uh, so Simba, uh, like I was saying to everybody, I didn't really think this was your diet as well. Uh, it's not politics, it's religion. And we have somebody that is an expert in that field, of course, uh, Maureen Badejo, a lady that I'm sure you know very well. So Simba, uh, are you there? Simba? Yeah. Um, well, good morning. Here, we are in the morning here in Saudi Arabia. Good morning, good morning one good morning. man. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, uh, I'm delighted because I'm one of the fans of uh, Maureen Badejo. I've been following Maureen Badejo for more than three years now, and I've been enjoying her shows. Good I share that. most of the uh, opinion because, as mean, I I know that religion is a scam. Generally, religion is a scam. And uh, if you look at it, it was an instrument of uh, um, slavery and uh, um, superiority among the, the, the people that brought, the, the, especially the two major religions. And uh, if you look at it, you, 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 it, it, what they succeeded in doing, actually, because if you look at the show this today, one man, you look at you look at our show is dull today because most people hear that every time they want to talk 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 everybody is keeping quiet because they are afraid because we have been brainwashed they 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 see it whatever we are saying here now most people see it as a sin and they are keeping quiet and you know that that that's it because they have been brainwashed right from birth and that is what they are still carrying irrespective of the education that they have it has not liberated them. And it is it, a shame. And you look at it, you know, before we talk about religion on this, on well, this well, you, are, you, are very, you, are, you are very religious yourself. So is there not a... I'm not, a, I'm, a, not a, I'm not, 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 a, I'm not one man. One can I say something, please? Yeah, no, so let Simba land, then come, come after him. So what, what, because if, if you look at it, let us even do a reassessment of religion, especially you discover that mo the, the most religious countries are not actually developed. So what is the essence? You see that there is, it, it, it brings more poverty than prosperity. And they are preaching, and that is what they are using because people are poor and they believe that the only way they can get liberated is, is through miracle. And they'll be swindling them the little money that they have they will not go to work. In Nigeria now, people go to church every day instead of them to go to their work. We are not being productive. Somebody was talking the other time, saying that uh, they have uh, over 40,000 past pastors. Well, what does that one contribute to the uh, economy of a country? Preaching, what does it contribute to the economy of a country? And they, then people will now be donating. The few people that are working, they'll be getting their money to pay those ones salary. To me, it's, 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 it's useless. We are not being productive, and we can see the effect. We are getting poorer. People are getting uh, the situation of the country is getting worse every day. Even the so-called pastors, you can see all of them now. They see they, they are involved in politics. They are getting money. Most of them, even the money that I, I, you heard about a pastor that has a private jet that's supposed to be paying for parking space in the airport, he refused to pay for several years. A government came in and started asking him to pay, and he is now the the, the that particular government now became his enemy. No, those are the issues. And you see them turning out prophecies every day that are not right. And people will keep quiet. And they keep, go on and on and on. And, be, and people don't ask questions. And because, and the reason is that everybody's afraid. Hey, this is religion. I don't want to be, be everybody want to go to, to, to okay. paradise. I don't know where that paradise is. That every day that they are afraid of. Because to me, it's just a, it's a, it's just an instrument of control, the, the so-called hell and fire, uh, uh, paradise and hell. It's just, it's just an instrument of control. I'm oh, very oh, sorry right. to say. Oh, all right, Simba, you said you've been following uh, Maureen for years, as a lot of us have. Uh, but what has been the most controversial thing that she has uh, done or said uh, uh, by your, yeah? I, the, uh, I, I, I follow her majorly, especially because... <laughs> I know Maureen really dealt with Pastor Suleiman. <laughs> she, she had a lot of shows on, on Suleiman, especially when he brought Amos and all those guys that worked with Suleiman. 
and she actually worked with facts. And you know, everybody so to me, I mean medical doctors, and I've seen a lot of things, people that have gone to church, they have been swindled, they paid a lot of they've sold a lot of seed, paid tight and everything in the name of somebody was talking the other time that um, somebody was buried for eight years. And thank God you corrected the impression. I don't know if somebody can be, become pregnant. That person is not buried. And that was, you know, as, as I said, he was told that story right from his bat. He believed it. And that is how the thing will live with him till he died. Because it's very, the, they have been inculcated that thing into our brain right from the beginning. That don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. If you ask questions about religion, it's a sin. And that is what everybody is afraid of. And that is where, where we find ourselves, where we are today. So it's, to me, it's, it's, we have to liberate ourselves. And you see that even majority of people, by the time they get out of the developing world, go to the developed world, their they are, they are, they are eyes open. Because the people that brought this religion, ah, they're practicing it. You, you, do you see them go? Remember, there was a the, the Israeli ambassador went to a church in Abuja. Don't let me mention the church. <laughs> and what what he, he, when he got there, he said, "What a waste!" Why, why are you afraid to mention the church? I mean, what's the problem now? Mention the <laughs> what's going to happen to you? You are the one being accusing people that you. Say, and oh, 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 when is already when is 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 giving us legal. Is I, I, I'm afraid for already. one man. I don't want them to brought one man shoot down. That's no, why it's <laughs> me. I don't have any stick. It's because okay. of one yeah. man. Yeah, okay. That's a uh, so you know, it's a waste. Now another one is constructing a hundred thousand capacity church. And it's, you know, to me, is that what we're supposed to? And we, we, we are crying, we are blaming the politician. Every time we come on the show, we blame the politician. What these people are contributing to the problem of that country is more than what even the politician are contributing. It's, 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 our situation is dicey. I, I don't know, I, I, can't, I can't phantom what is actually happening. Hey, 100,000 capacity church. So you are expecting 100,000 people to be coming to that church every Sunday. And everybody is assuming that <laughs> donating... <laughs> one era. <laughs> one, one era. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it is all business strategy. And you, you, you don't see the effect. You didn't see the effect on the people. I don't know what they are preaching. An average Nigeria is, is, is a scammer. Remember what happened during the time of cash crunch? People are selling money. Yes. Eh? Is, is that is that is that not a reflection of the generality of people? And that and that's why when people are blaming the leaders, as if the leaders are imported from from the moon, it's, it's just a reflection of the followers. And oh, the religion oh, 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 that's oh, that one is different, though. And the religion that, that are supposed though. to correct all these things is actually making it worse. People, yeah, they, you see a pastor say, look at look at my wrist watch, look at my wrist watch, look at my wrist watch, look at my shoe. Religion oh. and politics, they are they are on this, they are sleeping on the same bed. They are husband and wife. You can come out and criticize your wife now or your husband. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh all right. Thank you. Th thank you. Thank you, Simba. Uh, you still get to, but I think Kenny wanted to interject. And then we go to Femi next. And then I want somebody to put a question. I want Femi to put a question to Maureen. Uh, because we have the, the honor of having her here, so let's let's uh, interrogate our thoughts while we still have her. But uh, Kenny, you wanted to come in when uh, Simba was talking. Kenny. Yeah, um, yeah. hello, uh, everybody. Yeah, I just want to uh, say something about what uh, Simba said that uh, uh, we've been brainwashed in, in, regard, in regard to the religion. You know, um, there is this um, uh, part of the Bible that says... Um, uh, I, I, I forgot my line of thought. Um, uh, just just give us the general idea. I don't, you don't have to quote the verse. Just give us the general idea. Yeah, so, so um, we both, uh, personally, I was born in the Christian family, so I don't think anybody is brainwashed. You understand? Mm. And you, you see, the other time, Boring was saying, oh, can God change his mind? We have to Bible fashion, we have Old Testament and New Testament, so there's reason for that. So, if Pastor Kumuyi said, Okay, don't watch TV, and this time he's not changing his mind, okay, you cannot watch TV, you understand? Yeah, there's a proof in the Bible mm. because if God 
does he want to change his mind? He will not. He will not have, uh, allow us to have Old Testament. And I say, okay, now uh, have. Uh, uh, please, please, can I? Please, can I interject? Okay, go on. Please. Yeah, when you talk about Old Testament and New Testament, I think yeah. you need to have some understanding. Yeah. Old Testament, it's God when He was dealing with the Jews. Okay. He was raising. He was raising prophets, calling them to do stuff and do stuff. There were a lot of prophecies in the Old Testament. Yes. The New Testament is now God dealing with the whole world. There are some prophecies in the Old Testament that have not been fulfilled. Okay. So in the New Testament, some of these prophecies were fulfilled. So what did Christ say? He said, I have not come to change the law, but to fulfill the law. So don't think that God changed his mind. God he, okay, now, mind. okay, let me not go back to So you need to understand the Bible, okay? You need to understand, understand it. Okay. Oh, 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 all right, Kenny, before you come back at her, let, let Maureen give a perspective on what you've just said. So okay. is that conflation between the Old Testament and the New Testament? And it's also um, uh, uh, the, uh, the pastor Kumui changing his mind about uh, the sort of lifestyle. So uh, it, what I thought immediately when they were saying that is that one has to be wrong because you can't have two opposing positions with one not being wrong. So was he wrong in the first instance and then uh, uh, people that paid the price for him being wrong or is he wrong now in this now opposite so, uh, 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 to you, Maureen? Honestly, I love Sister Rosemary the way he, he her, narrate, her illustration about Old Testament and New Testament is fantastic. I, I just want to add to it. What Pastor Kumuyi said for the first time, he's speaking on his own part. It was wrong. Nobody was speaking to him. Assuming it was God that was speaking to him. The, God is not a Confucianist. Our God is precise and just God. Old Testament and New Testament is the same thing. There are so many things that if you if you sit down and read Old Testament and New Testament very well, there are so many things that refer to Jesus Christ. Even in the Old Testament. And Jesus come here to fulfill the Old Testament, not to abolish anything. So the narrative Mr. Kenny was talking about that um, uh, Old Testament to conf with what Dr. Uh, Baba Kumuyi said, don't watch TV. It's not only TV. It's not don't watch TV alone. No. There's so many things that there are so many instructions that he gave them that was not that wasn't biblical. That it was just doctrine. And there are so many doctrinal things that is that they've used to destroy people's lives. And some of them they died without knowing the truth. Yeah, you so, know how many people Marine, died? Sister Marine, for instance, look at restitution that he said. So many people died trying to do restitution. So what is restitution for the benefit of those of us who are not as deep as you? Restitution is a case that maybe a woman earlier on married, got children for the first husband. She got divorced and uh, married another man. The church will not tell her to go back to the first man she married. If she doesn't go back to that man, she can not remain married to the second man. You can't even talk. You can't even officiate. You can't do anything. Yeah. You can't even so they they, they destroy that family. There are so many things that they did, and eventually you see them. These days they will continue to do the same thing that they preach against. What kind of doctrine is that one? Do you hear about a pastor in Kenya that was arrested recently? He was, he was actually making people to fast, and some of them are dying in his church before he was arrested, and most of them were taken to hospital. Is that, is that a man of God? You see, honestly... Okay, one man, can I have a minute? <clears throat> now, hold, hold on. Let, let Maureen respond, and then let's bring Femi in, and then you come in after him, uh, Maureen. You see, you. honestly, there's something that I, a lot of people don't see me online these days. People hate the truth. And so many people want to die in their ignorance. Unfortunately, you see this issue of religion is a tool to control. You can see they will turn professor to mumu. 
Immediately they say God says like this. Because how, how can you explain? Don't watch TV. Don't put on your ring. Don't dress like this. And their wife are doing the same thing now. Their children are doing the same thing now. So the same God have another yardstick for A and, and B. You see, the whole thing is, if you, if you are a child of God, it's confusing. And the price they pay, the followers, the price they pay, they'll continue to continue to default victim. Because if you read your Bible very well, immediately your pastor begins to do all that. Go say something that is contrary to the word of God. You will refer to your Bible. You hold on to what the Bible says if you are a Bible believer. And no controversy. Because if it is not business templates and business strategy, God has said don't watch telly. How come the same God changed everything and you come on the internet, you use social media to now to gather members to do all sorts of... What, is, what does that mean? It's a pure hypocrisy. God will help Nigerians. Oh, all right, brilliant. Uh, let's bring Femi in. Uh, Femi, so you know Maureen. Uh, so a question for Maureen, Femi. Hello, Mrs. Maureen. Good evening, and sir. Good evening. I would not, I would not have come on here into this program this night, but when you talk about Pastor W.F. Kumi, he's my pastor. Okay. And when someone says something that he said that God said to him that we should not watch television. There is nothing like that. Okay. When there is nothing like there is nothing like that. When you are talking about television, there is monitor. Then in our house, there is we watch we watch about two monitor. But you can say television. The world is evolving, and there is nothing wrong in it. He does not say that God said to him. That we should not watch television. There's nothing like that. You can't tell me you hear it from anywhere that he said it, that he uttered it out of his own mouth that don't watch television, that God said, tell him nothing like that. Mr. Fay, how do you Can I let me learn, please? There's nothing, there's no way that it's just about is what I notice is that many pastors in deeper life. Take these things differently. The way, like, come to church, you must, you must tie your, you must tie scarf on your head. And if you don't do that, if you put on your ring, some pastor when you come to the church, they will send this the member away, like as as a newcomer. But some pastor in different life, they will welcome him or her. It is a different the way the the leaders in different districts, the way they take it. Is not the way Baba teach them. They just take it somehow. When you hear the word of Baba, Baba speak the truth, holiness all the time. Baba is not all about money. He's not. He, he is a pastor that is only all, all about money. We know them, not WS Kumuri. When you want to talk about some, a pastor that is that is that is that have a shady things in his life. It's not Baba. It's a very different, very straightforward man. Please, please, uh, please can I interrupt? And speak about the Bible. You cannot hear that Baba said that uh, God, uh, God said it to me. No, Baba is not please, used to that. Please, can that I is not That is not W.S. Kumuri. Please, can I interject? Oh, oh, hold, hold, hold on, Rosie. Let, let, oh, 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 Ros Ros yeah, let, let um, Maureen go first. Then. Uh, yeah, Mr. Yeah, yeah, how no, did yeah. Baba pass the message of don't watch television? This, you, by then, this is what really happened. Doing that, we should, we should all, all of us, we have to remember, this social media, it has already affected many people today. A child of eight years old, because of using a phone, he, he or she has exposed to porn. We they are just trying to keep people out of this war, out of this way what thing that is in the war then. And there's nothing wrong in it. Many people that keep it. Now. 
so that thing is no more there. It's even worse now. I remember when I was growing up. It's not as it's, it, now it's worse. But you've not answered my question, sir. I say, how did Baba pass the message of do not watch television to his member? Is it because of the is it because of the way what things in the world, sir? The I will come. I will still come again. I have to remember what really happened last year. Baba mentioned something last year about about dressing the way we dress to the church. He said that a, a lady is talking to the youth in the youth program then that a lady that is still young, that you cover your face, you cover your leg. Baba, Baba has Baba is changing. I I agree with you in some but telling now condemning for him changing there's nothing what please, i mean is please, that Baba please, can said I that. please can i interject oh, you can come, you can come. yeah do you know why baba is complaining now about the women dress because the new wife she's not going with that agenda of uh, tying head and tying leg and tying throat that is why baba now has changed okay if you say some pastors are doing this, other pastors are doing that. If Baba has laid a foundation and pastors are not going according to what he said, why would people, why would Baba not speak up and correct them? This television business you are talking about, in those days, those years, when Baba said television is a potential, we are they showing pornographic movies on television those days in Nigeria? Oh. <laughs> we are they showing pornographic movies on those days in Nigeria? Okay, right now. If Baba say he doesn't want them to, why is he not banning them from even having cell phone? They shouldn't use cell phone. They shouldn't use a computer. They shouldn't do anything like that. They should go to the rural area and live in a camp so that they can be away from the world activities to live a holy life. They should be living like the monks. You know, these uh, Hindu monks, when they go live in the mountain, away from such a civilization. Better, yeah. So you can't be saying don't use Akotiyas. Then all of a sudden you are using monitors. You are using all these social media to reach out to your people. That's contradiction. The thing is that we in Nigeria, we don't like to face the truth. When we have lead people in place that are leaders, they do certain things. You just take everything. You don't question things. You don't. Okay, when you say Baba said God did not tell him, it's his own idea. Where is he getting his ideas from? These doctrines that what I mean, from, where do they so get past, from pastor lie so about prophecy? Part. Baba is not used to saying that God okay. said this to me. No, that is not Baba. Brother, that is not Baba style. Brother, let me forget about Baba style now. We let's let's face, leave other pastor aside. We are talking about. No, I don't want you guys oh, to hold, call hold, me. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, no, 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 hold on, Femi. So uh, 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 we, 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 we have to have this uncomfortable. Don't, uh, not, look, uh, Mr. WF Femi, you can be worshipping yeah. WF Kumi, but we have to say the truth about what's going on. Christ said, look unto Christ, the author I'm and finisher. Of faith. Don't look up it's, to any man. It's only about look holiness. up to Christ, the author and finisher. What do you mean by it's about holiness? Don't look up to any Baba I mean, and worship them. I try very hard, brother Femi, not to. I very, if you want me to begin to well, begin to talk, talk okay. about. I know you. I know you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, let's hear from our guest. Uh, hold on, yeah, yeah. Me, it's better you let the sleeping dog to die, not be to sleep or to die. Because if I start with deeper life, we will not live here, Sister Maureen. Yeah. One thing no about boy. these followers is this they fear their Baba, they fear their Geo more than Jesus Christ, they respect what their Geo say more than what God says. That's correct, they worship them. Because all of them now, hey, don't talk about Pastor uh, Kumuyi. He's no God. He's a human oh. being like you and I. There's nothing spectacular about him. Yeah, That's the Bible says. Uh, oh, 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 hold on, oh, 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 Rosie, hold on. Uh, uh, so, sorry, Maureen. Let's hear from Bishop, who's been trying to come into this conversation you're having now. Uh, Bishop, Please, can I just you. say this word? The uh, Bible right. says, "Look unto Christ, the author and finisher of our faith." It did not say, "Look unto Kumuyi." He did not say look unto your depot. He did not say look unto any Baba. Look unto Christ. That's what the Bible says. But most of these people, they fear their geos more than God. 
Well, all right, Bishop, come in, and then Maureen takes it from there. Bishop. Okay, thank you. Uh, I want to come in from something Maureen was saying earlier on. And uh, number one, many church leaders set out doctrine they want their followers to forge and uh, to follow. Doctrine, which she mentioned something about doctrinal teachings. A lot of time we make a mistake of uh, kind of um, saying, attributing what they said as their own doctrine, what they have set out as their own doctrine, as God said to them. There's a big difference between the two. I don't know if there was anywhere that Pastor Kumuyi said, God said people should not watch TV. Maybe it was his own way of trying to keep his people uh, let, let me use this word loosely, whip them into lie, you know, by piety or moderation and the rest because of fear of what he has. Now, a lot of people read the Bible and they give different interpretation. That interpretation they gave to keep their people in check, many a times we misinterpret it to mean it, they are words from God. Let's be very sincere with ourselves. The Bible itself, I'm a Christian. The Bible itself was an instrument of servitude and coercion by the colonialist. It is a fact. It's a very uncomfortable fact. It is an instrument that the colonialists used many years ago, many decades ago, to keep us in check. By the time we get exposed to their lifestyle, we discover that it is all, I don't want to use any word that is not uh, on the corner. Uh, 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 are, are, you, are you prepared to declare your denomination, uh, Bishop? Uh, are you of, so, the, uh, of the deeper life talk? Is that what are you, you are? What are you? Let me finish first. We will oh, okay. not talk about so, that one that. Oh, oh, now, right, look at, let's, if we, if Maureen, I, I'm sure she knows, and a good number of us know, a lot of these things we're talking about are just doctrines. By the time you get into the Bible and you read and you ask some very critical questions, you get a little bit exposed more. I mean, I, for example, people come and tell us that we, because we are going to church in Nigeria, you must wear tie and coat. Permit me to use that word, uh, suit up. When it doesn't really meet with our own uh, weather and culture and the rest, why should I be wearing tie? Because that's where what some, but it is not scriptural. It is the doctrine of the, even the issue of tithe have been so. I mean, many I spent time looking at it many years ago, not just now. So doctrine, and look at the issue of polygamy. I remember I went to a debate in my secondary school days some few years ago, and we were have to, we had to discuss about and I said uh, and the, the issue of polygamy and I I used the word wayogami. Now a woman will come and tell us to practice monogamy in Africa. Remember they are practicing wayogami because it is a known fact that you can have one wife in the Western world and have multitude of concubines or mistresses as they call it now in the modern day, and it is legal. It is completely legal, but they have submitted, subjected us to. So I want us to just move a little bit from what people say, set out as their doctrines and what they claim that God said. When Apostle Paul was advising on about uh, the marry one wife, he said that it is his own word, though. It is not what God said. But we took it like a gospel truth. And we went, go to the court, and we say people should enter into marriage and we make it a life-binding, uh, what do you call it? So there are doctrines that people can give depending on the, uh, 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 what do you call it now? Uh, what's this word now? Of that time. And time changes. Can God change his mind on a certain case or certain issues? Yes. And yes, and yes, he's done it before. He sent the prophet to go and tell a certain prophet that he would die. And the man cried out and he prayed. And the God said, okay, go back and tell him again that I have changed my mind. I have had this cry and I have changed my mind. But I don't want us oh. to go there. But the fact that so many of these things are just doctrines 
and doctrines are things that uh, Mr. A just said, okay, these my people, this is how I want them. Okay, uh, those other ones, they used to do it this way. I want to do my own separately. I want to do it differently. Let me go this way. So doctrinal teachings are completely different from biblical teachings. Thank you. Oh, oh, all right, thank you. So, so Maureen, uh, so that space then that uh, Bishop is, was expanding on, um, you, you know, uh, uh, and what he's saying is, so a doctrinal position is a position, uh, let's say the moral a compass uh, yeah, of, yeah, of, of the person uh, as opposed to be as opposed to the teachings of the of the of the Bible. Uh, so, so there are two spaces there. Um, in fact, three spaces really. Should somebody's moral compass, should they remain their moral compass, or as a leader, should they then prescribe it, prescribe it or even superimpose it on their congregation? So that's one. And then the wider space, the congregation itself, are they able to make the distinction that this is this man's moral compass as opposed to being a, a doctrine, a, a, a biblical teaching? So are the congregation it, it, itself, are they able to make the distinction to say that uh, this is just his opinion and not what the Bible prescribes, uh, Maureen. Thank you, Mr. Woman. Honestly, I love the way Bishop is Bishop indeed, the way he put it. He has because earlier I talked about the doctrinal stuff. You see, a lot of things, most of these pastors, you know, they see themselves as a small god. Most of these geos. They all have their own policy. It's like policy and procedures. They have their own doctrine. Their own, their own doctrine. Things that I, the way I want my members to behave and everything. But and most of them, either we like it or not, they sell it to their member as if this is the high, mind of God. What God wants. And most of these members, they don't take. They don't go back to study the word of God. To be able to differentiate between what my pastor says, what is our the way we behave here is like, you know, when you have a movement, they all have the way they behave, the way they do things. But so many of us, I, 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 I when I was growing up, there are so many things I don't know. Whatever the Alufa say those days is fine. I don't even bother to go back. Whatever they teach us during Bible class, fine. At times, we will not carry the Bible to read it again until next week Sunday when we go back again. And whatever they tell us, we take it, we just take it on board, hook, line, and sinker, and we run with it. That was how we grew up. And until later, when I become conscious of so many things, realize that ah, this thing. We go. It took me time. I find time. I read books. I look at so many things. Look into the Bible. Go and get different books. Sit down. Look at it. And I realize some of these things are lies. And that's why when I come out, I come and say, this thing is not correct. So people don't ask questions. That's the problem with all these members. Yes. I honestly, I believe most of those things they say is some of them, me, I believe is coming from God, except now I'm hearing on this platform today that it is it, it, not from God, or he didn't say it's from God. And and I and unfortunately, Brafemi wasn't able to tell me how did Baba pass the message across to them, mem, to their members, because that thing was everywhere those days. At least I'm I, 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 are you trying to lead to the space that uh, he passed it via mass media, which is what he was prescribing against? No, I don't think so. Because mm. of that time, they don't use television. Mm. You see, these are people that they hear one message all over the world. What? But what? They they use the case to transmit their messages. I hope maybe in those days. Whatever they preach here, it must be the same thing all over the, their district in the whole in the country. I think they are here now. They are listening to me. And you see, the world has not gone this way at that time. Things have gone haywire now. Things 
what is going on? Even 10 years old boy, if you can if you know what they know now, it's different from when we were growing up. Where we don't know anything. So the members too, they have a lot to do because when when you tell me something now, there's so many things that I learned here today. I'm going to go back and sit down and look at it after this thing. The one that I feel is not correct. I see, I see feel I will go and check. And the one I feel I'm saying the wrong thing, I will correct myself. So it's the same thing, it's applicable. We should learn to ask questions. If my pastor tells me something that is not correct, you should be able to, we, uh, we have manual, we are lucky. The manufacturer manual is our Bible. So go back and read it. Whatever the Bible says, when they give you the impression that the Holy Spirit is interpreted to them different ways. Oh, 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 all right, Ma Ma Maureen, take a question from Dewale who joins us. So Dewale, we have a special guest, Maureen. I'm sure you know her. Uh, Dewale, good to see you. Dewale, Adewale. Oh, all right, Dewale is still uh, contending with the system. Uh, Madam, Madam Zita joins us. Uh, so I, I'm, uh, you, you know, uh, Maureen, I'm not sure if you are how much you know about the platform, but we never talk about anything but politics. So really? I'm some uh, you no, know, that's all we ever talk about. Politics, so politics, you politics. Guys are obedient, blah 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 blah. No, blue. no, we are we are we are disobedient. That's what we are. We are we are we are disobedient. <laughs> this is what we are. So but, but uh so I'm surprised that my audience they have an appetite for this. Uh I just thought we'll we'll introduce this dimension, see what people are but it looks as though people are there's some interest there. Uh, but Mata, Madam Zita joins us. Uh, so Zita, uh, uh, you're up next. Uh, surprised to see you. I didn't know you had anything. I thought you were the woman of science. Zita. I don't understand. Uh, uh, good day, everyone. Um, good day, I just day. came in. I've not been listening to her. So uh, maybe I need a kind of brief on what she's saying. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, all right. Oh, okay. Then hold position. Let me bring Dewale in, and then in the course of the conversation, you come up to speak. So Dewale rejoins us. So, so Dewale, a, a question for for Maureen. Thank you. Thank you, uh, woman. Uh, good to see you, Miss Maureen. Um, I must confess, uh, I've never heard about you before. I believe you are uh, operating from Europe, but uh, one I saw the woman's uh, the, uh, the the invitation. I, I quickly went online to look for your content, and I must say that you're doing a good job, man. Uh, kudos to you. Thank you sir. But what I want to also bring up, not really a question per se. I've been at the comment session also, trying to have a rejoinder. Uh, religion is something that is personal. And those people that are you know, patronizing those churches or go to those uh, religion places, they must have something that they see, that they like, that that's what endear them to you know, continue to attend those churches or religious places. But in me, personally, I'm a member of RCCG. And uh, there's some doctrine that doesn't sit well with me. And nobody forced me to partake in those doctrines. But others feel comfortable enough, such as you know, that uh, seat thing where the pastors, you know, uh, uses a chair and they start rushing and praying on the seat and all that. Those are personal things. I think it also has to do with faith. Now, what I have problem with is the pastor, the so-called pastor, uh, begins to enrich himself at the detriment of their uh, followers. And I believe we can also uh, judge a church uh, performance and objective by seeing the how many lives they've touched, I mean, in terms of the lives that patronize these churches. Now, it is easier to criticize some of these pastors. No doubt, some of them have material motive. But I also believe that it's high time our government, whether at the local or state level, start looking into the account of these churches or this pastor and start regulating them so that we'll be able to know who is who because anybody can stand up tomorrow and say, well, I declare myself a bishop, I declare myself even a pope and start swindling people. And of course, in the face of hardship, People are misled because they want quick answer. That's the reason why they're driven into this church is because they want answers to their problem. So you're doing a good job, but at the same time, I also encourage you, the issue of Pastor Kumuyi, 
this is a one man that I found it very, very hard to criticize. You know why? Because he never changed. But human beings are capable of evolving and changing. In terms of the television's uh, statement and all that, when he make reference to that in the, I believe, in the eight, late 80s to early 90s, you also recorded that television in Nigeria then was just limited to certain places or certain people. And the content being shown then was strictly guided. Now, as a matter of fact, we have proliferation of programming everywhere, even on the phone and all that. So, but now he himself knew that to reach across places that he never could travel to, he will use this means of communication. So his involvement is, is on the premise of the fact that what is available now. And as a pastor, he's still a human being and people can change anytime. But you're going a good job. Thank please, you, ma'am. Please, sir, can I interject? Please, can I interject before you go? Go ahead, go ahead, please. Yes, sir. Concerning uh, Kumi, did you, I don't know if you are aware of this time somewhere in Lagos where the church was grabbing uh, land and the uh, bulldozers were going and destroying homes, throwing people out. Were you aware of that? I'm aware. I know where the church is. Okay. So, I mean, what's your take on that? This is, I mean, churches are supposed to be humanitarian places, right? So when you have good bulldozers going to bulldoze down people's homes, throwing them out on the streets, what's that? Is that Christ-like? Okay, let us look at it this way. When that church was created, just as when RCG was created in Ebutebeta, up to today, when RCG is located in Cemetery Road, there were houses that were paid off because of the expansion. If you look at the current church in Bagada right now, there's no way that church, except they wanted to move, and there's no way they could move. So what they could do is to compensate after negotiation, thorough negotiation with the homeowners of those houses around those churches. Lagos State was involved, not just the church bulldozing in the houses. But you see, when we put news in the media, there are a lot of fake news because these churches also has they have a uh, 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 law department that handles those uh, litigation issues and all that. There's no way a church. That church wasn't the first building in those areas. If you remember when that church started there, it was in the middle of a slump. It was completely a swampy area. But you see, after thorough negotiation and state government also helped them to, you know, to, to carry out those negotiations. Of course, people agree with people. We're talking about, you know, this is Lagos State where the, a, a child of the home owner will crowd foul simply because he never get a part of the cake. So it, 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 those things are, are, are not strange when it comes to litigation. So I would not be surprised to find such negative news in the media. But I strongly believe that those homeowners were properly, properly compensated. They were right, not compensated. Uh, they were oh, not. Oh, oh, can I because if it, please. There's another one yeah, yeah, that I have. Yeah. Yes, let's right. hear from Maureen, then come in at uh, Zeta. And then Ola wants to, Ola came in for you. Uh, no, so, Ola, so brace yourself. I, uh, yeah. One man, sorry, yeah, a second. Yeah. I am actually trying to address what Ola said. So I wouldn't want him to leave. Okay. And uh, also, please, can uh, Sister Mori, can you explain that uh, land, that uh, issues of, because this was covered life, how those people were being thrown out of God their homes God and then. Uh, <coughs> oh, 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 all right. So, so, sorry, um, so, sorry, sorry, Maureen. So, sorry, Maureen. Let, let's have a brief interjection from, um, from, from Zita, and then we hear from Maureen, who is our guest to share her knowledge with us. So, uh, but Zita, have that interjection, and then Maureen gives us that explanation. Adewale, I am happy you made mention of Pastor Kumiye telling his church members that watching television and satellite is a, a, a sin. What was he using at the point when he said that? Thank you, ma'am. Do you want me to answer that? Yeah, no, I want no, you to no, 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 that. no, make make that rhetorical uh, or hold your thoughts you on see, it because because you we see, want to hear from our guests. Yeah, you see, one thing is for just as you say, you said they are human. One thing is for you to air 
another thing as a man of God is for you to come out and own it up and tell your church, well, I said this with the information within me at the time I was saying it, but I don't even know why you decide to defend him because as at the time he said that, he was using satellite in his house. So if you think he made that statement with the information in his hands, which I know that's not right, why didn't he come out to correct it? You are correcting it for him. Thank you. Oh, oh, all right, back to you, Maureen. So um, uh, uh, Rosie was putting you a question, uh, so back to you, Maureen. You see the issue of uh, the issue of deeper life. I said it earlier. I said I don't want to go into it. This particular one, the last caller, second before the the last caller said something. He's talking about Bagada own deeper life. Did the one that is even worst in Ogun State after Moway Bafo. We saw it live. They cried out online i covered it live i i i sent people there I, I we did a live show they they use police to harass and intimidate people and i asked people i said i hear about all these rough churches why is we even went ahead and reached out to mama the wife to the pastor you see what this pastor has done God in heaven will continue to expose them. I think church is supposed to be a place of refuge. Deeper life go in the middle of night to break houses, throw people out. This is not hearsay. I still have videos. Yes, I don't support people building on illegal, illegal land, but some of these people were there, they were there before even the fire like bought their own houses and they bought their land. You see, there's another family that came out that people like took their house. This one is not illegal, it's their father that bought the land. You see, there's so many of their stories. Jesus will not. He said, Come to me, all ye who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. What do they want to do with all this money they created? All this free money. money. If all this church is building one bedroom flash for people, it's not too much. Ah, Abdumumuni, thank you. Yes, nobody confirmed. Was it my life? And I was shocked. And I said, "Hey!" And I know the message. I know the message that came to me. That the woman said, the mama said. At that particular day, I want to even go begin to dig and begin to expose deeper life. And people are ready to talk. They continue to talk about all this homosexual that was going on. But I just decided to like I said they will say I come again that I'm after pastor. That was why I just decided to look as I beg leave them. It was when we were exposing them, they stopped. I don't know whether they went back to them, they stopped because we we're exposing them seriously, and the noise was getting out of hand. And that was why they stopped. Oh, 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 all right, Maureen, I, I, I want you to speak a little bit on that uh, on the gay practices within the uh, Nigerian church space in a moment. But uh, before we do that, o Ola has been waiting to uh, to to have a say. So, so Ola, uh, you came in uh, to to speak to Maureen. So, Ola, good to see you. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Uh, Adam Maureen, I hear you. Um, yeah. See, I have my opinion about uh, these uh, churches, all right? Um, for uh, someone defending uh, what Baba said about TV, no need to defend because Baba actually came out to correct his past utterances around those TV. So, why defending it? I was surprised. So, if you don't know, we don't know. 
all those pastors they can defend themselves around that but what i want to say is this uh we can't keep blaming pastors we know men of god are still men so let's just face that fact so they are they can they are fallible they are not uh, <laughs> they are not they are not someone that cannot fall or whatever so let's just take it that way but we ourselves we may have some kind of problems in the sense that we listen to men of God and we take something that satisfies our own expectation, our own selfishness. I was saying something in, uh, within, the, uh, within the comment section. Some of us that see go to church, we go to church on, on Sunday, I will still go back to Allen Avenue. I see John and all those, you know, when I see Allen Avenue, I see John, I think people know exactly what I mean. There's no way pastor was asking us to do that. So if we know that we can, a pastor can, okay, don't do this, don't fornicate, don't commit adultery, and people see end up around that place. It simply means that you have your own willpower to go against your church. The same way, pastor can tell you to do some things too, and you can see apply your sense to do whatever you want to do. Behaving that way simply means that they are preaching to us. So I don't see those pastors as our problem. Our problem is that we don't want to do the right thing, and we choose to hide other something. Please, please, sir, that, can that I interject nice briefly? Now, please. now. No, let me quickly. Uh, oh, 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 hold on, um, uh, Rosie. Before you interject, let's hear from uh, Maureen as well. But uh, let all that land the point because now, I, I, I think it's a blame the victim narrative that we're dealing with here. But carry on. <laughs> yeah. it's, not, it, it, it's not the blame the victim, it's just that we like excuses. If we do things at our own convenience. Now, to me, I see churches as part of the are uh, part of the organization that can build a country. I still know some churches with their social corporate social responsibilities. Can churches help us more? Yes, because I attended missionary school. So it is easier for me to understand what churches do, right? So can churches do more? Yes, they can do more. But can we now launch attack against churches for everything that we perceive wrong? That have done. I don't support that because I still believe that churches are still part of what we need to regulate ourselves. Like oh, I used oh, to make a one funny phrase, one funny phrase I say, if we Nigerians are this wicked, despite being religious, what will happen if we are no longer religious? We leave churches, oh, oh. we go back to evils, I will see come back and blame the pastors. That, that's just my opinion about that. So I don't know what the response of Madame Mori will be oh, to oh, that. Oh, oh, all right. A necessary evil is what Ola is saying. A necessary evil, Maureen. Honestly, Mr. Ola, thank you. But um, I'm going to disagree a little bit with you. One thing I know is all these pastors, they need to lead by example. Some of them, they are even worse. I know some of them we are members are the reflect it's what they want is they are the reflection of their pastor now some of these members are slaves that love their chains thank you unfortunately you welcome her unfortunately that so many of us you see the way I, I will continue to say something about the way we're being brought up what they told us while we were growing up is totally different from what I don't ever think all these pastors while I was growing up, the kind of belief, the kind of doctrine, I don't believe some of them can do all these things that I see them do now. You see, they, God they, bless they, you. they paint a different narrative. You see, if you know who W. Kumuyi is in those days, these are people that we see them as if they are they are God, they are very close to God. Well, you know how shattered we, we will be when you see some things. I did not, I'm not, I'm not crazy. I did not come out one day and be the way who I am like this. 
is from things that I listen to, things that I see. There are some information that I cannot even bring out to the public. That we listen, I will listen, I will listen as a child. These people, why are they like this? Do you know how many years they deceive people, giving us the impression that we are serving God? Whereas we are not serving God, we are serving them. And you see, the, either we like it or not, these are things that they have inculcated in us right from foundation. So I don't blame so many people that come here and say, I don't talk about this. This thing is takes a while before you have to begin to, to remove yourself, detach yourself from all this type of belief and doctrine. So members too. They know who they, they most of the you know you know many people that speak like that, did you? When you follow them, some people speak, want to speak like Baba Deboye. Some people behave like WF Kumui. So let's talk, don't let you see all these people. They cunningly did all this thing. It is a four one nine strategy they play on people, but it is very hard. A lot of people will not be, agree with me. Most of the thing they did is not by Bleak at all. They were busy building empire here on earth for themselves. And they are deceiving us, telling us that our treasure is in heaven. You know how... If you know how I sit down at times and I reason and I look at them, a lot of people do not know the reason why I look at them. I say, ah, these people, they fool us what is what is uh depot name doing in Panama? What is his name doing in that Pandora paper as a man of God? When our treasure is supposed to be in heaven, when our focus is supposed to be in heaven. I hope the Lord Almighty help all of us. Honestly, I know a lot of people don't like my face. So many of them, if they see me today, they, I have known a lot of them. They've cried. They've cried to God. And this their God is deceiving them. This year, yeah, God is claimed they are serving. He's deceiving them because they are not serving the true God. Uh, uh, Mr. I I don't share that thing. I know some of us. No. It's what they've inculcated in us. You know, there are some things. It's not easy to just start, just wake up one day and say, you are no more doing what you know. Uh, uh, Maureen, do you think the average Nigerian worshipper, do you think they are, they have been indoctrinated beyond redemption? Is it too late? Yes. For, yes. yes, some people, there is no way. Some people will die like that. You see, it's difficult. Even those of us are abroad, we are like that. Don't you, some of us, they, they, we left Nigeria. We want we can't left Nigeria to this place to come and house. We still serve them. You know the most annoying part of it? You serve Papa, serve Pekin, serve wife, the same God that called them. So the thing, the spirit of God, the anointing of God suddenly turned to sexually transmitted anointing. So the same wife too, God called them. Children too, God called them. And these people did not understand that it is all business strategy and concept. And they are trying to hold on to what belongs to them. When oh they my. want to register these churches, when they want to contribute money, it is our church. But when you go to Corporate Affairs Commission, go and check who and who that church belongs to. We see what happened when they die or anything happen. You see what happened. And you have been contributing your own money for the past maybe 30, 40 years. You'll be putting it there. But when things change, it is that this money, it is one, all these one man churches. I don't I, I I a lot of them don't like me and I don't even want I don't care. Oh, oh, oh I, I think Zita wanted to come in. Zita, oh, you wanted to say, oh, yeah. Man, yeah. Well, to say yeah. Yeah. Oh, hold, hold on, princess. Uh, uh, let's hear from Zita. Yeah. One man. Uh, yeah. uh, first of all, uh Maureen, I must say, if people hate your face, I must say I love your face, and from henceforth. I will continue loving your face. Thank you, ma. Um, one man, 
do you want me to contribute to what she's saying or I, I don't think I need to ask her any question. No, you can con you can contribute. Uh, I, I, you, you may not be aware of Ma Maureen, but uh, she, she's uh, she's the scourge of uh, every pastor. Uh, she's she she's made it a mission to hold these pastors to account, and severally they've been after her, lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit. So she's been to the trenches with these people. So she she has an understanding of what she's talking about. But uh, let's say from you, Zita. Okay, let me first of all address what Ola said. You know, this the victim is the problem. I want to say that before now, when we don't have the so much of Pentecostalism around us, the churches there were then, when you are going to church, you are being taught what I will say, mannerism, the God's way how to be clean, how to be righteous. And I believe then Christians and churchgoers were better behaved. Ola, they don't go to church in those days and go to Allen Avenue. Even if they do, they do that in secret because they had the understanding that it's a sacrilege for you to do such a thing as a Christian. But today, you can comfortably say that, yes, they go to church, they go to Allen Avenue. But I don't want to go to that side. When I Ma want Madame to... Zita, they do. Huh? Mata, Madame Zita. Oh, 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 let, let, so, no, sorry, no, no, no. I, yeah, yeah, so, sorry, carry on, Zita. So, sorry, just for a moment for her to, uh, because it's not documented at Fort Theater, but carry on, Zita. When I want to discuss issues oh. like this, I like to go from the roots. When this Pentecostalism came up, they took over the job of teachers, they took the job of lawyers, they took the job of doctors. Some of them removed shock and the uh, offer and war suit. So now, in as much as People don't want to go see a lawyer for a case. People don't want to read again and listen to their teachers. People don't want to see a doctor for a, an a health that can be treated. They prefer to go and see a pastor. And at a point, I was wondering, more I don't have idea of what I went through in the hands of these guys. It's not something I'm going to discuss here. It's, a, it's funny that I met somebody who has the same thought as I do about this man. People are defending them. I asked a simple question to one woman one day that was giving her money, name of pastor withheld. I said, a man of God gave you a leave oil gave you a handkerchief he called mountain mountain and told you this is going to protect you you rub the olive oil on your door you rub it on your forehead you rub it on your car and this same man of god is moving around town with heavy security and i asked her one simple question where is the olive oil for him where is the mantle for him? I never get an answer when I ask those kind of questions. But it is what it is. I call it brainwashing. I even heard that most of them use means. They do mm -hmm. all manner of things that when you walk into their church and listen to them the first time. You wanted to say shrine. You wanted to say shrine there. You <laughs> said we wanted to say, uh, I heard you realign your, but well, carry on. <laughs> Madam, Madam Zita. Please, can I interject, please, for a sure, second? Sure, sure, sure. Okay, you see, what pains me most is this. I work in the medical field, and you will see some of these pastors, they deceive their followers. It's so heartbreaking. Some of them are sick, they have cancer. They will tell them the money they will use to go treat themselves. They should give them that money that they'll be praying for them. You will see these people, they will die. The pastors have collected their money to be praying for them. These people, they would 
brainwash them so much that these are learned people. Instead of them to go to take chemotherapy, take the right treatment, they say, no, my pastor said I should not. My pastor is praying for me. The pastor would tell them. You, 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 you know, uh, you, you, sorry, sorry, princess. I'm not sure why somebody has not explored that space legally and make one it's of these so pastors call, call for woman, somebody's death. That yeah. was a woman that was pregnant. These guys, they are like a cartel. They have power. Mm. This is abroad. It's not even Nigeria. This is abroad. This is in the US here. There is a woman that was heavily pregnant, having issues. The pastor said he would pray for her. She was giving pastor instead of her to get get the right. You see, I see this in the hospitals. It breaks my heart. And these are the same pastors that when they have issues, they seek medical help, but they collect money from some of their gullible followers and say they are praying for them. Whereas instead of encouraging them to say, you see, God is not the one that has given this doctor the knowledge to be able to help you. Go ahead with the treatment. We are backing with prayers. No, that their is own is give me the money you want to go to, just to spend in the hospital and I will support you in prayers. And they die. They are dying like flies. It's so heartbreaking. I see this. So, oh, oh, oh. but now that's why I said, Pastor hey, Ola, I don't agree with you that these churches have come to build the society. Most of them have come to destroy the society. They have come to steal and to rob people. Oh, 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 all right, just to present a counter narrative, uh, uh, oh, 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 a, a little bit. Um, uh, uh, for it's still my of, space. Yeah, it's, it, it's still your space, but uh, then you can you can lead uh, on this counter narrative. Do, uh, do, do they not fulfill some form of a necessity, whether there are fake pastors or fake churches or not? They they provide uh they 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 provide a space of hope in a space that there is hopelessness. You know, you you might well not know that a lot of these are uh, pastors. They actually even pre prevent things like suicide when they give people hope to the future for them to aspire towards something, either miracle or made up which then gives them something to look forward to in the future is the hope that they provide. Is it not sufficient enough of a, of a service to make them a necessity? Um, uh, it, uh, yeah. One man, you are trying to put two things together and call it one. Are you talking about religion and belief gives hope? Or are you talking about pastors giving hope? These are the two different things. No, no, they are not interchangeable now. The pastors no, are, the, are, the, are the pathway to religion. When you when you know they are not, my Bible is pathway to my religion, which is Christianity. I don't know about other religion. I can only talk about my own religion, which some of them have pastors, some have reverend fathers, some have elders and all whatnots. It's not only pastors there are. So when you talk about pastors give hope, I wouldn't buy that because we have counselors that can give hope. Some counselors are even better than pastors because they study it. They do it from their heart. Some therapists are 1 million percent better than most of these pastors. I am not saying religion should be thrown away, no. Belief should be left with people. They should believe in something. It will give them hope. But this drama that is going on in Pentecostal churches, I, for one, don't even want to call them Pentecostal churches again. I would prefer them to be called business athletes. You know why? Maureen don't seem to call to know where I'm coming from. My elder sister, who happens to be a doctorate degree holder, died of cancer, believing in a pastor. With everything provided for her to have the surgery, she might live for maybe six, seven, eight, ten 10 years more. Thank you, Madam Zita. That's what I see every day in the hospital. A pastor. And the stories and this thing you say, hope, hope, hope. And my sister died. 
It's so annoying that she's very brilliant, a lecturer, a doctorate degree, would how they cut them. I don't know. Because I know that most, most highly educated people, they don't believe in anything, but they don't believe in their fellow man. Uh, 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 Zita, Ma Maureen was saying earlier before you joined us that uh, some of these people, they leverage diabolical powers. I said that before, that some of them use some things so that when you hear them speak, you keep coming. It's really a devastating situation in Nigeria. I have to say this on this platform. I had a friend, well, a schoolmate that happened to be a regional manager in one of the banks in Nigeria. So I had a little cousin that did banking and finance in one of the universities. And she kept disturbing me. I told her I cannot talk to that lady because twice I have sent her people, she came with an excuse. So I sent her to the lady and she went there and introduced me. Do you know what happened? This lady called me. She's my schoolmate at the university. We are past, we are bodies, why we were in the university. And told me that my cousin came to her, blah, 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 blah. I said, you see, I'm not interested because you will tell me story why you won't take her. He said, okay. Then I actually needed somebody who studied banking of money. I'm not taking you people's time, just a brief story. And I said, let her just go and dust her note. Just try to pass the objective, you know, and then leave the rest for her. That she's really ready to help. Do you know that I went to work? My cousin is supposed to be dusting her notes as instructed. Woman, I'm trying to tell you what these religious bigots, what they have done to our society. They're not giving anybody hope because it's fake. I went to work. I came back by 5.30, 6, 7, 8, 8.30. My cousin is not back in the house. I was like, what? Her phone was not going. Let her the phone went. Ah, that she's already close to the house. She's coming back. By the time I saw my cousin, she was battered with olive oil. She was looking like somebody who was soaked in an olive oil. This is a girl who has a test tomorrow. So where are you coming from? That she's coming from church anointing for her pastor to anoint her so that when she gets there, they will give her the job. What? You are not reading anything. And she's holding one bottle in her hand. So tomorrow morning after batting, she put it on front of her forehead. And that's what is going to answer the question for her. She went to a pastor and the pastor told her that. Obviously she failed. <laughs> She felt and she felt woefully. Madam Zita, is that hope? Is that giving hope? <laughs> okay. I'm no, talking no, about but that, that is one. That, I don't you know, think that, that's what the hope woman is talking about, though. No, no, no that, that's that's um that, that's a, that's just an example that uh, uh, you know there's there's always an example that this proves the point. Uh, uh but but Zita, let, let's let's see if um Ma Maureen agrees. Um uh, what I'm suggesting, Maureen, is that a uh, fake pastor or no fake pastor, you have a situation of hopelessness, and whatever these people tell them, because they have so much faith in them, it gives them hope of something for the future. So, so uh, what, what I'm suggesting is that is that not in itself a, a service of some form? No, sir, I disagree with you on that. You see, they are giving people false hope. It, that one is dangerous. They are telling them what is not. They are deceiving people. That is, you see, all these things you are we are seeing now is the accumulation of what they have done in the past. Jesus did not give us false hope. Instead of trying to take me, their members the truth that yes, God is this, so God can heal, but medicals. Medically, science is for his dear to help us. God give wisdom. 
is this through the wisdom of God they develop all these things. If it is hope, why is it that they did? Why is it, some of them come here to come and do surgery, come and come and do for medical checkup, and they tell you that you should not use drug? Go, that they, they it is fate. You are praying alone. That is they are misleading the the, the vulnerable ones. You know how many people? You know how many how many people that have died like that? It is no that false hope is not by Blicker. Oh, 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 all right, Maureen. A lot of yes, people have been, yeah. I was just trying to um speak to what you mean by hope. You see, I don't know if we are familiar. There was a pastor that built a little small house for one particular uh one woman, uh, she was wretched, kind of like poor. And she, the, the, this pastor didn't tell that church. Uh, no, I take that back. It was, I think it was has to do with uh, um, a couple that lost their daughter in the north. Yeah, no, it was North. Deborah. Deborah, yes. yes. I, I, I'm and familiar. That, uh, uh, pastor Fafun, Fafun or something. Okay. F and that, Fafun, yes. Yes, yeah, okay. I know him, yeah. And, and that pastor donated a, a, a building to the family. Now, that is the kind of hope I want to believe you are talking about. When you have a pastor that sees the need of somebody in the society that, you know, that it comes to the aid of that, not the church building schools, you know, leveling the, 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 the patrons to pay certain amount of money. So that is the kind of hope. And if any of us here, because we are all matter, right, we get sick. I don't know if you've ever been in the shoe of people, people who are sick, who really have no hope that you know all they are waiting for is for death to come and you have somebody who is preaching the you know, word of god to them i said look you don't really have to you know subscribe to it but believe in it with the hope that it will give you you know the eternal rest or you know maybe after life now people buy into this because it's just providing succor at that moment not necessarily that it's going to bring miracle to them. So that kind of hope depends on how you define it. And don't get me wrong, there are some pastors that will want to swindle you simply because they've seen their meal ticket and you're rich and you, you're in need of such uh, 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 hope. And they will, they will come in trouble. They will, they will come. But hope in the midst of hopelessness, when everything is down and you have someone who can tap you in the shoulder and say, let me take your body in a little bit. I think that's the hope you're talking about. Yes, uh, probably. Yeah. Sorry, uh, one more, sorry. Adewale, yeah. The pastor you are talking about is OPM in Port Harcourt. <laughs> Maybe you've not been following him. He's not actually... I don't know how to put it. Actually, I will say he's running a charity organization. Yes. Not actually pastor. He's running. Because if you listen to him say that, say some certain things, you will know that he's calling some people stupid. And since you cannot do the right thing, I'll do it for you. Because he said, some people will not help the needy. Some people will not give their wife money. Some people will not pay their children's school fees, but they will bring the money to the church. Listen to him carefully when he speaks. And he said, don't worry. When you bring it, I will do it for you. <laughs> so if you watch that pastor, OPM, uh, mm -hmm. he, he doesn't really have... Well, what, what's his name? Is it Fofuno for, for, for or something No, like no, that? it's an Igbo name. He's from... He's, 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 he's from, actually he's from, from Azumini. Uh, uh, okay. Mm, because his, his brother was my colleague. Actually, his, his family is actually Jehovah Witness. So he's not actually like... Hmm. He runs more of a, a charity organization if you follow his trend. So he picked those people, he do those things, he builds houses for them. What he's doing is that he's collecting money from those people who believe nothing can be done outside of doing it in the church. Madam Zita, it's so more Madam like Zita, an NGO. It's more like an so, NGO. Yes, right. Okay, Madam Zita, so you are saying that guy is not running a church? Well, he preaches, yes. He preaches. You are saying he's not running a church? I don't know how to put it. Okay, it is let me, let me, 
let me not let me let me try and correct something you see the guy who has done something that is contrary to the scripture you classify them as running a church the guy who has done something according to the scripture no no no, no, classify, no okay I wait and not you now to. not you now not no, you that's uh, no, but we now classify them as running a charity no the uh, point is this no I, I, i'm not talking about you that's general feeling but one thing you do is this if you want to check a car that is good you don't go to the junkyard you understand mm -hmm. you you look for the car maybe you go to the car shop that's when you check a car that is good not in the junkyard so you don't judge the quality of pastors by the pastors in the junkyard you judge them by christ and by what christ represents no no there no, are no, a, a number no, of them no hold on do you know why i said that about him no i'm not i, I agree no, with wait, you because he does a lot of that i just want to say something he's hmm. preaching he's preaching he's he, his preaching does not really carry down holy thing of the what his preaching does not carry down holy thing if i may say yeah but that's that thing that he's doing eh? that is christianity I christianity know, is not it's not the holy holy no, no, thing no 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 Ho hold on um um patrick i i i i'm not I, i'm not sure that uh zeta is questioning necessarily his christianity uh, but uh the, the, the or the christianity of charity but I, 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 correct me if I'm wrong, Gazeta. You are questioning the depth of his faith. Uh, is, is that where you are? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. So because actually, I, why do you question the depth of his faith? Because of other things he does. You know? Okay, like sleeping so, around with women, like no, things. no, 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 no. I don't do that. I don't. I okay, like <laughs> what? Don't worry. Like what does he do that? Like what does he do that? That if, that if, negates if, faith. If you if you let us, she will tell you. Uh, okay, please. At like least, what does he do that negates faith? I have I have said something. He said it himself. He is on television every Sunday. You can start listening to him. He is on YouTube. You can start listening to him. That way you will understand what I am saying. He has said it. One, I said it here before. He said, these people oh. don't want to do anything outside of the church. Oh, oh, oh. They don't oh, want oh, to oh. pay the children's school fees. They don't want to give their wife. They don't want to take care of them. So it's going to help them to do it. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, oh, all right, guys. Uh, we have a guest, so let's hear from her. Uh, so um, some of the comments that we have been seeing in the comment section are, are Maureen. Is the uh the narrative between you and Essa Bird, the lady based in uh in uh in, in uh, Ireland? So that that was a bit of a buffer in uh in, in Ireland. Ireland. So Sorry, that, that was a bit of a buffer. Uh, hola, hola. Oh, I think you should meet Ola. No, no, yeah, I've just done. Uh, so, so that was a bit of a, a, a rough, a rough of fight, you and Essa Bird, a, a, a bit similar to your encounter with a Coco Mama. So, so talk us through that space, um, Essa Bird. You, you know, I use, I, I tried to listen to her once upon a time, but, but, but I, I couldn't just, I, I couldn't get my head into what she was talking about, and I wasn't keen on her language, so I just abandoned it. But, uh, you and Essa Bird, uh, how did it start and how did it end? Honestly, um, I don't have any issues with her. Unfortunately, I met her outside social media because I I was living in Ireland, and my I got to know her, and sincerely, this was through my ex. My ex introduced her to me as auntie in quotes. Me, I don't know anything. And this particular day, I was going to Dublin to do cargo. So we, she, she, and she's somebody that called me, asked my, after my wedding, and we branch on that day. When we got to her house, the kind of drama that happened in that house. 
made me to like what's going on she was just playing asking questions and everything and me i was just observing was that you was that with your partner then yes we, i went with my partner okay. so on getting there and i was like the pressure they gave me is my aunt so it was after i left there i was forced to call my ex mother to ask that what who is do you know so so and so 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 person the woman said don't mind that how come is a kitty and uh if i don't they that you didn't mind that woman that they are not related so i i was just looking she will call me kind of manipulate me ah this boy this man did this one is this is that and i got to a stage he got to a stage I begin to add two plus two. I had to face that man. And I said, "Come, what is what is between what is the relationship between you and this guy?" He said, "No, she's my sister." Until one night, he now told me exactly what was going on, how the whole thing started, and I was like, "Ah, oh!" So from there, I blocked her when she came up. You know, you know the kind of ma trying to manipulate to cause confusion between you. So I blocked her. That was how I don't talk to her anymore. And that was then. And something now happened. When I was talking about Ojo, I didn't talk to her. I didn't see her anymore. I blocked her honestly. And it happened on Soji's platform. And this is a honest truth. And she came online. Hey, I know Maureen. Maureen, you see? And you see as of that time to be candid with you. She, she came online and said openly that, Maureen, I'll be waiting for you. I know that one day you will, you will fall into my trap. And she says all sorts of things. And you see at that time, if you mention her name, hey, come and see people that will attack you. And by then, I don't even have a platform. But I use my little uh, uh, my little profile. And I and I responded. And, were, and I, that was how I just forgot about her. I didn't talk about her anymore. But since then, she has been looking for one way or the other to attack me. Any small thing. So when I started this blog... They gave me the impression, they continue to say it in their carcass. You know, the hey, is it that you belong to a year or you belong to a way you cannot survive? And I said I will not belong to any one of them because my mission is totally different from what you guys are doing. And I stood my ground. So she always looked for one way or the other to attack Maureen. I will ignore her. She will say us, I will just ignore her. She will come up and say, Ah, the day she came to my house, she did this. She and I said. There's nothing like that. When they continue saying, I remember there was a day my ex called. I had to recall him. That come, so so and so so and so so. And he said, Do you want me to go out and say something? I said, Don't worry. So I do not have any issues with her. So when the opportunity or something in the Yoruba nation comes just to discredit me. She stood up. She did all sorts of things. And I was just laughing. I remember during Ojo, Ojo, them ran to her. And eventually we come out. Fumi Biji were all of them and said that they paid that money. Just to attack me. So whenever I come up with a... Whenever I'm doing any projects, she will come and do it. Me, I just ignore her. So I don't have any issue with that. Uh, she, 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 I, I used to think that she was significantly older, so I, I didn't know she was uh, still available to men. I thought she was uh, uh, I thought she was significantly you know, older. That time, this one I'm talking about, I think she's more than 10 years older than this, my ex. Personally, I never knew they were doing anything. I thought they are brother and sister. Until he confessed to me with his mouth. Uh, and that omoye omoye sort of thing that they do uh what what is that is that um 
is that uh, is that um, tra tra traditional? Uh, are, they, uh, are they Christians or tra traditionalists? No, no, what no, is no, there? No, 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 they are not Christian, they are not Muslim. There are two factions fighting online, that's all, two groups. That was all. I mean, I said on social media we have one million, one more than two, one billion, two hundred billion, fifty billion people online. It's not only Yoruba people that listen. And I stood my ground and I started, and I and I decided to do my program. And as God we have it, we are here today. I didn't have any issues with her. Honestly, why should I beef her? Why should I fight her? And within herself, she know what she did. You know, they all be, there was have been a time she come out. Ah, Marina, Marina, she's actually saying the truth. I will not answer. They, she will use the. I remember there was a time she sent the other guy to come and meet me. I was just looking because I don't want trouble. I don't want their story. I don't want their. We are not fighting. Why should I fight her on top of waiting? But she's looking for one way or the other just to discredit me, to break me down. But you see, that's the, that's the, that's the honest truth I want to say about it. Uh, all right. You know that Omoaye, Omoaye thing, um, uh, it, 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 some of our audience may not be 100% uh, on that space. But can you just... The pure Yoruba thing. Yeah, can, can you briefly just give us a, a, if you know enough about it, just a feel of... I don't of, know uh, anything, uh, I, don't, uh, uh, I don't want to get into their trouble. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm sorry. This particular one, I decline. Oh, 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 all right. It's so, so highly, it's highly controversial, and I don't. So, 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 so there is something you are afraid of. So we finally found what you are afraid of, and the no, name is. It's eh? not as if I'm afraid. It's just that there is a call for. It's none of my business. What, what their own is totally different because I don't even want to go into it. Um, I know of it. I watched it. I saw it going on on social media, but it's not something I really want to discuss. Be, because um, there, there, there's quite a lot of presence in that space. There's a there's a woman. I don't know her name. I think she's based in Woolwich, uh, in in in, in London somewhere. She I want you go and look for them. Or me, I don't want uh, to talk about them. Whoever. Uh, that uh, you all are right. About, you, 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 don't, you don't want you don't want to be you don't you don't want to be pushed. Yes. Uh, 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 all right. Uh, 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 all right. Uh, so, so t t tell us then. Uh, w w what's the latest video at the moment? Uh, where, 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 where are you in terms of uh, all of the controversies that surround you? Uh, which ones have been settled, and which ones as, are you still contending with? Uh, so, so wh where are you now in terms are of? Are you talking uh, in terms of litigation? Well, litigation, uh, and then your return to the because you've left a, a huge void in the social media space. And, and people people would like to see your return. So so, what's your pathway back to return? Uh, 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 in terms honestly, of our... honestly, honestly, uh, the issue of social media, fine. Uh, I, yeah, Autobola. You see much... this? Yeah, carry on. I'm yeah. still much. You see, you see, this whole thing is when they know that. When they mention your name, it will generate traffic. So definitely they will look for something, except you know how to manage them. They want to bring into their so and I and I decided not to have one. I understand the way things work very well when it comes to social media. So there are some things I, I there are some bad too. I'm not ready to it doesn't really worth it. Because it's just they'll just drain your energy for nothing. Honestly, I my I'm working on something. I'm coming back bigger, stronger, and people should watch out. But it's not um uh right now. Um, I'm very very busy. As soon as things begin, yeah, I'm less busy. I'll come back. But you, I still you, go on my I still go on my Facebook to yes. I was I was just going to say that you still have a presence on Facebook, on Facebook, Facebook yeah, yeah. Instagram. I'm still there except YouTube, and I hope hopefully it will be resolved because I am. I'm I'm on it because that lies. Whatever is going to take me, I would I will get to the bottom of it. So, uh, 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 all right. Can, can, can you? Uh, uh, one man, one man. Chris, I have a question for this man. man is talking about traffic, traffic, traffic here. A point of correction. Let's get one thing clear. 
when I started blogging anything, I didn't do it because I'm looking for traffic or I'm looking for name or I'm looking for money. As of the time I was doing this, I was using my own resources. You know how many years I was blogging before I could earn a dime? It is unfair. Coming here, it's all about traffic. It's all about traffic. No. But for you on your behalf, maybe you don't know what to tell the person. Can I address it on your behalf? Yes, my sister. Okay. You see, the blogging is a business that is put out there for people to use to earn a living. Yeah, negative or positive, somebody might use it to earn a living. Maybe you decided to use your own to be exposing the ills of the society in the choice. That's fine. You are working. You are using it to earn money. And so what? Some people do their own in negative form. They might be blogging for looking at celebrities, bringing their dirty leanings in the public, and they're using it to earn money. That is a space that is created in the internet, just like in those days. You remember a, 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 a beauty company called Avon. They do such a thing, they create such a space where people can sit down in a corner and create wealth for themselves. And I asked the person saying traffic, traffic, what is wrong in somebody creating wealth for yourself? The question you should be asking, what Maureen is saying, is it evil? Is she lying? I think that's the question you should be asking. And if you think she's lying, tell us the truth. Because I personally don't like it when people say you are lying without bringing the truth. It's quite repulsive. So she's doing a job. She's working, doing those investigations, doing those travel, reading all those things. It's a kind of work. She's working and she's earning a living. Now the question shouldn't be she's going for traffic. Yes, everybody who is doing anything in life wants perfection. And the more you perfect in what you do, the more you earn more. So what is wrong if she decides to look for traffic? If she can go out to bring a very interesting stories that are true, that people can learn from and change their ways, then what? One man, I think some people's comments need to be dropped. Madam, let's focus. Can, Madam Zika, please, can I add to what you're saying? Thank you. <laughs> you see, one thing about wealth is this do you know how people generate wealth you generate wealth when you have a passion and you walk towards your passion you are going you are working with you are doing something with your i mean with so much passion most of you don't even come out because you want to make money but because you are so passionate about it wealth generates from there most of these people that are billionaires today that's how they made their billions so when that person is saying traffic, traffic, that person I don't think is thinking straight. The internet is open for everybody to go there and generate traffic. But when you are passionate about something, Maureen is passionate about saying the truth. So she's exposing the evils in the society and she's, been, she's making money out of it. So what's the big deal? The person is not saying what you're doing wrong. I know who the person is. <laughs> I'm seeing the person oh, you the, and the person, person is telling person. one man to tell you tell me that it's him and the, that person is one of the most intelligent person people we have in this platform I'm even surprised sometimes they shock us that's why we say we are humans he is one of the smartest people we have in this platform so I'm surprised he's saying this if Maureen is looking for traffic he's a walk now She's working. We should do more in concentrating. What is she putting out there in her, in her blog? Is she lying? Is she saying the truth? Is she doing a right investigation? And she's doing something wrong. Then her traffic, will, the, the traffic is there, but she might not get it. It's as simple as ABC. 
Oh, 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 all right. And just to add to that, if you are online, then it's all about the traffic. Uh, otherwise, you can just sit down in a bar and talk to your friend. Uh, why would you be online and not want the traffic? Of course, you want the traffic. Uh, but uh, it's also, I'm not quite sure. Benny, uh, that's you being told of by, uh, by Zeta. Uh, so, 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 so. Uh, and Benny that was saying that uh, all of that space uh, that is, 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 is beneath him, uh, they look at his comments. He, know all, all of, he knows all of their names. Uh, Otobola. Esabot, Shade, Ogbe, etc. Et they are all in the same bracket. So, so you, you say, no, so, no, but, man. Uh, but, but somebody that is snobbish, yeah, you seem to know a lot man, about them. <laughs> I, think, I think it's high time I answer this man. Hmm. You see, for the father, you know, you've been saying all sort of rubbish since morning, typing rubbish since morning. I try to ignore you. Call me here we to say all of us were in all brackets. That is very, very insulting. We don't use that kind of language. Yeah, we don't. Uh, we don't say people say rubbish or type rubbish. I'm so uh, sorry, uh, about, uh, madam. Uh, sorry uh, about uh, that. No, uh, no, uh, uh, yeah, hold, hold on, Patrick. Yeah. Patrick, I will not take guess. it. Try to. Yeah. This man continue to insult me since morning. I saw all the things he has. He has been attacking me. I ignored. So he's writing rubbish, and is if he can bring out his face, I will answer him. Morning. I know that you are from my state, so <laughs> we know to take oh, rubbish. Oh, 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 all right. Oh, 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 no, Maureen, just give ignore. it to me now. I give it to you. I, I don't so, some people will make you see. So they will be getting as if that. Just ignore, I beg you. No, no, no. no, no. Maureen, Maureen has been around the social media space for long. Yeah, so you, you, you know, 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 you you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, the comment section, you just leave them alone because some of no, the things you see, yeah. when some people wants to constitute nuisance, you give it to them. He wants attention, and I will give it to him. I, I, I you know what is fine though, is a is a SAN. SAN, you know, know, you know, you know, uh, SAN. SAN eh? is all right. I don't <laughs> care who he is. You cannot continue to come here and be saying all sort of nonsense and you want me to be quiet. Say hey, still by respect, I right? maybe not have fun now. Who, who is his own SAN? boy if Madam, but if they say that you are all in the same market, there's no, really nothing no, wrong with that. That's not, that is not in the same saying. market or you are, you are bracket, dead. Bracket, bracket, bracket. Bracket. That is not no, I know you mean bracket, but I want to redefine that. No, you see, if you are, if you are all, oh, Madam, I've not said anything now. Let me even talk to you. What I'm saying is that if someone is saying everybody in that, pla in that uh, channel, they are there to maybe drive traffic or you see drive to no it's he, he's, he's only saying the obvious now i want to tell you one that's thing. not insulting go back you know you, you know i've stayed here for more than three hours and i and i you see i am here i i read all the comments all the comments i can give you everything from day one what he's saying with is it everything i i follow it up and I didn't say anything. I look at him, but he's, he's insulting me, and I now would not take it. So, oh, 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 all right, let's bring things back to a hundred percent. Anybody one with man, a question? Yeah, yes. One more, please. Can I say something? Uh, go on. I think it would have been fair enough for us to have a guest, a guest speaker. The speaker speaks. So we ask her questions on what she is saying she came in to speak to us about instead of talking about her business and what she's doing can we talk about what she's talking about the information yeah, she's it, giving it, us it, and what it, she's yes. teaching us because it's a kind of trying to be repulsing now i'm not oh, a oh. feminist but I'm, I'm not oh, like well, you are a feminist, but that I is nothing. Not, I, I, I'm, I'm a like, feminist too, by the way. So, so don't worry about that. We're all feminists in some form. Uh, but uh, we've been doing that all the way through uh, before you joined us. But um, uh, uh, but, um Maureen is a is a very well known uh, figure uh, in the social media space in the Nigerian space within the Christendom and, and uh, entertainment. 
So a lot of people know her and a lot of people have opinions about what she does, what, how she does it. So uh, what you are say, saying, there are residual positions that people have traditionally held about her. So it's not necessarily anything she has said here, but opinions that they've held all the way through uh, they are knowing her and her views on her. On, on her, because she has very strong views, as you can hear. Uh, but uh, let's get back to our guest, of course. Uh, uh, so uh, any questions now? So it's really uh, more questions than opinions. So any questions now for Maureen? Uh, whilst we still have her. Uh, so, so questions for Maureen. Please, I have a question for Sister Maureen. Yeah, carry on. Yeah, Sister Maureen, please, when would you start... Uh, uh... Uh, oh, Fefe, that you were doing before. When would you go back to it? That's interesting. Is, is that uh, uh, is that afford uh, something? Ah, Sule money. Are we back to Sule money again? That episode. I follow you back to back, bumper to bumper, dear sister. <laughs> honestly, honestly, honestly. Uh, there are so many things that uh, uh, we're going to come up with so many things. We're working on something. We will come back, definitely. We will come back. Okay, thank you. Looking You're forward welcome. to that. Mm. Uh, well, Madam Maureen. Sir? How can I make millions of dollars on YouTube like you? You want to give me an idea? I want to be rich. Who is on the line? Oh, yes, Ola. I am from your brother from your from your state now. I want so to you like honestly, I, I, honestly, I don't make that much. You know, you know, you know, everybody. You know, whenever I come online, three thousand, two thousand. When I'm doing live program like this, one thousand. People thought I made so much money. Yes, I. I won't say they didn't pay me. I have a lot of followers. I have a lot of they subscribe. They we have different levels. Yes. And and to God be the glory. I didn't do anything. I was just doing my thing. I didn't promote it. All I have to come. I have somebody, I don't get anybody. I'll come, I talk my thing, I go. But you see, one thing that the secret of the whole thing is stick to what you believe. Forget about changing the narrative, all of them coming together, doing all sorts of things. If it is what you believe, stick to it and continue to do it. Initially, it might not pay off, but after some time, it will definitely pay off. That is my belief. Oh, 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 all right, still talking about my, um, uh, money, uh, Maureen. I, and I know you say you say you don't want to speak to anything litigation and all that. Uh, uh, but uh, with the uh, with the uh, Pastor Olukoye uh, space, uh, you were you were invoiced with, uh, Olukoye. with the Olukoya, yes, with the Pastor Olukoya space. You were invoiced with a hundred thousand uh, pounds uh, by, by the courts. Uh, so, so uh, are you challenging that, or are, are you just writing a check from those millions, or are you canvassing for funds, or how, how, how you are you looking to address that bill, a hundred thousand pounds uh, from the courts? Honestly, uh, I strongly believe that I am not going. I've said it, and I, I'm saying it. I will not come here to beg anybody for money, to pay anybody. Mbano. I'll pay for whatever resources that I have. If uh, this is a Western world, if I want to pay, it's me tested. Whatever I'm generating, they will, they will, I'll work it out and I'll pay. Because I'm a law abiding citizen. Whatever they find me, which I will pay. But I'm not coming out to beg anybody to pay. Nobody should. I won't, mm, if I come to, online, I come ahead me to pay me say for past or mm, don't, don't, don't give me. Cut, cut this video and and and, and say money, but no. Sister Maureen, please make because, payment uh, plan. Please make payment plan. Fifty pounds per month. I told them. So that's what I have. But this is in bad. So something bad. If you push up, I shall on top. Because they didn't give you the window for appeal. Uh, you tried to appeal, and the court said no. 
no what actually happened is you know the whole thing is a is a that easy thing but with time i don't want to say anything i still maintain it when it comes to the issue of this litigation of a thing i will respect because i'm a law-abiding citizen and there are certain things i still have to respect so uh, okay, uh, talking about being law abiding, uh, somebody that now has to abide by a court judgment, you won a victory against uh, uh, Suleiman. Uh, but but uh, how how are you then uh, uh, looking Suleiman to. Suleiman is not legally resident in the United Kingdom. He doesn't yeah, but, have. He, has, he, he doesn't have attachable properties here. He he, uh, Suleiman did not even register that church in, in his name or anything. So it is all scam. So, so you can't chase him then for, for the court except, award? Except I want to go and chase him from Nigeria. And I don't think I... I beg. Uh, have, have you got any 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 sort of like uh, signals, any response from his camp, from him? So uh, man, as, as it, he doesn't want to pay, that's all. Initially, he wrote to my lawyer they are going to pay. Eventually, he ran away and, you know, I beg. The most important thing is you see the style of the he can, he can also be paying 100 100 naira now. I he mean, can even can... start to pay what one p. I don't know, I'm sure he will be able oh. to do that. Yeah. Mm, he should. Oh, 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 all right. Any other question for uh but you you were saying something uh, uh, when you were talking about the uh deeper life space and, and you were talking about her uh, homosexuality and all that uh is that sort of gay something? Is it rife within the Nigerian Christian dumb space? Um, because I've not heard any re any any reports of uh those sort of practices. Uh, or, or is, is that see, is that? I could, is... I could recall. You see, there are so many things that happen. Why even in deeper life, why some of them were growing up. I remember on my life program, some people called in because I remember when we started the deeper life. They wanted to start the deeper life thing when people came out out of frustration some of them called in and i called that sister back and i have another sister that she's even a daughter of a pastor because of what her experience while she was growing up she left christianity she's not she's not a latest so there are so many of them like that you see there are so many things we hear behind closed door and when you go you when you even in there do you remember don david's case recently Yes, the the boy that was uh it, it was it was in yeah yeah I remember. So you know the you know how the way they cover 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 cover. There's so many things going on because they don't like media. They know immediately it goes out of media. It will tarnish their image, and they try everything within their power to cover it. So uh, honestly. Nigerians, we still have a long way to go. The day we begin to accept the truth and they will stop calling red black, that's when we have a better country. Because even the followers, they are worse than the people who, who is leading them. Oh, 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 all right. A a any more questions for Maureen? Uh, Solomon is asking you about Odumeje and Ade uh, Boyagba in london so what do you you are talking about boyega, of, Ade boyega uh, yes that, that's what is it's uh <laughs> I, mean, I, yeah. I don't want to say anything are they pastors are these people pastor you, because um uh, yeah that, that is a pastor? question though are they that, pastors? That's, a que that's a question because um the question is is odumeje odumeje is he a pastor or just a showman so that's that's a question that a lot of people is, ask. Is, 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 you are talking are you talking about Pastor Toby? Is Toby a pastor? He's a goosey pastor, designer pastor. Thank you. Is Odumeje a pastor? You see, there are so many, you know, you see, when you want to talk about a man of God, some they still they garnish it and cover it. When you want to talk about bad boy, you know, you will know that at least their own is in a systematic way. What well, these people you are mentioning their name, they are not pastors. They still have some elements. You see, when you still talk about that, and all this one we are talking about, you will still see that at least whether they disguise or pretend you, 
you will still see godliness, small, small in there. But all these ones, ah, I'm asking, and I'm asking the person that asked me, are they, I don't know what they do. Are they actually a pastor? Because we don't need to deceive ourselves. Example of who is a pastor is in Titus. If you open your Bible, you see it. If you don't see anything, con anything contrary to that, it's not, it's not it. Because how can you call Dumeje a pastor? Or is it Pastor Toby that you want? Is it Toby that you want to call a pastor? So you, you see, there's so many things. Who, who, who would you call a pastor? You personally, who would you call a pastor? I will call Pastor Gwile Akoni a pastor. Sorry, what's his uh, what's his outfit? Uh, his um church. I don't, for, know him, yeah. I, I don't know him. I don't really follow a lot oh, of. You don't know things. Pastor Gwile? Yeah, Pastor uh, yeah, yeah. Brad Gwile is a pastor. There uh, are so many what, pastors. Uh, 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 Brad Gwile is a pastor. He's based in Boko. He's yeah, uh, a seat. Is seed, uh, I think it's seed of life ministry. Seed of in life, Boko. Yeah. Right. yeah, and then, is, um, is yeah, there on, on YouTube? Yeah, even, um, even in um, London, there, Pastor Paul Ginodu is a pastor. You probably know him. I don't know okay. if you know Reverend Paul Ginodu, New Covenant Church. He's a I pastor. Don't know him yeah, that's why you probably don't know him. He's not the very loud time. There are so many pastors all over the place. God always leave, leave a remnant for himself. So, it's uh it's just that the ones that are the fake ones are the loudest ones so it's okay oh, oh, oh i've got another question for you maureen uh, uh sorry i think i got a little question yeah yeah yes uh, uh miss maureen can we say with all this uh tribulation and the war they are waging against you from the uh uh, Christian leader, can, can, can we really say that God is preparing you for the future? Maybe you're gonna own your own ministry too. To I'm not that. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm uh, not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not ready for that kind of thing. If God called you, you're not going to answer. Ah, uh, you see, I don't think God will call somebody like me. Oh, uh, you call yourself Christian, right? You think God? Yes, yeah, but you see the kind. What I'm doing is ministry, you know. So my own kind of ministry is totally different from God called me to be saying what God did not say. No, I will not. So I love what I'm doing. And I want to remain where I am. If God wants to use me, let God use me in this area. So I don't want to run a church. Oh. Okay. Uh, let me ask another question. So, well... Um, what what can you say about uh, um, what do you call this thing? This um, ten percent. What do you call it? This uh, tie. Oh, tie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it is it is is it in? Uh, is it biblical or not? Is it yeah? Is it is it um, biblical? Um, See my brother. I'll yeah. be very, very straightforward in this, and I won't even go if we go this way. You see, first offering, tithe, and all. You see, ten percent of your fruit is it is not monetary. You said it's not what? It's not monetary, but it's ten percent. Can be ten percent of your produce. It didn't even say money there. That thing is a scam. So you are saying that tithe is not, I mean, it's not uh, biblical. Paying tithe is not biblical. Is that what you are a saying? Man last or, uh, are you it's saying way that? to reach them. Where is, this tithe oh. they are collecting, where is God's account? Do you know God's account? Can you give me God's account? Sir, uh, church account is God's account now. Is it not God's account? Who owns that? Who owns that church? Baba Jali. <laughs> is church not a God house? Eh? Is, is, is it are, God that is all spending these the money? Houses you are calling God's house. Ah, uh, well, yeah, is, is church, is church is, not a God house? I mean, they call it house of God, isn't it? I, I can decide to have my room now. What if I want to scam? Get it. You see, if I want to start a ministry, I can decide. I will have followers now. 
and I'll be collecting all this. It is all pure business strategy. Uh, Baba Daniel, and then remove that time. The money. Remove first fruit. You won't see all of them. You won't see them. You won't see all of them on the pulpit. <laughs> Baba Daniel, Coco, who is spending the money now? When they put, they put the ten percent together, God is the one spending the money. I, I, I think I, I think it's a bit been a bit of fair, Rosie, because. The, the the church has to run, you know. The electricity bill has to be paid. The water bill has to be paid. Uh, the transportation has to be paid. Uh, 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 and outreach. Oh, oh, they, all of these things, they cost money. No, yeah, no. But it's not God Walmart. spending the money now. It's yeah. not God spending the money. Yeah, yeah but what is the money? Is, 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 is the money being spent on, money. Uh, on, the, uh, on godly purposes? Is the no, thing. they don't use the tight money. People still contribute for those things you just mentioned. You see, these people now about ban laugh for one night. They will say, God says, uh, what you somebody should give us one trailer load of cement. Now, God, they talk and be now them, they think and for their mind. Sister Maureen, God says there's one person here that can uh, uh, give us one billion. <laughs> ah, hello. So, is it God that actually told about that somebody, God should give somebody, somebody should drop one billion? All this money. Yeah, one man. I, I think I also think um I think this is sensitive, you know. Um the, oh, oh, the other okay, time let me ask yeah, you a wait, question. Let me sorry, okay. I can't look. Oh, 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 you no, see the see. other time, this is very sensitive. The other time someone was trying to talk about Islam and he said he doesn't know about Islam and you actually shut him up and that protected the sensitivity of that religion. You are insulting the sensitivity of some of us who are Christians. You don't use the same brush to pray to just paint everybody. And if I want to raise issue about Islam that way in this manner, I'm sure you will not allow it. Islam. Yeah, but, so but I, but think, I yeah, don't know about Islam. Yeah, but yeah, I know about Christianity. Yeah, yeah. I want to say that I, I am I am a Christian. I, look, I'm not a, I'm, I'm a well, Christian. What is insulting? I am um, saying the mm -mm, truth and exposing mm -mm, the truth. Mm -mm, you see, that's the problem. This is what I'm saying. There was an incident here on this platform. Someone was trying to say something about that. He didn't even mention one sentence. He didn't even finish the sentence. Woman mm -hmm. said, well, well, that's all, all, all right. Yeah, you don't know much about Islam, you know. And I am not a pastor, but I want, I've listened to you people. Obviously, you don't know about Christianity, and that's why you're using the same brush to paint everybody. You might be, you might be yes, going to church. You, you might be going to church, and uh, but I'm saying that if Islam, if, if if people are sensitive, if some Christians will feel that, if some Muslims will feel their sensitivity will be offended, and that Islam, they have to be protected, you do yeah, that about Christianity, and that's the problem I have with the West now. That's what is happening. Somebody can say any rubbish about Christ about the church of christ this and it gets it goes free and if somebody says a rubbish if some wait let me finish if someone says rubbish about the about about islam you are saying it's islamophobic I'm, I, I am saying that i'm saying that here yeah. let, let him learn let her patrick land yeah so if somebody says something slightly about islam we say it's islamophobic someone was saying oh muhammad was said to have the married an infant we no, no, just no, didn't no, allow him to uh, uh, yeah, you no, see no, that's yeah, the yeah, point yeah. that's the same uh, that's the same we thing the point the point now we are talking about the but we are talking about the the church we are talking about the church we are talking about the body of christ not just that we are we are even mentioning specific i'm not a member of redeem we are mentioning specific pastors i'm not a member of redeem i'm not a member of winners I am not a member. I'm not a member of you, but we have talked about. We are not talking about. Okay, I don't. I don't understand it. We are not. Yeah, but we are beginning to make statements about Christian practice. We are making statements about Christian. Wait. No, I am not deceived. If you know me, you know I'm not deceived. You see, that's the problem. You are directing it to me, and you are painting everybody with the same brush. Can we please have one voice? The one voice we can have here is to respect the sensitivity of Christians. That's what I'm saying. Not mine. There are some Christians audience listening to you, and you are attacking their faith, and you are weakening their faith by these things, and by you are weakening their faith, and the God of heaven rewards you for the damage you do. 
to the faith of people. No, the God, the God, who, the God who I serve and who I am in my spirit will recompense everyone. No, it says the no, Christianity is suffering. The, 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 are you into? Are you into now? Are you into? No, Christianity is beginning to suffer that damage in the West. Let's face the fact: we are serving these deals, not God. Because we are not I am I'm not even a member of any of this church. You are. I am not. You are, are okay. Not you see, you are wrong right? now. You, you are see, you are wrong now, right? You are talking about you are wrong now. I am saying you that no as man, there are man, Christians man. listening yeah, to you, you that are sensitive to one, this one thing. Time, one man. One person at a time. Look at that. Patrick has talked <laughs> no, it's sensitive uh, to me. That this is a sensitive topic no, to me. And there are so it. many parts there. That's, that's why you don't, you guys don't like the truth. Can I, I, you see, you yeah, see, we don't like who does not like the truth. We are talking about pastors and Jesus is the truth. I love him. The truth is not as you say it. Something is not the truth because you said so. Christ is the truth. I love him. What you are saying is your claim and is based on your knowledge. Can I please? Yeah, yeah, let's hear from uh, Zeta and then I've, uh, I've, I've, I've okay. Heard, I have uh, a question now. Yes, so, 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 so hold see? on, oh, hold on. Can I, can I, can I list an order? Let, let's, let's have from, let's Ajande Koko make his point. Uh, Zeta come in, uh, B Bishop, you put a position and then, um, Maureen can summarize everything for us. Uh, Ajande Koko, uh, Patrick, uh, Koleto, you know, uh, B not, a, <laughs> not, not a big, if you just have an interaction, we don't. We shouldn't allow, you know, emotion to dictate uh, what we have to say here. That's no, no, it's not a big deal. Yeah, these Christian leaders or these uh, uh, Nigerian pastors, I mean, we are seeing it, we are witnessing it, and we know that uh, a lot of them are not doing it um, in, 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 in compliance with um, what the scripture says. So uh, let us call them out so that we can begin to have um, correct what, what, what they are doing wrong in our society. So because they have been watching a lot of people. So but uh, my, my, my question to Ms. Ron, uh, Ms. Maureen is that um, so um, you call um, what do you call this thing? You called um, uh, Thai. Uh, as a scam, but in the real sense of it, how do we manage church and the activities of the church? We know there are a lot of activities that uh, church uh, carries out in our society. You know, some of it have to be charity, you know, giving people food, uh, providing, supporting people's education, and uh, medical care and a lot of things. I mean, we saw the way Catholic and uh, Baptist church, the way they were doing it when we were growing up, when we were growing up before, before all this uh, Pentecostal came from uh, America. You know, everything from America is all about money. So we saw the way they were doing it. There was peace. People doesn't even um, have there wasn't any, you know, disunity among families or people that live in, in the community. You will see the Christian, Muslim, they do things together and uh, they respect each other. They live together. They don't discriminate on the basis of uh, uh, religions, uh, on, on the basis of uh, their religious practice. But what we have seen now, we have, you know, the management of the church, how would we get money? If they don't get tight or some 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 way to raise funds, you know, to carry out all those activities, you know, just let us know. Thank you very much, sir. Honestly, uh, I don't. I I still give charity. I give pastors money. Well, if I believe, if if I feel I should bless you, I bless. You. Not by telling me that God says from my heart. I wake up. I want to bless people. If I know two or three pastors that I am very close to, I send money to them. I still do it. Church, how do you? 
they still collect. You see, I am I'm not saying they should not pay tight or they should. I just is a scam. But if you want to pay, nobody should force anybody to pay tight because I know why I give church has overhead. Church has he has he has overhead that he has to pay. Even if you run a business, you still need to use more. You still need to pay for all your overhead. I am of the school of thought that any church put your tithe and offering basket uh, like the way Catholic do. Put it at the back of the church. If the God lays in your heart that you should bless them, go and put it there. Not by forcing people the, to take the whole of their salary in January. In a family, husband and wife, you collect their salary and they, you, you force them to be fa to fast. And they will continue to fast and, and, you, and you, are, you are living large. I, I'm not saying people should not bless their pastor or they should not pay offering. All these big, big organizations, they have money. But don't force anybody. There are some churches in Nigeria that they put their offering and tithe this thing. If God, you can decide to bless them. If God is laying it to you, I know that if you don't pay your tithe, you will not go to heaven. Know that come and put it in God's basket. This is God's basket. There's nothing like God's basket. I'm not saying I know they need finances to run the the church, but there are better ways if you tell people the truth. Like one man, like every other blog, people call you at times and they bless you. Yes, all these are followers, they will call you, they will give you something, they bless you. No one has ever done that to me. My my own followers, they're a bit, uh, you know, they, they, know they, 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 they are, they are, they are wallet ask. is in Fort Knox, you know. Yeah. Me, I don't ask. People call me, they bless me, they give me stuff. That, yes, I don't need to ask. No, but Sister Maureen, if I'm an interject, sometimes people call you and want to give you. They ask for your account number, you don't answer. I've called you several times, Sister Maureen. Sister, please. you know what? You will they, refuse. They, I you see some give me. I would like to during my birthday. A lot of people, people give me things. But when I react, some will say, ah, he's doing it because of money. But I don't want it to look as if um, it's because my the real main reason why you are doing it is because of what you see. God has a way of blessing each and every one of us in a different way. But to be sincere with you, I have lovely followers. I've never cried out to them in time of need. If I say it like this, to be sincere with you, they will do it for me. I remember that was there, I was struggling with my computer. Somebody sent brand new laptop to me. So people give me things. I cannot hide it. Some evil, but when I, I remember the person that gave me this laptop, the laptop, I was like, it took me a while. I didn't want to answer. He will ask, I want to give you. And I was like, oh. But eventually, I, I took I I decided to give the person the details, and the, the person sent it. People give me money, people give me things, people buy things for me, people send things for me. I don't know. I don't know why your followers don't no. give me stuff. Me, why? Me, <laughs> no, they, they are too. Maybe you are too rich. Maybe on a day you will see them, they'll be buying stuff. They will give you what do they call this? Thing? Yep. One this, man, can I call now? What, what do they call this thing that we take on or uh, uh, where, whereby they subscribe and they will be topping up on YouTube? Uh, is it membership? No membership, they I have a lot of membership. Is but this, this, is this uh, stars? Is this stars? Uh, it's not star, star is on Facebook. This one, there is something they will just put money. Oh, super chat. Yes. Yeah. On my you will see at times we are like for one thousand five hundred on a show. So people do all that. Oh, 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 all right, uh, Zeta come in. Uh, Zeta. Uh, first of all, I must say something. I would have been surprised if Maureen came here and we discussed all the shenanigans the pastors has been doing in peace without somebody screaming. Because 
I would have been thinking that they are no longer working. I'm surprised somebody is saying that they are destroying the body of Christ. By the way, Christianity, the way the Pentecostal churches has brought Christianity now, they put Christianity out in the open. When it was Catholic and Anglican, it was inside the worship of God, the body of Christ. But Patrick, what we see today is not the body of Christ. It's out in the open, so we should discuss it and condemn it. That's by the way. Then Maureen, I think the question Ajali Koko asked you, I don't think you answered it very well to my own understanding. You see, tithing is not by force. I see pastors cursing their members for not tithing. Tithing is one of the things, according to the scripture, that when you do, you get a response from God. It's not by force. It's just like God said, when you bless, you get blessing. When you help the needy, you get this. When you do this, you get it. Titan is one of them. If you read what the Bible says, it says, bring your titan into this altar and test me if I will not open the windows of heaven for you. I am a Catholic. In Catholic church, nobody forces you to tight. In fact, there was a time one of our popes applauded it. Because you don't put people in, the, in a tight corner. Now, the question Ajali Koko asks, how are they going to form the church if people don't tight? And I ask, how have Catholic be building one of the biggest and best churches in the world? without forcing people to tight. I'll give an example of Wiener Chapel. In Wiener Chapel, there are one of the churches that come to kind of lay costs on you for not tightening. Go and look at their scriptures and the words they've been preaching in their altar. For Patrick, they saying we are discussing the, the body of Christ. They brought it open so it can be discussed. Then, when he was building Covenant University, before then, I am sure the church must have been 13 years old, if I remember vivid. I don't want to say much I know about that church, but let me say this list. Church members outside of the tax, uh, the tithe, because I call it tax anyway, outside of the tithing they do, they were being asked to donate. They were being given papers to write how much they're going to give for the building of Covenant University. It was winners church members that built, in as much as they were maintaining winners branches all over the world, they were still the people that contributed money to build Covenant University. Hmm. And after building that Covenant University, the school fees was raised so high that those people that contribute that money, their children can no longer afford it. They can't afford it for their children. So, Pentecostal churches, Baba Jani, tell you, force you, I want to use the word force, you to pay tight. When they want to do something in the church, they ask you again to bring money to do that thing they want to do to the church. Now, I ask, if Titan is just for maintenance of the church, I ask, why are they buying private jets? Is it in Essex? The Bible did not say you must pay tight. The Bible says it's one of the things you do to attract attention towards yourself. So I don't know why Pentecostal churches are forcing. In fact, the most times they lay courses if you don't pay your tight. 
I was listening to a pastor one day. He was saying, if you get a job and you don't pay that job, pay tight from that job, that he will make sure that God takes that job away from you. These are the kind of ways we hear them speak in the public with the last speaker that Patrick don't want us to discuss. And when we discuss it, it's disincreating the, the body of Christ. Really? And you think that thing they said is the body of Christ? That's the body of Christ? With the nice people. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, oh, right, coming up, Benny. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, 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 before you come in, I, I did okay. Yeah, go, go on. Um, yeah, sorry, go on. Yeah, okay. Le, let me see. Uh, it was supposed to be before, Benny. Oh, oh, yes, yeah. I was waiting to see if you are still there. Sorry, apologies, or Benny. Uh, Bishop was uh, waiting to speak before you. Let, let Bishop go first. Uh, Bishop, yeah, okay. Thank you very much once again. Uh, well, it was when it was becoming rancorous uh, that I wanted to say. Uh, I said it earlier on when I first spoke that we should not make mistake of generalizing because even the Bible itself, the Bible said in the last day, there will be many fake prophets. They will perform miracles. They will perform wonders. They said they will, call, they will be sheep, I mean wolves in sheep's clothing. Are there fake pastors out there today? Yes. Are there many of them? Absolutely. There are lots and lots. But are there men called of God? Yes. So, first thing, I understand where Patrick was coming from. It was becoming very generalized. I see every man of God. He said, Jesus, don't brainwash me. He said, just go and throw Christianity to the bush. That's kind of, no, no. That's kind of so, Sorry, That's please. This discussion is generating. No, sorry, please. So, and we want to, like I said earlier on, it will be dangerous for us to tie every man of God out there with uh, the same brush. Maureen said something that was very instructive uh, a little while ago. And when she mentioned Pastor Adeboye, I said, yeah, yeah, with humility, yes, yeah, some of them, there are seeds of holiness. And I was surprised that she could attribute holiness together with that name. You know, maybe it was a slip of the God or, or what have you. But I will say here, we have had challenges in the body of Christ. But everything that has come to the body of Christ, there is none of them that is not scriptural. Because the Bible said so from the beginning. If we go back and look at the Bible, everything that is happening today has been spoken about. What Patrick is saying that we can moderate our conversations without necessarily pouring water, discouraging some people that are young in faith, that are anxious about certain things, that have some, you know, holding, that are trying to, uh, their faith is beginning to take a route that we should, we, it's possible for us to say something that will, you know, that will make them to think, maybe I've been scammed in quotes. Titan has foundation in the scripture, but it depends on your interpretation. Some people take it as a doctrine by some pastors. I have seen pastors that have preached Titan for 30, 40, 50 years and I've come back and say, you know what? I think I read it wrong then. The interpretation is a little bit different. When we speak about our traditional, African traditional religion, they make us believe that, sorry, just two minutes more. They make us believe that we are doing evil, that, oh, what we are worshipping is evil and this and that and that. I remember I interacted with a young man many years ago that was very pained because of his grandmother that has passed. He became a Christian and he was so convinced that the grandmother went to hell. There are a lot of things that we are taking wrongly and people that are feeding those things to us are doing so because it benefits them to do so. So, if we take a stand like the Berean Christians, whatever they feed, to us, uh, they feed us with, in whatever gathering, when we go home, we, I mean, try and look over them, study, meditate, so that we can have our own conviction. Because whether we want to believe it or not, the world has turned upside down. But there is none of these things that is straight. The scripture predicted them many years ago. Very quickly, 
when we were speaking earlier on, I actually sent a message I wanted to talk on the issue of the land that somebody spoke with about Bagada. It was not actually Bagada. It was the camp uh, in Ogun State. And the controversy about that land, it's going to affect Redeem too very soon. And the controversy was this. They actually sold the land. They bought the land. Deeper Life bought those lands. And, you know, they are expands and expands and expands. But some people started encroaching at the edges and reselling those lands. It happened in Redeem. The same camp. I'm, I'm not talking of a Britain I'm talking of. So when the, the time for them to use it came about, and they said, you know what, we want to take over that those land. They bought the land. They had the document for the land. And I said, after all, you are a church. And you can let go. And because that means we are encouraging lawlessness and criminality so i can go and deliberately present myself as a poor person and coach on your property and say hey, you want to take him and say hey, people now say after all he's poor now you have more why don't you just leave that one to him that is not the way it should be so definitely tightening it's in the scripture people have used it in different ways some people like i said Many, many, many people are out there today. They are wolves in sheep's clothing. And they will manipulate. They will conjure. They will use whatever means, juju, whatever, any means, voodoo, to hypnotize people. Are there men of God? Yes, yes, yes. Is God still alive? And God, does God still speak to people? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I will say that. Yes. And yes, again. So from practice point, it's just trying to let us moderate so that we don't overgeneralize. Thank you. Oh, all right, brilliant. Oh, people. Man, brilliant. Please, can I, can I say something? Mr. Bishop, let me just ask him a question, please. Um, if I can. Uh, go, I mean, good to see you, Joel. I, I, I didn't know this was your space. I thought you were only interested in defending Obi and nothing else. Uh, we are talking about oh. religion, not politics. Uh, one more, one more, one more. I'm so glad that I, I'm so glad that I, but the thing is that in, in life you have to prioritize. Yes. And, uh, for me, I just thought that um, having good governance uh, uh, was my priority as a then. And um, but this is also an important issue for me, um, having been um, through this system, the church system. Um, for those of you who don't know, I've been to over 35 churches. And uh, nobody took me. Well, what are you looking now. for? What were you chasing? That that oh, time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, green card. No, green card. Green card. Green card. Nobody took me there. Nobody, nobody took me there. Nobody took me there but my mom. And um, I can tell you for sure that there is fraud in the church. And if anybody is trying. So, to... so, so, sorry, before you go on, can you put a percentage to that? A woman, don't, 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 don't loosely in terms of the general, like, yeah. Okay, if I'm if I am to go by the, the 35 churches that they took me to, and I want to, you know, go based on those that gave prophecies and all that, I would say, um, 97 percent fraud. Oh, all right, carry on. Okay, so, um, any person attacking, God this, bless you, Joel. Um, any person attacking uh, Maureen uh, must uh, maybe might not have lived it. Uh, when my father died, one man, um, in twenty in two thousand, um, a pastor, you know, who actually my mom, take he tricked my mom into taking one of our generators first. He took the, one of our generator, and um, then my dad had stroke. Right, so um, my dad had expressive for those of you who are in the health field he had um expressive aphasia so he can understand what you say but he cannot you know reply so but when he started getting better he started asking where's the generator where's the other generator i was like oh and this other guy and mommy gave it to this pastor my dad was so furious so he asked me to go get a part to, to go get the, the generator i'm getting there one man this man sanded me off and told me because my, my mom stays in Lagos State then and my dad stayed in the East. He was like, I should go and get my mom. It was my mom that gave it to us. I was like, the man of the house said he should return the generator. The man did not. Anyway, fast forward. My dad finally died. And um he came to the house and was like, Oh uh, mother, 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 look at that, 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 that. And um, the next person 
that now, that the way they are seeing it now, the way he's seeing it, the way God is talking to him, that my mom will not be affected because my mom is strong. But now they have gotten my father that the next person will be my elder brother, then me, my younger brother, then everybody. Look at death, death, death everywhere. So my mom was like, oh, you know, my mom started panicking. I was like, so how much are you going to uh, for the prayers? He said 300,000. 300, One man, 300,000 naira in, 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 in year 2000. A bottle of beer there was 35 naira. A bottle of Coke was 15 naira. So I, if, I'm, if I am to go by what the inflation we have today, probably it's about 4 million to 5 million naira. One man, the political class and the religious class kept us where we are today. And that is the reason why I, am, I keep calling for us to have good governance. Because one man, this is what happened. Because I have, I have many stories, but I cannot put it out there. You see, one man, this is what happened, right? The inability of the political class is being surpedaled by the by the church, right? So the church makes us so docile. The church can never tell us to go protest. The church will always like, oh, calm down. It is the way of the Lord, blah, 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 blah. But you cannot leave that church without paying your offering. You cannot leave that church without paying your tithes. I wanted to ask Bishop that was talking, if a pastor tells you that if you did not pay tithes, that you would not make heaven, is... Is that, is that pastor saying the real thing? Is that a good thing to say? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if Bishop is still there. because I am. I to, and if yeah. you want me to respond, no, I will. Oh, 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 all right. Make the response very brief because I think Ogweni has come in to, to, uh, to take on uh, uh, Maureen somewhat. But make it a brief response and then okay. we hear from Ogweni. Okay. He has been jabbing at Maureen in the comment section, so he Mr. wants to come Woman, and jab can I say something? Uh, yeah, like but, uh, oh, all right, let Bishop respond. I, I, just, I, I don't want uh, uh, Maureen to get bored and decide she wants to leave us, so we have Mr. to... Woman. Yeah, but, Mr. No, yes, uh, yeah, no, no, I heard you. Yeah, no, I heard you. Let Bishop respond, okay, thank you. and then you, and then you go, but only on one condition. Don't call me Mr. The only Mr. is my father, but... Uh, um. Uh, Bishop respond. Uh, let's have your your say, Princess, and then we go to Mo, uh, and then we go to Ogweni, who wants to put positions to Maureen. Uh, Bishop. Okay. Okay. Um, your question was directed to me, and I will ask that very directly. No pastor, no pastor, will tell me today if I don't pay tithe or offering, I will go to hell. And it boils down to one thing: knowledge. Simple, because you see. A lot of things make people to, in quotes, uh, become hypnotized. Uh, you said you've been to 35 churches. Oh, very wonderful. Uh, uh, unfortunately, unfortunately for me, I've not been to more than two, three churches, perhaps. I mean, I had an Islamic foundation. My name is Abdul Kadri. And I sit here, people teach tomorrow. I have a flair for African tradition. And I've been a Christian for you know, long enough to know the difference between my... So you're, you're a Muslim, you're a Muslim, a Christian, and a Babalawo as well. I'm not, the, I'm, not the, I'm not the Babalawo, but it's just that of recent, a couple of years back, I've just begin, I just started taking some little bit of interest in what was our African traditional religion like. Does it mean everybody that died in Africa before the advent of the European, in quote, religion will go to hell? Go to hell, yeah. I mean, that's, that's <laughs> the question I say. Like, does it mean everybody that does not have self Christians? The world is about 8 billion today. There are probably about 2.3 ones, uh, 2.3 something billion Christians. Does it mean that if the world comes to end today, the remaining 5 billion will go to hell? Yeah, you know, yeah, I yeah. mean, I'm just saying that because that, that's a lot of questions and the questions that requires asking. But me, nobody will wrap wool on my face. I'm just answering, uh, Joel. Uh, so, now, so, that so, so, nobody uh, will tell me I will go to hell, and it is just about knowledge. Simple. So, Bishop, uh, uh, Mr. Bishop, uh, uh, you uh, uh, you might wonder who the pastor that said it because uh, you know on this show we verify, right? It was Pastor Deboye, and you see, this is the problem I'm talking about. That's that's the issue I'm talking sorry, about. Sorry, Pastor Boye said if you don't pay tight, you yeah, go to hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was Pastor Deboye. The so, 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 can you, so, let's, so, can we take it one after the other? Can you uh, reference me to where he said that, please, Maureen? Uh, uh, 
Don't, don't worry, don't worry, right? I, I will, I, I one man, since I, I will send it to you on your this thing because I don't have Thank it right. You. But this issue, the, the reason why I raised up this issue was because I was on the internet, right? Okay. Talking about condemning this talk. I think it was three, four years ago, right? And yeah. this thing has been going on for quite too long. So one man, I do not want, I know that I, I, I wait for my time to talk. And if I can't, probably some other time I may. Uh, so I don't take much of your time. But on this matter, one man, it is so passionate to me. And um, um, I want to say Nigerians are really suffering and they are being exploited mainly by the religious class, not just the political class. Oh, oh, all right, before I go on to Princess, uh, just to, uh, um, um, Joel, you are, you are a long-standing member of this platform. Uh, do you think this is a space that we should uh, explore more or are we, or should we just stick with politics or is this, should we start to deviate into this sort of spaces? Um, um, and one man, I, I, I think we should start because you see elections are over, right? So we should, if, if we are, if we are going to base our topics based on nation building, every topic must be on the table. All right, it brilliant. does not matter. Yeah. It does not matter what people say. People will always easy. It is hard. I wanted to ask the bishop. He was he was saying something about. Uh, no, 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 uh, no, no, don't ask it because okay, you have sorry. to respond. But I want to go so, to. Let, let, him ask, let, let him ask now. No, no, no. I, then, sure then you have to. Uh, uh, let, uh, yes. Okay. I'll, I'll make it short. I'll okay, go on. Okay. See, uh, 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 you 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 were uh, talking about you know if we discuss matters like this, you know, trying to allude to what Patrick was saying that we are going to uh, uh, discourage younger ones you know from getting into christianity my my question is if you're in a, if you're in a jail would you allow your son to be in, to come into the same jail if your son if you are in jail you are all going to also make your son understand you will teach your son look if you're going to go into this this is how you want to do this. if you're going to go into life this is how life is so that okay. you cannot come into this place so you cannot be as dumb as I was. Many okay. of us have been so dumb about religion, and we need to okay. teach the younger ones the right way to embrace religion, rather than oh. just be follow, follow, follow. Okay, very oh, quickly, oh, oh. very quickly, please. Very quickly, uh, uh, one man. Uh, what I said was not what you said. It was not very correct. I said there are lots and lots and lots of wolves out there. There are lot. Okay, let me put it rightly. There are lots and lots and lots of fake dubious and uh, what other uh, adjective can I use to qualify them out there that are parading, pretending to be men of God. But even in the midst of that, there are a few that are calling. It is because there is an original, there is an original call of God. That's why we have fake. So I never said that everyone. What I just said is that, look, let us not generalize. And I said this earlier or very early in the conversation. Don't let us overgeneralize that every man of God. So everybody will be looking. It's just like they say, oh, women are wicked. Women are dangerous. Women are that. And everybody is going now. Your son is going now. He's closing his eye. My mother said women are dangerous. And women are this. Women are this. No, there are good people out there. There are good people that are serving God. And serving the purpose of God out there. All right. All right. Thank you, Bishop. Uh, we get the general gist. Uh, sorry, I want to quickly get to Benny, uh, who I think uh, wants to put position. Yeah. But uh, we hear from uh, Rosie first. Yeah, Rosie. Yes. Uh, first of all, um, Sister Maureen, I, want to, I just want to thank you for your time, yes, you, you know, so staying up this late to, you know, to be answering our questions. Thank you she, so she's much. She's enjoying it now. Are you enjoying the conversation, by the way, Maureen? Okay, yes. carry on, Rosie. Yeah. Yes. And then another thing again, I just want to uh, correct, uh, I mean, uh, Patoski. Uh, when we came in talking, we were not criticizing Christ. We were not criticizing Mohammed. We were not, you know, we were just talking about the ills that these pastors are perpetrating in the society. That shouldn't shake anybody's faith. Because the Bible says, my people die due to lack of knowledge. A lot of people have been deceived. So we are trying to get them out of this deception to come to know what Christianity is all about. It's not by serving your GO or by presenting your GO higher than Christ that makes you a Christian. We have to look up to Christ, the author and finisher of our faith, not all to these GOs and whatever they say. My GO say this, my GO say this. We are talking about this pastor, not Christ or not Mohammed. So that's one I want. Uh, that's one thing I want to correct because he was going about thinking like, oh, we are talking about the body of we are talking about Christ, the body of Christ. No, we are talking about these individual people and the evil they are perpetrating in the society. 
That's all I have to say. Thank you. I'm brilliant. Well put. Uh, okay, one your... man. After yeah. Ogbeni, please, I would like to respond. But let Ogbeni have his... All right. Ogbeni, so, so you've come in. I'm fed up with uh, 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 throwing a Serbic uh, comments in the comment section. So so then to, to, to it then. Uh, elegant language, oh. of course, as I expect. But I uh, carry on. No, you know I won't... Uh... I won't come online and be insultive. I have, uh, I have reasons why. I, and, I, and I didn't even sound insultive. I didn't. If you go back, I don't see any reason why anybody should be agitated with why, why I simply did that. It's an experimental thing I did there. Now, we've been here for how many hours now? We've been sermonizing about uh, who are the good pastors, who are the bad pastors. We are playing God. We are all knowing. We think, oh, which ones are wayward, which ones are not wayward. Um, Rosie will tell you about probably our own church. Our own church is the best. For Sita, our home is the best. For Maureen, I don't know if um, she has a church she's attending. Our church is good, and that is why she's attending our church. Now, we've been grading pastor here today. Maureen has told you, oh, Adebo is still has some holiness. Uh, Toby in uh, London, oh, that one is not a pastor. Um, or do major that one is not a pastor, and uh, how they should lead, live, how they should lead their church, how they should collect money, and all that, and all that. Now, we assume this position of um, um, authority to certify who should be good pastor or bad pastor, and that is what I think we are just we feel entitled. We are not. Let me tell you one thing about religion religion is not about horse. Religion don't belong to you or me. Religion is about personal conviction. When you are convinced about yours, you think it's the best. Just today, I was watching the news. India was criticizing Canada government for allowing some people to desecrate Hindu temple in Canada. That is what matters to one billion plus people in India. Hindu temple, not Christianity. And nations in the past have fought war on religion. Different nations fighting wars just because of this religion crusader here and there. If you read history, you understand this. Why? Because religion is just simply a passion of conviction. Don't impose yours on others. Don't impose your um, expression of religion or your understanding of what you think your own religion should be on others. And that was the reason why the first time I entered, I saw the topic. I said, wow, sorry, I made a mistake by coming into this space. And then what was the experiment? I just, I just pulled up there, which I see no reason why anybody should, should be agitated. And I realized that Maureen didn't even start getting agitated until uh, the people, uh, Rosie and others started putting fire and firewood. Robert is in your gizzy leg. That was when she now started saying, oh, somebody is insulting me. No, I didn't. What did I say? I said I put all of you in the same bracket and I still stand by it. And why do I say that? I put all of you in the same bracket because I believe you are in the same market. You are trading the same traffic, drawing traffic into your vlog, and you get money from it. Now, if you think that does not represent what you are doing, then that is a, my own fair criticism. You've been here criticizing Adeboye. These are human beings like you too, except you think they are God. Some people think they are God, they are tiny God to them. But they are human beings. That's the mistake many Christians make. Your pastors are human beings. Your geos are human beings. Now I criticize you as you, as a person. You are agitating. So what do you want those ones to do? Now you criticize them because you have your freedom of expression. I also have my freedom of expression and judgment about you. I believe what you are doing is to draw traffic. You believe what they are doing is to make money, right? And I believe what you are also doing is to make money. So there shouldn't be any basis at all for you to agitate. And that is the main reason why I've come back on board here to tell you that I've just experimented something now. You are impinging some people's character, rightly or wrongly, on social media. Somebody brought your whole new hope. You're agitating. You shouldn't be agitating. That's the first point I, I, I've come here to make. The second point I've come here to make is I want to... No, no, uh, uh, do you want to have uh, Maureen to address it point by point so that... um. Okay, if, if, if she finish. wants to address that... Let me finish, I will answer oh, 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 okay. And I will address it too. 
Oh, okay, Don't yes. Worry. Everybody that wants to address your address it. So I've just come to tell you that not, I'm not the type. I'm from Ekiti State. If you know the kind of people we have, I'm not the type that will stand at the um, comment session and be commenting without having the boldness to come up here. No, I'm not. I'm from Adwekiti. So that's the first point I want to make here. The second point I want to make is this, you see. Our knowledge of the Bible differs. I don't know how deep you are in your knowledge of the Bible. My own knowledge of the Bible, for instance, the area of tithe you talk about differs. Yeah, tithe, if you look at the, I did a bit of theology. If you look at Genesis, we read about how Abraham gave a tithe of, you know, the spoil of war to make Sede, right? And they said he started there, the king of Salem, and a priest of God most High, right? If you draw down to Leviticus 27, around that 30, God commands the Israelites expressly to give a tithe of their crops and, and are then head to you know, support priest and temple. He didn't say bring it to me. He's, no tithe has ever gone to heaven. Even the one that God expressly certified, all right, in the Old Testament, which nobody is contesting. He never said brought it to me. He simply said brought it to the priest and the temple, right? <laughs> And that is Leviticus 27, 30, I think 30 to around 36. Now, when you draw it a bit down, you come to Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy around Deuteronomy 14, um, I think 14, 23, 24 or so, to about 30. God instructed the Israelites again to bring a tithe of their produce to the place where, you know, um, he will choose to make his name dwell. That's his dwelling place. And then um, he also, he also, Tell them also to also use it to celebrate and share among the Levites, which are the pastors and others among them, then widows, then orphans and the foreigners. Levites, widows, orphans, and foreigners, and it's dwelling place, right? Then after that, the next place we we'll, we'll talk about tithe is Malachi, and that is the general one everybody talked about. But if we come to the space of Malachi, Malachi also talked about bringing it to the to the house of God. He doesn't say you should take it to heaven. He doesn't say you should burn it and, and take it to heaven. Now, there is this place, see, we talk about doctrine. And then uh, people say, oh, let me start by saying I'm a Catholic. And then uh, I've seen a lot of corrections that have been made in the Catholic Church. And that doesn't make Catholic Church a bad church. Catholic Church have gone several, if you read their history, into several doctrines. In, 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 to start with, there's nothing wrong with church having doctrines. It's part of the things you use in church. 1 Corinthians 16, 2. Paul set a doctrine there. He never said it's from God. He said on the first day of every week, he said each one of you should set aside a sum of money in keeping with your income, saving it all, so that when I come, no collection will have to be made. And what is this collection for? The amount they give to be a percentage of their income, right, from the from every week, then the following week, what the, what did Paul go back to the history of, of the apostles? What did Paul? Paul does not plan to receive their money himself and be using it, but he sent it and some 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 selected from Corinth. They carry it and take it to Jerusalem, because then James was the bishop of Jerusalem. That was the early church. Now we're talking about right. So he set up a doctrine at that time, and that doctrine was the first, first, first. Do you still see that doctrine today? No, it's gone. He, 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 the, the doctrine has gone with that time. So there is dynamism also in this institution. Don't forget that really, um, um, organized religion are man-made. They are not, they are not, they are, they organized, but there is a purpose. God call everybody unto salvation. But you see all these religion, pocket different religion organizing themselves. Now I was talking about Catholic. That is the one I know very, very well. I, I wanted to become a Reverend Father at a point in time. I was in Nessus Peter and Paul in Bodija. I spent some years there before I, I, I decided to leave. At a point in time in the Catholic Church, priests were facing, they were backing the congregation. At a point in time, they said, no, oh, we oh, have oh, to do oh, this. Oh, 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 all right, don't, don't overwhelm Maureen, though. So bring, bring it to a point that she has to address. Yeah. No, the point I'm just trying to make there, look at celibacy, for instance, in Catholic. Celibacy didn't just didn't start from day one or from the world go. It started at a point in time because there was an EU within the church. And they had to congregate and say, how do we resolve this issue? And some theologians came together and said, okay, let us use celibacy. And that has been working for them. And even 
Till now, they are engaging on it, whether to stop celibacy or whether to reduce it to some religious. Oh, some oh, oh, all right, co co condense it into two oh. succinct questions, and then Maureen can address it. So this is why I'm going. Yeah. This is yeah. this is why I'm going. Um, 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 religion is a personal conviction. Religion, um, we all receive religion in different ways. We all have different um, conventions about religion and we all understand it differently. So don't use your own understanding to judge somebody, demonize that person and then tear that person apart. And now use the word this, those and that. Oh, these pastors. Oh, those pastors. And I think that is what Patoski is trying to correct here. You don't keep saying those pastors and you use one or brain or one brush. You just brush all of them. And then we now say, oh, we conclude. And our conclusion is that churches in Nigeria are not really making anything for, for, for the congregation. No, I don't think like that. My personal thinking, and, and I've also addressed that of Kumui with that example of Kadik I gave. Kumui may made a mistake about the doctrine back then. But as corrected himself, does that make Kumui less a, God, a, a man of God? No. There are processes in the Bible that made mistakes and they corrected themselves. In fact, to even know who yourself and correct yourself is a sign of good Christianity, to be a good Christian, to come out and say, I made a mistake years back. And I'm talking about people that have died. What's the connection of the TB and their salvation? I don't see any connection in that. Even if that, even, even if Azunda one, uh, is, is something that even make them probably more pious back then, which is a possibility. So why should we now say, oh, it's a strong argument as far as I'm concerned. And that's just my point here. Three points I've come to make, and I've been able to make that point. Thank you. Well, you're, you've, you've made assertions. You've not made points, uh, but uh, it's the, it's the, where, they argue, where the discussion lands is what will make the point. But uh, right anyway. to reply, uh, Maureen. I think points are assertions, too. Yeah, well, do you know me now? Well, anyway, like, uh, yeah, anyway yeah. I will Can say I? my own. Yeah, no, so, so yeah, let, let, let Maureen now respond. That. Maureen, okay. yeah. First and foremost, I understand perfectly what you are typing. And you started not immediately you joined the platform, you started writing whatever I call rubbish, and I still stand by it. And secondly, you came here, you said uh, I came online, you are you are playing a prank. That's not a prank. Because I, I read everything. I never use the word prank, please. You said you, you, you throw whatever you feel you throw. You said you ran an experiment and whatever you experiment explained, you you explained the outcome. Uh, we also saw the outcome of the experiment, actually. I saw it. If that didn't get it, I saw it. Well, well maybe you got it, but I did not. Whatever experiment that he tried to show is to his, I don't care. That is his own opinion. But let me put it to you. As you are, you say Christianity is about your belief, conviction, and, please, and your conviction. conviction. I'm not here to, I'm not here to say, I'm, I'm not here, bec I'm not here because of what is, uh, what you are saying. What you are saying is not biblical. What the Bible tells us in First Timothy five eighteen, it clearly stated, rebuking. Coming now to say things that is not correct. When you see evil, you call you call it's biblical. So if you don't see it, what I'm doing is not by it's not biblical. You're on your own. I, I my conviction and what I try to do is biblical. So if you all these things that come that we, we expose, we talk about, the Bible clearly stated it. So it's not as if I come online, I'm trying to defame one pastor or anything. You are free to your own opinion. So you, you, if you call yourself a son and you, you, you say you are throwing, which, what kind of experiment? You've been attacking, saying all sorts of things. I just look at you. I didn't talk. Can you tell me one attack I made? Go back and read all your comments. I, will tell I, don't, you. have time. I don't have when time for all this. Right? Okay. Okay. I think you just you know. Please, no, go no, back. Benny, just ignore. Just ignore. No, no, I won't. Just ignore. I've had enough of your coming out. You, you, don't, you, you are don't a guest on our platform. Please. 
If you feel like I'm a guest on your password, I, yes. I, I don't care. As Who are you? I don't know how to respect her. We should care. Uh, 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 I mean, we should uh, use uh, the right uh, language. Uh, uh, all right. Yeah. We should yeah. use the right language. Yeah, yeah. Like, we should care. Oh, 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 all right. Let, you let, see, let, we don't let, use that let, kind let, of let, language. Let, 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 let's keep it. What he's doing is not accepting. I don't have any problem with the war rubbish. About, continue to say nonsense. Do you think I have a problem with that? I have a problem with it. Yeah, but what's not addressed at you, Patrick? You are just trying to stalk her. Yeah, no, 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 no. You what see, it's the sanctity of, of the, the community yeah. that we have. Oh, 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 there is no rubbish. I only criticize oh, when you. When you settle down, settle down, please. When you have a guest come to your house, when a guest come to your house, you should also respect you. Yes, when a guest come to the house, you also respect the woman in the house. All right, all right, everybody hold, everybody hold. Um, Joel of Nashville, sir, let's come to you, Joel. Um, I'm not sure if you are aware of. Something yeah, 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 yeah. Come in, Ajale. Yeah, Come yeah, yeah. in. We have gone past five hours, so it's okay. Yes, is yes. We surrender after five hours, don't we? Yeah, let's hear from my, and then we come to you. Yes, uh, Ajale Koko. Yes. Yeah, um, Benny, I think um, it is good for all of us and the platform to respect our guests. Everybody have their own opinion. She has her own opinion, but there's nothing that she has said that is not what we all know that is happening in Nigeria. So she she's not saying all she has been saying out of her own um um out of her own. It is not her opinion. Most of the things she's saying, most of um, um, incidents that she mentioned are not out of her own opinion, but everything was based on fact what has happened in the Christendom in Nigeria. So uh, let us, we all know that as well except if we want to continue to deceive our, ourselves, except we want to allow our own emotion to 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 um be cloud our own reasoning. I, I mean we we look she 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 know better than all of us when it comes to you know, um, a relationship with all these religious leaders. She has that's not true. Head. That's not true. Oh, hold that's on. not let true. Me, me, no, don't Koko. make that. That's let not. Me land. Let so, me sorry. Land. Let Let Ajan Le Koko speak, please. Land. Yeah, yeah. We will land, but it will land safely. I, believe, please, I yeah. believe it is my own opinion. I could be wrong, but because of the work she has done for several years, she have more experience in you know, dealing with pastors and knowing them better than us. You don't know what she has been through, but we have not been through, I believe we have not been through 1% of what she has been through with these people. Look, let us, for God's sake, she honors us to come on this platform tonight. Let us respect her. Don't let us take this um, interaction that been enjoying since morning. Don't let us take it on a different dimension and, and want to 
um, you know, take it on a different direction by attacking her. No, no. Let us respect her. Let her have, you know, share with us her experiences with these people and let us learn, let us learn from her. We have a lot to learn from her because of experiences she have had with these people. So uh, I, I, uh, that's my advice to everybody. Thank you, woman, and I thank you all. Oh, all right, thank you. you get your response in a moment, um, uh, um, Ogbeni, but uh, let me come to Joel first. Uh, Joel, do, do you know the, the uh, are you familiar with uh, Maureen and her work, and, and uh, do, do you have a question for her? Uh, yeah, uh, Maureen, um, I want to tell you, God bless you. Whenever you are fighting the truth, they will come at you. Do not waver. Stay strong. Because it is a fight that must be fought in Nigeria. Thank you. Thank you. It is a fight. Because what is the problem about Nigeria is that we do not tell ourselves the truth. We hate the truth. And any society that hates the truth will continue to suffer. We must speak out. The deficiency of the political class is the gain of the religious class. One man, if a political, if the political class does not provide a good health care, like the one that happened with one of my cousins, they told him, my cousin, oh, you know what? That is the word they use. They have done everything humanly possible. There is nothing else they can do. Instead of telling that patient that you don't want to have the equipment to run such tests. What do they do, one man? They now tell them, you know what, we have done everything we, 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 are, we, we can do. That it, I think it is spiritual. One man, what I am telling you is what is happening in Nigeria hospitals. And people die from this nonsense. They'll tell them it is spiritual. Then, the next thing is, do you know any strong man of God? That is why I am telling you. By the time they go to the man of God, after they must have collected the one, because they would send them to senseless tests in the hospitals to make that money, then they now send them to the church site. Those one will not meet the person till the person dies. And you know what, one man? Nobody comes back to say, hey, the thing you did for me did not work. Give me back my money. The pastor will not give it back to you. So if we have a problem of leadership in the church, we must speak against it. Somebody here was talking about, uh, uh, I think it was Obeni, talking about the Catholic Church. We do not want to go there. We know what they do in Nigeria. We know what they do to young boys in Nigeria. Do you want us to go there? Everybody was, be, if you want us to build a nation, where we will tell ourselves the truth, everybody must be accountable, including the church. Including the church. And yes, if I were to be in power, every church in Nigeria we must not receive more than three states. If you have a branch in Lagos, you must not have more than three in Lagos, and you must not have more than three other states in Nigeria. What is uh, what are we talking about? We have more churches in Nigeria than industries. What are we talking about? Because everywhere you go in Nigeria, well, man, I don't know if you've gone to Nigeria recently. Every street you go in Nigeria, there is somewhere that is about three, four, five, six churches in some in some street. There are ten. We have to start addressing these core issues. Let's start speaking truth to power. It does not matter if it is the church. It does not matter if it's the political class. If you can criticize Tinubu, then of course you can criticize Adeboye. Of course you can criticize a, 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 a Moka. And if you are doing something good, we have the right to also praise you. Like the guy OPM in Port Harcourt, the guy that took uh, this lady's uh, family, the lady that uh, they burnt her, uh, uh, they, they killed in a... Uh, in the De north. De Deborah, 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 the guy that took that is the OPM. So if you do something right, and that OPM guy, it is not today. So if you ask me, why 
uh, why would I support someone like an OPM person? I will tell you that even if they are giving him money, he is using that money to touch the lives of the people. How the hell are you driving a private jet in Nigeria where people are suffering? And you tell me, in the name of what? God. One man. I, 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 I saw you cruising around in a boat when you last went to Nigeria, Joel. Yes, one man. Yes. And the thing so, there is so, that... You uh, see, so, so you are not averse to the luxury no, life? Uh, no, no, no. One man, one man, one man. Nobody donated to me. I worked my shit out. What I'm just saying is this, one man. In Nigeria today, there is no reason for any pastor to drive private jets. One man, Zita, says something so, so, so important. Maybe we wait it aside. We didn't know. Look, one man, those, those schools that they built in Nigeria, how can you build schools that your members cannot afford? Mm. One man, look, <laughs> it is not only, it is not only a, a winners. There, was, there is a, a, where I used to stay in Lagos, um, and this one owned by... Um, by uh, the Redeemed Christian Church of God. It's the, I think it's a secondary school around that Apapa, Apapa Roadside. Redeemer. Go there. My high school. Go there. Their members cannot afford those. And if any, of, any, any of their members that could afford those, those schools are the bourgeoisies, are the elites. The ones that are poor, the ones that are poor comes and just donate what they have. They cajole them they make them make promises that they cannot keep. They make them make promises that they can even go to steal their husband's, husband's money to make those promises. Have you not seen where people, where wives take the car they bought for them and go and sow seed in the church? And the husband is going there to say, give me back the car. It is everywhere. That scourge, that menace in Nigeria must be defeated. If we are going to defeat problems in Nigeria, it has to be all encompassing. Nobody should be left out. The private sector, the public sector, the religious class, every part of our life has to be Christian. It is not just Tinibu. It is not just Obi. It is not just Atiku. Every one of us must question our lives in Nigeria because, like I told you one man the other time, how we get a stuff in the southeast, a location in the southeast, what is happening to it? So we must question every part of our lives, one man. Oh, so, right. uh, uh, Madam Maureen, Madam Maureen, you do so well to come and uh, feel free to come back anytime uh, in whatever you're doing. God bless you. And uh, I think that you are, you are on the right track. Thank you very much. Oh, all right, brilliant. Uh, uh, a, a bit of a response to what uh, um, Joel said, uh, Maureen. Honestly, he's saying the truth. Uh, there are so many things that's going on in our society, and we look at it that is only they can come online and talk about uh, Tinubu, they can talk about Buari, but you can talk about Adeboye. You can criticize and say, ah, this man is not doing anything, but WF Kumoyi is doing the right thing because he's their pastor, he's their spiritual pastor. Because they make it. I, honestly, the issue of Nigeria and religion on the we solve the issue of religion, we won't get it right. Do, do, do you think? Uh, let me ask you a question. I know you want to come in at uh, that Zita, but let me ask more in this question. Um, do do you think that uh, all of this fantastic and fantabulous, using uh, Mr. Macaroni's word, uh, do you think all these prophecies that we get from all of these people that that often fail, do you think it should be tested in law as a four one nine sort of a something? Because a lot of these their prophecies, it always involves somebody parting with money, and four one nine is obtaining by fraudulent means. So, do you think uh, some of these prophecies? If it doesn't come true, they should test it in law to, to caution that space. One man, you see, unfortunately, we don't have regulation when it comes to religion in Nigeria. Until we have a listening government, until we have a government that can regulate them. 
you see in Ghana now, when this thing was rampant in Ghana, there is a law. You don't just prophesy anyhow. If you prophesy anything that is not correct, that doesn't come to pass, you will go for it. And that stopped the whole madness. I think we need something like that in Nigeria. If you see in the last, you see during this election, you see so many failed prophecies. So I think it's high time. And they use prophecies to confuse, to mislead so many people. They will come and tell you, God says when God did not say. So until we have a proper regulation in place, that will bring sanity to the sector to the business sector, because I don't see it as the business sector. I know some of them don't like it, but they are doing their business. All right. I've got another question for you, but I'll let Madam Zita come in first. So Zita, uh, come in. Yeah, thank you, woman. Um, first of all, I must say, um, I believe, to my own opinion, maybe I'm wrong, I'm not conversant with talking in platforms like this but i believe that when you bring a guest you brought a guest for him to or her the guest to a his or her opinion on a particular issue which is believed that she is an expert in that area and when she come or he comes in he speaks on those topics and then we ask the guests some questions. Just, I'm just believing that is where it is being wrong. Now, what happened this night? I want to address it. Obeni and Patrick. First of all, the way Obeni, Obeni is a lawyer, and I hold him in a very high esteem, but I must say this. He made a statement here that he did an experiment on a guest. Interesting. The way you were throwing out those your comments, she did not respond. I was the one that responded. And you know why I responded? Because you were not asking her questions. I don't know her. This is the first time I'm meeting her. And there is nothing she's saying in this platform I have not experienced. I lost my elder sister, who is happened to be a doctorate degree to this shenanigan of, doc of, of pastors. And somebody come here to tell me, don't talk about it. My sister's life? Really? I did not attack you or respond to you because of what you are throwing out. I responded because I believe that it should be on what she is saying, not on her business and grouping her and trying to wave her off. That was why I responded to you, Obeni. And I wanted to respond harshly. But if not that I hold you in high esteem, my comment maybe probably would have been worse than what it is. I didn't quite like it. Now, back to the topic of the day, Christianity. You said something that is a conviction. I'm responding to winning now. Personal conviction. That is a personal conviction. From what the woman, Maureen, has been saying here, he is, she's not talking on people's personal conviction. He was bringing out the ills. She was bringing out the ills of the society. She never said, don't go to Pentecostal churches. I never had her said, maybe I might be wrong. I didn't hear that. But she said that, please do let me know. She never generalized and said, all the pastors are evil. She was just picking them one after the other. What? is they are doing that are not good. And I don't really see anything wrong in somebody saying something is not good. Moreover, when it has to take lives and property. So when something is that destructive, I remember Martin Luther King Jr. said, whatever you are calling me for, that does not save life and property, I am not going to be part of it. 
So when a group of people, they have conviction, they believe in you, they believe in that religion and they're running into the church because it's their personal conviction. That's what they believe in. Hallelujah, praise God. So and so, we should allow them be slaughtered. We should just shut up and never say a word about what is going on because it's their personal conviction. Really? You just said that to Benny? The woman never said people should not go to Pentecostal churches. She never said I that. I would love to reply when you finish. Yeah, you will reply you and I will still reply you and we continue replying on WhatsApp till the end of today. How okay, can I should not be reply. speaking? Because this inviting somebody into a platform because you invite somebody to do a talk show to hold a conference to do a workshop because you believe that person is an expert in that area and when you invite the person all you do is to listen to the person and then ask the person questions but already if you can go back to your comments and see the way yes I will. it was quite interesting that you say a guest came into this platform and you are trying to poke at her to do an experiment That's not my really? really you were just dishing out the 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 yeah you were really poking at her because the way the comment was going pian, 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 go back and look at it about seven at a time nobody came in between you and you said that's okay and zita should not say something she never said anything i am the one that said it she didn't it was when i started making a case for her that she's our guest that she responded one man i must say uh, this is the first time i'm having a guest in your platform and i didn't like what played out today for Patrick, I would have been very shocked if somebody did not respond about the pastors and try to cause catastrophe and to make a no nonsense of the discussion today. Because that is the brainwash that has been going on in the society. You don't that's talk about that. That's not respectful of Pat, 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 Pat Patrick. That you don't yeah, talk about that. We them. are just talking about the yeah, sensitivity of, of people. Can I finish, yeah. please? Yeah, you see, we have guests. Oh, when we have guests, uh, uh, it, we it, must yes. respect. We must all respect ourselves and uh, maintain me. some decorum. I, 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 I have, I have maintained a position. I'm sure I have not insulted anybody. I have not insulted one man. If you, if you, if you go back to what I said, I have not insulted anybody. But I've been insulted several times, and you have not stepped in, one man. When we're cursing. I, I, I did not insult anybody. I said that we should respect people's sensitivity. I That's what I said. You insulted anybody. Did I? But you that? just told me I've been brainwashed. You just told me I this is what we are brainwashed. No, you said that. Uh, Rose, Rose, Rosie Rose said that uh, this out these people brainwashed. they have been. Said, no, it's true. I, I am said. the one. One but your bar has the oh. saying that the person that poo poo does not know, but the person that will pack it knows. I'm okay. I'm not sensitive to that Let kind of finish. thing. But I, I'm I standing on my no, faith, no, 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 and I'm no, saying yeah, we yeah, must no, respect uh, our uh, faith uh, as uh, people. Uh, uh, Rosie uh, even uh, said uh, I'm not thinking. Patoski, the reason why I said yeah, so was because yes, let me finish Patoski, now. You said I, we were criticizing yeah, well, Christ one voice. and Mohammed. Well, 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 Madam yeah, Sister, well, please, let me just respond to him. Patoski said we were criticizing Christ and Mohammed. I said, no, that's not what we are talking about. That we are discussing about the evil that is occurring in the society. Nobody is criticizing Christ. Nobody is criticizing Mohammed. I said, but what you are doing is like, you are worshipping these geos that you don't want us to talk about these, the, the things they are doing. So please oh, don't oh. misquote me. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, let, let, um, let, let, let um, um, Zeta land and, and then uh, let... Um, Maureen uh, run, run commentaries on uh, what Zita has to say, uh, and, and then or when you get the right to reply, and then uh, 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 Maureen, uh, so, so we just do it in an orderly fashion, uh, as Zita, bring it home. First of all, Patrick, I said that I would be surprised, I would have been surprised if somebody did not regard on this topic, because I said, the brainwash going around the world is that when you talk about them, it should be made no nonsense of. 
you are actually deviating. You deviated, not actually, you deviated from the topic of the day. We, we are not criticizing the body of Christ, but you told us on this platform that we are this, the, you even started making incantations. Those that we are doing that, you did that. Can you go back and listen to you, what you did, what you said? I didn't make incantation. That's what obviously. you did. You I said, I commend you to God. I said, the God of heaven knows how to handle. God of heaven. Do you know why? Because I'm not the head of the church. The head of the church knows how to handle his church. You understand? All these things you are saying. He knows how to never, fix things. Never mind. And he knows how to say to everybody. So never mind. I can't do anything. I'm not the defender of the church. Never it's, mind. It's not, it's but, not my um, church. It's the church to, of Christ. And Christ is responsible for it. We are not decreating all. Uh, uh, the, the the body of Christ. We are not condemning Jesus and the way he walked on planet Earth. We were just, the church is part of the society. And if someone sees ill in the society, you speak up. And that's exactly what she's doing. I don't know her. I, in fact, I am sick and tired of even listening to anything that goes towards that direction of pastors. So I didn't personally like, for the first time, I'm seeing a guest and somebody said, I did an experiment on her. Really? That, that is I so wrong. Really that. That is and so I would wrong. like to join you on that, please. Hey. Oh, 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 all right, you, you get it. I'm okay. I'm fine. Oh, 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 all right. Thank you, Zeta. So thank you, Zeta. So, so there I, it I is. Uh, time too. Uh, yes, uh, but let's hear from Maureen. So Maureen, I'm sure you are used to this. Touch not my anointed. So that, that's exactly where we are now. Touch no, not it's my not anointed. New yeah. to me, yes. woman. Thank you very much. Madam Sita, God bless you. You see all these type of attack and all these... Um, I know them when I see them. Immediately I spot them like this. I know them. And I know how to handle them. I've seen more attack than this. But I, in a situation where a man, we call, both of them gang up bullying me, I will not leave. I will, I will talk. If this thing kept on going for a long time. I will read it. I will look. I will, you see all the comments, both private and the other comments. I follow it because I'm used to it. This is something that I know much about. So I know my, I know my way around it. I look at it and I look away. But when I realized it kept on going on, going on, going on, going on, asking some, I would still call it rubbish. Because, and immediately I noticed that I kept quiet until somebody pointed it out. You see, honestly, I am not, attack is part of what I, what they attack me every day. They write all sorts of things about me. I just look around, the one I can answer. But when I realized this, what, this man was practically bullying me, both of them. The other ones even say, he even, he went, he, the, the other ones even cursing. But it's, I, I just feel, what, why all this? And coming online, telling me he running, he's trying to do experiments. If commending you to God is a cause, no problem. But I didn't curse anybody. I said, I commit and you I to God. Know. If I commit you to God, that means I put you in the hands of God. Because I can't continue to allow you to continue. I've had enough. All right. I've had enough of their bully. All right. If they agree with me, fine. Let me just leave. It's not a must you have to agree with me. Yeah, hold on. I've had enough of their I've had enough of their bully. All right. Um. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, don't, 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 don't feel, don't feel bullied, um, uh, Maureen. No, they are bullying me. It's wrong. No, oh, no, it's the nature of the that topic the now. Funny. He was on, he was right here on the, on the, on the, one, 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 on the one man. Right here, rubbish. They, they, I ignore they, they him. Have to he stop came online to come and not, tell me that because he's from a way to treat that he's guests. Using, he, he's, he, he, he what don't he have to bully a guest. He don't have to talk bad to a guest. This 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 same thing. What but the same I can what, say on this what, um, Patrick, to book, Patrick, but they cannot talk about their past. What 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 Patrick and Ogbeni are doing here tonight? This is what they accuse. They accuse this um this guy um uh Rufai. You know Rufai in Ar Arise New. Mm -hmm. They Rufai. Rufai. 
these two guys that what they are doing against Mori on this show. Hold on, you're coming after. Allow me to speak, please. No, you hold yeah, on, you're, you're really coming after. Speak. Hold on, Ogweni. You come in after Jan Le Coco. Let Jan Le Coco land. Then you come in. Whether yeah. we like it or not, she's an expert in what she does. The experiences that she have in 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 in, in, in her field, none of us have that one percent of that experience same with you um Ogbeni, you are a lawyer what the what what you know about law i don't know one percent of it so why do we want to rob somebody that is telling us our own experience in the course of our uh, 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 I mean, the experience that she had Ghana for over the years in the course of carrying out her, her own job. And then we want to turn around and said, oh, uh, she, she, she talked bad about people and she's making money, they, uh, accusing others of making money and, and as well, she's using her own platform to make money as well. So are you telling us that we should just, nobody should speak? Nobody should say anything against all these factors. We should just leave them alone and continue to do to continue their shenanigans. And she has rightly said, she somebody asked her, who is that pastor that you can you can point to as the real pastor? She mentioned the name of somebody. She did not rubbish all of them. But some of these people that we have seen by their action and their doings and everything they have done some things that some 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 things that they have done that is not in conformity with the scripture she mentioned them but still we don't want to we don't want to get satisfied we don't want to accept the truth but we just want to rubbish i think it's unfair we cannot when people notice that this is what we know to do on this platform when they invite guests, we will rubbish that guest. They will not come to this platform anymore. We don't have to do it. Woman, I think you have to take action. If if anybody wants to continue to go after morning and not the issue, I think you can take those people out. For God's sake, it is not good for this platform to disrespect our guests. It is not good at all. We have to respect her so that we can we uh, after her today others that are watching can come any guest that is invited can come on this platform and come and tell us what they know in their own field of life so anybody that want to continue to rubbish her or go after her and not the real issue please take that person out for tonight it doesn't mean that uh, that will not cost us anything, for God's sake. Oh, oh, all right, thank you, Adele Koko. So, so when he writes to reply, so uh, yeah. negotiate negotiate it with uh, with delicate tact and land it in a better place. Yeah, uh, and then for, we, we go back uh, to so uh, so Omar, land it land it in a better place. Yeah, carry Omar, on. You, you yeah. see, first and foremost, let me say I'm highly disappointed sure. in Baba Adele Koko's assessment of what just happened tonight. Uh, Possibly because he means the assessment of when you bring a guest on this platform, what it means to be an expert. She's an expert. She's not expected to come here, feed us with whatever things. We take it to client and sinker and everybody goes on. That is not what my training is about. I've seen uh, one man on several occasions on Dr. Damage's uh, platform. Do you just go there to just have a nice time with them, take whatever they say and go? We discuss it on this platform. You go there to engage them and be critical by their opinion. That's what I've simply done. And if anybody seen that as rubbish, that's intellectual engagement. I don't think anybody should see intellectual engagement as rubbish. What I've just done, I put you on your toes. I put you on your 
I, I reverse what you're doing. You pick some characters. You are analyzing them. I analyze you, you agitate. And I tell you that, see, religion for me is a, a personal conviction. I, I didn't say Christianity. I say religion. I was on this platform when one man shot somebody down. And it was same pathostic that raised this issue that day. I remember very vividly. The person was talking about the father, Prophet Muhammad, peace be unto him, married an infant. He was about to land on that point. One man said, no, we don't go on your religion here. Shot it. The person tried to clarify, he said, shot it, we don't know anything about Islam. Pathostic brought it back. And the same Madam Titan and others that said back then is sensitive, don't talk about it. It's the same people that say, oh, let's open it today. Yes, sorry, because they don't put their religion in I'm public. Sorry, everybody. I spent six hours here. I have to go now. All right. All right. Hold on, Maureen. Uh, hold on, Maureen. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, oh, hold I'm, on. I'm okay oh, with Madame Lori. Oh, 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 I love I, you. I spent don't, six hours. I have to go. Don't. Yeah, oh, oh, please. Oh, oh. Before you go, okay, she has gone. Oh, no, no, she's not gone oh, yet. She's I, so, so, oh, no, we I love you. About to leave. We are not here to bully you. Understand uh, the principle on which we engage on this platform. This platform is for for docility. Oh, 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 oh all right. Oh, 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 all right. I think she may. Oh, hold on. Uh, Maureen, are you still there? Uh, just wait. Uh, um, uh, um, let let me clear the space so we can uh, uh, say say goodbye to you properly. Uh, are you still there, Maureen? Ma Maureen, are, are you still there? I think, oh, oh, oh. I think I think she left. I, I think she left. Yeah. So 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 there it is. Uh, yeah. this, this is um. The, this, the, is this, is this is terrible. This is this is this is harassing. We we don't have to treat. Baba Jale Koku, you no, 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 you don't you don't go let's, after. Let's you don't engage. Go after. Yes. No, no. Please. Don't we, preach. We don't you, we are not the personality. Don't go after 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 the personality. Don't go This is not good. But you can engage on obedience and lambast obedience. But once they are engaged, somebody again, is a guest. Don't want it. It's a guest. Go this, back this, and read your comment, Obey. That's bullying. It, and you it, make it's you a guest. What do you call bully? Do you know? Do you know what this lady does? Do you know what this lady does? Look, you and need you to accept your bullying. mistakes and make some corrections. What oh, Madam Rosie, you even right. say I'm not thinking no, at all. Say you are everybody, right. everybody, you everybody, to everybody is telling you that you are wrong. You don't want to accept. That lady, what that lady uh, does, what lady, that lady does is really pastors. What that lady does is bully pastor. It's based on what she believes. Very, very embarrassing. Can I say something? That we have a guest does not make us dumb, you know. Don't let this disappointment. Don't let this disappointment. I don't see it. That's just what I'm saying. Please, can we please? Can we please, sir? This, this is not good at all. Don't let us allow this thing to. It's my own sensitivity that is. I'm just worried about it. Okay, okay, okay. 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 I bullied her and that I, I spoke rubbish. Why? Okay. Mm, why? Why would you say somebody spoke rubbish? Of course, I'm not on this platform. I've always been critical of anybody on this platform. Whether you are a guest or you're a panelist, I'll be critical of you. I don't I don't godify anybody. I don't godify pastors and I don't godify any any guy guest. You bring guests like critically engaged you. That's how it should be. Can we please, can we please calm down? Some of us understand you. Some of us understand you. So I think we should not just allow this to cause fracture because to me, Ogbeni has managed to explain himself and let us give him the benefit of the doubt and respect him for his opinion. He came out, he said he reversed that in that he was not intentional, that he was not trying to bully. Please let's accept that way because he may be doing he may be doing exactly what he's saying so at least we know that Ogbeni is very valuable to us too when we talk on this platform and i so much respect him at least he managed to clarify himself because if he has stood and said okay i'm so allah you don't respect me i'll give you query you 
Wait, you don't know. 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 That is no, no, okay. Can we, can, can we please? Can we please? Right. Can, can we please have an understanding? Okay, make you to say that I'm not thinking. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. In the absence okay, of Okay. I'm woman, sorry about saying you are okay, not thinking. You see, back, what I was talking about was you said we are criticizing. Oh, oh, hold on, we're everybody. Criticizing hold on. Rosie, everybody includes you. So I, I, I'm going to bring Maureen back. But I'm going to read uh, so that she can say probably because she didn't leave. I, I I don't want her to leave. I want her to live in the in a more elegant manner. So I'm going to bring her back. But I'm going to reduce the room uh, to just uh, myself, Zita, and uh, Jan Le Coco, and then Maureen can uh, have a, a clean exit, and then and and then we we'll bring people back. So 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 let me do that. Yes, so, so, uh, so Maureen, uh, I feel like you, you, well, you are used to it and it gets out of hand when it comes to religion. It's only because it's deeply held beliefs that people have held for so long, you know? So when those spaces get challenged, I'm, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure you've experienced it before, but uh, I, it can't go like that sometimes. Honestly, it's nothing. Every time I see the people do all sorts of things, but... I give out. So I receive is part of the, this job and I receive. But the way a manner, he came back telling or saying all sort of he wants to, he's here to do experiment and everything. So he did it on purpose. So he's, anyway, let's just forget it. Oh, 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 all right. I, I hope that doesn't put you all off because we intend to have you back again. I, uh, want, I want to thank every one of you. Thank everyone, Madam Sita, uh, Sister Rosemary, Baba Ajale Koko. Thank you, one man, and Ogbeni, Patrick, and everyone. I thank everyone. Thank oh, you. Oh, 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 all right. Here, here are a couple of words from uh, Ajale Koko and, and Zita before you leave. Ajale Koko. Uh, my sister, morning. I think uh, I really want to thank you for thank coming you. to have, uh, you know, an engagement with us this, uh, I mean, today. I mean, this is over to six hours. Uh, this is not a joke. It really showed that uh, you are prepared to have a nice time with us. Uh, but um, uh, don't worry about what happened. You know, you have been in this... Uh, you, you you know better. You know that when it comes to religious matter, some people can be very emotional. So um, uh, I just want to say, um, if um, we have offended you, um, just forgive forgive us. Oh, forgive the platform and forgive Honestly, you. no, honestly, don't, 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 honestly, don't, if I don't enjoy it, hey, 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 I told, you want I told to him have from the onset that I won't spend more than one hour, I told you. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. That so, and I at, enjoy and every bit of the conversation. I'm not saying yeah. I want to say things that I will not hear, I will not take back. I saw what he was writing initially, I ignored. Do you know how many people that come on my platform? If my own is more than this now, you will be seeing it flying, cursing me, that all sort of, but that doesn't really, it did, but the way he put it, and yeah. after he finished it, he came back again. Say that he, he he did it on purpose. Yeah. So um so for for that reason so that's why I said uh, just um accept our apology and uh, we oh. we hope that next time when you are invited you will show up again because it, this is a very I mean you really glad in the heart of a lot of people particularly myself so um it, it's it's an interesting conversation between us and you today since and half hour is not a joke so i really thank you and god will continue to bless you god will continue to strengthen you and uh, uh don't don't uh, give up the 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 good job you are doing a good job 
Thank yeah. you, sir. All right, brilliant. A, a, a few words from you, Zeta, before uh, Maureen departs. Okay. Um, Maureen, thank you. Uh, thank you. I must thank say, you, madam. thank you for your courage because um, whenever you come out to say these things about these pastors, you get firecrackers. I'm sure by now you must be used to it. Um, we would like to be seeing you more. I don't know if more man would like to invite you again. Um, it's unfortunate because I like one man platform. Actually, this is the first platform I'm speaking on. And the day I stop speaking, I go home. They used to do what I said. Like when you come out, you say your opinion, people will ask you questions and you bring your facts. That's why I like his platform. His platform for the, for the, for, for the intelligent. You don't just come here and say anything. So that was actually what I was expecting for people to ask you questions and you tell them your stories and everything. But it, it, that wasn't actually what I saw today, but it is okay. Uh, I'm sure uh, Baba Jani has already apologized to you. I add my own apology to it. Apologize. And, uh, good, man. Uh, and thank you. And again, we move. So we look forward to seeing you again. I'm not the moderator. One man is the moderator, but I'm saying that on his behalf. So thank you very much. He said it's, welcome, it's something you are, you are doing needs a lot of encouragement. Thank you, man. And um, I don't even know why when he behaved the way he behaved. I'm surprised and I'm shocked. That's oh. not the way. Oh, 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 all right. Thank, thank you, Zita. So, so thank you, Zita. Uh, so thank you, Zita, and uh, thank you, Adele Coco. So, so, so stay there. The conversation will still carry on. Uh, so, uh, and thank you, Maureen. I'm not sure if an apology was uh, was uh, it, it, it really the is the ebb and flow uh, of conversation. It's the cotton joust. Uh, I'm sure you've been pushed that before. Uh, I, 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 and by the way, Ogwen is a gentleman also, uh, I, and I, and it was just jousting with you. It wasn't anything. Uh, if there was, if there's one. One person that would commend as a gentleman here, certainly of Benny and Ajan Le Coco. So, yeah, it, it, it never, it, however, the words were taken, it wasn't meant with ill intent. So, uh, hopefully, uh, when, when you reflect, then you see that it was just the, uh, the conversation that led there. Uh, but well, thank you, Maureen, for doing this. Uh, and, and you really yeah, impressed. I, I thought you'd just be here for 10 minutes and say, I'm going, but uh, you know, we held you. Uh, but this is just part one, though. So there'll be part two, uh, which we shall discuss uh, uh, offline. So, so thank, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very for, for much. I'm grateful. Yeah. Thank you, oh, sir. Oh, oh, Bye, right. everyone. I want thank you, everyone, for having me. If one way or the other I've offended anyone by my action, I'm sorry. So good night, everyone. All right, brilliant. Thank you, Maureen. So, so that was Maureen. So thank you, Maureen, and uh, I'm back back to it. So back to it. Uh, so 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 uh, uh, one, one man, one man, one man. What's that? See, I must talk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know one thing is this. See, I think uh, like I was saying the in the forum, you see Maureen and Ogbeni, they are my state people. I understand, you know. We talk the way we see things, and we don't even, you know, we are too blunt. We are not that diplomatic. See. Like I said, I think we should give already the benefit of the doubt. And he made a statement, which I think was reasonable enough for me. Because uh, we can't all be going towards one direction and I agree and I agree and I agree. So like what I deduced from Ogbeni's statement, like he was doing like uh, playing the role of, of a devil's advocate that leads you which we're trying to provoke thought. So I, I, I won't see Ogbeni, I won't see him as a uh, Coming across to me as a rude person, no, because at least he, he explained himself, he explained himself, and I think we should respect him based on his word. And so, to me, I don't see why we should still be persecuting uh, or still trying to chop down or burn and sit saying, uh, you know, let let let's let just give him the benefit of the doubt because he, he managed to explain himself. No, yeah, no, I, no, I, I don't think Ogbeni overstepped the mark. Uh, um, and exactly. uh, no, no, I don't think he did. Uh, yeah. But uh, but the one thing is that uh, the 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 guest thought he did. So 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 we just had to make good. So it's one of those things that okay. uh, you just have to make good. So I, I okay. certainly don't think uh, 
uh, or when you overstep the mark. Okay, not, yeah, the, the, yeah. the same way too. I talk of uh, that Patrick too. Uh, I I think I don't think they've done anything wrong. That that's just for opinion. Like could be wrong. So I don't think they've done everything wrong. So uh, just like they have the opinion, uh, I, I have my. I, I think they did. No, 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 I I got a cuckoo. I got a cuckoo. I think they did. I decided. No, 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 no. Zita, Zita. Zita, these two people. No, no, no. The guests can be put under pressure a bit now. So, no, no, no. No, no. Let me let me tell you one more. What what they did wrong is that they are going they are going after the guest and not the issue. Go after the issue. Yes, that's where they got the cuckoo. That's why I got a cuckoo. Go I got a cuckoo. Despite that, despite that, I keep saying something here. If I talk, if you attack me, I don't expect you to roll out red carpet and take my word because every one of us were intelligent. And no, I should not I, just. And Maureen did not attack anybody. No, 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 no. Because, because I know Maureen, even not personally, I think, at least based on our activity. So, it, it, what what he got here today is nothing to what he got every day. She gets every day. So to me, I don't as because uh he, 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 she's a social media influencer. So she understands all this trick and all this. So I think since the two gentlemen managed to explain themselves, because this is our own, we should respect them based on their statements. Because they are gentlemen. Because if we cannot respect our people based on their statement, then to me, I I, uh, I think we are trying to. I, I impose, Allah, can I interject? We are trying to disrespect them too. So we should be able to trust their own responses too. If the, if you are accusing these people of disrespecting the guests and they are saying they are not, that statement alone we can see that's a reporter or something that okay. Even if they were doing it before, they said okay. Oh, we step away from this. We are no longer doing so. Let us respect them for that. Don't let us, please, because these guys like, are talking I about. I you will interject, ma. Because those of Benny and Pat, uh, Patosik, we are talking about. You understand? They are great assets to this forum, just like anybody we are going to invite. So that's why. No, I'm no, hold, hold on, hold on, Ola. Uh, nobody has thrown up any uh, under the bus, so th there is there is no guest. Uh, and and let me just say this for the benefit of uh of of, of everybody, there, there is no there is no guest that can ever be above uh, any of the uh, panelists here, uh, because we, we 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 are you know we, we you you'll be surprised how much time we spend with each other, you know. So there, there can there can be no guest, you know. That, that can be above a member of the panelists, especially established members of the panelists. So no guest can ever be that. But of course, when there's a guest, we have to be alive to the delicate sensibility. So it's just the balance. It's just the balance, you know? Yeah. Can I interject? To, and I need to apologize. Okay, I don't mean to dis, uh, disrespect anybody in the platform. Well, when I was talking, I was just trying to correct some mis I mean, some mis some, uh, mis I mean, some issues that were not right. I was saying that we were uh, that we were not criticizing Christ, we were not criticizing Muhammad, that we are just talking about some mis some things going on in the society that we need to address. So that's where I stand on. And then when um, somebody was like, oh, then also I also said about traffic. He said somebody is trying to make traffic. I said, what's wrong in making money? People come into wealth by if you are passionate about something, you go out and do it. That way money comes in. Most people that are billionaires today, they came in not with the intent of making money. They went out because they are passionate about an idea and the money start coming in. That was what I was trying to explain. And I wasn't like uh, trying to insult uh, Patoski or, or Gwen, but I was just saying that we should face the facts. We should face the point. We are talking about the behaviors of pastors in the society. Not, we are not talking about the, I mean, cr criticizing Christ or criticizing Mohammed. That's what I'm talking about. So I'm sorry if I come across as rude to anyone. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, is my well. apology accepted? And you do, they, uh, uh, I'm not sure yes. it was even. Uh, yes. not it's not affected. Affected. Uh, like, it's not affected. It's not accepted. 
Next time, what can I say something? Oh, all right. Let, let's say, let's say from when they demand at the uh, in, 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 in the I, eye of the storm. Thank you. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on, Zita. Zita. Let's say from when everybody should be quiet for me now. Or when you want to speak, yeah. or when you want to speak, no, Madazita, Madazita, no, I'm not giving you chance. I want oh, to speak oh, now. Oh, 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 all right, to you, or when the man at the eye of the storm. You, yeah. you see, one man, hey, what you guys, just three of you, the the the, 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 the elders, let me let me call the elders guru. What you guys went back to go and do that time, and uh, Madam Sita said, oh, we are firecrackers, no problem. Uh, she also said uh, um, he doesn't know the reason why when he behaved the way he, beha he behaved. I don't have any problem with it. My point is this. My point is very simple. I accept all apology and I also apologize if I have come in a way that people think I'm not. Uh, then for Baba Jale Koko, I'm not happy with his assessment. I always respect his assessment. But for him to think that engaging a guest intellectually amount to rubbish i don't think that is fair of him now finally see don't let us turn this platform to a docile people's platform let this platform be a platform that when a guest is coming you are ready for criticism you are ready for engagement you are ready to meet people who are well informed when i was talking i cited illustrations from the bible I didn't just come from any other place. We are not intellectually retarded. We are people who understand what we are doing. I won't come to a space where I don't know at all. Like uh, Kulata said, we go to other platforms. I've met uh, uh, one man on several on, on other platforms, by Clyde Dr. Damages. When they bought Simon Epa, you were there to, uh, to deal with Simon Epa's opinion because you believe you did not hear all the same opinion with him. And I've seen you also on several occasions like that on Dr. Dr. Damage's platform. Same with Kulata, same with Thomas, and so many people. So that's what makes it engaging. So that somebody doesn't come and say, oh, outline and sinker, we just pick it and then we go home. That is what I have done today. So, but if uh, Madam Sita, understanding of bringing a guest to a kind of platform here means that no, no. I, I, I think I think it was the language. It, it wasn't you pushing at her. I think it, maybe it was the language that uh, that caused uh, some people, not myself, but some people discomfort. Anyway, what I know is that uh, Madam Maureen digs people's privacy. She digs other figures' privacy very well. She brings their privacy to the to the public. She analyzed their privacy and then reached a conclusion on that. What I've simply done is, okay, you are also a public figure. And that's why I asked you, what's your definition of a public figure? She's a public figure. She's a social media influencer. So the same thing you, you, you do for people who are also figures like you. Now, I've done it for you. She had an EU with Tessa board and the EU was on, I don't want to go to it. Oh, you're sleeping with my ex husband and da, 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 da. I just bring that you, that you, you. I say, yeah. Um, I put all of you in the same bracket because you have fought before, and that triggered the whole thing. And that, and my, what I've done just proof to show that we love criticizing people and harmonizing. But let us check ourselves too. That's all what I've done. So if anybody sees it as something very bad, oh, well, maybe you are meeting the Ogbeni that you don't know me. I don't, I don't, um, I don't fear anyone. I push it the way it is. That's my training. That's that how we be where we are, where we are from. And I tell you the truth. I don't look at what is your age or maybe you are younger. I treat everybody equally. Equally, equity is equality in my space. Thank you. Oh, ben, you uh, um, um, <laughs> one man, can I say something before I go? Yeah, yeah Karen. Okay, I want one man and Allah to register their voice on this thing I want to say now. So one man, what you are telling me, because I am not very used to your platform. I'm just learning the modus operandi in your platform. So what you and Allah is telling me is that when you bring a guest into your platform, you test the guest. No, no, no. Uh, let me finish now. Yeah, let me go finish. On. You test the guest. 
not in what he is saying by asking him questions and what you actually brought the guest there to say, but testing him or her in another way. You didn't just do that. You came into the platform and say that you just texted her. Are you and Ola telling me that that is right? No, no. I just, can I just want you people to register mm -hmm. your voice on that, mm -hmm. then I can go. Uh, let, let, let me let me let me just say this. Uh, a, a guest can uh, and in fact must be pushed, you know, because you 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 can't present ideas and not hear a counter narrative. Not only not only can can they be pushed, at least on this platform they must be pushed because we push each other. Point. Yeah. What man, you didn't get my point. I said because when I want to talk, I like being very specific. That's why I want you to register your voice on this. I said, a guest came to your platform. I don't have problem with you pushing, pushing her. That's exactly why I came in. I wanted people who know more, whether she's lying or something, to ask her several questions on what she's saying. I don't have issues with that. Push her as much as you can. You can even test her. I don't have issues of testing her, like maybe testing her prep temperament, whether she can take it if she's criticizing, criticizing others. Can she take criticism or can does she have the temperament to condone it? I don't have issues with that. But coming into the platform and saying it to her that actually this is what you did and you came, you tested her by doing that, testing her temperament. Are you mm. telling me one man that that is obtainable in your platform that's just what i want to know this night no no i don't no, I, I think that still falls within the parameters of uh because uh, what Ogbeni was saying was that um uh, uh, it, uh that um i i think he was trying to hold a mirror to to to, to maureen to say that uh these criticisms that you are leveling against the pastors can equally be levied you at tell you. your guests yeah. that you have face Oh, you can, of course, okay, because uh, uh, of course you can. Why, why okay, can't you? Thank you. That's so, but, no, 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 what, 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 no. Hold on. What's your objection to that? You see, when you bring, just like as Ajani Koko was saying, when you bring it, a guest, she has come, she has gone. I think the way they do that thing is you do a review, when she, like that thing Obeni did. In our review, she has gone nobody would have said, okay, see now, the way I she criticized people, I tested her, look at what she did. She got angry. Oh, no, I didn't say I get angry. I was the one that pushed her case anyway. So she, he would have said it, but throwing it at her face, why she is at the platform, to me, is disrespectful. But if you people don't see it that way, I'm just yeah, well, well, so well, was it, I'm was very it the, okay with that. Was it the language that was disrespectful or the it's fact the that she was interrogated? The language. I have very issue with the language. I have a lot of issue. Coming into a platform, you have a guest and you say, I just tested her. I just tested her. <laughs> I don't really, okay, Madam I know, I know journalists will test you. Oh, hold on, Ola. They test you, but not saying it to your face when it is not a form fair. But if you people say, tell me this night that that's exactly what you people do in this past form, that's fine. Well, all right, let's let's bring let's bring uh, Simba in. Uh, Simba, let's hear from you. I've not talked to her. She wants me to respect uh, her. Uh, so, no, 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 I, just, I, I, just no, no. Hold, hold, hold on. I want to vary the opinions. Uh, uh, let, let's hear from Simba. Well, from my own take, I think um, if you want to actually push our guest, I don't think that is the right approach because she's talking about most of the issues that she's talking about is not as if we don't know. But it's like people, the way they twisted it, they twisted it as if she was attacking Christianity. And that was why some people just came and started talking, even the way Patrick talked and started, Patrick started cursing. No, we, she's talking that she's a Christian. Sorry, I wonder I if you are Sorry, I would draw that. But that was not a curse. I said, I commend oh. you to God. It means that I put you in the hand of God. 
What the what do you mean by that? How? Why? What do you mean by that? Don't twist things now, Patoski. When I put myself in the hand of God, I put my children in the hand of God. Well, you don't need that. You don't need that. You don't need that. Okay. If our guest so was that, today, is that a cause? Excuse me, excuse me. If okay, she is not a Christian, she is a Christian. Wait, let's even assume it's a cause. It is left for God to answer the cause now. Why do you that. need to cause somebody just because of you just infer infer in it's opinion? Not it's not a cause. I say I put you in the hand of God. God you don't that. need God that. Knows. You don't need that. You no, don't no, no, need no, no. that. You if don't example, need that. Let me give you. A, let me ask you a question. If, for example, you looked at me and you say, Patrick, I I know that you are in need. I give you. The what has he said that wait, 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 that wait, actually? Now. Let me finish. Demanded so that. If you say, Patrick, if you say, Patrick, I saw that you are in need. Maybe you need to treat yourself or medicament. I commit this. I give you this ten thousand. And I say, Ah, my brother, thank you. I put you in the hand of God. Will you say it's the cause? No, the mm -hmm. context at which you made that statement yeah, yeah, is because but, you think no, what that guy the, is doing. The, it's the because context, you think what that woman the, is the, doing the, has some comma. So that you would think that's a cause. Patrick, I put him in the hand of God. The, I put him in the hand of God for God to judge her whether she's right or wrong. Uh, yeah, the context mm -hmm. at which you made that statement is what um, uh, my brother uh, was. Uh, sure. uh, 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 we do, do respect. No, I don't go do respect. What's, what's the guy speaking I made. now? Sorry, who is speaking now? One man, uh, Simba. 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 Yeah, Simba. It is that context at which you made that statement that is challenging, that is not right. There is no cause. Okay, no, he, he called it a cause. There is but no cause for you to make that statement to her. Yes, sorry. I, I'm sorry if they misconstrued it, but I'm still saying it. I put her in the hand of God for God to judge whether she is right or wrong. I will not be. You know, you know. A, when you say certain things, excuse me. It, it's not only it's not only the word, even the, the the your your mannerism and the way you say it. Everybody on this platform, when that he was making his statement, when we look at him, we look at his mannerism and every, the the way you say it, you say it with all force, as if it's like she has. She has done something very wrong to you, and you just came and you know is 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 don't don't let us belabor this issue. Yes, we, please. We if I may come in, please. If I oh, may come I, I need to speak. Have to no, no, be, 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 before you come in, uh, Rosie, let's hear from Ekene, who, who's joining us afresh. Uh, so Ekene, um, we we thought we would leave politics and escape to religion. A big mistake. Oh, it's even it, there's even more fights in there than uh, Obi Tinubu. Uh, so, have you been listening, and what have you made of it, Kenne? Well, I, I just, uh, I just woke up. I, I just oh, joined right. and uh, bashing and everything about religion, and uh, so I just decided to come and. Uh, so, I want you to. I saw your guest. I saw how she was angry. I saw uh, uh, my brother the Abeni how he's being attacked, but I don't really know the main content of the issue. If I will. Oh, 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 I need all to, right. I need to hear it before I can come. I can let my voice come completely. Oh, oh, all right. Let, can let, I say something? Now? Yeah, yeah. Come in, Rosie. Then, then Ola. Yeah. yeah Rosie, what, yeah. like, what he said is like, like in Yoruba now. Let me just speak in Yoruba. Pete yon ba shen yon. Pete yon ba shen yon. Pele la kola bo. Mo file lo, mo mo file lo 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 wo. Mo file lo 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 wo. It's like this mm. lady has offended you so much. It's like, you know what? I'm going to let God to judge you. What is bringing judgment of God in what we're talking about? People misbehaving, not, pre not presenting themselves to be uh, Christ-like, not doing what Christ has asked us to do, and then you are handing them to God to judge them. No, judgment there means to decide whether it, it is right or wrong. That level. She's talking about judgment the bad people, things people, people are People look doing. at judgment as condemnation or justification. Okay, no, what is judgment? Judgment could be right, wrong, you know? No, but That's what, what I, she I don't talked about hasn't what come to that right. level. She was pointing out the evils that these pastors we are perpetrating in the society. Now you are telling her, no, I hand you over to God to judge you. So you That, know woman, you that woman was not she just lying against pointing these out... Pastors? She was not just, let's try to correct something and put something straight here. What she has been doing, I follow her for a while, and what she has come to do tonight is not just to point out. And that's the correction I want us to be very careful of it. It's not just to come and point out the yields in the body of Christ. 
That's not all she has come to do. She has come to pick on some of the pastors. She has come to grade which one is good, which one is bad. And she has come to tell us what standard they should be living by and all those things to judge them. So my point is that if you have that and you are entitled to, to it too, under the law, to have all these things, which they are also entitled to their own freedom of association and assembly, don't forget, under the same law. So if you have all these things in your space, then, and you want to, she can't be claiming the victim. That's that's the point I'm trying to make here. That but, if, uh, if you can I, go- I was she claiming the victim? I was she oh, claiming but, the victim? Uh, but, 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 with all the money but, that a church but, owned, but, some, but, a but, 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 somebody to come and donate, to come and pay a tithe of one billion. No. She's just going to say, what is going on? Does anyone- I'm talking about. Does anyone me. have the right to say that someone is good? We bully. No. Or bad. Does anybody have the right to say that somebody is good or bad? I, I didn't get that. If I may ask does you, does anybody, anybody, have, the right anybody have the right evil? to say that someone is good or bad? Whether this pastor is good or bad? Yes. Okay. Does anybody yes. have the right to say something, something that is going on yes. is evil? So you have no right to say it's evil. Why not? My point okay. in that. No, That's what we're point, talking about. My point on that. My point in that space. See, see, I, I don't like straw man argument. My point on that space is that if you have to say somebody something is bad, something is good, be specific. Don't use one brush to brush everybody. And I think Bishop made that point. Don't you can't pick up pastors and say, oh, Christian teenager, they and these and those. There was the well, she was taking examples of each person. She was not saying all the pastors are bad. She said this uh, pastor said princess, somebody to right, bring princess, one billion. This right. pastor princess, said you don't said pay your tithes, you won't go to heaven. She was specific but on the bad examples. ones among them that we all no, no, Baba Daniel. Let's, let's go back to the recording. You see, you see, but one of the things I love doing. Already, is, already I don't pay attention to details. Let's go back to those recordings and listen to all these things very well. We were very generalizing. And at the point, I said, stop being generalizing. And Bishop also said that. Stop being generalizing. If you pick a pastor and you say, okay, there's an issue with this pastor. And that is what Patoski is saying. He say, this is a very sensitive issue. If you pick a pastor and you say, I have a problem. Okay. At the point, time, she said, okay, eh, Baba, they will still have even a bit of holiness in him. But uh, Toby, what I Toby and other yeah, but, oh, and, and, so, Sorry, oh, Ogweni, oh, 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 what, what did you think she was invited here for? What, why do you think she was invited here? Let me tell you, she was invited here. To come the same, and this, and to keep the same, the same way. Oh, oh, hold on. Um, yeah. She was invited here the same way Simon Epa appeared on Dr. Damages. <laughs> The same way now that he and I'm the kind of appear on Dr. Damages, the way all those guests appear on uh, on the uh, platforms, she's also like them, no difference. And what is the point? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. What, 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 what I'm getting at is um you are saying she shouldn't this and she shouldn't that, no. but she was she was invited exactly because she has fixed opinions ab about a, a, a high octane topic, and, and, she, and she shared those opinions and she was ready to have those. Opinions interrogated. Mama, I don't have yeah. any problem with that. Yeah. See, I don't even have any problem with anything she has done tonight. I didn't. If you observed me, I did not. I didn't attack her. You observed me very well. What I simply said, what I simply did was that I said my fear assessment of this guest, which I'm entitled to. I don't know why Madam Star and Co will be criticizing me on this. And, and not even on open platform. It was... At, at the at the back end, everybody, a lot of people make comments at the back end. What do you as, as a guest? Do you even it's not your it's not your space? This is space for people to give assessment. And I said my assessment of this lady, I follow her for a while, is that I put her in the bracket of the SABOD and all those all those people. They are floggers and they make money. The more popular they become, the more traffic they draw to their website. Nobody can, can criticize me based on that. It's my fear assessment. She has picked people and she made assessment on them. So why won't can I, I say, so can I say you are also shaped by your experience with the bloggers? That's why you are saying this because you also said this that you have been attacked by them before. Yes, so maybe and because I, and of I the experience, my that's why you are doing this. Who is even talking? Simba. So you have been biased. Simba. Yes, you have been biased. Yeah, the same way she's biased. So what's bad in being biased? I think I think it, it, yeah. 
as Zimba called it that you have been biased, I think that is what that everybody is, is biased. Baba Dale Coco, Adale Coco, and let me see. Let, let me see. I, I, I don't think no. we should overflow this no. thing. We should understand that we have no. different personality here. Uh, Ola, let me. Ola, 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 if you want to be fair in assessing him, is I he has actually talked like a lawyer. The fact that the fact that all you see, all of us cannot be diplomats, we cannot pretend to be diplomatic. We should understand when people speak, they are speaking from their experience. Why our Patoski spoke to speaking from his own perspective, from his own experience. So we, we, we can't be the same. But one thing that I said here the other time is that when you clarify, okay, are you trying to rubbish our guests? And these two gentle men came out and said, no, we are not trying to rubbish. That should be enough for us to die this case down. Because if you say, oh, Benny, are you trying to rubbish this guest? Or if Benny said, oh, yes, if I rubbish him, then what will you do? Then that means that he's being disrespectful. But, but that what was he... what Benny was trying to do now. No, but no. Ah, was trying to pin said, her down. No, was going to portray her as bad as those patrons. Hold on, hold on. Let me make, let me make this thing. Ogbeni was trying to portray her as bad as those pastors. That no, it's about bad. not pastor Baba Jale Koko. I said I put her in the same bas basket with Esabot. Esabot is a flogger now. So uh, you are bad as the pastor. Oh, 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 oh. If she's as bad as the pastor. Oh, if she's as bad as the pastor. If she's as bad as the pastor. You are trying to portray her as bad as those patrol that she is portraying as no, bad. No, Baba Dale Koko. What if she's as bad as the pastor Go and see her. Baba Dale Koko, I said, I said, I approach. Baba Dale Koko, let me make clarification. I said, I approach in picking on figures, public figure like us. She's also a public figure, don't forget. In picking on public figure, going into their privacies and analyze them. I use the same approach on you. I said you have brought some of your privacy also to the public. It's not in the privacy, it's in public. And I said, and, and she replied, Esa, but they were even fighting, 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 talk on different videos. Go and check it. And I said, because of that experience that I've seen, I put her in that same bracket. They are all vloggers who get traffic into their websites. That was, I didn't make that public. I made that at the back end where everybody put comments. I was re uh, replying to, I think, Eze or so. And I made that in that comment. So, ah, my, ah, why attack her? Ah. She, she didn't even say anything until Madam Sita. It was Madam Sita that, she, that, that triggered this woman. Hey, so, so, Sita is the instigator. Uh, uh, the Madam Sita is eh? with me tonight. One, eh? one kill me. Good, caught my head. No, yeah, Obeni, Obeni, let me say this to be very frank. You see, Ajani Koko, you see, you, you see, uh, what's his name, Egni Martins. In fact, it was you people actually that made me come to this platform. Thank and you, I listened to other platforms, there are millions of this kind of platform all over the world, both African American, so many countries. The ones in Nigeria, they did this thing you do today. And I was, I was really, I was shocked because that's one of the reasons why I like one man platform. When you come and Madam Zita, I am one of, I'm, I'm not one of those that made you to come. Can okay, I finish? You better include me in that list. Can I finish? Mm -hmm. When somebody comes to one man's platform and says something, I remember in those days, I used to sit at the background and listen to you people. You'll be asking for, bring, do you have an evidence? You ask the person questions. Sometimes you make a no nonsense of what that person has said. And I was happy about that. But today, Obeni was not attacking the woman on what she is saying. Obeni was actually deviating from the topic of the day by saying that go back and read your comment you said that she is the same as the pastors that was what you wrote in one of your comments actually that was why i came in i said this is not why i came in i had my sleep to sleep 
I came in so that this woman will speak today, we ask her questions. She, what she said is not different from what we know. But we brought her because she's an expert. Let her tell us our experiences. Then come, come Patrick from the other end. Started cursing if you are discriminating the... I mean, one man, I'm really, really disappointed. I must say this. Honestly, sincerely speaking, I'm disappointed. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, so, so, so. Hey, hello, hello, one man. Then, because let me, let me. When uh, we also need to share Why from experience you from other. Hello, one man. Because what have I done uh, that? Uh, what, uh, because yeah, I, yeah. people are giving example of uh, when uh, Simon Epa when uh, you know I remember that day what Simon Epa did to you on on Doctor Damiji show. He did not allow you to talk. Yes. He said he doesn't like your accent. That you should speak like in Nigeria. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> yes. I remember. He, he bullied you. He did not even allow you to talk at all. Recently, when Rufai was uh, was invited, if you see the way they respected him, they allow him to talk and yes. even uh, even talk to them, advise them to calm down. And you know th those are the things that we suppose. It's not as if we should not be critical, but we should do it with some kind of. You know, I am very sorry to say this, and I know where Ogbeni is coming from. I don't know where Patrick is coming from, but Ogbeni started by saying he has had a very terrible experience with the bloggers, and that is what is actually um, 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 that actually made him to behave the way he behaved. Today. Patrick is coming from religious uh, emotion. I don't see Patrick Me? as a very religious person. Why is why is he pretending? I like Ben. He's in church. He's okay, so. They won't. 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 And I've always moved against this thing that look, we are looking at the wrong direction. Because religion, you can see religion as just one of those non uh non-governmental organizations. So they are not they are not your major problem. I'm even, I've even I even read someone say, Oh, we should create both industry factory. I say, okay, have you ever thought that uh, industry is not about manufacturing alone? We have services. Why can't you see religion as services? Do you know how many people what are, are we servicing with religion? Don't do all that. What do you what is what service? Yeah, yeah, let me know, you know. See, uh, yes, they are uh, uh, servicing uh, uh, by coming people. I'm probably <laughs> to talk in that area. See, you see now, that's the general. You see, that's you are a medical doctor, you know. I'm a business person. I can tell you, religion is a service. You are, you are providing religion is a service, service now. It's a, it's a real service now. Who you saying that religion service. is? Religion you are is providing real service. services, not in a mono economy, you know, in a macro manner. Do you it know depends on the way. Factors? It depends on the way. You, it depends on the way you you you, that you put it. You, that so, you, you, you can use it positively and negatively. Can it yeah. just for Religion you are talking about. You are talking about. Do you know that some people build churches? Are they not brick layers? Some people do those. Are they not coming from factory? Some people are paid. They build schools. Now, when we are saying that uh, the, the bishop or are uh, is it a uh, living faith employ like about thirty thousand people? Do you know what the payroll means? Do you know how much they take back and take to the market and buy? Okay, those are that those people they don't. And the quality of the children they train in that school, have you seen them? Have you seen the quality of the children they train in that school? contributed to our GDP? Are you are you kidding me? Have you seen the quality of the children they train in that school? Wait, 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 Simba. It has contributed to GDP. It has contributed to the economy now. Many of them are flying in carriages. They are living in big mansions. Please wait. Are you saying pastors are not buying your your products? If you are pro, if you are pastor, are you saying are mm. you saying MCO no more? They don't have member of the congregation that use their money that they collect a salary to take buses and all this. See, let us put this in the right perspective. Let me tell you something. If religion, if religion stop the way, you, many business will stop. Like musical equipment, people that import it will stop doing business. They play ugly, they walk they hand in hand, they everything walk they hand in hand. They play carpenter, they play those people's sweepers, they play, they, they pay electricity. Ola. You know the contribution of Bangkok ones, graduates yeah? to the GP of Nigeria. No, 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 Simba, you can't just say don't need see. That's what I don't do. Like I told you, you are a medical doctor, I'm a business person. I will put it analytically. 
Forget about it. So if you are you saying if you take the how, how much how much do you think the economy of a religion a religion economy works in Nigeria? Can you put it? Can you quantify it in billion in, in billions of naira? What are you talking okay, about? So uh, they, they, they need to be paying taxes to the government. Then they need to pay taxes to the government. Ah, the well, workers are not paying taxes. For those religious who said they are not paying taxes? Who said they are not paying taxes? No, the question is, what do they produce? They, are they, they produce. They produce intellect. They produce. So many, many people the cannot say that they not. They, they have not benefited from religion. They, are, they, are, they produce they intellectuals. What are you telling me? There are, are people are, that are being trained by pastors they today. There are people that are being. That you cannot. That you cannot say. You cannot say that religion. You cannot just no, say religion is Christianity or anything on the ground. He told me I have not seen the effect because it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't make a country great. It benefited me. It benefited me. It's just, it's, just a, it's just a it's just a it's just it's just a way of wasting resources. Do you know pay stack? No, no, pay stack. No, no, the no, that, wait, 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 pay stack or stack? They graduated from the university. What are you talking about? Well, uh, Simba, what are you talking about? Do you know how much deposits these people have in the churches? Do you know what banks do do with their money? What are you talking about? Those say, money. Where is the money coming from? Where is the money coming from? It doesn't matter. No, anybody that gives, coming. anybody that gives, anybody that gives to church willingly, you don't have to question that person. Simba. You come to church, you give willingly. Some of the factors. You don't have to question. You don't have to question the giving. The reality of what's going on. Some church, some pastors are scamming people. They are exploiting the poor. They are they are fake prophets. They are real prophets. You cannot just come and condemn every pastor and say everything about religion. It's even in the pastor. It's even in the Bible. It's for you to it's for you to decide. It's for you to decide to, it's for you to, decide. It's for you to decide to kill the one you want to you want to follow. If you want to follow the real one, it's left for you. If you want to follow the bad one, it's left for you. That's what we are saying. So you, 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 even starting from the starting from the olden days, right from the time of the Bible. They are, they are still fake pastors up to today. So you cannot say, you cannot because of that and say that uh, they, they say that Christianity is bad. So, and, 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 uh, and, the, and, uh, and the another thing, you don't have to criticize, they don't have to criticize pastors alone, you criticize the followers. Followers are the major problem. Too. Stop. Well, when, 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 you, when you don't want to... Sorry, what religion we are defending? We don't know when, you, religion, when you don't want to, when, when most of the followers don't want to hear the truth, they fall for the wrong, wrong pastors. But when you, when you have, when you open your mind to the truth, you always stand to be corrected. That leads you to the right people. Uh, so many followers, yeah, many, many, many followers, many, where many, where oh, 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 many, oh, 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 hold on, Simba. Let, let me ask you a question, um, uh, Ekene. Uh, so what percentage of the, uh, pastors in Nigeria would you say, they are just uh, uh, four one nine looking for money. What percentage? See, uh, let me tell you the truth, one man. I'm a Christian, and I cannot stand and condemn any pastor, whether you are wrong or right. I'm telling you that for a fact. I condemn followers. The reason why I do that is because it's a it is very clear. If you are a Christian, you are meant to study and learn. As a Christian, you don't just follow. But you don't just follow, uh, go to church, this and that, because you are a Christian. The reason why you go to church is to learn good characters. The, the purpose why you go to church every day, every Sunday, every day, or your Bible study, anything, is when you when you go there and, and, they, and they listen to the man of God, you come and they open your scriptures and know whether those things you hear, whether they are true or not. If they are not true, but you balance it with the word of God. You have the Bible on your hand. But there are some people so that, that is don't a go fact. to church. So followers, uh, you, you talk about when you talk about pastors, you talk about well, what we have is lazy followers. Because somebody like so if you if you are sound and you know what you are doing as a Christian, nobody will deceive you. I decide to give when the spirit leads me to give, and when I give, I don't regret giving. You understand? So there is no percentage of any bad pastors. All I know is that there are fake prophets, which is in the Bible. It's left for you to identify if you are a true Christian. When you go to church, when you when you listen to the word of God, you know whether what the man is saying aligns with the word of God. The Bible is there for you to you say study to approve to show yourself a workman. You study to approve. You learn the word of God by yourself. You go there for directions. You don't you don't criticize spiritual fathers. There are spiritual fathers. There are many of them. They are they are they are pastor kumis. They are the boss. If they tell you their own story, you know also. The, 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 many of them, you cannot criticize them. 
And you cannot tell me they do not they don't contribute to the society. They contribute a lot. Somebody like me today, I cannot know, I can, I don't know where, where I will be today, even for the direction of the word of God. The word of God is very critical. Either a Muslim or a Christian. I, I, I can, I can, I, let me just even ask something a, a very that uh, that thing. You see, when I when I say we look into the wrong position and a grand road direction and looking at churches and only that's the wrong position. For example, I will tell you. We are supposed to be more active on government policies, like all those things they put in the exclusive list that is that is making our growth stagnant. But we, we, we look at who those people that are not giving up electricity, those people that are not giving uh, allow our resources to be used to treat the people, but we are now following those people that build universities that employ people, those people that employ you see, have you been to radiation camp? How much do you think it's take to build those places? Are they not bricklayers? Are they not engineers? Are they not construction workers? I don't know. Uh, 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 Many people uh, are being employed. Let me tell you. Okay, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something about their schools. Let me tell you something about their schools. If you go to these schools, eh, eh, if you don't like that school, eh, then the quality that they put in that school. It's not just what you tell somebody that uh, uh, the this school is expensive, this and that. I pray to have my to have money to send my school my children to those schools. It's very encouraging. It's what we lack in the society. Okay, let me ask you a question. Men, I, I have seen I have seen children that are being trained in that school. Can I ask I've seen question? children that are being trained in that school. Those children are not those children are just are not rascals. You cannot you cannot yeah. those children are those children are trained in the Rhode Redeem School or Deeper Life School, Deeper Life High School, or any of those schools you are talking about. They are not rascals. You cannot compare them to the children you see in the society today. Uh, all right, you can never uh, compare them with the society. Uh, 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 you should uh, uh, the society today. Uh, uh, so, uh, 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 oh, hold on, can I take a question from Rosie? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my question is this: When the when the the Catholics when they brought the missionary schools, they are, they are, they, are they asking people to pay school fees? So why can't they provide the education to the poor? That's the Catholic model. See, you, see, uh, you can model. It's not you, can, model. you can put anything. Uh, can you can put anything. Can I you can put any, you can put anything. Can I answer that question? Oh, oh, all right. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, everybody. Let, let, can I, let, can I, let, please. I'm not yeah, finished yeah. with my question. Yeah, land, land, the question. Let it can answer it, and then uh, you okay. chime in after my, him or or Gwenny. Okay. Yeah. My question is this: When the Catholics, when they came to Africa. They provided free schools. They provided healthcare centers. They were not charging people for this. Most of these pastors, they benefited from this free education, from these missionary schools. So why can't they provide that way as a way to help the society? Too? There are why other ways they to provide. The there are, why there would are they other. Be, are, why would they there are other ways members? to provide. If you are not close, yeah, to, if you are not close okay, to, wait, if you are not close to these pastors, wait, wait, okay. wait, I'm not done. Why would they use the church members, tax the church members heavily? To build these schools, and at the end of the day, most of the church members can't afford the fees. Most of them, most of them afford it. If you are not, if you are not it's close, not if you are not close, not true. Let me that finish now. True. Let me finish. Um, let me finish most now. Of most of them are. afford it because I because if you are a member, if you are a member of the church and you are really a member of the church, there are discounts for you to train your children in that schools. As in the who one that I attend. I'm going to those schools. Who do you think I'm the going one to that I, and the who do you, and the most of the people that are going to those schools are members they of are the, the church. Members. They are members and there, and there are people that do most of them they have this kind and the most of their teachers are also members of the church. Very qualified teachers. You must you must go through as in you must go through. It's not all these schools where you go and uh, you see my practice and all this uh, before you pass your exam. If you as in even if you are a teacher before you can go to that school to teach you must have passed through many tests it's the nice. members the member many and they, i can tell you that 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 70 percent of the children in that school are members of the church and they have discount can i speak on that space? and they, i all i will always put it to you that the children that are being trained in that school you cannot see them anywhere they are not close okay, to the children you see why, the that is why this school that is why somebody like don davis had that experience in that school and yet they don't have anything going on in the schools you know what happened to don davis the experience who, who is don davis 
Okay, now you need to. Hey, uh, man, maybe... where, you know, hey, hey, okay. Let me tell you, the problem is that I you see. cannot win oh, one man. Oh, 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 no. We oh, cannot oh, yeah, win yeah, this situation. Yeah, 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 you just yeah, call it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so, so let, so, so oh, people's oh, mind oh, are made oh, up, oh, and there's always oh, nothing you can say. Okay, let me take control by inviting Ogbeni in. I did say Ogbeni to come in after I can. You see, I understand Simba, and my understanding of him is that you see. When we when we speak on um, without empirical evidence, and we pick ESA thing, and it becomes a popular narrative, it tends to speak and suit our narrative in such a way that when people now come with the specific, we feel like oh, there is no way they will say whatever you are saying. Now, Ekene has come with specific. He's giving you specific. He's not generalizing that like you do. He's just hey. telling you. This aspect. Giving any specific. And I will give you didn't give any specific. Oh, just talking oh, oh, generally. Oh, 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 hold on okay, now. Wait, uh, let me let, give you let, 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 yeah. uh, This happened to be a bit of my area, taxation. See, apart from industry you see in Nigeria, there's any institution that is paying next, it's churches. And that is why this narrative, oh, they don't pay tax. They just collect money. I just look at people. I say, where are you getting all this fat for? from? How can you say they are not paying? Let me tell you, for every book, that you see any any pastor writing, most of them they make many of their money from book writing, right? Because most time all those messages you see them in CD and books you see them writing and they sell, they make money from it and it's their personal money. They pay you pay VAT on it, right? So the CDs, the book they pay. Once they pick their money and they take it, deposit in bank, bank collect their money on whatever you are taking. And they don't keep their money in their houses. Don't forget. They still bank. Bank collect money and, and the economy flow on that. Every loan, you know, some of them, they receive, they get loan to build all these edifices, properties you see around and you think it's, more, it's their money. Some of them get loans. And every loan, they service their loans and find a way to repay it. That's another contribution they have to the society. Every property they purchase, they pay their and I have I have a very I have a very good example on this this point yeah, you made I'm, now. I'm a coming. Very good they, example. Yeah. They pay their tax on it. They pay their tenancy rate on it. They pay every permit you need on it because if they don't pay, they have so many people outside that to attack them first and expose them. So they pay all this. Now you see some of them flying, few of them flying jet around and everything. Do you know how much it takes to service all those shit? And the money goes to the government. You pack it somewhere. Every money you pay, putting it in that anchor. Now, not to talk of all the establishments, they employ people. On every employee, they pay their personal income tax, your payee, and even capital gain tax on their capital. And they still pay company. Now, it depends on what you register. If you register the church as a limited, you pay your company income tax. The, the movement is entering as your income. They, you pay your company income tax. If you register as incorporated trustee, which in the United Kingdom, yeah, charities don't pay tax like that. They pay 5%. So I wonder where people come from and say, oh, they're not even paying tax. I tell them, in the UK, do they pay tax? Charity organization in the UK pay 5%. And they still get gift aid. That's something they call gift aid. Government still give them money back. Because of what they do in the society, they keep people in a place. Do you know, to even keep, to even keep people busy on that Sunday alone, in the developed world, they appreciate it because you keep people busy. People are not idle; they are not in the streets. So, but let's leave that space now. The space I wish to speak to is the space of the Catholic, Catholic that uh, uh, Princess Rosie talked about. See, when the Catholics came, yes, they did not collect money school fee for us. They collected what was more than money. And check it very well. They were the colonialists. The Church of England, the method, all those guys. They were the colonialists. So as they were giving you all those things free of charge, sometimes to deaden your brain so that you look at them, you don't question the slaves, masters. Then your timbers is going away. Your gold is going away. Your oil is going away. Your rubber is going away. Things are going away. They are charting it away. And they are telling you, oh, we are giving you this religion. And they pack all our artifacts. Don't forget. In the last time we were talking about uh, bronze of Bini and things that are refined. When did you think they took... They took all this thing away and they gave us schools and they said it's free. So it wasn't really free in the real sense. And lastly, lastly, you see, children that goes to all this school, I know there are scholarships. I know there are discounts. Now, 
if you want those schools to be very cheap, who will subsidize? Is it the government that will subsidize for them? Then do you want to drop the standard, the quality of education in those schools? These are the things which you think about. I, I work with uh, my, my principal while working in Nigeria has a university and I have a little glimpse as to their recurring, their recurring expenditure alone is massive. It's massive. It's something they need money to run. And do you know NUC and all these regulatory bodies still collect money from them? So if they really want those things to be cheap, government should stop collecting from... So what about the tax and offering that they are collecting? Is that not going to help them in all these things they do? You said? The tax and I offering and the donations. Yes, now, the, once they pick... Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Hold on, gentlemen. Let, let Zita come in. Zita, come in. Oh, well, my, um, 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 I'm not interjecting on this thing that say, get me. I just wanted to make a suggestion. Um, can you move most of your topics to weekends so that people can join? Because the weeks I can't. And yesterday you didn't come on. You went on rapture. <laughs> <laughs> You, you know, know you, 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 uh, you one man was there. One man, you were under Abu Abu. I was well, looking, uh, I was looking uh, for uh, him, but I can't find him. You, you know, you know what, you know what happened yesterday. I, I just didn't find the topics are strong enough to have a conversation. So that just been there was really nothing in the news site because I did put out the thing that I was coming on, uh, but then I was looking through the news. I was even uh, asking people to submit uh, and even what people were sending in. I still uh, didn't feel it was strong enough to have a session. So Norman, I, uh, I have uh, uh, four uh, uh, nephews and nieces that are kind of 16, 17, 15, 14. They listen to us. And I have two young people in your platform too. They called me outside of this platform. They said there is a topic you guys discussed when I was not around and then that you didn't dwell on it intensively. That they wanted to know what's going on on that on that space. They call it uh, the de de dollarization. So I was I was thinking would I, you say you don't have topic. That's a big topic. You can do part one, part two, part three, part four if you need to. Oh, oh, all right, I'll I'll have to have the big guns in for that. That is a Polata or Benny space, Patrick. This sort of character, the the Africos, you know. So, so yeah, so we certainly, uh, you, you know, I always put out my um, Instagram for people to, because, you know, a, a lot of the things that we discuss are things that people actually send in. So I always encourage that. Uh, and, and I and I give out my, my numbers to a select few who, who send in topics as well, you know. So, uh, you, you know, you guys really shape uh, the conversation. So if there's anything you want me to discuss, just, uh, just send it in. Uh, or you want us to discuss, just send it in. Uh, one man, uh, so what do you have to say about the weekend stuff? Well, we do weekends anyway. We do every day of the week. I know you do every day of the week, but yeah. uh, uh, most of the interesting and exciting topics, you should do more pushing them to the weekends. That's yeah, what I'm saying. I'm yeah, well, but we, we do the news cycle, though. We do whatever is in the news on that day. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, then, oh, are, are you saying we should have a themed weekend to have like a theme rather than a news? Um, is that what you're yeah, suggesting? Or maybe like something like a review for the week on topics you guys touched all over the week. We can still do a a round a round off on it, something like that. Maybe on Fridays, then we do new topics Saturdays and Sundays. Oh, 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 all right, that that's, that sounds like an idea. Yes. Uh, but this the last week, uh, this week rather, you've been going off and on rapture. You get raptured, you come back. You get raptured, you come. You you, you know you, no. It, it it depends on how long the sessions are. You you know if the session is extremely long, and I think, oh, do I really want to take it on? And then a lot is now starting to depend on our Thomas as well. If Thomas doesn't have the time to. Come and uh, break me off halfway through. Then I just, uh, but uh, you know. Well, you had. Yeah, no, yeah, I had network problems on yeah. weekend. Then 
Mm. On weekend, I can always um, try to step in. Just let me know anytime you want to step oh, oh, in. Oh, 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 all right. Because I, I, were, were, were you missing me, uh, Zita? Oh, no, no, not really. Because ah, look at that. Week, you should, okay, you you should, you should, I said yes stay. now. Yeah. Look at that. You should have said yes to boost my ego. But my I husband get bazooka. So, <laughs> you see, this, um, like now, I stayed long. Most weeks, I can't, I can't even come in in the first place because I have to go to work. But weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And yesterday, you people were not there. That's just what I'm saying. Mm. It's not that I miss you. No, I don't. All oh, right, thank you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, all right, so, so okay. there it is. Okay, okay. one man. Good night. Mm. You, uh, good morning, all of you. See you tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, all right, Th thank good you, Zeta. So good that, morning, that, 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 all right, man. Uh, one man, please. So, yeah, so, I mean, so, 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 so you only came here to give a uh, uh, when they're flogging. Uh, there it is. Well, one man, <laughs> one man, uh, one man, please. Uh, we say, yeah. one man, please. We say, Mr. Thomas. So whenever he's uh, moderating, it's always like we are in a boot camp. Oh. And God, you got two minutes. You got two minutes. Please, so yeah. take it easy with us. He says, when I say hold on, I mean hold on. Everybody hold on. <laughs> it's military military commander. Military it's commander. very strict. <laughs> <laughs> military <laughs> commander. <laughs> um, well, um, a lot of people actually love... Uh, to sorry, Ajaleko. A lot of people actually love Thomas, you know. They actually wait for me to leave before they come in, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, 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 he has his own audience. He has his own audience. <laughs> yes, now. Yes, now. I support it. Yeah, yeah. I seconded that. Mm. <laughs> One man. I mean, mm. we have not... We didn't even um, discuss... Um, our sister's uh, performance uh, today, uh, Maureen. Uh, I mean, w what's our assessment on her? We don't. We we we, we didn't even um, uh, talk about. I, 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 I think she did. I, I think she did excellently. Uh, but you will you will give us an assessment. But I think she did excellently well because the anticipation was that. Um, she was going to spend about an hour and a bit, especially this late. You know, she lives in the UK too, especially this late in the night. But uh, if she ended up spending six hours, then that that felt that must mean then that she was comfortable in the company that she was in. Okay, I I I, I, th I think she did very well. Okay, she agreed to spend one hour with you. Yes, roughly. Ended, that's what she said. Yes. Yeah, roughly, and she ended up spending six and a half hour, almost seven hour. So she had a very good time with us. And when you have a visitor like that, I don't think it's the best for us to go after her own character. You see, Ogbeni, I don't want Ogbeni to see me as being hard on him tonight. I'm not hard on you. I know where you are coming from. I, the, I mean, from the training you had, and this is the way that lawyers operate. We know the way they operate. So, but you know, sometimes we have to um, tempo down that uh, professional that professionalism in us we have to you know step it down a little bit sometimes to give some people particularly a guest on the show uh, some kind of comfort yeah but we can't we can't be too soft with the guests as well now no, no, i mean uh, because no, no, the, 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 the people here they are, they are too exposed and too intelligent oh, to be soft on. Yeah. If you, I'm not saying we should soft on them, but for God's sake, we should not go after them. When we are doing that, we are going to discourage a lot of people. She almost left with hunger. It is not the best way to treat guests. Guests should be able to come in, have good time, and leave in peace and not in disappointment it, it, it is not the way 
the way they treated you, you went, you are not a guest, but you went there just as a contributor and you are bullied. That one is different. If you are a guest on any show and they try to bully you on that show, you won't like that show, you won't like to go there. That is just in the, the you know, um, um that that is just the way it, it, it is so but every time please let us when we have these people come particularly somebody said he's going to have one hour with us and he's spending six and year. i mean there's no honor that is as big as that you you have to honor person that honor you that respect is reciprocal. I mean, these people we are talking about, even if she have a show, even if she's making money, even she's talking, or she's talking against these people, they are fact. They are not made up by her. They are fact. We saw all the rascality. She's she are actually saving soul every day with her program. She's saving a lot of soul from religious and and slavery being perpetrated by this religious uh, 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 rascal people that call themselves uh, religious leader so that that is you know she did very well as far as i'm concerned i really admire her and i think i admire her more than ever before for the fact that she spent six hour with us six and you have almost seven hours that is i mean that is that is wonderful i really 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 respect her for that i like to honor people that honor me or you know people that show respect to you it is good to show respect to them that is where i'm coming from i'm not saying we should not push look look for example when she was saying that this thing is a scam, um, um, what do you call it? Tight. It's a scam. Yeah, the way I pushed back, I was saying, okay, you're calling it a scam, but how do we run the church activities when, you know, people have to, um, they, they have to maintain the church they have to do some charity. They have to provide medical care for some people. They have to, where would they raise the money? That is the pushback I want. Not going after what she does. When you are going into a home privacy or private life, then I think we are crossing the line. When you are doing that to your guests, you are crossing the line. Let's focus on the issue and not mix the issue with their own private life. That is where I have problem. So she did very well. And um, I, I think um, that, that as far as I'm concerned, I, I, I have more respect for her. And I really thank her that, you know, everything she said, she 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 enlightened us more than ever before than ever we have known of the shenanigan of these people so she 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 actually did very well one man uh that's my take all right um thank, thank you Ashi. Uh, all right. Uh, so, so, uh, so, uh, Gwendy, let's hear from you. I, I feel as though uh, you've been you've been put under pressure somewhat. Uh, do you feel do uh, you feel you've been pressure? What 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 are you making of the feedback that you are getting? Uh, well, well, ma, you, you see, I've told you, I'm not a I'm not a medical doctor like Simba. I'm a lawyer. I'm used to criticism. I'm used to um, opposing people expressing opposing opinion. And I've told you that I don't respect people's opinion based on age. I don't. I respect people's opinion based on substance. Baba Jale Kuko has made some point tonight. I agree with some, and I vehemently agree with some parts. And I've expressed my opinion about the part I disagree with. 
and I think he's been unfair with the assessment of my um, response to Maureen. The part he just mentioned tonight, which I, this morning, which I agree with, is that yes, um, she's been very magnanimous with us. She said she would spend one hour, she has spent four hours, yes. Then we should have probably given her a little bit space. You understand? And at a point in time when she started feeling probably uncomfortable with the way we we're pushing back. Not, not everybody has that training of being criticized. Not, not everybody has, has that, 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 that thick skin. I know that. And I gauge people. That woman has that thick skin. See, Madam Sita and Madam Rosie were the one who triggered this month. Now I'm telling you, go to the woman platform and see people criticizing her. There. Yeah, so, so they, what they did that. Uh, they were doing that. Now, 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 Madam Rosie, there. Yeah, Madam Rosie, Rosie, didn't instigate. Let me let me change her name to Rosie the instigator. Madam Rosie, we could now put pepper on the entire thing. Go blast it. thing. Cut my head from. No, you see. <laughs> My own take was that when you are coming at her, when you are coming at her, you are coming at her like you are in court. I know that's your profession, but no, you know sometimes not as a panelist, not as a panelist. Was... See, no. I I made my point. I said this is not a topic. You know, I first came online live, yeah. and I made my point. I said this is not a topic I like engaging on. I I study theology to an extent, so I understand it's a very dicey place. It's a very debatable area. And very sensitive for some people. So I don't love really dwelling in that area. And I said, more so that vloggers, if, if it's coming, if I want to debate, if today you are bringing a theologian, let's say you are bringing Bishop Kuka, or you are bringing some, yeah, I will engage with people like that because I know they'll be coming with statistics, they'll be coming with facts, and they'll be coming with the history of church and everything. But if yeah. you are bringing but, a, but, a vlogger. But you know, there was one thing you did also. You were saying, she was generalizing using the same thing to punish everybody. You did that too, also when you said she's a blogger and you categorized her. With, uh, and I yeah, said, no, you, my, you I, categorized I, her with uh, uh, this lady, Escabod. Escabod is a very notorious woman. That woman ah, does talk. For oh, me. so you see, you see, so Maureen, you cannot uh, compare. You yes, cannot compare. I mean, Maureen talks with intelligence, she talks with in your she space. Makes, she, she, that is in your uh, uh, no. princess, you are biased, so we, we uh, cannot, people know Maureen very you well. Cannot, look, I listen to Escarbot. <laughs> you cannot put Escarbot on the same, uh, they I are mean, you can't put them on the same. No, 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 uh, Escarbot is somebody that just talks anyhow, there is no substance to what she talks. She's talking about this. Talking you about need this. to go and look at two of them when they were fighting and talking to each other. You understand the background I'm coming from, but let's leave that. That's not even what I'm saying now. What I'm just yeah. saying is, he asked for my reaction, and I said, I I, I have I, I like people criticizing me. I like people assessing me. I'm not I'm not a kind of person that um, that will chicken him. But but you know I'm when you came in, you came in, came. you came in biased already because of your experience, and you are yeah. testing her. But you I are not going. No, what, I you are, my what, opinion. When I first came live, you, know, you are kind of biased. The way you I'm came, you with the neutral ground. No, no, no. See, when I went to the back end, I wasn't a panelist at that point. I was contributing yeah, the but, way... But you know, you, you know why Madam Zeta and I were surprised? We were like, wow, this is one of the key members of the platform. Why is he talking like... Panelist. You, know, I you, were invited, you know what you reminded me of? Disobedience. You were just texting, texting, texting. Just like the obedience drew. I'm like, wow, this, this man is more than this. What is coming? What's really going on? No, no, no. Don't you patronize are, me now. That's a, no, I'm not going to write I'm telling you, that's why Madam that's why Madam Zeta said she's so disturbed because she high we put her on a high pedestal. So, you so when you start understand. behaving like an obedient, we are like, oh my god, this guy, this guy is not an obedient. Uh, what you just instructed obedient too. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you an instance. You see this one man that will call me and be painting like a gentleman to us. Go and see one man on Dr. Damage. There was a man, one man, there was a day one man came. They were debating war to that day. And when one man came, the first thing, the guy was a, was a guest on Dr. Damage. The first thing one man came was that they said, ah, allow one man to talk, allow one man to talk. Allow one man to say, ah, 
because I'm not a beer fry, so what's up? <laughs> That's why that made you not allow me to enter. They shall allow him after blackmailing the man. The first thing Dr. Mind will say is that ah, and one man will say is that uh, see, I don't want you to start coating because that man loves coating these Aristotle coating all of them. He said they are don't want to in answer my question straight. Don't go and be coating Aristotle, coat this coating. And that guy felt very angry. And the man started talking. And at the end of the one man said, See, the reason why I'm putting, I, I must put you on your toes because don't think we are all here as dummies. You just come and talk and then we listen to you and you go. We must put you on your toes. We must let you know that we are well informed in order to extract the best opinion you have from you. In order for you also to go back and have a rethink on some, probably sweeping opposition that you have taken before and they are not justifiable. So that you can have a rethink too and know that, oh, all things that are listening to you also reason, they also think they are not dummies. So, Baba yes, Dale, but, go, go. Yeah, but one man did that because that's not his show. But if somebody else comes came on this show and is attacking Maureen, that is not part of the panelists, of course, it's I mean, that, but we just thought you are part of the core members of this platform. I'm and not, then I you wasn't are, the panelist at that time now, I was at the back end. Yeah, but you see, I, I, I diverted your attention and you see money to come back to this. Can we? No, oh, 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 all right, <laughs> yes, I, I, I think we probably will leave up where they alone. No, man, okay, don't make it wrong. If, uh, uh, if I have said anything that is wrong, I'm sorry then. I expect Agbala also to say sorry to me. You didn't say sorry throughout, but no wahala. I'm okay. Oh, oh, that's, oh, 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 that's, oh, sorry. oh, 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 Mind you, uh, please, I'm so very sorry. Like I said, I'm very sorry oh, 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 when I came out at you. Oh, 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 oh. Because to me, oh, oh. this is a very I am proud of Ogbeni Jare from my state. Keep yeah, to me, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 all from Ekit anyway, including Mori. I like Maureen. it, you yeah. like it, I like it. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry if I come at you because usually I'm not like that. I'm. I mean, I have my opinions, but I'm not very opinionated. But I was talking emotionally because I've seen a lot of people that, I mean, that were deleted because of these, uh, you know, these attitudes of, uh, you know, so I was kind of very passionate about it. So I might have come at you wrongly. I'm sorry. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, so, so uh, let, let's leave, Maureen, uh, uh, and especially Ben, of course, uh, I, 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 and by the way, Ogbeni, or, or, or co continue to be as you are. You, you know, don't, 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 uh, because it's that punch that you bring that people enjoy. If you turn it down, then, then you lose the magic, and I'm sure you won't. This was, this was the same thing we said to Enigmatic. So retain that punch and potency because it's a very important uh, component of uh, what we do here. So, so Ogbeni, uh, the. Uh, the the sharp uh, but, but legal woman, legal okay. you know what woman. woman with woman with her when I've listened to me, your show so much I mind yeah <laughs> 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 is different from when he talks I, I mean he doesn't punch at people I know the people that people are uh, like rational mind, people are always like, Oh, rational mind, you are not you are a rational mind, they call him also something. I like but that when he comes in yeah, he comes in. I mean, he's like level headed, calm. He's not uh, ruffling. Especially when they feel they have you on the run, they will pin you down. Obani might be my this uh, my opposition in politics, but the guy is very intelligent. I learned something. I learned a lot of things from him. I don't know why you people are just coming on him like this this night. Oh, ben 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 at me like genius there, I say, I said, look, there's one of Benny in our forum. So if you want to just go 
come here now. I come and see Ogbeni here. So you are, so that you know that all those idea I borrow it from Ogbeni, and I've never, I've never hidden that. So, uh, Ogbeni, please keep it up. Okay, thanks. Thanks. I don't know you too. I know some oh, oh, oh. And and, so and this platform, I, 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 and the one man, one man, I always maintain that this platform will not be, will not be as sweet as it is now. If you, if there is no opposition in it, everybody cannot work in the same direction. And if it works like that, this platform will not be lively. This platform will not be, be as sweet as it is. So we must welcome all ideas and treat it properly. Oh, 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 all right. Uh, uh, gentlemen uh, and, and lady, uh, a micro moment just to do administrative stuff. Uh, so the super tasks that came in, Kulata, uh, Ayo, of course, uh, and then uh, uh, um, earlier on, um, uh, Alexander Gomez. So, so, so that was what happened there. Uh, uh, you look at that. Uh, we, 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 Maureen coming here to boast that she every, every time she goes, they throw uh, thousands and thousands at her. Uh, but uh, here, here we are. But uh, that, that, that's uh, let let me also document. Of course, uh, you know where we're going. Uh, are your uh, as always uh, registers his presence as he always does. So that's how you're doing as he always does. So. So thank you, Ayo, for that. Uh, but to the wider topic, uh, uh, and firstly, uh, before we go to the wider topic, uh, just th this session now, uh, we we've gone now as, as seven, uh, just 10 minutes from eight hours, and we've not discussed anything political at all. So so do you think we should be bringing this non-political, maybe not every day, but every now and then, to be bringing this non-political topic for us to, to interrogate? Is it... Is this the sort of thing that you'd like to see uh, for the future? Yes, one man. I think. Yeah, I, it's I think proper. It's good. So it's we, proper. Can, we, can that bring historian, we can bring historian, business people, investments, and uh, you know, it, 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 uh, citizenship education, a lot of. Citizenship no, education, okay. No, no, we don't want boarding stuff now. We want, we want no, no, uh, one more, one more. No, don't we worry, need that, that one more. We need you can bring manage counselors too. You can bring manage counselors. Ah, that, that's what I was saying, but not, not citizenship <laughs> education. Some, now. Some we, 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 we're, we're, <laughs> we're trying to generate health, traffic. Health not, uh, areas. You can bring experts on health areas. I mean, yeah. uh, marriage counselors, some con feminists, weaker, and some fact, con. I mean, various areas so that people would. You know, I, I like, haven't thought that uh, one man will bring this uh, the topical issue now that people are discussing now. Uh, this uh, Ashraf no, Hakimi. We, 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 we're doing that tomorrow. We're doing that tomorrow. Ashra, Ashraf Hakimi case. I mean, this uh, divorce uh, that you, you you. I I hope you know about it. And I, yes, I know no, we're, I, we're, we're we're doing it tomorrow. We're doing it. And the ignorance okay. that is flowing around that area, it didn't shock me. Oh, maybe your brain must be here tomorrow to tell us. Oh. Ignorance too much there. I just a lot when I see that. You, I see you, 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 <laughs> you, you know, a, a lot of people are applauding him for being a genius, some criticizing him for being a mommy's boy, but everybody now, now, completely against the wife. But uh, now, 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 now ignorance made people they talk that way, they actually think that if they want to get anything from that guy, that the guy has escaped. Ignorance. So, I'm not a lawyer, but I know that of Benny, we, we talk about you that you have to share insurance number. That they are paying your social insurance, so you can nominate any bank to this thing. But the fact that they know you are collecting money, it depends on the basis of your agreement for that uh, marriage. And people think they cannot get that uh, Kimi. I don't think so. That's why I just laugh. So maybe the like of Ogbeni, they will tell us something about it. No, no. But 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 what I think is they can attach his assets, but they can um, they can attach his income, but they cannot attach his assets if if the asset is already registered in the mother's name. I don't think that can work here in America. You can't do that. I don't think it can work here in Canada too. So uh, that's no, why I'm can, just laughing. That, can, that will not work. Because if you divorce a man, you take him to the cleaners. You make sure you clean him up. Yeah, but at least... <laughs> well, 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 because the thing is that... They, they, they hold, on, Ola, hold on, Ola. Hold on, Ola. Uh, uh, what the, the, the thing is, um, this guy has historically... Um, uh, he, he's, he historically packed his income and his assets with his mother. So, uh, and I think this was um, uh, pre the marriage as well. So I have to do a bit of research on that space. Uh, but uh, so, so this guy has always had his money with his mother. So now, when he married and divorced this girl, now 
it cannot then go and take the assets of the, that belongs to the mother. So, so I'm not quite sure what the legal uh, spin on that will be. Oh, 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 yeah, you yeah. That, that, that's your angle. <laughs> yeah, I've read that. Mm -hmm. I've read that, but I've read another story that says that uh, um, it's not true that the lady has not filed. I don't know, but uh, they, are, they are not even in the court yet. Yes, I yes, read it too. That's what we we read. And uh, and uh, but for me, the, I don't see there's there's no way that lady will not be able to get something from him because if 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 he has his assets, mm -hmm. um, the mom will only be holding it as in, in a trust for him. I'm not sure, I'm not sure he will transfer ownership of his asset because if you transfer ownership of your asset and then uh, let's say the mom has more than one child. And the mom dies, it, then your asset becomes asset of everybody, because every all, all the woman survivors will be will have say or share in that asset. So I I don't I'm not we may not really have full uh, gist or fact about that guy's case. I am suspecting very strongly that what he just did was to make her mom a trustee of his asset. And if that is the case, then that asset still belongs to him. That he can't, no escape route on that. The woman is just a trustee. Well, well, well if you look at their culture, you know, it, it's an Arab man. Yeah. No uh -huh. So we have to take that one to cognizant also. So, and the way the, the you know, it's just like an African. If you, if you buy something in, in your mother's name, you yeah. can you, you can easily claim it back from your mother, even if your mother died, because your your siblings are aware of what you did. Hmm. That would be that would be hard though, because uh, his property and everything is not in Morocco, right? It's not in Morocco. So by the time you are applying laws, you won't import Morocco law to to Europe to go and apply it in Europe. It will be very. It will be. I don't see any reason why <laughs> uh, Eurocentric thing. I don't see any reason how that woman will not get something out from him. I don't see it. They will find every means she gets something out. Definitely, oh, she will oh, get oh, oh, she will oh, get oh, something, oh, 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 but oh, oh. she might not get as much as she desired. Yes, it may not be as much as that because the, the whoever is holding it in trust may also still have interest in it. But if the if the mom is actually holding it in trust, then the mom is not the owner of the property. She just only needs to trust her. All right. Let, let's bring Temini, uh, is it, is it Temini into the conversation who is joining us for the first time. So, Temini, good to meet you. Oh, hi. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. Finally, good. thanks for accepting me. Oh, 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 all right. Good to meet you. So we've had a long and involved conversation, but uh, what, what's, what's your entry point? Where, where, what are... Uh, what 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 uh what what inspired you to to join us uh uh, uh, uh coming at whichever point you'd like yes um because um it's been a lot of points that's passed that i may not remember everything i wanted to say but uh one vital thing i just wanted to point out was um i for one was someone who used to be in um how can i call it now I, I used to be in, let me just call it the Pentecostal setting. Um, when I became a Christian, this was the setting I became saved into. Uh, it took me close to about 20 years before I finally found what I now understand today to be um, real Christianity. And to cut a long story short, if anybody is interested, just go and research um, go and research Christianity from the point of view of the reformed faith and um, I'll, I'll give a few about two or three um, names of um, teachers from this background. So the first one, the first person is John MacArthur. John MacArthur, if anybody wants to write that down. I, I'm not. I'm not saying um, listen and accept everything th these people say. I'm just saying that go and research, go and do your own personal research. So the the first person, John MacArthur, like I said, the second person, um, Steve Lawson. That's Steve Lawson. 
and I'll throw an African in there. His name is Conrad in Bayway. He's a Zambian. Um, just a brief background to how I arrived at this conclusion. Um, so, so, sorry, before you give us that brief background, give us yeah. a brief introduction into what did you call it, the reformed something? What, the, the ref what's yeah. it so re research Christianity from the point of view of the reformed faith. So oh, okay, what, like what, have... what, what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> how, how long have you got? Um, give us the condensed version. Okay. So basically, let me just try and contrast it with um, Roman Catholicism because this is where they came out of. Um, so I, um, I think some of you might know the guy, uh, Martin Luther. Yes, the German, yes. Yeah, yeah the so German. So this guy yeah. in the, I, I don't know if it's the 1800s or 1700s, I don't remember now. They sort of had, um, if I could just use the word a rebellion against the teachings of Roman Catholicism. So Roman Catholicism basically proposes that Christianity is attained by um, God's grace and human effort that's human that's good works so you you're basically saved by god's grace and then you have to add your own good works in order to be saved this is in short what roman catholicism proposes however the reformed faith says disagrees with this and says nope you're only saved by god's grace and that's it you're only saved by God's grace. Um, you do not add human effort to your salvation because um, basically um, salvation is, is, is God buying us back, you know, basically re redeeming us from sin. So if we're, if, we're, if we're known to be dead in sin, we cannot have any kind of human effort to bring ourselves back to God. And it takes only the sacrifice of Christ on the cross and God's grace to bring us back. So that's in short the the contrast between um, the two. Oh, 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 all right, Temini, give me a microsecond. I, I'm going to shuffle myself in to hand over to Thomas, uh, who will okay. continue to, mo to, to moderate matters, but you still have the floor to continue okay. to expand on that floor. So thank you, everyone, uh, to the super chatters, the coffee buyers, etc. I'm still listening in the background, but to you, Thomas. Oh, uh, yes. Um... Good evening, or uh, uh, good evening. Uh, happy Please. Sunday to you. Uh, happy Thank Sunday. You. Tell me if you can hear me properly or if I'm sounding low. I can hear you loud and clear. Okay, all right. So, yes, the brief background I wanted to give, and I hope I, I'll be able to say it briefly in about maybe three minutes or so. Um, so, like I said, um, I have a medical condition. So when I got saved, I was one person that suffered at the hands of this, um, I, I don't want to call them pastors. To me, they are false pastors. They're false pastors. And, I, and I'm not saying every single pastor in Nigeria is false. That's not what I'm saying. But the ones um, I grew up on and some of the ones still um, teaching today, they, as, as far as I'm concerned with the understanding I have today, they are false pastors. So I used to be carried around a lot of these churches, a lot, a, lot, a lot of these pastors, when I got saved newly in hopes of obviously getting healed from my medical condition, which is a, a permanent one. So, um, you know, from one crusade to the other, from one healing service to the other, from one church to the other, mostly Pentecostal, Pentecostalism or charis charismatic churches. So... Um, and I'm one person who asks questions a lot. I just do not take things um, people tell me, hook, line, and, uh, and thinker. Uh, I'm very curious. I will ask you questions. So after a while of going back and forth and having all the promises that God will heal me, God will heal me, God has promised to heal me, um, and um, it, it just wasn't working out. You know, I still continue to have the medical condition till this day as I speak. Like I said, it's a permanent thing. So I think about um, let's say five or six years of going around, I got really frustrated and I thought, wow, this God, it's either this God is a liar or I don't, or, you know, either this God is a liar or the past, or these pastors have lied. 
So because everybody around me at the time were, you know, zealously into Pentecostalism, and um, it's not just Pentecostals that have these points of union, but I'm just using that because that's where I was saved into. Everybody I respected at the time, they all held on to all of these um, teachings, all of these pastors. So I thought, what do I know? I'm new here, so I have to sort of submit myself to what I'm hearing. But after a while, and as I was getting older, both in the Lord and you know, not physically older, I turned my back on God, you know, and I said to him directly that, you know, that, you know, God, you are a false God. I, 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 I even said to him that I don't believe, I didn't believe that he existed. So I took my Bible, basically tore it up, filled my bath with water and soaked it in it just to make sure I couldn't go back to that Bible. I was that hurt by the fact that I felt like I had either been lied to by these pastors or God is a liar. If he'd been promising me healing and it wasn't happening, it must mean that this God is a liar. So I left that. Um, after that happened, I went on my way, just living my life, um, just living my life, you know, on my own terms, rec recklessly, if, if you please. After about two years of doing my own thing, I found that the world was empty and that um, there had to be more to life than just maybe going to parties and clubbing and you know all those sort of things. So one day on my way, way back from home, just fed up of you know life in general, I was literally shedding tears right in public as I was coming back home. I did not even care who was watching. I was weeping right in public. As soon as I got inside my house, I dropped on my knees and just started weeping uncontrollably. And I called out to God to say, God, if you're real, I want you to show me. I want you to show me. I'm going to go and buy another Bible. I'm going to sit down and study by myself. I did not want to hear from any pastor, any preacher, any brother or sister, any family member or enemy even. I just wanted to study by myself to know the truth. So that's exactly what I did. So my personal study took me a whole year to do, you know, as much as I was able to muster anyway. So when I finished that study, that was how I landed in what I said is um, the Reformed faith. So Christianity from the point of view of the Reformed faith. And at the time I landed in this, um, basically you could call it a doctrine or a teaching. At the time I landed there, I did not even know. I didn't realize that there was such a thing as the Reformed faith. It was just, um, just by chance, I went online. I now started looking for um, preachers, you know, to explain the things I didn't understand after I finished my one year um, study and research. Uh, I stumbled up across this man called John MacArthur just by chance. And I started listening to him and I found out that everything he was saying matched with this newfound faith, you know, that I spent a whole year arriving at. Everything just matched with it. So I started listening to him and I thought, wow, this is the Christianity. This is the real Christianity I had spent almost 20 years searching for and couldn't find. This is it. So that's the one person. And I made sure that I did not listen to many other people apart from that one man because I didn't want to confuse myself until I was stable on my feet. And I started listening to and discovering more reformed faith um, teachers. So as I said, if anybody is interested in researching this for themselves, just go and research Christianity from the point of view of the reformed faith. and. I promise you, if you if, if you do that from a genuine heart, don't go in with a heart that says, oh, I want to go and um, maybe oppose somebody or something. Just go in with a genuine, clean heart to say, Lord, show me if indeed this is true. And hopefully some people will have the testimony that indeed what I'm saying is true. So I just said I didn't want to leave here without mentioning this, that people should go and research Christianity from the point of view of the Reformed faith. And in Nigeria, um, in Lagos State, I only ever stayed in Lagos State. 
in the whole of Lagos State, I was only able to find three out of the thousands, maybe millions of churches that exist in Nigeria. I was only able to find three reformed churches to date, only three. And at first I could only find just one of them. Now they've increased to about three. There might be a few more lurking storm that I haven't found. But the reason I'm mentioning the numbers is to tell you that real Christianity is hidden. You really have to dig to find it. You really do have to dig. Um, if anyone is interested, again, the three churches, one of them is Sovereign Grace Bible Church, at Um, The second one is Crown Reformed Assembly, at Ikeja as well. And the third one, I think, is City or uh, City Church Lekki or City Church Lagos. That one is at Lekki. So those are the only three Reformed faith churches. I've uh, been able to find it. Um, uh, Temini, uh, how do I pronounce your name? Oh, Temini, Temini. T Temini, oh. Temini. Uh, and, and, um, let me say this before you put your question. Uh, mm -hmm. A disclaimer, uh, we finish, are not promoting any church. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. yeah, thank you. We are not promoting any church here. So if you go to any of these three church, and uh, you were scam, don't say that we... We, we we recommended this church for you. We don't sell any here. But then it's just telling us is our own um, point of view and what yeah. he believes in. So just just a disclaimer. Yeah, okay. go on, please. Can I, I, okay. I, I, okay. Yeah. okay. Can I, can I, I just quickly say sorry? Can that's my sister. Hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. Okay. Let's hold on, please. We all of us cannot talk at the same time. So let's hear from Rosie. Then we have some Akene, then Adali Koko, we are crying it up. Yeah, so, Rosie. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your name is Temini. Temini, yeah. Oh, that's a very beautiful name. Thank yeah, you. you're welcome to this platform. Yeah, Thank my you. question to you is this. You say you had uh, many years uh, with the Pentecostal. Rosie, you, Rosie can I do something, yes? please? Can, yes. can you please go out and come back in? I will save the space, but your audio is so bad. Okay, maybe because oh. I'm using an earpiece. Yes, yes. It's, we can enjoy. We can hear you, but it doesn't sound let's very good. Let's take the earpiece. Yeah. Let's hear from me. Can, I, where is it, uh, can you hear me uh, now? How do you yes, much better now. I, much better now. Okay, because I was using an earpiece. Yeah. To me, yeah. Oh, my question, yes. Yeah, you want to... yeah, my question is this. You said you had a... a you were like in the Pentecostal faith for like over 20 years um, uh, almost and 20 years almost 20 years before you left and that kind of you know took your heart away from god then you came back to god okay i my question is did you have a personal experience a personal encounter with god what do you mean explain your question yeah what i'm saying you said before you you believed in God, then you got disappointed, you left and you came back. Mm -hmm. So you're coming back to God now from this uh, reform uh, church you say you are going to. Did you have a personal encounter with Christ? With, did you have any personal experience with God? Like what? Okay, the reason why I'm saying this. I just shared now with our one year research and stumbling what, on. I, I want you to tell me what a personal experience is. Okay, like you said, um, when you cried out to God and you said you started reading, I mean, did you have like visions? Did you like dream or anything? No. So you just on your own went online and started searching? Um, if I understand your question correctly, are you saying that did I have a personal experience that led me to start searching by myself? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. yeah. Okay, no, no, no. Like I said, what made me start searching is because um, after leaving, after leaving, it's, I didn't even leave church. I left God completely. I left God because I, I felt God was a liar since the things they were promising me on his behalf were not happening, which was basically to heal my medical condition. So I okay. left God. And after okay. spending like two years out in the world doing my own thing after leaving God, yeah, yeah. I got fed up of the world. Okay. And now wanted to come back to God. So yeah. um, when I got inside, I basically just dropped to my knees, weeping and talking okay. directly to God, saying, I'm going to 
um, research Christianity. I'm going basically. I'm going to give it a second chance. So okay, I'm going to research okay. it by myself now. Okay. I don't want any input from any pastors, anybody. You okay. know? So I was yeah. I, I was praying to God exactly as I'm speaking to you now, as if He was seated next to me, and I was okay. telling Him, God, if you are real, please show yeah. yourself to me directly. If indeed you uh, are but real, I don't have any pastors. Any pastors. That is a, that's that's yeah, yeah. that that's that's an encounter. That's an Mm -hmm. yes. That's an encounter. Because the reason why I'm asking this is because I have a similar story to what you just shared. Okay. Um, I used to go to me when I was in the university, I didn't believe in going to church. I just felt mm, God is I God is up there doing his business. Mm -hmm. We are down here doing our own. So okay. used to go, you know, clubbing, having fun, you know, running around. So I didn't ever believe in. So I used to make just of uh, people that go to church. I call them uh, uh, these people. The uh, scripture, you know, the people that I see. Yeah, we used to make. I went to university of Effect, so we used to make fun fun of them. So I didn't have any, and I didn't grow up from my Christian background. My daddy is not a believer. He, mm. Although when he wants to eat, he will pray and bless his food. <laughs> when he's going to sleep, he will pray and sleep. That's his own mm. Christianity sure. for me. My mom is go to church on Easter day or Christmas day or New Year. She's a Catholic. So that's the type of form I grew up. So I didn't come from a, a very religious background. Okay. But then I went to the university, same thing, having fun, living life. Mm -hmm. So then when I got out of the university, I was like, you know what? I'm really out of school now. I have to start, you know, thinking straight and behaving better. I decided yeah. to start going to church. Mm -hmm. So when I was going to, it was a small church. I started going to the church. I said, oh, yeah, I need to, you know, try to settle down, get a good man to marry and behave myself. Mm -hmm. And then while I was in the church, something happened that took my mind away from God completely. Yeah. One woman, she has only one son. Okay. Almost every month, she's coming to give testimonies. Oh, we should thank God, though. Her son bought her this cloth. Her son bought, you know, she was only... Okay testifying on what God has done. Mm -hmm. Then one day, somebody came and broke the news that that same son that she was looking up to got an accident and died. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh my God, does this mean this God is a wicked God? Mm -hmm. That I said, I started questioning myself, like, what type of church is this? I said, because if you saw this white government churches, or this Sele or Kerouin, maybe somebody would have seen a vision to say, ah, Look, oh, I saw this vision about you. Something is going to happen. No, oh, you better come and pray or do fasting or something to wave this evil. I said, but what are we doing here? This woman, an old woman that is looking towards this son to take care of her until she dies. Now the son is gone. She's going to live in pain, in agony until the time she lives. Mm -hmm. So I just said, you know what? I stopped going to church. I stayed, started. I mean, that just broke my heart, broke my faith. I stayed back home. I wasn't going to church. Then along the line, that's why I was asking you if you had a personal encounter with Christ, with mm -hmm. God. So I, my faith, I lost faith. I stopped going to church. I was at home, staying home, not going to church. Then I had a dream. Mm -hmm. That was how my faith became restored and I started going back to church. Mm -hmm. And my faith became very strong. So that's why I'm saying that I asked you if you had a personal encounter that gave you the conviction to go back to be serving God. Anyway, thank you for no, sharing no. your own. Yes, yeah. My conviction came from studying the Bible by myself and finding out it's true by myself. After my conviction. So, uh, yes, thank you. Uh, yeah. uh, let's get uh, Ekene coming. Then Agjale Goku will come after you. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much, my brother Tamos. Um, my sister, I listened to everything both of you have just put out there. And that was just what I said earlier on this topic. That uh, what we have in the Christendom today is, is lazy followers. It's not about fake prophet and, uh, and uh, whatever you put it. What we have is lazy followers. And I will continue to say that. And I have my reasons. Me, I'm a Christian, and uh, I'm also born in a Christian home. My father is Christian, my mother is Christian, almost a pastor. So I have, I still go to church 
and I still believe in God. But I have brothers and sisters that I don't go to church that they don't believe in God. But whenever things happen, they will still come to God that he pray for me, this and that. So Christianity, what we have in Christianity is lazy followers. The Bible said, study to show yourself approved. A right man, right three, dividing the word of truth. Yeah. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing the word of God alone. So the hearing means you have to go to church. Then when you go to church, you come back and study what you, whatever the man of God would have told you. And that is why whenever you go to church, you try to make sure that the church preach the word of God, open the word of God, open the scripture. And that is the foundation of every Christianity. Christianity doesn't stop in going to church. And I have experienced that a lot. I'm just uh, knowing Christianity is not by force. Salvation is not by force. Nobody is forcing you to be a Christian. It was all put out there. I give unto you life and death. I present it to you. Well, after all, he said, choose, choose life that you might live. So condemning pastors, uh, condemning a bishop, condemning this and that, I'm not buying to that idea at all. And there is no church in heaven. You don't go to heaven and they begin to tell you, are you from a redeemed church? Are you from a deeper life? Are you from Catholic? Are you from this? It's your personal relationship. When we talk about this heaven, it's your personal relationship. Nobody talks about church there. But the way we put it, there are many people worship their pastors, worship their, their DGO, worship everything. Do you have to respect them? Because they are labeling for your spiritual growth. But not just to worship them. What you go there is to learn. When you learn, you come and study. If you are not studying as a Christian, you are a lazy Christian, you can never grow. The prophecies we are looking out there is it right there in the scriptures, it's right there in the Bible. I've never seen anything bad in the scripture. So um uh, like at uh, the time of Jesus Christ, when they when they, he was doing miracles, there was a time that they, that he that they, he performed miracles. The next day the people came back. Christ told them directly to their face, I know why, why you come here. It's because of the miracle, not just because of the salvation. It's because of what I gave you yesterday, the manna, the food, that the, the five fishes and the loaves of bread that I shared to you. You just you still came back today. And that miracle, you will not get it. He now began to preach the real salvation to them. And at the same time, he put a context, he said that, uh, he said, uh, uh, seek ye first his kingdom, which is to me, the most important thing to him is, it's not even the, the miracle what we talk about today. Because many people go to church because the man of God says it shall be well with you, this and that, this and that. I don't buy into that idea as a Christian. Yes, it shall be well. He says, say to the righteous, it shall be well with him. Definitely. That has been written. But when you follow the principles, when you follow the real, the real truth of the gospel, those shall be well with you, must surely be well with you. It's not just focusing on... Uh, uh, pastor, I need this miracle. Pastor, I need this miracle. When you focus on those things, you will always meet the wrong prophet. You must. It's a must. I've seen it happen in many, many occasions. The world is tell you, bring uh, 5,000 for prayer, bring 10,000 for prayer, bring this and that. And you must. So, I, I urge everyone that wants I love I love uh, the mini I love her experience. I'm not saying that uh, anything bad happened to her, I love it. No, but I thank God for her for her life. I thank God for everybody out there because uh, it's in the Bible that it's a fool that said there is no God and I will never join that league. There is God, and I can confirm that there is God. So I cannot say that uh, all the pastors are bad. No, you see all these big men of God. You see all the boy. You see. I admire them so much. I admire their courage. I, I admire how they started. I admire where they are today. I love them so much, whether good or bad. Those have labored so much. It's not even easy to be a pastor. 
If you know what okay. a spiritual fight they go okay. through okay. every day. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We don't care about what they go through. We we don't we don't care about that. Me I, me personally I don't care about that. But uh, yeah. people have their hope. Yes, you you can be you can be proud of them. I may not be proud of them. So <laughs> everybody have the the what they call it the rights to decide what they want to do or who they want to respect or all those big big pastors. I personally I don't respect them because I don't see the traces of. Jesus Christ in them. I am a Christian. I'm a born again. I'm a spiritual person. But I don't believe them. I don't believe in all their shenanigans. Because what they portray, anything you are, what anything a Christian is doing, it doesn't portray Christ's light. I can't follow that kind of person. I don't regard them. So many shenanigans. And you said something earlier on, Nikini. And I want you to back that with facts. You said all these churches, these churches, all these schools, these churches built. You said they are getting discounts. Where do you get that from? Well, I know Remember it from my. Yes, I know it because which, I, I'm. A... Which, which, church, which yeah. church are you talking about? Have you got. The, uh, um, uh, uh, I can say that is on two. Well, uh, well, I I don't object your opinion, but the issue is I know that I know that no no that you, you can't say you no know, can't say you know that what is the mm. fact of what you are saying? You you get distance when you go to Covenant University. You go you to got this I'm not talking about I'm not talking about I'm say, I said like the one I know. No, those are some of the different day schools now. Covenant University. I can't get a free you education. See my you life. I don't talk what I don't know. What? I, say what, I say what I know and the way I belong. I don't I don't care what they do other places. I say from what I know. That is my life. Who you are you talking about? I'm you talking about the uh, Deeper Life. Yes, Deeper Life, uh, Deeper Life High School. I'm talking about Deeper, Deeper Life High High School. If I remember, yeah. you, got a, you have a discount. Yes, yes, yes. Is it, is it the so school I, that they pay millions, the the millions in school fees? Hmm? Is it not the same school that they pay millions for school fees? No, it's not millions. It's not millions. Wait, the one that there is one school Don Davis went to for the now school, is it not millions they pay? Like three to four millions no. per term? No, 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 no. No, it's not millions. We the need to find that. I know what I'm but telling you. It's, it's about 300,000. As, as a member of the church, you have a discount in the balance. Why? Sure. You have a discount. You have have a you discount. experienced it or you, are you telling me? I, I don't know. I, I don't have, know what no, 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 no. Thomas, I have, uh, I have experience can it, and I have can many it, people it, that are can it, attending can it. it. Can it, yeah. can it just a minute. See, Thomas, there's one thing that we, we said that in today that if we have a member of the forum that says something, at least we have to respect their word and say we can counter it because when we are asking for evidence, it's not as if it's going to present the to do and carry the school invoice and present it to you. See, from outside, we think all these churches, we think they are fair to their congregation because they they build schools and the, 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 the members of the congregation they cannot attend. Most of the time, we know these things are not true. Because why did I say so? It's like okay. I work in a bank. But, but, but Allah, hold wait, on. Wait, it's wait, not wait, true. Now. It's not hold on, please. 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 It's not true in regime. Regime don't get discounts. How do you know? It is not true. I am a redeemer. It's how do you like know? That's why redeemer means nothing. What are you yes, saying? My wife... Are you are you are you hold on, please? You said you just you are just you are you you being hypocrite now. You said what a is telling me. I should believe in. I am telling you something. Are you? Are you I telling me how? I'm still questioning you. Are oh, you yeah. just asking me how do I know? No, I. You are guilty man. of. You are guilty. Hold on, please. You are guilty of what you are telling me now again. Okay. Because you are telling me how do I know? Be, 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 because because you'll be critical right from the beginning, right? So now. Of course, I'll be critical. Of, yes, wait, wait, wait. You are a member of Redeem. Okay, maybe in the Redeem they don't. They don't give discount, but look at it this way. Let's even forget about discounts. Let's forget about discounts. Now, 
Uh, many people said here before that, oh, the members of the congregation, they cannot attend. I wonder how they manage to arrive at that uh, position. Because the bank I work, uh, the bank I work with. No, we, uh, well, that's not what we don't say the member. We said most of the members cannot afford the school fees. When well, the school we, is going to be built, they get money from the tax and offering. The tax members, they get labor. At the end of the day, these schools are built. So oh, 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 the oh, members okay, cannot okay, okay. afford Prince, the Prince, fees. Prince, that's what Prince, we said. That sometimes, sometimes that's an assumption because I will applaud the situation if we have some banking officers, some account officer. They will tell you that some of these churches you see, all those projects, they get loan to build and they service their loan. So it's not as if oh, people say, oh, title. Very big loan, no. Very big it loan. Is, it is not always correct. Please, let, let, let's just clarify this thing. Let, let, me, tell, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you, let me tell you in, in, in aspect of that loan. Ah, but, you but, see, but, uh, but, uh, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we is hold on. I think you guys are making some mistake. You don't know. If a church is getting loan to build a building, that is a business tragedy. Uh, Thomas. Let me finish, please. Let me finish, please. That is my opinion. Let me finish, please. You can no, explain let's to them. them. Let's say, let's say, say a bit. I don't yeah. have, please, I don't want interruption. Please, if you don't mind, let me explain. That is a business strategy. Because they know the more church they build, the more money they get in return, in tithe and offering. Why will a church with its right senses? Borrowing money to build church for what? So, what, so what stop church from? Let me finish, what, please. What, what let me finish, boring. please. Let me finish. No, but Thomas, you are the moderator now. You are the moderator. If I'm moderating, oh, I have okay. to talk. Let me. Can you please speak, please? Ola, please. Can you please? I said please. How many times I've said please now? I, I'm okay. I've heard you. Go ahead. Yes, please. If you are borrowing money as a complaint, that is different. This is work of God. Is anything you got in tithes and offering? That is what you should use to build. See, when you borrow money from a bank, you have turned yourself to public organization, like a business tycoon. You you don't do that. Why are you borrowing money to build church for what? Okay. Are you helping God? Okay. Um, can, 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 are we free to? Can I respond now? Yeah, you can respond, please. Now, now see, uh, Thomas. One thing I want you to know is this: when we are not, uh, when we are not knowledgeable or we are not deep into that, when that particular space is not our expertise, it is difficult for us to come at time and say, "Okay, why should we do this? Why should you do that?" Now, you need to look at the purpose. You no, know, hey, the other time, people, some people just uh, made some conjecture that, oh, churches, they collect offering, they are shitting people. And I was here when I said that, do you know how much the, the, the churches we are talking about and they must, do you know how much they contribute to the economy of the country? Do you know how much people, how many people they employ? Do you know how many people they pay their salary? And those people, they will take that money back and spend within the economy. So you, you and so some engineers will build those structure from them, some lecturers will work, you have some laboratory equipment, some some, some transport uh, uh, transport uh, industry. See, we have to look at this thing beyond pastor collecting time because there's one thing I've noticed within the space of Nigeria. One, there's this thing that comes when you say, oh, that guy is making million. If that's million we focus on, but we don't even know, we don't even want to know the impact of that millions within the economy. It's just, oh, pastor is collecting this. Pastor is using that, but we don't look at other things surrounding it. Now, when you are saying, uh, is, it the, is it the business of churches to, to, uh, to, collect, to collect money and they should base it on type of offering? I don't know where, where, you, where, where, where people got that idea, and I don't know where it is established that, oh, 
Oh, my son, oh, my pastor, you shall collect tithe and offering and use it to build school and use it to build hospital. Yeah, if you want to go by this type of idea, then we will not have school, we will not have hospital, they will not engage there, they, they will not build university. So we can as well say, okay, because we are Christian, oh, we don't even need to attend school. We don't see, we don't, the world is dynamic. So the question you want to ask yourself is, what are the churches contributing to the economy? So what Nigerian churches are doing is not peculiar to Nigeria alone. I've taken a friend up here within the comment section that oh, when they say oh, they don't pay, they don't pay school fees in, in, in Anglican and uh, Catholic churches. I said no. The first thing you know what I did, I went on site to search some Catholic school to find out bring the school fees to throw it there. That okay, this is what they are doing. You understand? They are doing the same thing in the United States. As a matter of fact, when I was looking for admission in the United States, I got some religious school that even if you want to, that the least of them, that some of them were as, as high as 25,000, that you, some of them as high as close to 30,000 that you spent to school there. See, look at the benefit of this thing beyond the money they are collecting. Look at people they are giving jobs. Look at the people they are giving education to. And when people say most of people can know that thing, when you have a show that maybe you have about 20 million, a, a member of your congregation, I just have university that can take just maybe about 5,000 students. How are they expect how are you expecting them to take every member of the churches? Lord, can you hear when me? you want to pay all these professors, you want to be competitive in the, within the global Hello. economy, you don't want to bring one nonsense professor there. You have to and those teachers, those teachers are not those teachers are paying, they're not paying them pay you. Exactly. The okay. teachers are not paying they're them pay They are running messy and surgery within the university. How do you expect them to found their, uh, their hospital? So we, we need to look beyond those. Tight and offering, tight and offering. There's no way it is written that churches cannot borrow money to establish social infrastructure. So, but look at it this way. When they are building the school, they have engineers, they have electricians, they have different people, they pay utility B, even when they pay, uh, pay utility B, they run generator. They do a lot of things to help the economy. That is where I want you all to look at this thing beyond, oh, they are collecting money. And I find out what, do you know that most people, especially social influence, uh, social media influencers that criticize these people, you ask them, because the first question I ask you is this, before you criticize someone, what is uh, your contribution? What is your contribution to the country or to the economy compared to the person you are castigating? If you are blaming someone that is contributing in multi million naira to the economy or multi billion, and you, you are not even contributing 1,000 to the economy, what are you talking about for goodness sake? We should have to find a way to, to be objective in the way we look at this, even if you want to look at churches and businesses. Now, how are you going to say all those businesses are impacting us? Are they impacting us positively? Are they impacting us negatively? I know that we want to focus on one aspect. We try to say they indoctrinate people. They say people say no. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Ola. Hold on, Ola. Please, your audio is bad. Please, your audio is bad. Please. Oh my God. Please, your audio is bad. So it's yeah, just go because on. it's just because when you feel they are indoctrinating people, that say how come that some of us are not indoctrinated? It's just a choice. Because it has been given unto man to choose between the evil and the good. It's a choice you want. Okay, when you say, oh, they deceive me. No, you want to be deceived. Now, when someone is telling you by tomorrow morning, a blessing because someone will give you limousine. Ask yourself. You, just, you just believe him. You just if, believe him. If, 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 you are, if, if, if you are not a thief within your heart, how will you be expecting limousine to come to you tomorrow? Where will you get it? So are you saying God will go and use money to steal limousine and bring uh. it to you? It doesn't work that way. God is not a magic shot. But just because it's what they want to hear, that is why they got deceived. It's what they want to hear. Really? So because because you now listen to a pastor that wants you to hear this thing, and they told you because and you now say, Oh, pastor, are no, pastors are not deceiving you. Because some of these pastors, they work. There are some pastors that they have legal chamber. There are some pastors that are engineers. And if this pastor is telling you that, oh, tomorrow you should buy the most you see the pastor himself carrying his suit, go to his work and work. Okay, in the bank I work, there are many pastors there that are general manager, that are managers, that are DGM. And this this pastor is praying for you, oh, by tomorrow someone will give you limousine. 
But tomorrow they are talking about they, they put on their suit, they, 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 they go to the office and you are not saying pastors are deceiving you. No, pastors are not deceiving you. You within yourself, you want yourself to be deceived. Do you know what Bible says? You understand? To who you use yourself to, you are a step to that person. You use yourself to deceive and you are a step to deceive. You are, not that pastor deceived you because within your mind, you want to be deceived. Judas that betrayed Jesus because Judas himself had the trait of being a thief. That was why it was easier for him to betray. So let's start saying, no, they are mistaken. Mm -mm, I don't look at that way. I look at it. Uh, who, who muted me now? So look at I didn't how the churches are contributing socially, economically, and politically to the well-being of the country. Don't just say, oh, pastor. They are, see, do you know, even when they are doing programs in those camps, hola, you know hola, how hola, that hola. improves the economy? Oh, hola. I do. I am, uh, unfortunately, I'm very sorry. Uh, that is your own opinion. I'm a Christian. I just came back from church now. I'm a worker in the church, but all what you said, well, it's your opinion. Um, I can't I can castigate you for that, but if you are borrowing money to build church, yeah, it's a, nah, nah. a business, church is not a business enterprise. Is there anything you get, you use to, but you know they have, they have the notion that they are coming back to gain something. I'm a Christian. My mom is a prophetess. I mean, me, I mean, I'm not a. I'm a Christian, but anything you do, I don't believe in anything. It's your belief. They may have to, blah blah blah. They may do this, but in a way, they are even putting more people in a in poverty in that country. You go to church in the morning, afternoon, night, or uh, one day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. A grown man wake up in the morning going to church. Thank you. I hope they are even, they are even cause more economic economic problems to the country. Oh, economic okay. problems. Thomas, how, how, how does Trump stop, stop, how the the stop government from constructing roads? How does Trump stop government from, from giving electricity? How does how, I'm not how, a, how, I am not talking about all our no, 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 I'm not talking about uh, uh, hold on, now. hold on, hold on, uh, Thomas Aula. Uh, let's bring Bishop in uh, uh, to vary the conversation and let's hear more from Temi as well, who's joining us for the first. Okay. Thank you, uh, Thomas. Uh, I just wanted to add to you that, uh, like I said earlier on, and I will still repeat, everything that is original has a counterfeit. Same thing goes for the body of Christ. There are people that are in it because they have a calling. And there are people that are in me because they have only discovered a business model. Now, while we have our anger, our dis we are dissatisfied with the way some churches have been <coughs> you know, handled, when we say there is poverty and challenges in the land, we cannot exonerate a section from what is you know, a pervasive situation in the land and some people have seen that and they are taking advantage of it it takes money and plenty of it to run the church it takes money and plenty of it to run the government but we have situation in nigeria that people would rather pay their tight than pay their taxes and we have some church leaders that have cashed in on the gullibility of their followers, <coughs> excuse me, that they would rather encourage them to pay tight rather than pay tax is because of their own direct benefit. Are there wolves in the house of God today? Yes. In fact, plenty, plenty of them. And the Bible had warned us. But because there are plenty of wolves and plenty of fake pastors and prophets and prophetesses and the rest does not mean that there are no genuine servants of God. When we were talking about what churches charge for school and can children of ordinary members afford the school, 
The only problem we have, I have, is this. Most of these leaders don't draw a parallel, how do, how do I put it, between churches that are government-run and church, I mean, schools that are government-run and schools that are being run by some of these churches. Because they believe that the government must be responsible for everything. And that is why a pastor will start on a pupi, stand on a pupi, and say it is wrong for University of Lagos to increase school fees from 45,000 to 100,000. But we have secondary school. I said it on this platform, and some people verified. There are more than 10 or 15 secondary schools in Lagos, Lagos, that charges between 2.5 million naira and above. There are schools that charges 4.5 million secondary school, not universities, in Lagos today. And we were talking about Adaleko uh, Koha uh, uh, left, about government saying that, look, medical doctors must spend five years if we have trained them before they are allowed to go outside the country. And some people are kicking. The truth of the matter is that the same way it costs money to put those infrastructure and set up those schools in the church, the same way it costs money for government to set them up. So if we are trading, I just want to encourage us to, you know, there are no two extremes. We cannot be on one side and say, oh, the other side is completely bad. And we cannot be on one side and say, oh, the other side is extremely good. Churches in Nigeria can raise money and build mansions and build in the advanced country, for those of us that are in America, how do you want to start a church and buy property all without going into mortgage? Just tell me, is it can you save off money two, three million, four million that you want to use to build a church? So the system that works in Nigeria is a little bit different from what, is, what works in America. Christian churches in America are even more expensive than ordinary, I mean Christian universities christian schools they are I, I don't know maybe exception of a few maybe like catholics that are very very rich now in nigeria and i can talk of redeemed christian church of god when of course the, the the school is expensive and if you go and do your own costing you will know but the church has some very uh how do i call it now uh, uh, uh yeah not just scholarship you know uh, uh, a way of making it easier for especially people that are in the service of the church, like pastors, I think they give their children scholarship, then they give them a rebate, then there's scholarship for some, you know, exceptionally, uh, exceptionally brilliant uh, students. It's it's always on every year. I've known of that for years, not just one, two, three, not just five years. So, but the truth of the matter is that, like they used to say, something way sweet, a uh, soup way sweet, na moniculum. Whether we agree, whether we don't agree, there will always be reason to contest this, uh, 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 these topics. There will always be reason to disagree on most of these things. But the fact of the matter is that too many wolves have entered into the church and they are doing it for, uh, for profit reasons. It is not because they had the call of God. It is not they want to know. Are they a true prophet? Yes. And they are false prophets. In fact, those ones are two for a penny, especially in a country like Nigeria, that many people, for whatever reason, instead of going to the hospital, they would rather go to church. Unfortunately so. And people are dying because of this daily. But most times... Yeah, but, but, but Bishop, as a result did of God their ignorance... Did, right. did God heal? God heals, of course. Yeah. But as, uh, you, you still believe in healing, isn't Say it? That. Do you believe in healing? Healing? Yeah, I do. You do? Yeah. yeah. But that doesn't stop you not to go to... But okay. do you know... Do, okay, oh, hold, do on, you hold, think... on, hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on. If, uh, hold on, Thomas. If I believe that God heals, and uh, I have headaches, severe headache, and they give me paracetamol, is my way of showing that God heals is not taking the paracetamol. When the Bible itself established that knowledge shall increase, it is the same knowledge that God has given that he gave to physicians and soldiers and the rest, and scientists mm. too. Mm. So if yes. I not take the panadol, does it mean I don't believe that God heals? Mm. When doctors mm. themselves say that we cure, but it is God that heals. And 
God that heals. So God if bless I you. Take, that, if I that's, take, where, that's where I'm going. Even God can use the doctor to heal you. Exactly. So that I believe it, that God heals does not mean I will not take paracetamol or take, or take medication. I have had people that are very close to me that unfortunately lost their life because they have faith. You know, we have whatever. I mean, that's a sad episode. But the truth yeah, of the matter that is, is that ability. God gave us all these things. The the knowledge of uh, uh, herbs and leaves it is from God. When people when people despise our traditional way of uh, healing, and uh, the, people think people miss, and that's another angle, another discussion. People miss uh, uh, what we call voodooism with herbalist. A herbalist is the one that know what herb to add with which one that you will boil and drink. So go and, uh, go and take this leaf, uh, add it to this root, uh, add it to this one. That is not uh, voodoo or juju. That is herb. And that is the origin of science, uh, medical sciences. Before we started having this synthetic. So when somebody says, okay, go and cut this leaf. I say, oh, herbalist give you. And people look, oh, no, I don't do anything with herbalist. What are we talking about? So medicine itself, it is a gift from God. The knowledge of, because the Bible talks about knowledge increasing. So the fact that I believe in miracle does not say I will not take a medical science serious or I will not take medication when I have a need to. But my brother, my uh, brother, the bone uh, of contention, the bone of contention is a, is a, which God? Is it that God that the colonial master brought to us or our forefathers' gods? Now, all of us in Yoruba land, we know Olodu Mari before the advent of uh, Christianity or Islam. Benny, Benny okay. Yeah. Go, go on, right on. So, yeah. go on. Yeah, we have our own. And I said something earlier on, I don't know if you were on this platform then, that I asked a question many years ago, that does it mean before the European people came, they brought Christianity and the Islamic people, does it mean everybody that have died in Africa, are they going to hell? And the question, the answer thank I had you was... Much. Thank you very much. So let me, just, let me just interject a bit then, you know. Thank you. Uh, Oga Thomas, please. Huh? So you see, I've been listening to the discussion. I've been also here since for the past uh, six hours because I didn't come in on time. Because one man always say that, oh, if you don't come on, on, on time, now your problem will if you try to enter later. So but then meanwhile, I just talk to the phone, to my phone. I start to listen, you know, listen to Barry Jose uh, and uh, all the Calcutta that busted out there. So the problem is that uh, at, by the time we were driving the white people away, we should have driven the churches also away. You know, that, that was where we got it all wrong at the, you know, right from the onset, you know. So all this church, 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 or pastor, are the pastor, are pastors government functionaries? Why should they be borrowing money to build churches? Build churches for what? Build schools for what? You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay, hold on. When the Europeans came and they yes. built churches, and they were building schools and they undertook a lot of some of these things. Those monies were coming from somewhere. I am not speaking for or against the fact that they brought money. Today, today, even in your community, if you decide to say, you know what, let us do this thing together. The strong ones that can afford it will contribute. Either they contribute labor or they contribute money, or they contribute material, or they contribute food for the ones that are contributing. The important thing is that there is always a sacrifice part for anything that you want to get done. That yes. sacrifice. Somebody, 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 somebody sorry, sorry, sir. Somebody was uh, pointing it out earlier on that uh, that uh, when you are sick, you don't have to go to the church, you go to the hospital. If you look at our history, our region, our war industrialized every villages in the old western region. You know, if you go to Dobolu, you see Crown Court, Cork, where they make all these uh, Coca-Cola uh, caps. You go to yeah. Ibada, you see Niger March, you see many companies, all this whisk cream for caps. You know, you go to Bini, you, so they have all this knife for, for oil palm research. They have a, so those are the things that made a society to work. Not God, yes. not those okay. gods. Well, yeah, sorry, yeah. But, but our gods that we believe in, in our place like Oloku and Shango, we, then we know it is also there to control or to maintain peace in the society so that people can be kind of like scared to harm each other. 
Right on, sir. Yeah, and I, and I, let me just bring it to let me just bring it home. The truth of the matter is that we have diverse of opinion, and there is no one opinion that is totally wrong that can be thrown away. The journey that has brought us here is a long journey. It will take a long journey to take us out of it. Unfortunately, many people capitalized on the gullibility of Nigerians, of us, and they sold dummy to us because they saw how gullible they came. Let me tell you, I know, and I have said it before, the Bible was an instrument of coercion of the European to subjugate us to make us to be obedient to what they have brought. The Bible was just an instrument. That was not the motive. They did not come because they love Africa. They, they brought an instrument that can make us to fear by telling us about hell, 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 hell. We were indoctrinated to believe that and that they achieved their objective. That was where that was where Temi, you know, Temini, Temini's uh, uh, submission. Because uh, you know, I'm speaking from Germany. This uh, Martin Luther, Martin Luther version of the Bible. It was uh, as a result of this uh, conflict between the Catholics in yeah. England and Italy, yeah. and then uh, so the German said, "Okay, let us make our own." That was about uh, you know, 16th century, about 500 yeah. years ago. You know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. and then uh, uh, Temi, Temini's uh, appearance tonight. Should have been enough, you know. Should have been enough to open up our eyes and our, 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 our you know, and our, our dead and our white washed brains. Is it everybody, everybody. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. hold on, hold on, so, hold on, so I don't lose my my chain or or line or whatever. Thought, eh? you know. Look at Nigeria today. The problem we have is that uh, either Muslim, Muslim ticket, which 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 should be an you know an issue at all. Then yeah. either a Christian versus this, either Christian versus Muslim, and that if you go to local government right now in Ijebu Dena, then uh, people from you know from Odobolu cannot even they also get from Odobolu. If you go to Bini, people from Epoma, they cannot go to the other this because they have uh, either Christian from Auchi or Muslim from you know this type of things. It's enough to say, let us dismantle all these uh, churches, convert all of them. You know, let us. We are talking about the Southern Nigeria now because. You know, we actually we don't have a Muslim Wahala or Christian Wahala in the South. Let us convert all those, all those churches and Muslims to it, schools, hostels, and everything like that. Uh, like, um, I, 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 I have a question for, uh, uh, I don't know if the is still there. Yeah, that is Bishop, yeah. Right. Bishop, that, yes, that's your thoughts, yeah. Okay, yeah. So I, I was going to report to uh, the last speaker. I advocated something many years ago. I'm Tony, Tony, that, Tony Africa. That, okay, Tony, Tony Africa. Yeah, thank you, Tony Africa Deputy. I advocated something many years ago that if we cannot be religiously tolerant, let us all go religiously blind. Because, as a matter of fact, the religion is supposed to point us to godliness. But no, 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 and harmony and peace among us but in as much that it's beginning to divide us then as far as i'm concerned i will advocate for a religiously free society let me tell you something i just did tonight i just checked for churches for sale churches are closing out in america in their hundreds and thousands because people are no longer going to church. Why? That people are not going to Why? church. That's a topic for another day. People in the West, one world, whether it is America or Europe, are no longer going to church. Uh, Most, uh, people Bishop, that go to church Bishop, Most people that go to church. Oh, hold on, one please. second. One second. One second. Most people that go to church today in America are Africans. At least more than 60, 70% of them. Anybody can dispute me on the platform if you are there. Dito, <laughs> In Europe, Holland, Germany. Likewise, likewise, likewise. You are right because nobody goes to church yet. So they see their government as God. You know what I'm saying? They see their, their so they see their government as God because uh, if you tell an ordinary German to go to church, say for what? 
you know. So it is a bad flop because until we start to see our government functional as a gods, then we are not going nowhere, sir. Okay. So, so um, um, yeah, just uh, please land it in one minute, please. I want to go to Temeni, please. You can. Sorry, sorry, I muted myself. I didn't know. I actually muted myself already. I've landed my thought that it should not be something that should be dividing us. We can express our views. We, we, we cannot too have too strong views because it is not too rigid. It cannot be either my way or no way. Because let me tell you, uh, oh, when you, oh, when you, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, wait, 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 wait. Go on now. Go on, Bishop. Wolves. Wolves. Strangers have come into the fold and they will they are feasting on the division they have caused amongst brethren, amongst brothers and sisters, amongst citizens. The truth of the matter is that if we look at our common enemy, your enemy is not Christian uh, the Christian man beside you, your enemy is not the Islam man beside you, your enemy is not the man that is fellow worshipping is uh, Ifa. Or Rumila, or something beside you. Your enemy is that thing you have not been able to conquer. It could be the hatred in you. It could be animosity. It could be anything. Whoever believes in religion and you want to follow religion, peace be unto you. Go ahead. Whoever believes in another thing, let's just just leave. We can actually be religiously blind, and nobody will miss anything. I rest my case. Uh, thank you so much. Do you still have Temini? Temini, can anybody hear me? Can everybody hear me? Yes, yes. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, can you hear me? Is that Temini? Yeah, Temini, uh, you are on the Come screen. On, can I hear you? I'll take out one. Yes, uh, yes I will take out one. Uh, yeah. Yes. Temini, I have a question for you, please, if you don't mind. Okay. Do you believe in any pastor saying, God said, uh, 20 people to come out and give 5,000. The Holy Spirit just sorry, whispered to my Sorry, ear. your voice is very low. I can hardly hear you. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm screaming here. I said, do you believe if any pastor come out, I said, the Holy Spirit just whispered to me now that 20 people should give 5,000 naira. Mm. So do you believe in the Holy Spirit that is speaking to those kind of pastors absolutely not absolutely why? not why do you say that so um like i said this these were the kind of uh, doctrines i was brought up on when i first became born again these were the kind of doctrines i was taught the holy spirit or oh, god is telling me that he wants to heal you right now, he wants to do this, he wants to buy you a car, blah, blah, blah. So those were the kind of doctrines I grew up on. Uh, when I found that they were not working and I went to do my research, as I said, I discovered that the reason those things, like for example, if someone said to you, um, um, okay, okay let, let's say someone said, um, I, 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 I have a revelation or I have a vision that, um, let's see, Tinu, um, not Tinu, but what's that guy's name? Peter Obi was going to be the president, you know, was going to be the person that won the election this year. And that prophecy did not come to pass. Yes? If they said that and it didn't come to pass, what's the reason it did not come to pass? Is it because God is a liar? Or is it because these um, so-called pastors, who I call false pastors, is it because they are the liars? From my research, I came to understand that it is these false pastors that are the liars. And the reason I came to that conclusion is that I came to discover that what, what we refer to as the sign gifts, things like I'm going to say this thing now, and I'm sure that Christians will jump on me. The sign gifts which we, which God gave to the apostles to validate the apostles. In other words, if they do this particular sign, it will prove that these apostles have been sent by God. These twelve apostles, if they do these miracles, it will prove that blah blah blah. 
And when Jesus comes, if he does this miracles, it will prove that this is the Messiah we've been awaiting. When God, when God um, gave those, um, brought those signs into the world, it was for that specific period alone. It was only to usher in the Christian church. And after the Christian church, that was the end of um, revelation. Like God is telling you to pay, telling 20 people to pay 5,000. Or uh, God is promising that he is going to buy you a car next uh, month and the thing doesn't happen. God is saying to me, uh, Obi will be the president and it doesn't happen. The reason they don't happen is because um, those, those gifts of revelation, uh, speaking in tongues, the other ones, they have ceased. They are not for today anymore. Uh, uh, Demi, are ceased. you telling us that it's not God that is speaking to them? No, it is not God that is speaking to them. And that is the reason the things they say do not come to pass. That's the reason it doesn't come to pass. Like I said, I have a medical condition. They kept giving this um, so-called revelations and prophecies to say that man, I'm going to be clear, um, I'm going to you know be totally completely healed, permanently healed of my medical condition. But but, but they mean, can I say years. something? Uh, sorry for cutting you. Can I say something about that? Your um, that, what you just said that is, uh, I I I pray for you. God will take control. But yes. you know uh, that doesn't yeah, that doesn't mean. What they are saying, they are not saying it. You know, uh, God has his own appointed time. I'm just speaking, this is personal to me mm. as a Christian. Right? Yeah. I know. God I don't has know what you're about yeah. to say before you say it, but go ahead. You, 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 yeah, so you, you just know what I want to say. Don't let me just say it. I know you know what I want to say. <laughs> so it, 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 it may it, 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 it tarry, but it will still come to pass. Well, that's what I believe. Because okay. you remember Abraham in the Bible, this is not a Bible section, but we, we are in the Christian fold. Mm -hmm. Abraham in the Bible, God said, I will make you a father of nations. Somebody that doesn't even have a child. And God mm -hmm. said, I will make you a father of nations. But at the long run, hey, Thomas. at 99, hold on please, at 99 years old, he, he had a child, isn't he? Yeah. At, his, at his old, old, old age. So, mm -hmm. hey, my sister, don't give up. Can what I reply can to that? that? is my own belief. <laughs> yes, please. Can yeah. I reply? It's, it's not that I've given up. I now have an uh, understanding of what of... I have an understanding of the things I didn't, I didn't have before. And my medical condition is no longer an issue. In fact, I even embrace it. Why? Because the Bible says that as Christians, um, we have been promised suffering. It's not even a matter of... Um, let me speak a bit of it, but it's not a matter of um, boya, we are going to suffer. It is that God has mm. promised us as Christians suffering and we should embrace it with joy. You know, asking God to go through that suffering with us. That's the way I deal with my medical condition nowadays. It's not that I've given up. And in response to what you said about um, Abraham, the Lord promised him and it came to pass. Yes, like I like I said, the reason those things used to come to pass in those days, huh? um, Old Testament, and then um, before Jesus Christ left and went back to heaven, the reason those things used to come to pass is because those gifts were for those um, those 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 eras between the Old Testament and the ascension of Jesus Christ to heaven, the gifts were specifically for those dispensations. It's not for the current dispensation that we are in. It's not. And I know people will find it difficult to believe unless you go back and study it. Just study it with fresh eyes. Because I used to believe all these things before as well, that maybe the Bible says, um, if it commands such and such to happen, it will happen. And uh, if we ask for this miracle, it will happen. But when I now study it for myself, for a year, I now came to the understanding. Okay, ah, okay, these gifts were given for a uh, particular dispensations to be used in those times. So after those times passed, those gifts passed along with it. It's like saying, um, let's say for example, now you know the way they're starting to make um, electric cars nowadays, huh? So let's say um, yep. petrol now. 
eventually goes out of um, existence or creation. So can you imagine someone now trying to put, maybe in, in 20 years time or 10 years time, every car on earth is um, electric. Can you in, imagine someone now trying to put maybe petrol, I don't know how it works, but I'm just, I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. You're not trying to put petrol in a car that is supposed I, to be I understand electric. You. Do you understand? Electric. That yes. error has passed. I understand. Passed. Um, sorry if I seem to be talking over you because, like I said, your voice is low, so I can't really hear when you're talking properly. Yeah, go on, go on. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like um, <laughs> let me let me use this one um, example again. The issue of tithing that we've been talking about all morning. Tithing was actually what used to be the taxes, you know, like income tax that we pay nowadays. Um, corporation taxes and all the other different types of taxes. Tithing used to be the taxes of the nation of Israel because um, in the era when God was dealing with Israel directly, there was a time period at the beginning where Israel was running a theocratic government. Um, and just for people who don't understand what that means, theocratic is just um, instead of having like a human head of state or president or prime minister, God was their direct head of state or president at that time, you know, of the nation of Israel, not the whole world now, just the nation of Israel. And then um, he now appointed human um, assistants who essentially served as governors, maybe senators, you know. So these people were called the Levitical priests. I know you will know those people because you said you're a Christian. I so understand. The Levitical you. I priests understand. of yes. the olden days. Yes. So the reason tithing, one of the reasons tithing came into play was that those Levi, those Levitical priests who were serving as governors under God as the president directly, they were not allowed to have um, jobs like um, normal jobs like everybody had. So the only way they could feed and um, have their you know, daily upkeep was if people contributed taxes, which these people will now use for their, for their, as, as their livelihood, essentially. So taxes were meant yeah, to like, serve like, as like, the livelihood like so the food, of priests. So, food will be yeah. in the house of God, yeah. I, I can't hear yeah. you. As the, so that food may be in the house of, as so that food may be in the house of God. It's, um, it's thought of not exactly in the house of God, but specifically for those priests. It's like you know the way we have pastors, um, elders, uh, maybe assistant pastors nowadays. Eh? Let's say there was a command in the Bible that says that they shouldn't work. They will have to feed somehow. You understand? And this was what God did in the uh, Old Testament. God d did not want those Levites to work. They were they were um, set apart as holy people who were supposed to remain in the temple, serving directly under God. So the tithes that were being brought into the house of God, it's not as if it was being used for everybody. It was being used specifically for those priests because they were not allowed to work and they had to eat. They had their own family or whatever to take care of. And then there were other uses for the tithing as well. You understand? So that was um, that was why God established the tithe. It was just specifically for the nation of Israel. When Israel now left the theocratic um, style of government, where God was the head of state, and now they've now started having human presidents or human head of states like David and the rest of them, yes, that tithing issue now disappeared because they, they were no tell longer priests. Temini, tell 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 uh, for your tone, for your tone. Maybe yes. somebody tried to call you. Somebody tried to call you, okay. and then what you got to do now? So you go to more, go uh -huh. to more, uh -huh. and then uh, you set, and uh, you know, and it, then you go to toe setting. Just okay. push it, push it again, push it again. Then it, it, it then you hear our sound. Somebody tried to call you before. Okay. That was why your phone says, okay. Okay, I'll do Show it. People. Sorry about that. This okay. is my first time, so I don't know how to operate. Uh, yes, because it. that's why because we are all hearing Thomas, and then only you not hearing. So you have to go to the setting uh, after camera and the uh, chaps. You go uh, on the right side. Okay. You see the more, more, more setting. Okay. You go to tone, tone Thank setting. You. you push it and push the box. Eh? Okay. Thank you. Give me a minute. Yeah. Now we can. You can still hear you. Continue speaking, please. 
settings. Um, so yeah, settings go, we can hear you, Temini. Temini, we can hear you. Go on, please. Okay. We can, we can hear you now. All yeah. Right. But, um, so, in short, Temini, I was saying so, that um, yeah, after go on, yeah. God scrapped that system of the priesthood, and they now moved into the system of having human kings or human presidents, like we the term we use now like this, eh? if they've scrapped the priesthood, there's no longer any need for tithe. It's like if you scrapped petrol, there's no longer any need for petrol cars. You understand? So what these false teachers have done, because they know that Christians, um, either because some of them are new Christians or some of them are too lazy to study or something, because these false Christ, um, pastors know that Christians will largely not go back and study and research what they have been, what they have been taught in, in church. They just found a loophole to start propagating this tithing as if um, God is still commanding it for today, which is not the case. It is not the case. It was only for the nation of Israel for a certain period. That's it. The only command in the New Testament now is offering. Offering, which God even says is not compulsory. You give it's it cheerfully. It's not compulsory. Yes, yeah. you give it cheerfully. Yeah. And lastly, my last point is that um, somebody was talking about um, all these mega buildings. How would, you, how would we have um, money to maintain it if we don't pay our tithes and all that stuff. Well, number one, like I said, tithing has been scrapped. And then number two, even if tithing had not been scrapped, God has, has, has not commanded us to go about building huge mega buildings and now trying to milk poor Christians and even non-Christians to pay <laughs> tithes to now maintain these buildings. You know, doing competition with <laughs> other Demi, 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 let me just let me let me come in that way. Can you mm -hmm. imagine a pastor saying, God just told him everybody to church to empty their pocket? Mm -hmm. And people are going out, empty all their pocket, and they are walking home, and the same pastor will ride on his Jeep by their side and driving yes. his own car home. Yes. Is that not is that not daftness? Yes, and by the way, please, these are not pastors. Let's stop calling them pastors. They are false pastors, which are the false teachers, false prophets, which God had promised that will come. God promised that these false pastors will come. This is exactly what we are saying. So we need to stop calling them pastors. Our argument today is not even against pastors. It is against false pastors. The only thing is that people think that these people are real pastors. That is why they argue very much against them. They're not. It's like being a twin now. Your Taiwan Kendi, let's say you are Kaiwo and your other is a Kendi. Let's say your Kendi is a very horrible person. You know, God forbid, maybe a murderer and all that kind of a thing. And somebody who didn't know that you were a twin now started, maybe they just saw you one day and said, ah, that's the guy that did committed such, a, such and such an atrocity the other day. And you're trying to tell them, no, I'm Taiwo, I'm Taiwo, you know. It's my other, it's my twin. He's a very evil person. We've even like rejected him in the family and all that. This is what is happening. Instead of people to open their eyes and see that it is not pastors that are um, committing all these atrocities. It is false pastors who are building buildings, business centers, and calling them churches. These are false pastors. And we should not be shocked and surprised because the Bible has, God has promised us in the Bible that they are going to come. And try and deceive mm. the church, mm. and indeed, yes. a lot of people have been deceived. So, yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Can I interject uh, now, uh, Thomas? Can I interject now, please? Yes, please. Yeah, thank you very much. Go, go, go. So, um, please, please, that brother, uh, can you please tell me what you said I should do the other time? Can I make is a comment? Can you, please? So, you go to set no, don't go worry, to don't worry about that. Temini. We can hear you loud and clear. Don't worry about that. Okay, yeah. that is clear. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. okay. Can I, can uh, I comment? Then, uh, so no no hold on hold yes, on. So, after uh, Tony, uh, you come after uh, Tony. Yeah. Okay, thank Tony, you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you see that uh, make I just use our language, our broken English, make a make a talk now. See that as we don't see all this now, we don't know say we know the thing. So we don't know say those pastors are also part of this uh, 
all these blood suckers, otherwise known as politicians, no, 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 that uh, they might be having share, you know, shareholdings, you know, these useless churches, they call churches. So, and then uh, for the guys that are speaking from Nigeria, you know that uh, we are here now to be telling them how things are being done abroad. You know, earlier on, I did say that uh, they, they don't believe in God here. Even though when something started to touch you, they say, oh my God, oh my God, you know, the German, uh, the uh, British. Uh, uh, Tony, Tony, yes. I have a question yes. for you. Uh -huh. Why is it that we, that we claim we believe in God, every street in Nigeria, there will be 10 or 20 churches? And mosques. Things are, things, mosques that yeah. these are not working for us. Thank you. Now they, go now. now they are going now. Now they are going now. Now they are now, my brother. So, you know, you know now. So, in the whole world, 80% of the whole church buildings in the whole world are situated in Nigeria. 80% mm. because 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 the town that I'm living in Germany is about uh, 200,000 people. You don't have more than six churches. Sorry. So that that's where I'm going. That uh, it seems that. Uh, but the only problem when we get now, we say people in for Nigeria whenever I come abroad, they don't know how things they run. They don't know say now the now they are politicians. Now be their god here because you know like now each month end people that are not working. They, they, then they will get money from the government and the government will pay for their house. Then they will do everything for them. That's what they call God. Those are the things that people are going to church in Nigeria to pray for. Am I lying? No, no, yeah? you, are, you are right. You are right. Um, um, Tony, Tony yes. Yes. It's yes. when I go to abroad, I now know that I'm not, uh, I've never prayed for God. Provide what am I going to eat tomorrow? Thank you. Once the, you are the walking, food is there. Yeah, once you are working, you are working. And that is what always brings me back to Thomas, you know. So when I they go to school, you know, for a little we they go work, okay? We we'll go work for Ninja March eh? and then a two layer plastic, okay? And then farm meat. So and then even as a student, at the end of the year, they will still call you to come and collect some pay as you earn money, pay pay e. You, you, you know, I don't know anybody from Ibada here. You get me now. Yeah. They will say the government will return the taxes for you. I think you know that. And then there were offices around the old western region, right up to Ado State, Ekiti, Ondo to Delta. They, they have all this set up, all, you know, all this setting. But the problem is, say, you know, some people just come hijack our government that they will not say, God, God, God. What is God? Yeah? God, what is God? Because the God, God's, God's and the disciples and the pastors are their ministers and local government chairmen here. In Germany here, you get your passport from the local government, you get your visa. If I want to come to Australia now, I have to get my visa from the local government that I'm living in. So those are the goals. People will go to church to pray that you you get visa. And then what our sister was trying to say, Temini, uh, was uh, the prophecies that people are making and that are not coming to pass. Even one man, one man also reminded people, let's, let's see the other time also, when uh, our sister was there by the job. You know, so if you don't have a government, now people will not go to God. And now, let me tell you guys who, it be like say, these white people, they can't use this to damage our brain, say that uh, they, they say what they enjoy on this, on, you know, on this earth, they did not told us that uh, our, our enjoyment is there for heaven. You know what I mean? <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, Iman de Baladu, I, I don't talk to us now. Eh? I'll be sure, you know, now, and the Catholic Church, now there will be IMF, if you don't know, make you know today. <laughs> yes, they will come and say, oh, this, will, this will help you, that make that they give loan, make that they give the help to, uh, they, they give AIDS. That was why I like George Bush. He came to Nigeria and told Obasanjo, you don't need AIDS. We need AIDS from you. That's why Obasanjo <laughs> said, yes, you know, if we are not monkeys or baboons, they said, I have not been getting resources. Mm, mm, mm. As you mean, mm. Thomas, if you have me now as a president, you know that say Europe will fall down. I think you know that. Mm, I know. Because <laughs> I know. Me, I will, you know, I will close. I will look two years oil, you know, oil and gas export ban. <laughs> uh, but how are you going to refine your, how are you going to refine your crude? You know, those, those, local, you know, people, those local, those local refineries went there for inside the door. They had refineries now. No, 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 no. We got local refineries. How many? How many? How many? How many? No, 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 no,
I don't say they get their own refinery oil. Not before government. Oh. People they say bush that they cook their oil. Who they cook our palm oil? Who they cook? Um, people from Edo State, from Ekiti here. You don't say we get palm oil now. Okay, the cook everywhere. You know, no, no. Or last day for the house. I, I, and who, I know. So who I tell know. us? And who tell, you know, who they show us how to do them? That's how the believe people are doing their oil right now. And they worry. And the and the rivers. Only police will go to catch them. You know what I mean? So mm, mm. we are just like monkeys and baboons. And then I'm happy that uh, now I'm not stable, you know, on this platform. I'll be recognized because. What you guys were trying to kick me out for is what uh, Kulata came one time, once upon a time, to come and analyze. He said that black people were just monkeys and baboons because we get resources, <laughs> we can't even refine them for domestic use. They will never get the brain to know that uh, if you can refine your oil, only the oil we have in Nigeria, and they start to send to the to, to Congo to Kenya. Just you know what I'm saying, sir. Eh? Mm, and, mm, I understand. And just, yeah, like those days now, when we get to those uh, gas stations that we have engine oil, you know now, petrol, uh, they will be st finished product. So they, who, what you concerned now with uh, Europe? My brother, make a mm -hmm. little uh, other people speak. Yeah, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, Prince, Prince, you are trying to come in. Uh, be, is it Bishop or Prince? I think any, uh, oh, oh, the, okay. your, uh, both of you, your voice is a bit... It, it sounds uh, sounds same thing. Yeah, yeah. Come in, yeah, Bishop. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, Bishop. Uh, um, I'm throwing that question to you as well. Do you believe any pastor just said the Holy Spirit just whispered to my ear now? Fifty people should come <laughs> out and donate fifty fifty thousand. The Holy Spirit. If you don't come out, don't don't disobey the Holy Spirit. Come out, come out. Do you believe in that? Like, that like the Holy I Spirit said, is speaking to them. Like I said earlier on and i will repeat again for the umpt time number one something very critical is missing in the church today and that is discerning of the spirit spirit yes the discerning discerning spirit. of the spirit is missing seriously and secondly a lot of wolves have taken over there are charlatans too many charlatans for everyone true servant of god in nigeria there are probably 90 for everyone there are probably nine that are just charlatans they are mm. in it for the business and i am telling you for a fact church has become one big franchise i hate to use the word scam the bible say in i think in uh I think it's it is Psalm Psalm number you, eight. You can five. use Psalm now. Psalm Sam is calm. Psalm is calm, uh, my book brother. Of Sam, the book of Psalm, chapter number 85, verse 6, if I'm not mistaken. He said, Will thou not revive us again? The light, the fire of God, the Holy Spirit, as it is said, is dying very fast. So, what we have in Nigeria today is church as a business enterprise. The charity of them. So, if you if I say ninety percent are scam, that means ninety percent of the time that people are saying they are hearing from God, that come and uh, donate uh, ten thousand, come and donate five thousand, come and do this, it's just scam. Sadly, and unfortunately, so. But that is the truth. So they are harming, they are riding, they are taking advantage of the ignorance and the penury of people to compound their woes. So what we need now is actually a liberation, total liberation, total freedom. Mm. A songwriter mm. that I used to like said, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None yeah. but ourselves can free our mind. Have no fear for atomic... No fear. They have put fear in us with all this hell, 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 all of it. They have, but they have. In fact, it's there's so much that we need to like. Bishop, Bishop, yes, sir. Babadebo is said, if you don't pay your tithes, you will not go to heaven. I asked somebody to show me where he said that. Somebody said that earlier on. I really want to uh -huh. see where he said that. Bishop, yes, please. Yes. Do you please. want the video? I would not mind. I really would appreciate it. Ah, oh my God. I hear him in his own world. Ah, brother, yes. are you new into Christendom? Oh my God. Let me look for the video. Yes, I hear I... it in his own world. 
in his own world. Yeah, continue. Please, let me, let me, just said my, it my problem, yeah, 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 continue. Oh Thank my you. God, you, you, so, you really, so, you amaze me, oh my brother. That no, you didn't I mean, hear that. no, 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 listen, listen. I did not say, he did not say that. I said, I have not, I have not been privileged to see that video and that is the gospel truth. I have not seen it. If I've seen it, I would say I've seen it. There are so many times I've disagreed with a lot of men of God. And people look at me and say, well, that's my conviction. You need to go beyond what they told me 30, 40, 20, 30, 40 years ago to get my loyalty and my commitment. And no, it's not the same thing that anybody told me. Let's assume, for example, what you told me in 1980. That you will tell me that, that you will make me to believe. Absolutely not. It's not. Because now, people used to say, once I was blind, now I can see. So if I see things now, I should be able to assess them based on the present evidence, facts available to me. So for me, I think we need to break ourselves from the shackles of religious enslavement. And that is where we are now. God will help us. It might be difficult, but we just need to. And our attitude as Nigerians too must change it um, must um, Bishop, change. Bishop, yes sir i'm yes, very sir. sorry uh it's only one man that can download video but okay, yeah baba right. yeah baba in his own world yeah Hold if you me. tell me i can if you just put it on the no 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 no, no, just... no i'll play it no 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 i'll play it for you uh -huh. yeah yeah i'll play it for you yes that's Listen fine to him in his own world yeah hold yeah. on yes okay good To Matthew 23, verse 23. As your excuse for not paying your tithes. I didn't quite Matthew, hear that. Let me read it to you. Are you hearing the audio? Yeah, I'm hearing you now. Yeah. I think it's done the way we that Jesus said so. Really? Matthew 23, verse 23. Want to use scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. What does that mean? You should have considered the weightier matters of law, judgment, <laughs> and mercy. And not leave the other. What is the other? You are tightening under. In other words, you are supposed to do both. Pay your tithes, consider weightier matters of law, judgment, and mercy. Do both. I am going to give every one of you pastors an opportunity to repent tonight. And then to go back immediately after this convention and restitute your ways with your congregation. Make it clear to them. Anyone who is not paying his tithe is not going to heaven. Did you hear that? No. That's a lie. I did. Yeah. What people, about what people you, that you recognize the boy. You recognize the boy. Yeah. Can you? Do you recognize the voice? Yeah, I did. I had it. I it's had it. Now, now it's a, I don't, yeah. it's a lie. Don't, don't mistake me. I did not say he did not. Hold on, I said hold on, I hold on, please. It. Hold on, please. Uh, Ekene, you said it's a lie. What is a lie? Yeah. 
that anybody that didn't pay his title will go to hell. It's a big lie. Oh, oh yes, yeah. But, but I thought you said the video is live. Yeah. Yeah, Bishop, go no, on. I'm not and the, the, the explanation he gave there is not, it's not, it's not the direct explanation it's of that passage. Wrong. Yeah. The explanation is very wrong, it's very it's wrong it's explanation. He it. twisted it. He twisted it as a very wrong explanation. That is why it's, it's important right. when people when people re listen to the word of God, you can you can study it on yourself. You can study it on yourself. It's hey, hey, um, hey, hey, so, uh, so you you want me to believe this kind of pastor? No, you know the reason. Uh, you know the reason. My my point. My point about the pastor is that the, I don't really con. You know there are some respect that have been accorded to them according to the scripture. So that's why I don't want to always come on them very harsh that way. Uh, I, only, I, I only, I only, I only object, we can't object their thought. Uh, we can hold on. We can't continue yeah. to respect them because they are old. We I respect them because they are old, but I, I, I disagree with their doctrine. Their doctrine is false. What you just heard now is a false doctrine. And he twisted the word so much that any intelligent person can understand that he twisted it. Woe unto you, Pharisees! You pray your tie, you pray your tie, you do that. Christ is talking about, he's talking about their, he's talking about their personal holiness. You do this, you keep the law, you do this, but you cannot do this. The same way he said that, uh, you, the same way you said that, uh, who want you scribe and the Pharisees? You wash, you wash the outside, you wash the outside of the cup, but you didn't, you but the inside is dirty. Inside is dirty. Their heart is dirty, but you, 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 look, you, look, you look, you look, you look, you look to appear good in the sight of men, but inside your heart is full of evil. That is the so he twisted the word is, so is, much. Is, is, is Jesus people describe it as the is, the, is, is that a burial ground that the outside yeah. is clean. They do the 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 burial ground very clean, but what is inside yeah. is what? But what is dirty, very dirty, it's very no. dirty. So, so it's, 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 it's just like it's just like it's just like it's just even like people giving arms. <laughs> Christ also so you go you go outside you show people you do good things you do this you do that but inside what you are supposed to do your heart is dirty you cannot do good with it you cannot show that mm -hmm. you are a good person but inside your heart you have a dirty mind so all those things are what Christ is trying to explain to them they go okay. and pay tight uh, you keep the law mm -hmm. because tight is a is a form of law. It's okay, the form man. of law during those days that during those old testament. You okay, keep man. the commandments oh, 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 in all okay, those days. Okay, yeah, Bishop, you, Bishop, you, do you think do you think God really needs our money to do anything for us? Answer it yes or no. No. Even if you want to if you want to get something from God, you have to give God money mm -hmm. so that He can give you what He wants. No. Um, I would say like I've had it and I did I've not had it before. That's I don't know when they said it, but I've had it now. And I know that was Pastor Adeboye's voice. Uh, do I agree with what he said? No. Am I clear? Now this yeah, is yeah, clear. Now, now this is the yeah. truth. This is the, my this is my position. Like I said earlier on, it does not matter who is talking. It is me to decide on what I want to hear, what I want to take, and what I want to believe. And I have mm. taken that position long before now. I used to make reference to the burial, the burial Christians. Whatever you hear, you go and meditate upon it. Because a lot of our Bible, and this is a very personal thing to me, a lot of the Bible we read today have lost a lot of their meanings. Let's start from the origin of the King James, the man that authored the Bible, the King James Version. Do you know the lifestyle of King James? The yeah, but some people will say he just translated the Bible. He didn't no. write the Bible. No. Bible how many was of in, us? His scrolls. How many of Bible us? Was but is this yeah. what is this is what is this, this, this what was in the scroll? Is that what we have today? How many of us have read what they call the complete Bible that contains the Judith, the Tabitha, the Maccabees, the Maccab, and the rest? So a lot of, a, a good portion of the Bible was cut off. And I keep asking people, what was the motive 
of cutting off those sections of the Bible. So, invariably, what we have is not the complete Bible. And if you now go and look at the interpretations, the more they interpret, the more some of the of the content are dropped. The more they interpret, the more some of the content are dropped. You go and check it. You will see. So, it all depends on you. Power of conviction. Hey, there are some people that will do so well to hypnotize you. I believe they are. I believe so many people have taken advantage of other uh, people. Uh, uh, using I've, been ignore, I've been ignored before now, but okay. my hands are open. Good. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, yeah. let me drop this now. Do you know it is not everything? And I want to be very careful in this, what I want to say, so that people will not quote me at all. It is not everything that is recorded in the Bible that can take people to hell. I don't think there is a God somewhere. Uh, um, that that we repeat that. Me. Repeat, repeat that, please. It is not every sin that is listed in the Bible that can take a man to hell, because I cannot imagine in my own subconscious that maybe I was caught in a typical situation and I lied asleep, lied just to get out of that situation compared to somebody that concocted in his heart to go and kill people and disposed and, and planned and carried it out and go and kill. So how do you compare me because I lied for a situation? Maybe somebody oh, well, well, what thing is he saying, isn't it? Hello that's, everybody. That is what I'm saying to you now. That it does not carry I, the I, same I, weight. I agree with you. Uh, hello, 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 hello. Let me push you back. Let me push you back. If I well, say ten dollars Hello, uh, we are hearing you Who is that? Hello, yes, everyone. if I stole... Hello, Victoria, yeah, hold hello. on. They'll get to you. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, yes, hold on, Victoria, please. Yeah. If I stole uh, $5, yes. and you stole $500, yes. are we both thieves? We are both thieves, yes. Yes, so uh, can you implement what I said now to what you just said? No. Same is the same. No, no. Uh, who's, 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 who has that question? Is it Thomas? Thomas, yeah, Thomas. Okay, good. You know, in Nigeria, <laughs> we have a law. You can actually still fight Naira and be condemned to death. And somebody will steal five million and they will ask him to go to three months imprisonment. Do you know why? Why? Good. Because the, stool, the man that stole the five million might be committing the, I mean, the five thousand might be committing this, the crime of arm robbery, mm -hmm. violent arm robbery. When he was coming to rob you, he did not know that it was only five naira that was in your wallet. But the man that stole five, uh, five million might just sneak, make sure you are out, and he just put his hand in your something and remove your bag that contains five million. The man has told him. It is theft. The other man, they will categorize him as arm robber. Hmm. But okay, he came with a gun, he came with a machete, he came with a knife. If you have restricted, resisted, maybe he would have used that thing on you and killed you. I so don't think that is what the scripture said, sir. I'm very sorry. You have it all wrong. Did, you, did I say the scripture? Yeah, that is what you yes, said. Uh, you said some of the scriptures, the things no, that no, take you to come hell. On, come on, come on, come on. We are, we are, we are putting, we are relating things. Don't, don't be too quick to do that, please. Okay. Don't be too quick to do that, please. If you met us, you met us middle of a conversation. Calm down, have an understanding, a grasp of what is going on. I think it's completely out of place for you what you just did. Well, please. I think I, I listened and you, you said that it's not everything enough. that is written in the not, Bible that will take us to hell. My, listen to me. You will not take it. I said, my, if you believe that uh, whatever you have done, you are going to hell, good luck to you. You can go to hell. But me, I don't believe that. And I don't know uh, how much of Bible you have read, but I'm taking good letter. Don't let's go that way. Victoria, I'm asking the question. He, he I'm very respectful. I said, I said, so, you personalize it. Exactly. And I said, uh, me, me, I believe what I believe, completely different from what you believe. You are entitled to your own belief. So, I said, I believe that there is no God there that will condemn me for a lion that will be asleep to go to hell and compare to somebody that planned, 
meditated and carried out a plan to go and kill that thought of plant and now carried out the plan to go and kill someone. Mm -hmm. If you believe that is the way, so be it. Hmm. If you believe it, good luck. I don't believe it. Because a lot of the my brother Vito, please, please. You know that uh Bishop uh, 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 Victoria. Please, a little, little, little bit, yeah, land is, please. a little bit, a little bit, uh, Thomas. You know, actually, actually, Tony, Tony, there, there is, uh, you know, please, 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 no, 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 Tony, please, please, hold on, please, let new people speak, please. I'm very sorry. Yeah, Bishop, land your thoughts. Then we mm -hmm. go to Victoria. So, yeah. like I said, and I just repeat because I've already landed it before. That is what I believe because a lot of the content of the Bible over the years have lost the interpretation. So you read a version of the Bible and by the time you come down two, three, four, five, three, uh, three, four, five, six interpretations down the line, the difference is being completely twisted. Are those by mistakes or are they deliberate? I don't know. I won't say to that. But I am saying that there is a big difference a good portion of the Bible scripture is missing today. What happened to those parts? Who authorized, who authorized the removal of those parts? So there is a law of the conscience. I do tell people, even before the advent, people were judged by their conscience, the right doing and the right standing. A lot of our churches today are not teaching us about right standing. They are teaching us about right doing. And that is why out of, like I said earlier, of more than how many percent of our churches are just mere business outputs? Thank you. Hmm. Uh, uh, Victoria, uh, if you don't mind coming, please. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, is it the same Victoria that we have, or is it new Victoria? Do what? Ask your question again, please. I said, is it the same Victoria we have we had before? You are, you are a new Victoria. No, 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 no. I am a new one. You just, are the new one. Yeah, yeah I'm a new Victoria. I can differentiate your voice. The, I just, our voice Victoria has a, some English uh, accent. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. Go on. I yeah. just stumbled onto this uh, channel. And I thought it's more in bandage or something when I stumbled onto it. But no, I no, no. We, kind of we, um, we invited yeah we invited her is our okay. guest today. Okay. Yeah. Uh I just uh, I've been listening for a little while and I let me contribute my two cents. And uh, I mean I I didn't sound to be rude to the gentleman that just finished speaking, but um No, you are not rude. You are not rude. You if you think I was back. rude to him or no, 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 that, no. I would like sure, to no, first no. of all. No, sure okay, no, having sure cleared the air on that, I would like to say a few things. That number one, we have to rightfully divide the scripture. The scripture standard sure is does not lose its value, but you have to rightfully divide and know exactly what this particular verse is saying and to who and to their level of faith and what this particular verse is saying and to that group and to their level of faith. If you don't rightfully divide the scripture, you will think the scripture contradicts one another. But no, the scripture stands direct sure. Now, what I was trying to say is, when he was trying to, the gentleman was trying to explain is according to his own understanding is there are hierarchies of sin the scripture said sin is sin and the eye of the lord is too pure to behold any iniquity, iniquity. it doesn't matter if it is sin of fornication or sin of a small line, it does not matter. But also, having said that the eye of the Lord is too pure to behold any iniquity, 
This is it. When you are now in Christ, because on the cross, he said it is finished. He paid for our sins, you and I, even the ones we are yet to commit. Because it's a God that knows our future. Christ paid it all. We are now supposed to tap into the grace. Henceforth, there is no more condemnation in those people that are in Christ Jesus. So it is not that sin is not sin. I will use Paul, um, Peter and Judas Iscariot. Both of them committed sin. In fact, Peter denied Jesus, lied three times. Judas Iscariot only, only betrayed Christ once. If you want to look at it in the court of law, we're talking on a general note, you would think Peter committed more sins because it was three different occasions he denied. Denying mean he lied. Judas only did one thing, which Judas is curious. Can I please Judas lie? Can I please lie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah good. Which Judas is curious. He felt sorry, and unfortunately, he did not go back into the grace. He chose to commit to take his own life, to use a good language online. He chose to take his life. But Peter recognized that he has grace. Peter recognized who Jesus is. He went back into Christ. He asked for forgiveness. He, went, he did not even ask for forgiveness, but he, he was remorseful. He understood that uh, uh, this man, he went back home, just like the prodigal son. He realized he went back home. That is why you think one sin is bigger or some you, you can do something and you are not forgiven. I can do something. It is our level of understanding of the grace we carry. It is not because one sin is bigger than the other. No. No sin is bigger than the other. And that is why we have to be very careful of the devices of the devil. No sin is bigger than the other. Even can I, can I, can I Go ahead. Minute, come please. on in. Come on. Come in. Come in. Come in. Now, the example you give us is not complete. Go ahead. Peter, I mean, Peter and uh, Judas Iscariot. Mm -hmm. The same Jesus Christ that mm -hmm. said beforehand mm -hmm. to Judas, I mean to Peter, mm -hmm. that Peter, I know that the devil wanted to take over you, but don't mm -hmm. worry, I have already prayed for you. Mm -hmm. Did he say that to Judas Iscariot? He said it. To Judas Iscariot? Yes, he did. When he, he said that he, which he thou wanted to... to, hold on, hold on, that which thou wanted to do, go and do it very quickly. Is it the same thing that the that he said because to Peter? This, Can we compare them? That thing which you, that wanted to do, mm -hmm. go do it quickly, mm -hmm. so the scripture can be fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Judas Iscariot came to fulfill a scripture, okay. and Jesus needed to die for mm -hmm. you and I to be here. So Judas Iscariot had been destined. To perish. Say that again. So Jesus, Judas Iscariot had been destined to perish. So there was no room for repentance for him. Was there no room for repentance for Judas Iscariot? I already said that. I said he did not recognize the Have grace. Have you read the Bible that says that all that you give to me I kept except for the son of perdition? Yes, I have. Who is the son of perdition? Judas Iscariot. What does perdition mean? Oh my God. <laughs> you know, because when you give all those scriptures. I didn't even my, give you scripture. I you only quoted, you quoted the story. Yes. Now we know okay, the story. Yes. That's yes. what yes. I said. Bishop, yes. Don't let us go to Bible. Don't let us go to Bible study. No, we can go. I think we are going to Bible because I'm a Bible scholar. We can go all the way. Yeah, we all are all Bible scholars. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, God, Thomas, oh, God, Thomas, let me settle them. Let me settle this, please, sir. Okay, yeah. uh, uh, thank you. Uh, Victoria. Uh, hello, Victoria, please uh, listen to me. Both of you, both of you, look at all the whole, uh, all the whole quotations you guys are making. You know, it's, it, it, it's like, uh, I, you know, as if you didn't listen to Thomas when he said that uh, in Nigeria, every street, we are having 10, 10 churches and 10 mosques that yet we are not moving forward as a nation. So why is it, what, what is the concern now with all this Peter, Iscarius, and the blah, 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 Jacob, and the Peter, this, that, and Jesus Christ, and all this Mohammed? What is the concern now with that? Why are people not talking about how I want to give free education to the poor of Western region? How uh, they my Bruce Ali, they my uh, uh, Jassin, did this, what can we do to, to what, what are people talking about? The, the, the religion that uh, this colonial massacre used to come and destroy our brains. Make I no, kill myself. I'm right not now. talking about the, the religion. No, the no, 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 <laughs> those, those ones are not churches of God. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, those, madam, those madam, are not, those, madam, those are not churches of God. I'm not. That is that is a different conversation of entirely. What would you have done? Hold on, hold on. What would you have done? Thank you. Thank you very much. Hold on, hold on. Excuse me, sir. That is when you want to talk about the churches in Nigeria. It's different from what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, but hold on, hold on, hold on. Those are not churches. Those are business centers. Where are you reaching us from? If I may ask, I'm reaching you guys now from Germany. Which you know, which country are you? It does not matter. Those are not churches. That is, those are just business centers. Let me speak to you. I respect you, Madam. Tony, hold on, 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 please, hold on. Okay, she's not. She's not obliged to answer that question. She could be talking for any way. Okay, okay, thank you. That doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Then, if, you to, if you want me to, if you want, I only came in. Sir, let me finish. Let me finish. I was interjecting. I'm interjecting. Hey, this to can I make a comment? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Hold yes, on. Let me learn. Let me learn. Let me learn. Let me learn. Everybody, if I say hold on, if I say hold on, everybody hold on, please. Okay. All of us cannot talk at a time. So, Tony, land it in one minute, then. Then we go, we go to, uh, yeah, then we go to, uh, who, uh, yeah, we go to Prince, then um, okay. Victoria can take back the floor. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. So, yeah. what I'm trying to say, please, you know, Victoria, with due respect, is that uh, whatever, all the countries that we are living right now, they don't, they don't preach about their Bibles and everything. They believe they are politicians, their local government chairmen, their councillors, their governors that uh, are providing every basic uh, things of life to them. That's what I want us to be doing. Because the European people, what they didn't know, we have, we have been able to establish that they came to actually use this religion to come and destabilize us, to come okay. and destroy okay, our, okay. You know, our, our continent. So it's high time we start to wake up to realize that we don't need to be wasting time on preaching about Peter and Paul. Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, oh, hold on. Yeah. Okay. Let me say this then, before who's coming. But why are we not thinking in this direction? This question is to everybody on this platform. The people that brought this religion to us now, they are even, they, I can say they have totally abandoned this religion to the Africans that we should deal with it. I'm a Christian, no? I'm not talking, uh, I'm not talking as a, maybe as the atheist or something. I'm a Christian. I just came back from church now. Yeah, I'm a spiritual person, but why don't you think in that direction? Because uh, Tony just make a good point now. Why are we still in this religion? And the day that even brought the religious to us, they've moved on to technology. My, my sister and my brother here, religion don't okay. pay bills in our blood. Going to church don't pay your bills. You work. You do what? My sister and my brother, I have four jobs. When I was in Nigeria, I thought I was working. I wasn't working when I was in Nigeria. I was just deceiving myself. I was, I'm, I'm, now I'm working. So if you are working, I, I think religion will be... I don't think people should not serve God. We should, we should, we should think about what Tony just said now. Why they, they, they just they abandoned the religion? 
Yeah. Okay, so it's let's my turn now. No, no. Let's hear from. Please want to. Um. So Victoria, we have something in this uh, platform. People interject when you're speaking, so you give them the chance to interject. Then we come back to you. You still have the floor. So please, let's hear from Chris. All right, guys. Thanks. Yeah, I've been wanting to get in. I had a lot of questions all along, but anyways, welcome, Victoria. Um, I was actually enjoying um, her explanation of the Bible and Bishop also. So uh, to the point about 10 churches on every street or mosque and every street in Nigeria, I mean, it's, uh, you know, I don't, I don't really know what to say about that, except that there's nothing that has ever been given to man that man has not abused, be it church or be it the, the oil that we have in Nigeria. I mean, it's, everything is abused by man. So we shouldn't concentrate so much about uh, so much concentrate so much about uh, the white man's religion that we want to die die on. Uh, and by the way, and I, if you want to be truthful to to history, the white man did not write necessarily write the uh, the Bible or many of these other religions. I mean, they started from the Middle East, and uh, there were Jews, of course. They came the uh, the Greeks that wrote part of the Bible also. Um, they brought religions, religion to us, but they did not tell us really to abuse ourselves or the people that follow us, that is the pastors. Um, it was, I think, a lady earlier, is it Thames, where she was making a comment about, actually, to, to, to be, this question maybe to Bishop, um, uh, it was talking earlier about somebody committed um, a harm robbery and somebody just stealing like five million naira of dollars. Well, at the end of the day, if both uh, individuals repent of their sins, um, I doesn't. It doesn't really matter which sin is more egregious than the other, as long as they recognize the sin and they repent of their sin. And to the question regarding, um, I guess you can say, level of sins, um, it says in the Bible, I believe it was um, Apostle Paul, that, yeah, there are different kinds of sins, but some sins may not necessarily lead you to, uh, maybe I should paraphrase, to hell. But nonetheless, it, it, it's kind of a, a slippery slope, so to speak. Um, we, we, we don't want to um, encourage, oh, that's a little sin, so you can continue to do that because little sins can lead to much bigger sins. But all sins are not necessarily the same. But at the end of the day, if you believe in the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ, right, it doesn't matter what level of sin that you committed. As long as you know to repent of your sins, you, you, you're good, you, you, you're fine. And in regards to um, uh, Peter and, and Judas the Iscariot. Um, yeah, I think so. I think Bishop used the word uh, uh, son of perdition. Judas had to fulfill the scripture. We can say that because it was pretty much, I guess, destined to do what it did. Um, but to Peter, even though he denied Christ three times, and of course, he was also redeemed three times by Christ. Christ, when he asked him three times if he loved him, and he, he answered yes. So that was his redemption right there. So, um, and quickly also on the issue of, of miracle, I think it was Thames, or Thames, she was referring earlier about what happened in the past in the uh, Bible. Bishop, maybe pre I was asking, Bishop, I was, uh, just take this with your, what's your, your, uh, your assertion. I was asking people earlier on, I think your audio was so bad, but now we can hear you loud and clear. Do you believe in pastors saying, uh, God just, the Holy Spirit just whispered to my ear now, 5,000 people, 500 people should come out and give 2,000 naira. Holy Spirit just whispered to me. Do you believe they are really hearing from the Holy Spirit? Thank you. Um, is that for me, right? Uh, yeah, for yeah, okay. for, yeah, I, I, for I, I, who, who is speaking? Who is who, who is who, who is who was speaking before? I, only, I was speaking. Who, who I was that? wondering. You, you you asked me that, and I answered. I don't know if you heard me or not. 
Yeah, so I, maybe, did, I did. I did. I think they are okay. not, talking. Well, yeah, let's go back to Prince. Yeah, Prince. Okay. Uh, that's the that's for you, please. Thank you. Uh Prince is gone. Yeah, Prince is gone. Yeah, let's. Uh, I Thomas, think Prince, Thomas, uh, he was, he, you know, Thomas. He was responding to me. He was responding to my to my uh, saying about it. Yeah, that's yeah. He, he, uh -huh. So, let, you know, can I just uh, yeah, uh, give you some answer? No, hold on, hold on, please. We we'll come back to okay. you. Let's go okay. back to Victoria. I will come back to you, uh, Tony. Please. Yeah. Do we see our Victoria? Yeah, Victoria. We don't. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah, had some. It's yeah. my phone. No, um, no, no worries. Yeah. Uh, what I was saying is quite different from having churches in Nigeria, here and there, here and there. For a fact, churches in Nigeria are business centers. It's completely different from what I was talking about. What I was talking about is your personal relationship with your God. It has nothing to do with church. If I have to answer your question, all those churches in Nigeria are fake. Fake. Okay? And I will say more. Not all. I will say most. Yes. Not all. Not all. Um, so, we, not all. This is Majority. my submission. This is my submission. Majority. All the churches yes. are fake. Any anybody that tells you come to church to meet with God is a fake church. Because I'll give you my reasons. You don't go to church to meet with God. We are the carrier of God. We carry God. We go there to gather and fellowship together. You don't go there to meet God because God is not there. God is in your heart. What we are doing here, if we start talking about scripture, we can call this a little fellowship and the Lord will be here. We will be talking God. Any man, woman that puts a poster and say, come and meet with God is fake. Now, if we call it fellowship, Ah, Brother Paul, Sister Peter, this, that. Can we gather together around four o'clock? Let us discuss scripture. Let us enlighten ourselves. That there is God. We are the carrier of God. So are you telling me if I come to a church at a, a Korodu Road to go and meet with God, when I leave there, do I leave God in that location and I come home without God? No, anybody that tells you come and meet with God somewhere is fake. And they are not hearing anything from nobody. I am the carrier of God. He's, he's, like if we, he's in me. He's in me. So when I'm coming, I am coming fully loaded with Christ in me. My hope of glory. I am not coming there to meet with to meet with God. We like what we are doing now. We could be online now. I don't know how many people are watching you. It could be millions of people watching you now, and we are fellowshipping and we are touching lives, and we really do not need to contribute a dime. God does not need our money. Tight is well, tight as um, um, tight yeah, as Victoria. Tight we has been abolished. Victoria, we are contributing. Uh, our contribution yeah, is to lie. I want to respond to that. I want to respond to that. I'm not sure. <laughs> I've not even landed, but go yeah. ahead. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to comment her on what she just uh, concluded with. You want to what? I want to comment you. you, comment you, you comment. Oh, I thought you said comment. Okay. No, I want to commend you. So you really spoke well as a real Christian. And that has been my stand all this while. We cannot just throw away Christianity because of uh, bad behavior of so many uh, prophets and the uh, prophetess. So they shall, that's what they call it. God is there, and the God is the source of everything, no matter how they do it in Europe or in Nigeria. So we must recognize the presence of God in our lives and continue to acknowledge him. So the real fact is that I like people that, uh, that, uh, that are objective, that uh, really understand the scripture, 
like the Victoria and just pointed out some many things. The scripture said, people that know their God, they shall do great exports. Yeah, yeah we, are, we, are carriers of, we are carriers of God. We carry Listen, God in us. Sir, we I don't know who God your parents us. are. I don't know you. It is going to be very, very difficult for God to bypass you. So come and tell me about you. You don't even know me. Listen, I don't know you. I don't even know if you're a fornicator. You don't know if I'm an adulterous woman. How will God come to me to come and tell you? If you know your God, and you have the right to go to God, I cannot call you to come and beg my parents on my behalf. If I am a good child, or if my son or my children are good children to me, honey, they will come boldly to the throne of grace. They will come and, that is why don't, and that is why you don't force Christianity to people. You only tell them and they make up their mind that to follow. I'm telling you that all those pastors telling you come, collect money from you, do this, they are fake. They are all after their yeah. stomach. They are stomach infrastructures. Because I do not need anybody, anybody to intercede for me when I know that I have God in me. Yeah, yeah, but so quickly, I, not I, everybody I, knows I, that. Uh, I really, so I really uh, submit to your idea on the on the on the on what you have just raised, and uh, let us continue to encourage people that care to to follow the footsteps of Christ, because that is the person we are following. It's not all about all these our pastors no, and all that. You cannot follow your pastor. Christ they will mislead you. It's okay. just class okay. like you go to church, yeah. not okay. for now, human now, 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 let me come in now. Let me come in now. To build up okay. your faith. Yeah. Okay. A quick yeah. question to Victoria. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she understands the Bible, and yeah. she knows that also that not all Christians are the same. We have baby Christians, so if yeah, you know, if you if you know that you can go to God directly, there aren't many people that don't know that, and we are supposed to help those people or walk those people through and, and guide them in the right direction. And to Thomas's questions about uh, pastors, you know, calling out con congregants to to bring forth money. Uh, I, I don't believe in that. I think that that's a charlatan move. I don't think it's it's it's. I righteous. challenge my, I challenge the pastor of the church I used to go to all the time. I challenge him. Anytime he see me in church, he's like he he, he start shaking. Because okay. Uh, somebody uh, said Victoria, earlier. Victoria, I listened to I, someone. Can I respond to that guy? Hold Victoria, on a second. I, I listened to somebody that said that. Um, he takes he takes what the pastor says. He takes what belongs to him, and you know he just takes something. But you know what? When you are truly a child of God, and I see someone de destroying my father's property or my father's name, I I, I, I will say something. I okay. will. I challenge my pastor that's, that's all the time. That's righteous indignation. I agree. Right. Right. Okay. Uh, 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 righteous doesn't make us to be good. It doesn't make us to be to be don't. I'm not saying you do to them, but I will challenge yeah. you. If I'm in yeah. a congregation yeah. and I know yeah. what the pastor is preaching is wrong, he's, he's, I will challenge them because, like you said, there are baby Christians, and if you feed them the wrong food, they will they will go, they will run away with it, and we. They won't get it. So I challenge them. Okay, Victoria, right. let me respond now. Let me respond to that guy, the guy that came to challenge us about the 10 churches in Nigeria Street. Please. So, my brother, my brother, you you know, you have gotten, a, you know, an American accent, you know, judging from your voice right now. So let me tell you something. What Thomas was trying to ask again was that, uh, that the, the, the places where these churches originated from, before they brought it to us uh, via slavery and colonization, that they have stopped to worship God. Uh, you know, they, you know, they, they, you know, see that same God that they created for us, because they start to organize themselves as government and providing all those things that we are praying for in Nigeria. You know, that is not coming. You know, that's what we are saying. That uh, this this church of the people, you folks should discard it right now. If Africa want to. Make no, it. no, 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 you, can, you cannot do that. You cannot do that. The Bible recognizes the fact and the spirit of the old days. Who wrote the, who wrote the Bible? Who wrote the Bible? Was That's it the Bible? Kingdom? True. No, no, the Bible recognizes the fact and the spirit of the, of the, of the, of the, of the end time. That many people, no, will, many people, no, 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 no. how did you live? How did you live before? 
You know, how did you live before the advent of slavery and colonization? How did you live? How did you help each other to during, build home? During those days, during those days, during those days Bible, Bible also recognized that there are times of ignorance and God will Wait, at those, at those Bible, of ignorance. Bible, the Bible from uh, colonial masters? You push, I mean, wake up. Wake those up. things are there in the scripture. The Bible recognized the facts of the time of ignorance and the God I will at you. those times. I forgive you, uh, my brother, uh, Una, because uh, you are living in Nigeria, you are paying for darkness. The, you see, you know, so... No, you no, are, no, 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 no. Um, Nigeria, Nigeria, is not, Nigeria is not darkness. Nigeria is not darkness. I'm living no, in Nigeria, no, does not mean that Nigeria is darkness. No, no, there are still, there are still good darkness. Christians. You have not there are still good Christians in this country. There are still good Christians in this country. So all of no, us no, are not... No, many, no, many Nigerians no, are not in darkness. We need uh, administrators, administrators, organizers. No, no, there are there are still good Christians in Nigeria. There are still good pastors. Every everybody is not is not dark in Nigeria. Everybody is not there. It's not, it's not, it's not dark in the country. I agree with that. I agree with that. No, no, you see, you see, you see, you see, you can believe anything. If you can believe anything you want in this life, it doesn't matter. You can choose to. Yeah, I have seen pagans. I have seen pagans. I have seen people that they say that I don't want, but still they recognize God. Whenever they want to do their their incantation, they will still call Chukwu Kikabiyama, which still means that they, they still recognize that God in heaven. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. They do it most uh, often. Uh, the gods of yes. Africa. So, the gods of so you, you, yeah, what, what, I want, what I'm trying to say is that the mm. fact that there is God, that, that's what I'm trying to say. Because if yes. those people can say, if those people can can say Chukwu Kika Biyama before they begin their incantation, they still believe in that God as the devil. Oluwa, Oluwa, eh? Okay. Yeah, then, so, so, but, so, but, but, so, we are talking about that God. We are talking about that God. And this particular one, we are talking about that God. Look, hold on, hold on, hold on, sir. What about China that don't worship Jesus Christ? What about uh, uh, Korea? They are making Mitsubishi for you. They are making Samsung for you. They are making everything so, for you, and you can say that uh, if you don't follow Jesus Christ, that you go to hell. That doesn't mean. That doesn't mean. It looks like mean. this person speaking. Okay. Are you an atheist? Not the atheist. Not the atheist. Look at the woman. You, 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 you sound like an atheist. You, want, you know, throw your Samsung. An atheist, you know, you see, you know, atheist is a different. Is as another bug. A different bug game. Yeah, the one maybe your Toyota. Look at wake up. That is different. If you are that an atheist, Africa, Africa, Africa. you are an atheist that you don't believe in God at all. I believe in God. I, tell, I believe in Chuku Oluwa. Oluwa. So if you uh -huh. don't believe in God, it's a different ball game altogether. I it's God. different from what they are discussing. Oh, no, cool, well, because, uh, some people, uh, because, some, because some people are inventing it should be that has nothing to do with God. It has nothing uh, to do with God. Why don't you the laptop? Why not believe in God? Now that they feed you now. As soon as I know many things, 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 can you guys yes. hear me? Yes. Yes. If I said hold on, please, let's hold on. We can't be talking on each other. It, it doesn't sound good. Yes. It doesn't sound good. Yeah. So please, let's just yeah, let's be mindful. Okay. Of our, can I quickly you know, interject? Everybody can friend. talk. Everybody has time to talk. Yes. So let's let's just follow that trend, please. Yeah. Um, I think um Prince, Prince, you have the floor before okay, thank you. your network draws. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Big yeah. um, Prince, uh, finish your assertion, then we go to Victoria. Thank you. Yeah, I just wanted Victoria to continue on the path of uh, fighting. I think she 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 asserted that um fighting is no more um is no more um acceptable in, in, in today's uh, church. Um so I would like her to, to talk more about that, even, even though I, I don't believe that. I think fight, fighting is still, is still um, relevant in, in today's uh, church. Um, I was going to remember a scripture in regards to that. Um, but yeah, if you don't mind, make a comment about that, uh, Victoria. Yeah, back to Victoria. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um... 
So the other gentleman that was talking that uh, China is doing this, that is irrelevant when it comes to scripture. I don't know if that's what you guys are talking about. That because you invent something. Uh, but, 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 but Victoria, you are talking at uh, the perspective of a Christian. Tony is not a Christian. Uh -huh, that's why I said he must be an atheist. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Don't say that. You can't it, say it's that. It's not bad to be atheist. It's not bad. No, 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 it's no. You can't say thing. that. He didn't tell you he's an atheist. Okay. He didn't tell you he's an atheist. So, you, okay, you, moving you don't past that, let me speak are. about I, the. I only ask some questions. The one thing that uh, those people that don't believe in Jesus Christ right now, in this present day, they are the one manufacturing everything for us. Your spoons, the pen in Nigeria, the one they used to go to school for the children. You know what I'm saying? Tatong, even right from the time of our time. Uh, hey, uh, you know, Tatong. And then, Tony, uh, actually, this Tony, one, you say they go to hell, eh? <laughs> See, in South Korea, <laughs> South Korea is one of the most religious nations in the world. South Korea. They have their Buddha, Buddhists. Then in uh, India, they have their, they uh, you know, their Hindu. Why can't we fit our own also? Why can't we locate our own? What our forefathers worship? No wonder we are those, slaves. Those knowledge, reason. those knowledge, those knowledge you are seeing today uh, is to recognize in the Bible also that knowledge will continue to increase. So why, is, why, why can't we discover our knowledge too? See, Tony, uh, you, you're talking about religious abuse. It's not the fault of of. Uh, of the Bible or Christianity that Nigerians or a lot of people that's, that's, are abused for religion. Our, our politicians. It, it, is not, it is not a religious ab abuse. It's like, a, it's like a, what does it belong to us? We are trying to embrace it. Well, most, a lot of, many countries in the world, including the United States of America, right, they, they, most of the things they, they acquired came from other places also, including England. I mean, they adopted, in fact, you know, we're talking about religion. United States Constitution is, is based on Judeo-Christian um, values. A lot of the things in, in the Constitution of the United States were, were actually directly drawn from the Bible. So, because many, because in today, Today's America or, or in Europe, many people are they closing down churches. People are not go, the, the church attendance is dropping. Doesn't mean that in the beginning. I mean, Europe was pretty much entirely dominated by Christianity, and so was the beginning and the foundation of America. So the, to, today's what is going on today is not a true reflection of what my what, brother, my what brother, was my brother my brother let's talk about let's, let's talk, talk about let's africa. Talk, let me let me respond to your let's talk about africa let me talk about titan let me talk because that man okay. talking is, uh, that man talking is 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 is, is missing it. I, it's kind of like um I, I, which i can understand it's very no, frustrating i'm going to try to emancipate you <laughs> So the book of Malachi 3.10, that is their popular tights, uh, <laughs> scamming, gimmicks, they are every pastor, but our daddy, Adiboye, Malachi 3.10. But if you read prior to Malachi 3.10, if you start from Malachi 2, towards the tail end of Malachi 2 and take it to Malachi prior to Malachi 3. In fact, if you go to Matthew 25, 25, you will see what he says there. Even though Christ already abolished, there is 603 laws that was abolished by Christ when he said, it is finished. And they asked him, what should we now then do, Lord? He said, love thy neighbor as yourself. And serve the Lord thy God. Two things. You serve God, you love God. All laws, laws of this, laws of fornication. And they, laws of let me, Auntie, please. Uh, and that tight, uh, if anybody should keep that tight or law of a uh, tight, I don't think uh, nobody will make heaven know. If the context they are putting it in, that, uh, do you know no, what it means? There's, there's, there's hey, a different. Baba Deboe don't tell you, say you know they go heaven. No, no, he lied. He lied. Do you know what it means? I can, I can you say it with my all full the chest. Eh? You have a Baba Deboe de de is not Baba Deboe. I respect Baba Deboe as an elderly man. But I have no iota of respect for him when it comes to the things of the spirits. Doctrines. 
Doctrine. Yes. Yeah. When it comes to Doctrine. the things of the spirit, Badeboye is nobody. He has missed it. He has missed it and he has missed it. Victoria, and he, Victoria, he has received so many. Victoria, you, let me Victoria, tell you something. You know if you are my son, uh, hold on, please. if you are my oh, son, hold on, please. Okay. Victoria, mm -hmm. I don't know if you can hear me. I can they hear you. Really, yeah, they, they really brought the things of God so low to monetary aspect. He is, is Baba what Debu is, is a mammon. He's a mammon. I respect him. He's way older than my father. Okay. And I'm over 50 years old and I respect him when it comes to elderly respect. But I will tell you, Baba Adeboye, I have absolutely no respect for anything that comes out of his mouth in terms of spirituality. He's zero. He's completely empty. Empty. He has missed it, and before he goes, he needs to make restitution about his ways. He, all this, I drink tea with God, is a lie. Everything I've known him to say, he has not preached anything <laughs> regarding... Victoria, regarding, my uh, said he drove, he drove motor without petrol. It's a lie. From, from something to Lagos. Ah, I, 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 cannot say, I cannot say it's a lie, <laughs> but I will say that happened in his dream. You know, he has this spirit of humility to, to oh, scam. Humility. Yeah. To scam. He's a scammer. <laughs> he, he's, he's not going to find it funny. When, I think he will make restitution before he but goes. The, but the man passed you. The man is living in heaven. Let you me know, tell you something. Let yes. me tell you something. You see, you, this man interjecting is not being reasonable. I, I, I don't. Let me say something about Go on, go on, Victoria. Go on. Let me say something about it. Mm. You see, if you recognize who you are in Christ, it's a matter of recognition. Like I was saying earlier, my son does not give me money. He does not need to give me money. My daughter does not give, need to give me money in order to come to my house. He doesn't have to say he doesn't have to stay downstairs in order for me to open the doors of blessings and be throwing bread downstairs. If he understand he is he stands that uh -uh, whatever my father owns is mine. He will come mm. he will come mm. boldly. Open my fridge. Mommy, what did you guys cook? What do you guys have at home today? I love okay. your submission so much. Right listen, on if it is in listen, that listen. Say right he on. Come, right he on. Will come, he will come. That is why the, the Bible said we will come. Go from boldly. church with him. I'll go from church with him. <laughs> we will come boldly to the throne of grace. Okay? that You have to know who you are. If I come to your house today, ah, we met online. I come to your house. I will sit down and you go and bring something. You serve me. Blah, 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 blah. You entertain me because I'm a guest. I am not part hey, of that Thomas, family. Thomas, you might have jump in. I am not part of that family. Uh, I am yes, a guest. Uh, Victoria, that is why, let me say Victoria something. Let me, quickly, let me quickly land. That is why yes, one land. day when they were eating on the table, the, there was a prostitute. Was it a prostitute or there was a woman that was eating from the crumbs that falls from the table? And Christ said, the food that belongs to children is not given to dogs. Because you see no. that woman, because that woman that Christ referred to as dog was not part of the family. If you are part yeah. of the family, you sit on the dining table and you eat. Are you telling me if Leke goes to his daddy's house, does Leke stay by the window and wait for bread to fall from the windows? <laughs> no. He does not. Leke, Leke knows that his father has money. In fact, Leke told us, check out my glasses. Check out the background. I mean, of you know, course. I'm in America. I'm in this place. Because he knows that his father is, you know, robust. They are, you know, the children of Dangote know who their father is. They will not mm. be eating crumbs. If you know that God is the author and the finisher of your faith, and he is the man that diligently gives those who seek him, and you know that, yes, you have authority in Christ, you will command this mountain to move, and he will not resist you. Don't let mm. anybody bamboozle you. You do not need to pay any money. 
to you, you don't that is bribery and corruption. You he even said need. it now. He gave us freely now. We have we have we're supposed to give freely now. It's really that we receive. You we can give, give other let me tell freely. you one thing I said one day. Let me tell you, let me give you a typical example of what happened one day. I you, went you to my to pastor. Land, for the other guy to come in. Uh -huh. yeah, I went to my pastor. I said, Okay, pastor, you preaching 10%. I, I, said, <laughs> I said, Pastor, you are preaching, give 10%. 10%. 10%. Nebuchadnezzar only gave, they only gave once. And it was after he won and came back. And that was the first and only time tithe was ever mentioned. I said, Pastor, I said, wait a minute. What if I give 20% instead of 10%? My pastor said, my pastor, okay, said, um, oh, that would be nice. In fact, your blessing uh -huh. would be more. <laughs> okay. I said, okay. I said, okay. I said, what if I give 5% instead of 10? He said, that is disobedience. I said, okay, so giving 20, you don't see it as being disobedient because the Bible, you are claiming the Bible said 10. Now I'm Someone giving 20. You want the more, Let the, somebody speak. but you don't want the less. That is hypocrisy. I told you, yeah, when yeah. my pastor uh, see me in church, he's always afraid because then he doesn't know what to preach anymore. Oh and, the, and the reason God. is, you have to know. You, I'm not talking about church. You have to have a personal relationship with God. Study your word. He, word. he Study speak. The word. He speak. God speak to us every yeah. time. And the, and the, and the, and the way God speaks to you, you must have that conviction inside you that God has spoken to you. You, you, you don't know. even need a pastor to tell you. You, you know, know, you know by God yourself. Is to you. you will know that God is speaking to you. You will know. Um, okay, hold on. Um, I, I didn't um, hold on the mic. mic. Uh, I didn't even know that we have so many pastors on this platform. I am but not the pastor. The <laughs> I know, I'm just joking. It's just a Nigeria, don't finish. Nigeria, Nigeria. Yeah. Well, Black I know my finish. God. Mike, come in, please. Mike. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. First, uh, uh, let me start with this. Uh, the, the man I was saying America was founded on. Oh, I can't hear that man. Christian. Are, are you guys hearing me? Yes. We can hear you. Yeah. Somebody that said America was founded on uh, religion, the Constitution. No, actually, to correct him, uh, America was actually founded on genocide and slavery. Like, when they came and they started this country, they committed genocide. They wiped out the millions, some just the millions of the Native Indians that were here. And then they brought millions of... Africans are slaves, so America needs to yeah, move on. I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interject, but no, you, you just what you're describing there is just simply the let actions. Him, let, him speak, let, him speak, let him speak, let him speak. So, Tony, let's not, hold not on to start with that. And yeah. then, secondly, uh, the lady keep calling Tony atheist, atheist, as if he doesn't know God. I think she's not paying attention to what Tony's trying to say. Actually, we knew God before Christianity came to Nigeria. Like uh, Christianity just really, we came to Nigeria in the late 1800. It was Samuel Jai Crowder, Samuel Johnson, those guys that came from a uh, slavery plantation in the West. They migrated back to Nigeria. They started the whole Christianity. And they picked during the colonial time in the 40s, 50s, 60s, you know, and the reason why I really picked up was because the time the British was doing their colonization, uh -huh. they wanted the, for you to get opportunity into the schools or the... And most of the schools were missionary schools, were Christian schools. That's why most of the schools you see in Nigeria, you see St. Gregory, St. This thing, St. That. They are missionary schools. So that's how old Christianity was pushed on us. But we knew God. And that's why Tony keeps saying, Olodumare, Chuku. Uh, we already knew God in Nigeria before the uh, Christianity came to us, and the um, the our grandparents when they were accepting it, it wasn't that they were really accepting it. They were just looking for opportunity from the trying to get a, get on board with colonial master to get opportunity for us, education and uh, maybe jobs. And all. that's the only reason they didn't really take it seriously. Because if many of us study our grandfathers, the first generation that was accepting Christianity, they were still doing their African ways. They were just kind of doing both. But by the time their children were born, that's when their children started accepting it fully. 
But to to answer you, Shia, we knew God before Christianity came. And I don't know why we always say we have to go to the scripture to guide us to God. We already knew God. We don't, why do we need the scripture to tell you how to think? You already have a consciousness. You already have your brain. So why do you need a book to direct you on how uh, to think? Talking about Peter and Paul. We <laughs> think of Peter and Paul. Now our ancestors, we are not even related to these people. So I don't understand why we have to go and read about them. You know, you know though books are inspirational. I read books for inspiration. I go to the library, read books. The Bible is just another. They said book. that those things are written. They said that those things are written for our examples and for our learning. Is there any, so it's, it's not bad to go to the scripture to it, look for. It, it, it's not example. bad to read any book for inspiration. Uh, just same, oh, oh. same way I go to a library. Go, go, go and check the building and all your kingdoms. They were able to organize the society. They build houses. They have yeah. every, They have the, the best Bible, The Bible is written for our our our, our, our for inspiration and the learning. For us to learn, for us to apply, for us to to no. to know how to direct us. Is there the Bible? Let me ask you one question. Do you know? Do you know who wrote the Bible? It's called the Good Book. It's written by the inspiration of God. I don't know who. I don't know where, why. Why? why it's no, that said, do you know who wrote the Bible? Are you saying God wrote the Bible? Bible. Who wrote the Bible? The Bible. The and that's the God. funny thing. We don't even see. Is, <laughs> Temini, that's no, 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 no. Temini, Temini, Temini was here tonight. Temini was here. She told us who wrote the Bibles, including the Martin Luther of Germany. You know, he gave all that two, two names. You know, you she know, gave all that two names. To, uh, he's very unfortunate. Ma, uh, ma, so you know, just like, to people, our we don't even do. We don't even go to the source of what we are. We don't even know the story of There are other books. Mike. There are other books to read that we don't need to. We don't need, we don't need to Hold know on. their stuff. But we read it. Hold we on. read it. We, 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 we acknowledge that. Talk more of the scripture. Okay. Okay. Please, hold on. Yeah. Who wrote the Bible? It was the people called the Council of Nasir. And by the time they came uh -huh. together to put the Bible together, they, well, let, draw, and the stories are, not, they are not really true stories. Let's let finish well. now. Let they, were, finish. they were just... Those stories were not true stories. The uh, Council of Nasir, where, where they draw the inspiration to put together the religion, was they were going around studying other people's spirituality and spiritual things, and then they decided to create their own version. And then that's how they came together to design the Bible, the Christian religion. So it's something some people came together to put together and create. So it wasn't... That God Himself. Those things that those story. things that they they, they they put together. Do you know that those things were there right from the olden days? No, the no, those stories are not those, true those, stories. Things are, those things are being picked to put together to form the Bible. So do, those do things you, are those things know, are already. Do you know where they got the inspiration from? If you go and study the Egyptian, if you go and study the Egyptian scripture, you see the uh, aligned uh, parallel. Even if you study your uh, the Yoruba, wait, wait, even if you study Yoruba religion, spirituality, you see draw parallel between the Christianity and it. So the all the our own is even older than uh, Christianity. Our own African these things even older. So back then those Europeans, we were the one that the first civilization, the Europeans, the Greek got a civilization from the Egypt from the Egyptians. The Egyptians, the Egyptians were Africans. And even the Egyptians before their civilization, they were already our own civilization, West Africa. You the, secret is, so, the secret is belongs to God. So wait, wait, I wait, I'm just you. saying we are just, we are rubbing my the head. We have to belongs to God. Deuteronomy 29:29. So it's not we, everything. Yeah. So, we got, we got from colonial master or are our are using, You are using Bible to prove something. You can't use, and that's another thing. Okay, when you take exam in school, do you? If do you I tell the you the scripture, is our scripture is just like our manual. Well, okay. The question is why now, is it, why you, do you make by it a the manual? time That's you the go, you need a, if 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 when you talk about you buy a car, someone was talking about a car. In mm -hmm. order for you to know all the functionalities of that car, you know, or to do an oil change or to do this, you will need a manual. Okay, now when you journey along with Christ, or when you journey along, it's just like if I, if you if you are an if I worshiper. And I have absolutely no, uh, nothing against being a Ifa worshipper. If a Ifa worshipper, or even if it is Quran or Mike Arabic. Mike is an Ifa worshipper. Mike oh, is an Ifa worshipper. Okay, or even if you are an Arabic or you are a Ifa worshipper or whatever thing you worship, you will need a manual. So when you are, let me finish with using the Ifa worshipper. You will need some manual. Someone will have to teach you how to 
me o gede how to do this then as you continue in that line of thought in that business there are some things that you will learn along so is it, that is what the scripture is also uh, for as christians as we christians it is a manual to set you off but as you journey along with christ as you walk with christ things will be giving you new revelations you will have your personal revelations god will be talking to you god will be leading you you will God will be God directing you. you. Adults, God talk to you through that. Yeah. China, 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 and Korea are not following that your, you know, that your uh, manual. China and Korea, they, they have, have their yeah, own manual. Hold on, hold on, There's They're nothing not China that, that does oh, not have. Oh, they're the one creating Mitsubishi and Samsung. I don't I tell you, madam. Like, I don't like person. this man's submission. It's not being well, reasonable. Well, they use their own manuals now. They use just like she said. They have their own manuals in doing their own things. No, she said that we follow the Jesus Christ manual. Actually, what they what they use is their consciousness. The consciousness. But the Africa, yeah, the Africans are using Jesus Christ manual. They cannot even find their own. This man madam. that is talking. Bible, have you been to Bible China? Is, because Bible I have been to China. No, 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 no. When you get, when you get to, when you get, I have been to China. When you get to a restaurant, they give you a, they give you a menu. So why you stop talking? You sounding very um ignorant. Stop doing that. But, but, madam, it belittles you when you talk when you don't make sense. I understand your feelings, but you have to make sense. But let me when intellectuals are talking, don't just talk cha 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 cha. That's not what we're talking about. No, 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 calm down, calm down, calm down. No, you don't go to the arrows. No, 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 no. You can't talk like that, please. No, no it's, it's not being reasonable. It's not being intelligent. No, 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 no. Every single person to say no, China no, no, doesn't no. do this, China doesn't do this. No, okay, no. Okay, let me but let me explain don't... something. Yeah, let me explain yeah. something. I think let me explain with Tony. There is nothing China from. produced that that China does not include their manual inside. I've been to China, madam. Let somebody interject. Let somebody interject, please, please. I beg you, madam, please. You know, you know, you see what the Chinese. I have Japanese. been to 44 countries. Yeah. Where have you been to? That you think I can tell us when talk intelligently, please. Madam, let, let somebody right. interject. I will I will respond to you later. <laughs> I don't mind, but be intelligent in your response. All right. Okay, so yeah, yeah, Mike. You, you, you see what the Chinese practice, the Japanese, is actually very similar to the Africans. And the difference between the Africans and the um, the, the uh, religion that you guys do is that we believe in consciousness. Your consciousness, we Yoruba people call the Ori Eleda. You understand? Your Ori, your consciousness. That's the actual definition of it. Your consciousness. And in science, scientists believe that you have to tap into your consciousness to discover. You understand? To really discover your essence. Your true self. That's where your 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 destiny, everything lies. Your gift, your talent, your everything about yourself. You find it searching through your consciousness. Geniuses have to go dig into their own consciousness to discover, to uncover secrets. You understand? So we the Africans, in our ways, that's why we were more productive back then and now, to be really honest. Our belief, which is very similar to even the Chinese Japanese, that's why Tony is saying those people are advancing because. They believe in their consciousness. You, your, you have two minds, your subconscious mind and your conscious mind. You understand? Your subconscious mind is your brain. Your conscious mind is where your imagination, everything resides. You understand? So the scientists will say, you use the power of imagination to invent things and to search for things. So African ways, African, this thing, uh, if you mention in far those things, if I, when the Babala wants to divine for you, they use the definition to, to tap to your consciousness. And when they divine, they will say this is the energy within your essence. is is saying, you understand, through that divination. So I'm going to let die. Your Ori is saying this. is giving this sign. So that's how they give you a message about yourself. So, and they guide you, you understand. So, but with Christianity, it's more of the communication with the God is more like a monologue. Monologue meaning you are speaking, but nothing is speaking back to you. But in the African own, it's more like you speak and you do something called obi or okpele or divination tools, where the spirit you are talking to is talking back. So it's a dialogue. 
So the African, that's the difference. Yeah. But we, in a, that's why it's so easy in a Christianity yeah. where pastors can deceive people because they will just say, God talks to me, but we don't know, okay, how did he talk to you? Through what? But if your Babalawo is in front of you, he will throw the Okwele or he throw the Iki, he do the Iki. You can see uh, uh, what the... No, 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 Mikey, Mikey, don't, don't bobo us. That Babalawo that is consulting that divination, did you see that... We'll and that's what I'm telling that. you that you see the you see the Odu that comes out right in front of you yourself because you are standing in front of him. So you see, okay, Odu Hilo, yo, she jo gweni, abi, she tu abi, you know the 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 see right in front of you. You understand? So the interpretation of that. So is now you see the Odu, so he doesn't have to tell you anything. But with the Christianity, the pastor cannot tell you. God told me this. God told me that. That's why there's so much deception, so much deceiving. So much is this coming, and in our home, at the Bible, we actually believe that okay, the spirit can punish him if he start mis if he start more practicing. You understand? So we just need to compare things and use logic to figure what is what. Me, I don't know what is what to. I'm, I'm not here to tell what is what. What anyone can practice is their business, but I just think Africans should start doing more thinking and just uh, following. No, 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 Mike, 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 you have to be plain, you have to be direct too, because uh, Africans are so whitewashed, not be brainwashed again. That's why, you see, and it's, it's so deep. Let it talk them that you can't even take it out. You know? Whitewashed. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I'll because you know, we're not moving uh, forward. Just imagine people who are paying for darkness, where there's no Nepal, where you have resources, somebody, white man will go carry your oil and your gas for your backyard. Can I go to England? Nobody, you know? Nobody wants to wash me If I don't have those things, if I don't have those things, that's the reason why you're going to be country accountable. Nobody wants to wash me. No, 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 Tony, you that you are not brainwashed, you that you are not whitewashed, what have you invented? You know, anyway, you, you need to come and see what I'm doing here, man. <laughs> what are, I, I, yeah. all the products I have, I've not seen your name there. What have you? Yeah, sell, yeah, sell me your products. Product. Product. I want to buy your products. <laughs> sell me your products product that you have invented. No, oh, where my product? Oh, no, Wahala, no, uh, uh, you are a very good uh, guy here. Yeah. No, Wahala, okay. I know say you did for that. Uh, into some business. Tony, uh, Tony, where is your product? Yeah. So you show me your brother that I will send you my... Let's patronize you. You are just spoiling conversation. You are just spoiling the entire conversation. And we will... You can collect my Facebook account from one man, okay? When to move, okay? And we will... You can drop it for me. You can drop it for me. Any product that is good, you know I'm in Nigeria now. I will buy. No problem. <laughs> we can supply you something. Okay, okay. And we will okay. don't, buy, don't buy black markets. Don't buy black markets. I was enjoying the conversation. What can we interject? So, okay. no, that <laughs> madam, that <laughs> madam, madam, madam. Oh, no, it's a pity because you are very fine woman. You are very fine woman, but you want to emancipate oh, you. Tony, Tony, you know. That's all right. That's all right, please. Yeah. Let's just okay. go. Okay. Me, let me, let me, let yeah. Me. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I, I believe Tony. I'm going to have to be. You don't have to be a Christian to, or a Muslim or, or an Hindu to invent something. So I believe Tony say he has invention or he has product. But to Mike, uh, Mike, Mike made some very good points, but but also made an error in his in his uh, pronounced uh, in some of his comments. Christianity is not a one way street, as you probably heard some pastors or people talk about it. It's a two way street. The, the notion that you think that, you know, it, it's one way that we pray to God and God does not respond or, or, or reply to us is, is absolutely incorrect. That's, that's, that's not Walk the and pray. Walk and pray, my brother. Walk and pray. It's not, it's not. You have changed the topic again. What has walk and pray got to do with what, what he said? What, see, what, to, the, to the issue of walk up and pray, well, no, don't you, answer you're right, that, Tony. Because what walk and pray does not have anything to do with what you just said. It's well, just it rejected, you know, unreasonably. That's, that's when it comes to faith. What kind of human being is this? 
What, what you can pray is correct. Time. You don't get Tony, pray for, Tony, for you know, this don't kind of come and treat you. He's not talking about what can pray. He's talking about one way traffic. When you pray, you receive response. You, you hear from you God. receive the response when I'm trying to understand. That's what he's trying yeah, to say. He's not talking about well, what can pray. Your what can highway, pray? Your highway. You pray for highway to be built for you? <laughs> Tony, hold on now. I am okay. No. This man uh, is sick. Uh, um, no, no, no. Now. When you pray. You don't say that. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, please. Victoria, you don't say that. No, please. But look at, what, what, no, we no, 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 no. No, no, I don't take that. No, no, no. No, we don't do that. I'm sorry, please. I take that back. Ah, yeah, no, no, no. That's all right. Please, thank you. Yeah, Prince. Oh, yeah. Um, when you pray, I mean, God's, I mean, as a Christian, you can get revelation through your dreams, just like we learned in the Bible about Solomon. Yes. Many times, in, in fact, in, in the Bible, Solomon was blessed spiritually, you know, through his dreams. Uh, we know also through vision, you can get revelation from God, mm -hmm. and also through the Holy Spirit, you can. Mm -hmm. and, yes. and in fact, also from, how, how from nature and Spirit? other people. Huh? How do you get it through the Holy Spirit? Sir? Um, the Holy Spirit can talk to you audibly in your yeah. heart. Prince, because Prince, Prince, hold yes. on. Sorry for coming in. Um, there are some conversations you can't have with some people. Mike is among Prince, those people. It, when we are talking of thinking um, of the spirit, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, but, but, but Mike, but Mike sounded like you know, he, he was talking about Ifa and all those things, was, and those things are spiritual uh, no, also. No, no, no. no yes, if you go to that side, he will not understand you. He will not understand you. Okay, no, 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 don't think I'm... So that is I what know, I said but... earlier. When I started my conversation, I said, we have to rightfully divide the scripture. You have to know your audience. You have to know who you're talking to so that you will know the level where you come from. And what Mike said earlier that, you know, uh, it's not Christianity, it's not dialogue, it's not this. It is. You have to know your God. You have to know when God is speaking to you. God spoke to Joseph. God told Joseph, take Mary Mandalay, your wife. Well, you God spoke to God a lot of people Joseph, in the Bible. Yeah. God speak to me. If God doesn't speak to you, you have to check your level of faith with God and know if you are rightful. Right and you will not have the conviction. You will not have yes, the conviction. You will have the conviction because you will know. You, you will know when God is speaking to you. God speaks. Yeah, he said, God he said, he God said my people, you know from God, my people you knows my voice. The okay. scripture yeah. said, my people knows my voice. So if you are part of his people, you will know the voice. Even dog, ordinary dog, when you train a dog, they know your voice. One more low one now. They okay, listen so to you. you. So, so let me ask you this. So yes, you please. Guys, you guys have been... Wait, wait. Give me a second. You say God speaks to the Christians. So why come these millions of Christians... I haven't heard God tell them that those pastors are deceiving them or coming them. They do. I, I'm telling you that now. A lot of people know, but let me tell you why Nigeria is so bad. Okay. A lot of people know that these pastors are deceiving them. But unfortunately, the situation I think is going on in Nigeria is there is no any other safe haven. There's no any other solace, you know, nothing. They just go just to uh, one. Some people go to socialize. So some people just go for going sake. Not because they go to learn anything or anything. It, it, it has become rich. I can use the word ritual or More habitual, like or it, it has become habitual or ritual just to go. And another Let's thing you should church also church understand church. is some of those churches too, they use voodoo to bring to our world or to bring people to church. So there is True. so many, there is so many things that comes to play. Okay, it's not so that they don't know that those pastors are fake. People have been going there for the past 10 years, 20 years. They're looking for and kids. those, those and those things you those things you mentioned does not does not remove the place of God in our life because many people misinterpret it. That saying, when those things are available, that, that, that you, means you, that, that you, there is no God. No, 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 no. So, it does not mean there's no God. It just doesn't yeah, that's what that's, that's why that's the what scripture, let me say, let me say something. That is why the scripture said that my people perish for lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge. That is why Nigeria okay. is perishing from lack of knowledge. Okay, okay. Lady, uh, Kuna, Kuna, can we try to do some 
Please hey, hey. use logic rather than just let's have logical conversation. Right? Uh, but, but quickly, Mike, but please we, allow we before you do logic. It's trying to make sense to each other here. Okay, oh. Mike, to your point earlier. See, one thing about see, okay. if I knows if you and if I worship her, that means she know a lot about spirituality. The problem that I have with if I have many African religions is because they hide the knowledge from the people. They keep the knowledge in the realm of the spirit and they do not educate their own people to be free. They don't give the people knowledge. That's a problem. And when it comes to Christianity in Africa or Nigeria, for example, the pastors, the goal is to make the people as enslaved as much as possible so they can be dependent upon them for everything. They don't want to give and the people many, the truth. Many pastors don't want their members to know. Many pastors, exactly. many churches I know today don't it's want their members just, to know. It's not just that. Even if, if I go to Ifa now, or if Mike is if I Mike said that if I speak back to him or if I will speak back to you, I don't know that because I do not have knowledge of if I so I cannot attest to that. That if I because to me, when I see them on TV, they don't speak because this non-living thing does not speak. Okay, non-living things does not speak. So I might not have you ever heard of point? I might yeah, not I appreciate, I've heard of a song. I might not appreciate your Ifa. Just like you think, how does no, God speak? You, I'm just saying, it's, it's, just it's, like you are saying that, how does God speak to me? Now, God speak to me in the dream. God speak to me in revelation. God give me signs. He speaks to me so I'm in so many ways, which if you are not in tune or in line in that area of spirituality, you too might not understand. So you have to know your audience. If it's people that know, all these people that press sand, they see something. That sand speak okay, back to them. Okay. Let, me, let, me, let me tell you this. Okay, I met some Europeans, right? Mm -hmm. And we're having, they were doing research on all the spiritualities, religions mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. And they concluded that the Africans is the original one. I agree with you. And they said the other ones are man-made. But they say the Africans didn't actually create their own. Uh, the I Africans, agree with you. The, the Africans actually, it's not like a man one day woke up and created Ifa or created Orisha. The Orishas actually lived. They existed. But they studied the other religions. Actually, one like Islam, for example, Muhammad woke up and decided to create his own religion. And the council of Nasser, a group of people woke up one day and created Christianity. So the men created these religions, what and all the others, many of them. But they say the Africans actually, it's not that they created, they didn't create it, it's, it was there before they even uh, in Ifa, the story of creation is there. In the beginning, the Orishas were the that first is what history earth. said, and I agree and with the, you. You know, or down on on the one in the, the creation of man. All these things you mentioned, there. all of them, all of them are still pointing to one God. The creation of human being, the process, uh, uh, you know, our skeleton, the metals, you know, you know, so the story is there how nature started, the beginning, how the planets, the forces of nature, how which original create which force of nature, which original create this, which, uh, uh, substance in nature. So the Africans have everything from the beginning, from the source. Well, Mike, Mike, to your point, the, the African religion experience is no different than that of the Greeks or even Abraham no, the in Greeks the Bible. Learn from the Africans. They came in. Uh, maybe you're right. I don't know, but I don't so dispute don't forget, it. Don't forget the Greeks. Learn from the Egyptians. Um. <laughs> okay, but, but even Abraham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything even started Abraham, from, from Africa. Yeah. So everything started from us. <laughs> Even Egypt, Egypt, See, Egypt okay. is a is a is a is a is a first civilizer. So to your point, Egypt. Mike, I always I always say this that look, okay, I, I'm not gonna even dispute or argue with you that you started with us, but guess what? Before the white men came to Nigeria or Africa, we had oil in the ground also. What did we do with it? We had what? Oil, petroleum in the ground. We had uh -huh. crude oil. Uh-huh. Okay, we well, had it before the white man came. Well, what, we, what, we, even, uh, even when the what did we do with it? Know, they didn't know much about oil at that time either. We, we, we did not. No, no, no. no, 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 no we already started the process. 
Uh, where the palm oil uh, pro- oil the production? <laughs> no, wait, no, wait. not my palm oil. No, 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 well, I mean, no, crude oil. Today, we could have been exporting our palm canes too. If uh, no. our people did, what, what, what would they do with the artifacts they sell from Benin? No, no, no. See, and uh, then the development. When it comes to crude, oil, when it comes to crude oil, right? We, we have it in the ground in abundance, no, right? No. It was not yet. Uh, it was the palm oil before. Before crude oil, exactly. that was what they were using to power their 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 trees. Let me explain for you. No, so my, my 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 point is that we did not develop the technology or the know-how but, to but extract wait. the. the but let me let me tell you, when the whites first came into Africa around the the early times, industrialization hadn't begun. Hadn't begun at that time. You understand? So they themselves didn't. If you show them oil, that time they won't know what to do with it at that time. It was when the manufacturing of things like cars and like industrialization started when people started understanding which uh, material, raw material is necessary for what and what okay. and what. My, you guys I, are my, talking I, about invention my, of this I, or invention of that. That has you. nothing to do um, with um, salvation and and um spirituality. It's, okay, it's two, get, it's two different point. things. So yeah, they are completely different things, exactly. So the, the, it's and, not and, the and same. You cannot say because you worship God, how come you cannot invent car? Worshiping God has nothing to do with invention of yeah, car. Yeah, invention Worshiping of is, God is has to do with desire. your salvation of your soul. It's it's two different things. Don't mix them together. But, when you uh, when you worship your God, you should be able to gather knowledge. So you have to gather knowledge. I'm sure to that not worship God. How much knowledge do you have? About God really, if I have to assess you. Is spiritual. We, the, they, they did not come together. So you, pray, you, you pray, where, and then, uh, the, and then that, how will be for you? But I think what there are personal is knowledge. That is why Jesus Christ said, "This person knows what belongs to Caesar." You give to God what belongs to God. One verse. One verse, please. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Give to God what belongs to God. There are personal knowledge. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Give to God what belongs to God. All this man, you have about the catch fire. Huh. But, but, but my sister, I, I think I think what we're trying to get here is basically that okay, whatever we are doing or whatever we are engaging, it has to we have to make sense out of it, you know. So what mm -hmm. I think some people are saying is that okay, if somebody comes from somewhere and just give you a book, we can't just accept it and just say okay, I have to submit it to it, you know, because you have to you you have to understand like okay, how did Christianity come into Nigeria? Who introduced it to you? Why did they introduce it to you? What was the purpose of them introducing it to you? You have to ask all these questions. Mm -hmm. Why would they? Without those, let's see, uh, those those questions. Uh, without those knowledge, without those book, the world have no direction. So the same way you see, the same way you see other people. Why did we go to school? Why did we read Maximilian? Why did we read Maximilian in school? Let me give you my own. You read other books. You acknowledge other books. Why did we read physics in school? Why did we read physics in school? Why did we read English language? Okay, Why did we read not my boss at the moment. You can choose to read Quran. You can choose to read any other okay. any other spiritual okay. book. You can even choose not to read anything so. and still be spiritual. You can even so. The thing is, it's not okay. it's not for you to question why I read it. Because, because, because you are a pastor does not mean you have to go and invent car. God have to. I, it is uh, not. It's two different completely. Yeah, 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 they are parallel. You have to you have to control this woman to let other people speak small. Let me let me answer your question. For example, the brother. Come down, come down. Let me answer your question. Come down, down. Let me give you a quick story. Let me give you a quick story about myself. Give me give me a second. Let me give you a quick story about myself. Remember, I mentioned earlier I was born into Christianity, right? So, I was born into Christianity. I was grown up Christian, and I didn't understand my life. I didn't understand my destiny. I didn't understand. I was so much confusion so much uh, problem in my family and everything. I didn't know. I went to church. A lot of things were going on in my family. The male uh, men were just dying and all kinds of disaster was happening in my family, right? So I was having problem even getting an accident. And then one day I decided, I did Christianity, went to church. I couldn't find solution until I went to Lavala where I did divination. And I found out that in our family, we abandoned our Orishas. And those things were the ones that's been troubling us. You understand? Know and then also, I was told about my destiny that I was born to be a priest. I was told things about my life. 
through divination. And when I began to fix those things, that's when my life began to, have, began to have direction. So to answer your question, I didn't have direction when I was a Christian. I was confused. I was just confused. Pastor was just telling me things. Oh, God said this, God said that. And everything they were telling me about balloons. I was, luckily, when I finally find out what the root of my problem was, I found out my family lineage, our masquerade, our uh, family masquerade was abandoned. Our <laughs> family <laughs> days were abandoned. So Until the, I went back my, to I, my life, finally, I, I, my, my life began to... Am I listening to... Uh, so, uh, so, Mike, are you saying what you are saying now? Oh, <laughs> That is your story. So, my, yeah. is your life yeah. better yeah. now? My life is completely, completely, like, to the point where my rest of my family are looking at me like, wow, why come you, you are the only one not having a problem anymore? And the, my younger brother has to join me. Gradually, they are all coming wow. to my family now. <laughs> they wow. are all realizing. Even, even, even recently, recently, my brother, recently, recently, my brother, Mike, 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 you know that uh, I'm from Endo State. You know that the uh, people from Ikiti, Ondo, we, they use a razor blade to tear some part of our body and put concussion. You know that. <laughs> so, so yeah, that my dad when they speak, they, they they use a razor blade to tear one place for a place, put some uh, blah blah thing so that meat snake don't bite them. But today, don't forget our culture. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mike, uh, it is well with you. Um, you believe what you believe, uh, it works no, for you. My, my, I, I can't... have direction now. No, no, I, I can't get you. My life has meaning now because now I know things yeah, are happening to me. Whenever oh, I have fine. an issue, I can do, do divination, I can see what the problem is. I see oh, that's problems. Can I come in now? And I, I, yeah, I come in. Yeah. Um, you know, I solve my problems when I'm having problems, whether it's work, whether it's anything. If I will tell me this is what you are doing wrong, uh, uh, your, I can respect your anger, that. It brings your behavior, fix this, fix that. And my life has direction. My life has been fruitful. You know? so, right, come in now. Yeah, go ahead. Come in here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We network. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. Abu Risha, oh, Risha don't, you know, Risha don't catch her red network. <laughs> 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 but uh, uh, this 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 uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, my story now. Me, I have I have a different story about that about this your story. Uh, let's hear you. Let's hear you. Because my own, my own is that I can say that uh, my life my life started to have meaning the day I start to know Christ. Uh -huh. I understand. So that's so different, of, from my, different of opinion. Yeah, that's the, you know, you know, I used to say that too when I was a Christian. I go and tell people. I, in fact, I used to go so, out to preach. Everything, uh, every I, more, I, even my, even from my family background and every other thing, because I can say that my father is a Christian. Let me say he started building the foundation right from his own time. The thing affected him so much, affected his business, affected everything, affected him. So, but he kept on yeah. following. Building up, never allow anything, temptation from any family or any body to derail him. Uh, let me say the man didn't make it to be a rich man. But God bless him with kids, bless him with uh, life, bless him with good health. Because uh, blessing is not only money. You look other angles and see what other, other people are passing through that you are not passing through in your family. You know that, that those things are blessings of God. So we pick, we picked from there, and I picked from there. And I said, "This is my father did, and still, are, and the, the man is still alive to than the man is. I want to follow that footstep." And he encouraged me. Where we told you now? Where we told you now? Orisha, Orisha, pass Jesus Christ now, Orisha. Madam, come now. Your yeah. network, Orisha. Don't take him. <laughs> on it, that was. <laughs> you know, you are me again. So, Not you, the Madam, um, Madam Victoria. You know, they, I say, they told Orisha, then they might give Orisha turn down fire, they, then uh, Jesus Christ run away. <laughs> so the thing, uh, the, the thing is, uh, the thing is, uh, it's a different, it's a different, if a di different, uh, different distance, uh, as in my own is a different story. And I thank God, I thank God, all of us since 
We are believing in him up now to your this village, time. Now your village, now your village, the ghost that they protect you, my friend. Not you like know. village ghost. My never served. My father never served any. His father, father has served those things, but my father never served. He will him. tell you. He will tell you. That he will tell you where they go to for you know go meet the Kabbalah. No, nothing like anything. There is nothing like that. Everything is okay, perfectly well. So, it's, so I cannot say God is never disappointing. The only thing is that, just like uh, what we said here, many things we are promised to Abraham, which. Uh, Many people were not lived to witness it in their own time. Bef even before God delivered, it took God 400 years to deliver them from I the hands of the Jews. I beg, no Roman so, stomach with Abraham, Abraham and the Judas and all these Peter and Paul, even, please. Even as, Christian, even as a Christian, <laughs> even as a Christian, you have to also learn endurance in everything. Endurance is part of Christian living. You understand? Hey, my brother, can I tell you one story? About my, can I tell you one story? So, one story. One quick story. So, I mean, I never regretted him, or, and I will not regret him. And uh, that is why I still tell you that uh, even most of the things I'm doing today, even in business, even in the market we are today, me, yes, I'm even let surprised. Let the so, shaman talk now. Make your network no go. <laughs> so, in those things where they, if, if you know our market and everything that is going on, you know it's not easy to just come into that place and begin to say you want to do business and all that. But with God, all things are possible. We are pushing. Yeah, let's, still there. Let's, let's, you know, so, let's hear from... Um, Let's hear from um, Prince. I think Prince wants to come in. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm here. You know. Yeah. Just to is it? It can't. I can't see the name uh, properly. Um. You know, Mike. You know, said his um. It's it's don't believe when it came to Ifai and what what it worships, and so did um. Can also. So each person can pursue their own path of, of religion or, or spirituality and not necessarily condemn the other, the other's um, uh, position or how they came about their, their spirituality. So it, it's good. Um, but to the point of, um, oh, see, I, I mentioned earlier about abuse of religion. Okay, because China, to I think uh, Tony's point, because um, China and, and South Korea, uh, they advanced in technology, it's almost mutually exclusive from being a Christian or even a Muslim or a fat worshiper. It's, it is what we do in our, in our society, in our community. Okay, because Nigerian pastors have decided to... Um, um, you know, captivate the minds of their own people, their parishioners, and maybe not spend a lot of time in in, in the sciences or the material sciences, and the economy cannot be compared to that of uh, the, the Chinese or, or the South Koreans. It doesn't pretend that that's the fault of Christianity or the people that are Christians. It, it has nothing to do with that. Um, it's our fault. That's why I was trying to make a point earlier that before the white man came to Africa, we had crude oil in the ground. Okay, how come we did not develop this um, uh, natural resource for ourselves, and we had to wait for the white man to come? So, to that point, the same reason why you're trying to um, maybe blame the white man for bringing Christianity to Africa. Okay, well. The same white man came to Africa and discovered many of the natural resources. So, do you give them credit to that okay. regards also, okay, let me, or you don't? Let, let me let me explain something. Let me explain something to you, right? Okay, <coughs> people, society evolved, right? And everyone evolved at different pace. Mm -hmm. Everybody, everybody saying industrialization as far as say the it started with England started it, right? And then mm -hmm. the rest of Europe followed, and United States, everybody followed. In fact, England started in Germany overtook England. And Asia, just like Africa. Can I come in now? Wait, 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 wait. Just Africa, I don't start it. China, I don't start it. Asian culture, I don't start it. Japan later joined and overtook <laughs> most Europeans. Today, China started industrialization not too long ago. And they've overtaken every, uh, even the all the European countries. They overtake America right now. So everyone evolved at a different pace. So when you're saying because European came, Right, they started ahead of us. Second situations make you start a race before another person. You understand? 
maybe they started first due to the situations and that's don't forget europe had a, something called the black death in europe where disease wiped out the entire population uh, sorry, mm-hmm. african population and then they started that's what the uh, the the idea of them traveling to other world to discover new places began because that disease wiped out for their population and then they started like you know what we have to abandon this land Let's find new places. That's how the traveling all over the world began. So different reasons give everyone reason to start evolving. So everyone evolved at a different place. So now when we say they came, because when they came, they already uh, a little bit uh, ahead in terms of technology and things like that. Doesn't mean they are inherently superior than us, or they are more. They are bound to be always be ahead of us. What killed us was the fact that we began to submit to them because when they came. We saw them as people that already are ahead of us in technology. And we chose to look at it and begin to just submit to them. Whereas the same way they came to us, they went to places like China, right? The Chinese didn't say, because these people are ahead of me, technologically me, I have to submit to them and accept everything they give me, Bible and mentality, whatever. The Chinese say, you know what? We see what you have. We can figure out to do the same thing. So the Chinese say, hey, Hold what you have. We will learn how to do it and we'll compete with you. But unfortunately in Africa, we see them and because we see them as people that are ahead of us, we begin to condemn ourselves, condemn everything about ourselves, condemn, oh, why didn't you fight teachers? Look at them, they're ahead of us. We start condemning our own culture, everything, thinking our culture is the reason why we are not like, like them. But the Chinese didn't dump their own culture or anything about themselves. To decide to catch up, you understand? Before they decided to catch up, the Chinese kept who they are. They saw the white man, you know, advance. They say, Oh, we can do the same thing. We can aspire to do the same thing. And within themselves, they figure out to do the same thing. We Africans can look within ourselves and say, Hey, we can start to advance as well. We don't have to dump what we are, we don't have to change what we are, we don't have to dump our language, our tradition, our culture, our essence to catch up with Europeans. We don't have to. We just we can be ourselves. It's just a matter of desire and willing to figure out how to do these things. And we'll do it. It's just simple as that. So that question of why didn't you learn to use your heart? Why do you have to wait for the Europeans to come? Well, they had a reason. They needed, their country is cold. They had to figure out to make things to warm themselves. That's why they had to get, get to the oil before us. Because Africa is warm. We didn't have to start making things to eat ourselves up. So they had reason why they had to be, you know, looking for uh, artificial way to make their life comfortable. So everyone, have, that's why we all evolve at different pace for different reasons. So let's stop this condemning ourselves. Saying, I come, white man. And, uh, not, and I don't believe that Nigeria will remain like this. Yo. Nigeria will, very soon you people will see, Nigeria will be a good country. It's a matter of desire to want to be good and desire to, you have to do the work, not talk. Because what we do, let me tell you why Nigeria is where it is. When Nigerians want to have conversation about their problem, they don't have the conversation with the need to solve it. They only have conversation with the need to express their frustration and anger and rage. That's it. That's why when Nigerians get together to discuss Nigerian issues, all we do is just blame, complain, cry, rage, curse, move on, come back the next day, do the same thing. We all we do is have emotional conversation, no logical conversation. Whereas, if we really want to solve problem, we come, we forget the whose fault is it, who what is what, what to be angry about, and actually tackle the problem, speak to logic, talk to the roots of the problem, and propose to That's, the thing. That's it. So we speak the problem, we talk the problem, we don't blame ourselves. We, 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 don't, we don't get together to discuss solutions. We just get together to. To, to to rage and cry. That's it. Complain. That's Mike, the, 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 imagine, the key reason why we are not. You can imagine we escape. You yeah. can imagine we escape with our bill today. Is that <laughs> or Tinubu or Atiku? Exactly. That's what we do. Blame somebody. <laughs> and we have a very nice conversation. Must we always talk about them? Nice... Yes. We, we should we always? Can God bless you for that? What you said now. We have a very, very nice conversation without talking about all these po- stupid politicians. Nah, nah. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just. I, I, I don't even think we can have a robust conversation like this without talking about politicians. Please, and, can, please can I ask a question? 
That is zero. X zero, yes. All right, zero. How are you, my brother? Happy Sunday. I need Sunday. to correct some I things, please. May I come in? Yes, let's hold me, on. Let me let's ask this zero. question, yeah. then you can come in, please. please let yeah, let's let zero here. Yes, 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 because right. I've seen that the, the, the discussion today has been about religion, um, mostly Christianity, you know, and um, a lot of people have spoken about how their, their belief system is in alignment with Christianity, while others say their belief system is aligned towards um, the um, Ifa, what, what we call them, the uh, native um, religion, what was it called? But I would like to ask, because there are some questions that bother my mind. I'm a Christian, so I don't have doubt that God exists. But for me, for, my, for myself, I believe that all of this religion, all of these religions are just to, to give us a sense of guidance towards the powerful being that created us. Because now, I don't think there was anybody who was born on earth that can truly define what God looks like, how God operates. But we, we don't know how we came about. We were created by a powerful being. But we've seen, we've not seen him, but we believe strongly in him. So number, number one question, because there are so many questions we don't have answers to. And this question is one of them. What God looks like. Is he a man or a woman? Some people are now saying he's a man, woman. You know, in modern day, people always want to know what they are doing, who they are serving. Then again, the num another question that comes to mind is. Uh, but at zero, we can say God is a man. Wait, oh, hold on, hold on, please. Hold on before you answer. I agree. Because if he's a man, why do we have women? And if he's a, he's a well, woman... Well, women was created from a man. Please, that, let me just finish. Let me just finish because that's a story you read in a book. And but, but the, the real book, question is... Does I'm God coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. Let me finish. Let me let's, 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 land. Let's, yeah. let's let zero land. Right, right. Let's let let zero ask, land. Yeah. Let me ask the second question. The second question, which is very perturbing, and which many Africans don't ask is, if God is in our image and likeness, why is he always white in the pictures and the rest that we see? You see, if you can define these things to me, if we can go to the root of this thing, because number one, the Jesus Christ story we've read is from Eastern Europe, where they are not white and they're not black, but there's something in between. But the Jesus Christ picture, in fact, there are more blacks in, in these places. The Jesus Christ picture we see is a white man with blue eyes. And when we go to church, we forget to ask these questions. We believe in our belief and we just go pray. Of course, you have, you have to have a system of prayer. I'm, like I said, I'm a Christian. I pray to God. I believe God answers my prayers. But I must say, since ever since I came to Europe, I have... This I've had I've had to ask myself several questions, and I've have had different attitude towards approaching God. So I would like you guys. Most I don't. Some people have, have been in the in in Africa or still in Africa to answer these questions for me. What God is like, and then if He is white or black. Those are my two questions. Thank you very much. The, the question is, um, let me uh, God, hold on. God is omnipotent and omniscience. Two seconds. That is how you God know. is, it's God is spirit. So the notion about if God is black or white is totally irrelevant. God is spirit. Nonsense. Nonsense, Ika. <laughs> and those, and those so that the worship him will worship him uh, in truth and in spirit. Amen. Uh -huh. If you say God is, God is neither black or white, <laughs> we don't care about that. Let the moderator, let the moderator, let the moderator uh, ask us now. Maybe a uh, Rob, uh, my question, uh, you know, Ro 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 Ma 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 Robin. I'm just interjecting, please. In the images you see, what always comes to mind, and what images do you? Ah, uh, X zero. Come on now. All those images okay. are just <laughs> random wise. Yeah, but that's, that's, why, that's, that's why I said. That is why I said. Because the white. Said, because the white man has chosen to personalize God, or yeah. God. that's not God anyway. Yeah. That's more no, like that's Jesus Christ. That's, that's more like Jesus Christ. 
as an African, how have you moderated your own to fit, to suit your own image? That's what I'm saying. So you know, I got, I got an answer for you. I got well, to answer for you. Ashiru, I got an answer for you. You got all the white man's relics, and mm -hmm. you have not moderated because you have not taught that, okay, God is my own color, so I should make my own pictures black. So that okay. it suits. Well, so quickly, like, that's all, to your question, all. quickly, quickly to your question. It, to my level of Christianity, trust me, I, I don't pray or look to the Bible and care about the color of God, if it's black or white. It, to me, it doesn't matter. Again, the, the foundation of the premise to worshiping God is quite clear. And I think it can uh, agree to it. We worship God in spirit and in truth. So it's irrelevant if it's black or white. It's totally irrelevant. It has nothing to do with anything as can far I, as I'm can concerned. I jump in real quick? Can I jump in real quick? Sure. This is something that might really give you guys a high opening, you know. Before I say it, let me first give you an answer to your question, but it's going to be an answer in, in the form of question. The answer to your question is, does God really want you to know what it looks like? And if he's that serious about you knowing what it looks like, I think he will appear to you and show you what it looks like. So that's the answer to that question. Now, let me tell you something, right? Okay, you guys are mentioning about all oh, the image and that you worship and things and you talk about those jesus and all these people that exist in the past that are you know muhammad jesus all these things but now in african system right you have god you also have your ancestors right and we believe that no one dies you can leave the flesh, but you still live on, and your ancestors still live on. And now, we worship our ancestors through something we call egun, egun, you understand? Masquerade, right? We have some, uh, and now there's a taboo that one shall not worship another person's masquerade, another person's ancestor, right? Like me, Mike, if my pa father passed away, you, Prince, if your father passed away and you guys create a shrine for your father in your house, I they create a shrine for my father in my house. I can't come to your house and be worshiping your father's shrine because he's not my father. That's your that's not it's not my bloodline, unless you and I are related. So in our tradition, if you go to African household, everyone have their shrine for their ancestors, right? Where they venerate the spirit of their ancestors to guide them and help them and protect them. It's part of our practice. So my question to you guys is this. Well, you guys are worshipping these other people's ancestors that existed before, that are not yours. When your own tradition says it's a taboo to worship another man's ancestor, do you think maybe you are creating problems for yourself? Do you think that's part of the reason why Africa may be going through some problems? Because they say, if I go to your ancestral shrine, and pray. Your ancestors are only going to answer the prayer for you, not for me, because they are not my ancestors. So if you are praying to European ancestors, maybe you are praying for their ancestors to continue to bless them at your own expense. You pray to another man's ancestor. It's a taboo. So I think Africa has a lot of thinking to do. I don't know. And <laughs> I don't know. So let's be careful. When we're worshiping people's ancestors, yeah. see, uh, there is nothing like uh, people's ancestors in that as well. Because you know, you know, you know, the God we worship and is jealous. The even, the, even the even the even the other even the other of our father's ancestors, they are also jealous. All they look is for loyalty. It's for the people that worship them with all their hearts, both the other side and the other side. No matter even Muslim, whatever, they want royal servants, the people that will have them at heart and say, This is my God. And I was so no, that no, is no. why when you let choose, me, let me correct when you choose. Before you go for that. Let me correct something before you go. Yeah. Let me explain something to you. In Africa, we know God already, right? And see, African uh, practice is not far different from Christianity. Let me explain the fundamental to you. Let me use Yoruba one, for example. I will tell you how identical it is to Christianity. In Yoruba, we have Olodumare, the supreme God, right? In Christianity, you have God, right? In Christianity, after God, you have angels, 
right? Who are servants of God. In Yoruba, we have Orishas, who are servants of the Supreme God, Olodumare. In uh, Christianity, you also have uh, uh, bad spirit, evil spirits, right? In Yoruba, we have the evil spirit we call the Ajoguns. Or, you understand? Uh, and all these things you mentioned, they have their own powers. Every one of them yeah. possess their so, powers. So, so it our, on our, one our ways control. and the European and the Christian is kind of identical in a sense. In um, uh, Christianity, uh, you have ancestors like Jesus, uh, Holy Mary, uh, all of them that you guys, the Catholic still worship. In our own, we have our ancestors that we also worship, you understand? So it's kind of side by side, but I'm trying to tell you the taboo. In our, when, when I say the my ancestor, meaning my family members, my bloodline, they have passed on. We have a shrine for them. You understand? We call it the Egun Shrine. Egun -gun. That's what we do, Masquerade Festival. It's called the Ancestral. It, that's pretty much we're celebrating our ancestors when we're doing the Egun Festival. And every family have their own personal Egun, which represents their bloodline. You understand? And in Africa, a lot of these Orishas, they were living our midst before, and they were some of them, we, they were part of our ancestors, you understand? Like when Yoruba will tell you the story of the ancient days, when Shongo was a king, you know, you're, you understand? Shongo is an Orisha. And in the ancient days, this Orisha used to live in our midst. They come as humans, and they were very powerful. So we have their stories. Back then, they come and live among us to teach us. And, uh, um, Mike, I'm sorry we are not going to join your Orisha worship. Okay, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not here to preach, I'm just sharing knowledge. That's all, I'm sharing knowledge. And, so, uh, and anything, yeah. anything but, but, that you believe, anything that you believe, you have the conviction that is working for you. You know, it's it, very it's difficult for somebody to turn your it's mind. Just information, it's just knowledge I'm sharing. I'm not preaching or anything. Yeah, that is, uh, respect, is, they are still the same. You, if the, the issue about <laughs> the issue about religion and the, any anything about religion, it's all about conviction. I am convinced that this is working for me, and I must follow this footstep. Then maybe later along you might find out that this uh, footstep no, you are following we're, is we're not having, the, We are trying to make sense of. We're, we're, we're also trying to make sense of what we know, and what we are doing. And sometimes for you to make sense of what you are doing, you have to know the past, know the present, so that we can understand where you are going. Because a lot of us don't know where we are coming from. You know, we don't know our history. We don't know our. We don't even know how Christianity came to our family. Some of us don't know. We just we were just born. Our mother just told us, okay, we just were born. Like I said, I was born in a church. I didn't even ask that question until I begin to dig and I found out how my father became Christian. My grandfather, this long story. I was like, wow. So this is how it started, you know. So some of us, we, we, we share knowledge to understand where we are coming from and make sense of things that we do. So when I'm sharing knowledge about African taboos, like, hey, it's not good to worship another person's ancestor. And if you are buying down to someone's ancestor that existed somewhere in another land some years ago or some time ago that has no connection to you, but because somebody brought it to you from somewhere and you accept it and you're worshiping it, when your own tradition tells you that it's a taboo, maybe you need to start looking deep, 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 and ask, start asking questions, you know. So that's uh, maybe I tested it in the things with me now. I know Greeley really back again, so that is a problem. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you cannot. Uh, I I have many, I have many, many people in my. In fact, if you come to my village now, almost everybody they believe that uh, we have to go back to our our traditional way of doing things. Many many young guys these days they believe that that is traditional. But somebody like me, or Few, few people like me never believe in that. Uh, yeah. And I'm not going to go and be, start to fight them. Why do you say this? Why do you say that? They have their life to live. Maybe they have gone there, the thing have uh, provided them some money. And uh, they like the thing, the thing is with them. And uh, they now mm -hmm. feel that hey, this is the way. So but I don't fancy it, I don't fancy it that way. My own is, uh, it's okay to me. So that's why I say, everything about religion is about conviction. Mm. Whenever... You, whenever you are convinced that this is providing you some spiritual guidance or some spiritual 
uh, that is when people start to believe in certain mm. things or the other. So you understand. So so uh, Christianity or pagan or whatever or Muslim, it's all about conviction. The only thing as human being is to respect each other's belief. Because I still believe that in everything there is still God. So all we need is to respect each other's belief. And uh, like Christians, what we are taught about Christianity is that your lifestyle, the way you treat people, the way you communicate with people is what may convince or will lead people to Christ. It's not necessarily how you preach to them, how you, it's all about love. It's all about care. It's all about your attitude towards people that bring people closer to Christ. You understand? So you don't need to what go and begin destiny? to... What about, the, what about destiny? Uh, destiny is a different thing about religion. Because I know that uh, there are people that maybe might be born in this life for a purpose. And I don't dispute that fact. So it's also in the scripture. Okay, let there me, are people let that me, are born let me, with let me own, own Do you have a village? Do you have a village? A village where you have to celebrate your me. traditional festival every year? Okay, name? Me. Uh, because me and my uh, I'm, 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 I'm from well, Oba. Well, if you know, well, if you, if you know, well, if you know, well, well, traditional uh, masquerade and everything. My own, they, they call him Igbabo Nelimi. You know that from a certain uh, something out from a state. And if you go to those state, yeah. you go to a state. Every village they get their own uh, traditional festival every year. It's you in my own you? village, man. We have uh, we have, have all that. Both new, yeah, both New Year festival. You have, it, you have it in your village? Why? It's all. It's everywhere now. Everybody, almost everybody, have it. Every, uh, do, you every, just for not, do you think that just for not, Let me give you one uh, a recent happening in my own village. They said that we should donate two two thousand naira every every male children, every male child in my you know in my town to donate mm. two two thousand so that uh, they can be able to pray, that they can be able to worship uh, our forefathers so that uh, we can uh, grow old. Because they don't see uh, older people in our community any longer that we be work, we, 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 that we, we work with working. No, hold on, uh, you they laugh. So then we have to do it, you know. See, so and then my brothers also pay for me. I say, okay, you know, they pay for my child or whatever, you know. So that's it. So it is our tradition. That's what Mike has been trying to explain to you guys. That uh, when you no, say, you know, you know, you know, when you when you are when you are when you are in that traditional aspect, you do you do no, things the way they do no, it. No, 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 no. You are confused. No, 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 to see how we can be able to redirect our route back but to I did, the... I did not miss road. That is what I'm trying to tell you. Somebody no, like me, I did not miss no, road. No, no, we miss road. If our traditional people in Brazil and then in Haiti, they are worshipping some kind of the African tradition, both from uh, Congo, mm. both from Edo, both from Yoruba, you, you know, what, what stops us from doing that? Why should we be treating towards the white people, the Arabs, the Europeans? No, I, no like I said, uh, like I said, uh, everything mm -hmm. about religion is all about conviction. Not you religion. So no, it, it's still, it's still it's boiled out. It's, it's still, it's it's still goes down to what he said. Like, no, it might be, it might be your tradition. So I've got no, my, no, I've got no, my no, own no, tradition no, and the no, way. No, why, why are you born a black man? It doesn't mean I've got my tradition and the way I want to be doing things. You understand? Okay, more, I want to be, I want control. to be doing, um, I want to be doing no. things in that Bible way. So you no, might decide no, to be doing no, like in no. our in our in our own in our own side. Uh, people do things in our form. They use uh, our form to do their own. Most people come to die, uh, come to die crossing to Europe where that they are God day because they tell us they are God is in Jerusalem and they're in Saudi Arabia. So that's why when the politicians they steal the money, it's it's no. a reincarnation. We have reincarnation. No. If, we, no, no, no. if you tell our if you tell our politician that uh, you reincarnate, they will fix no. our road. Because at the end of the day, when they die, they know that they are going to come back to that same village again. Exactly. That is... <laughs> and maybe, 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 maybe you believe in that, but uh, me, I don't believe in that. That is why I say it's all about conviction. That's a belief for you. That's a belief for you. No, I don't believe. My own is working for me. My own is working for me perfectly. My own is working perfectly for me, you understand? My own is working. So your own might be working perfectly for you. Yeah, if I'm a president. 
Your yeah. own is working perfectly for you, but my own is working perfectly for me. You understand? Then, and I cannot force you. You cannot build a country or a country without a dictatorship. Oh, oh, man, no say they go born and for Imo State after he die. He no go begin to fix Imo State. <laughs> I don't know. No, but man, what we man, say, I've never joking, seen. I've never seen any. I've never seen anybody that die. I have never seen anybody that die many years and they come back. You. I've never seen anybody that die many years and come back. When somebody yeah. died, they will mark. They will mark his skin. Then, uh, then uh, maybe your cousin or maybe your uncle or your auntie will bond that child. And then when he come by, you will see a mark on the forehead <laughs> or the armpit or whatever. I'm I telling you. You maybe you believe it is working for you now. It's not working for me now. It's working for you. Yeah. 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 Tony, me I especially tell her. Me I especially tell her. Tony, you tell you be saying. It's to say. It's to say. You see, Christian, you see, for Nigeria, every Christian really say, the moment you die, they go heaven, that's mm. forever. Mm. That's it. Mm. So far, so, so far for what? Enjoy forever. Go to Jerusalem. Go to Jerusalem. I started Arabia. Our own, mm. they talk, say, when you die, you go come back here. So, I leave this place. I think you come, I see you come experience him again. So, mm. once you know, say, now, so, now, what did they live for? For the next mm. life. Say, mm. you're heaven now, you go come back here to the same Nigeria. So, when you become president or governor, <laughs> You go won't fix that place because you don't say the day where you go die, you come back there. You understand? So what the day you say he made No, we never we never we never talk reach that side of dying and they coming back or going to the day we'll talk that one, maybe that day that day will be another day. Una 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 wait look another way again. Now they tell you say when you die, you go to Jerusalem. Then when you die, you go to Saudi Arabia. Eh? Then uh, now that is why no one has said all this thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's why when they steal our money, they will cannot go to Dubai because it's close uh, to heaven. They will cannot go to heaven because it's not because, because they know that when they die, that then they, they go. So it's, it's a thing. Uh, hey, this guy is making me to laugh. <laughs> where that woman? Where that woman? The network. Orisha never believes the network. Orisha, I bet Mike this is a Victoria network. I bet because he talked to me. I did not down. I beg you. I beg you. This day, let me not let. I don't laugh. Time, um, guys, guys. Um, I think we have to call it a day. This is eleven hours. Um, yeah, we have to call it a day. Uh, thank you, Prince. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you, uh, uh, Zero Ekene. Mike, yeah. Mike, I hope you will come early next time. I don't want to show up at the end. Uh, I please, leave, can I just correct uh, something leave. before you call yeah. it today? Please. I don't want to. Baoni. I don't want to. Pawati. Pawati. But I'm very close to Awoni. Bowale. 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 Hey, Bunati, Bali. Bali. give us like five minutes uh, uh, closing up. Then we close up. Uh, yeah. Is, Since I saw you, I can't, I can't, I can't ignore you. So, I did the other Hello, time. please let me speak. Well, someone said something that I didn't say. Please. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Send it, uh, send it coming, then Adewale will end this for us. Yeah, send it. Send, um, Semini, sorry, I'm sorry. Semini, that name, I think I ought to name my next child Semini. Oh, I love that special name. woman. Uh, special yeah, yeah, woman. yeah. yeah. Go on, yeah, to say something. No, no, that's all right. Go on. Uh, yeah, go on. Uh, someone, about two people were saying that I said the Bible was written by the Council of Nicene or so. No, yeah, yeah, but uh, they, 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 yeah, but uh, yeah, but uh, I, but, uh, say, I disputed them. I said you didn't say so. Yeah, that you that. That, 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 that. that you made mention of uh, Luther, uh, Martin Luther, and uh, for the Reformation. That's what you was talking yes, about. Exactly. And that okay. was enough for us to have. Uh, I said that you just came to to try to expose all those uh, conspiracies, you okay. know, behind all those uh, useless religion. That uh, so that we should wake up. Okay, Thank you. Okay. All right. No problem then. No problem. But uh, but uh, but uh, you got your tone right. Um, Adewale, uh, Adewale, yeah. Ade um, yeah. It Just doesn't have tone yeah. on mine. You know, you know, to, uh, know. Thomas. I was here uh, this afternoon. I remember. I thought the program was an end there. I just said, uh, let me try it and hear him. 
Uh, what a great show today! Eleven hours. That this is this is. Uh, yes, uh, morning, is, morning. Did you came when money was here? Uh, of course, I was. I was in the studio. I, I was in charge, so I didn't yeah. follow the section. I, I, yeah, I saw I was, you. I you were talking. online too, but I, you know, I contributed yeah. to it. Well, it was a great, great discussion. Actually, I didn't know much about the uh, the invented guest, but of course, quickly I went online, especially social media. Ah, you don't know about money. No, I don't. I, 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 I'm in America. Some topics I'm not really, really? interested. Yes. I, Who I, don't I, know about money? Sure. Where are you living? Are you living in the Pluto? The only person that she mentioned that I'm familiar with is, uh, what is this, this uh, person that she doesn't go away with? Uh, what's her name? Esabot. I, 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 Esabot. Uh, yeah. Esabot, no. Everybody okay. knows Esabot. Occasionally, I'm <laughs> listening to her content, but you know, there's some content that you can, you know, you are not really, I'm not that kind of a person, but great, great discussion. Uh, I think she's doing a good job. The fact that She's bringing awareness to you know some of these pastoral entrepreneurs we have in Nigeria, and I think it's high time, you know, that section, that that religion, you know, section in a, uh, uh, a society is regulated, if not regulated, but at least take a look into it because it's a non-governmental, and unfortunately, because of the uh, situation we find ourselves, not just in Nigeria, in the entire Africa continent. You know, these people are milking these poor people, these wretched people. And it's unfortunate, you know, uh, in the midst of hardship, uh, uh, in the midst of nothing. They still have people that are still milking. Some of these churches have schools that they are, they are, they are, their followers can't even put their children, you know, to attend those schools. But, That's but Adewale, let me, let me, Adewale, let me ask you this. Yeah. Why is Blacks, we are Black, Mm -hmm. And some of us, our brain are still black. You, you this know, your America. Let me finish, please. This your America, a apostle came to America. He said he called heaven. Um, God is dropping money in people's accounts. Then after commanding money to people's account, he still asked for $1,000 seed. And seeing people in that congregation, I give him $1,000. If he can command money from heaven, why can't he command the same money to church, as, or church account? <laughs> and in that, your US, 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 US who see in Texas, mm. Mumu Nigerians, Mumu Gollywood Nigerians, mm -hmm. that their brains are black, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as their body is mm -hmm. black. I'm black too. I'm telling them their brains are black. You, you know one thing. Why can't you command money to the account of such accounts mm. from the same heaven? You, 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 know, you know one thing, my brother. I, I had witnessed it before. I'm a member of RCCG. Uh, in my church, we used to have Bishop Okonkwo. I'm sure you, you're familiar with him, Bishop Okonkwo of Trent. Of course, right? of course. And this, of course, this, of this course, bishop used yeah. to come, get invited by our pastor then, our lead pastor. And one day he called for sowing a seed, which I've never heard about before. And I was talking about a seed. And what actually drew my attention was that he started, I think, from 10,000 or something up. Nobody came out, nobody showed up. But at the time he got to a thousand dollars, people started coming out. And I left when he started calling $50 or any amount you can afford. That was when I is that not ridiculous? That was when is I that not ridiculous? And walk off and, and and go home because I realized that. Can, can, I, can I interject real quick? My my question is <laughs> why is Jesus not intervening in this? Because in our no, own no. tradition, listen, the the if if a priest is doing that, the gods will punish him in our own tradition. So if Abalao is scared to laugh, <laughs> no. Crying, God does it. If you don't, if you don't, if you if don't, if you don't, if you don't, if 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 Baba Lao, if if I tell him Baba Lao something, he's telling you something different. That Baba Lao only, uh, Asha Makpom alone, he begin to become wretched. Yeah, but in our <laughs> tradition, but you have to summon, you have to summon the gods. God will not act if he are not provoked or summoned. Now, uh, our God, uh, the, 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 the,
No, uh, God, is, God, God is patient. God is patient, and God also knows that human beings are capable of changing. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know that? Well, let's let's just leave that spirituality aspect of it. But let's talk about what you know what is happening. You know, we're just trying to make sense out of things that. Happen. Yeah, but you know, you said what? Well, yeah, we like to be passive. Like I'm not. I'm not going to stand we, we, here we, and I, say I, that. I think no, we start making sense of things. I, no, no, no. Wait before, now. Okay, for to wait. I'm not going to stand here and say there's no God. No, it depends on. What you believe? No, and, I believe no, there's God. You know that, right? Uh, yeah, you said why did that God, you know, strike no, those no. people? Or, 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 or no, no. Why is Jesus no? I mean, you guys are what's it, why is Jesus not intervening? That's what not I'm intervening saying. in that situation. That why is this person duping these people? Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you see, God is capable of. I mean, God knows that human beings are capable of changing their mind. Now, if I could change my mind on the spot. Don't get me wrong. At first, I was into it. I probably didn't read many into it. But as the program progressed, and I began to see the trend, how it went from 10000 down up to fifty, and any amount you can afford, that was where I got that awareness, and I took action. Now, not everyone can do that or capable of doing that on the spot. You know, awareness could come at any stage in anybody's uh, spiritual life. But what I want to bring out is the fact that what we have in Nigeria or in Africa generally is a proliferation of, you know, religious sect where people are using that platform to dupe other because they know people are desperate. The heart of man is hollow. He's looking for something bigger than himself. We are the only uh, thing that God made that was different or bigger than everything he ever made in, 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 this, in this planet. So, and... Are you a human, Christian? Human, yes, I'm a Christian. Okay, what's the difference between God and Jesus? Because you guys use it inter interchangeably. I don't get it. Ah, this is going to take us the entire night. No, no, no. Don't don't do I don't think. No, 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 no. Don't Mike, do that. Mike, no, no, no. don't tell me that. Don't tell no, me you no. don't know the difference. <laughs> you know. No, no Mike. No. Some, some people, people, some people say they are one. Some people say no, they are one. No, 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 Mike. Some people say they Mike, are different. Not, you know. No, God, Mike. God, I'm not going there. Nobody has. No, I'm about to shut down. Uh, okay. When are they Patrick, like, Patrick, uh, nobody, yeah. no it's, one. That has. is Mike, not Patrick. Mike, no, Mike. Okay, well, okay. Nobody has ever seen God before, and God never. There's nowhere written, whether from the, in the Bible or anywhere, that Lord Mary came down from heaven and you could see him. Well, yeah, you are Why are you saying Lord Mary? No, let me use that word. Lord Mary in, in Lord Mary is God, God, God in Yoruba is Lord Mary, right? Yeah. Uh, well, so, what about Jesus? Jesus? Because Jesus in your voice, what? Olua, Olua, Olua. Jesus is not Olua. No. Listen, Jesus I, can, I can balance this. I can balance this. <laughs> so, for God to able to visit a human being, has to transform into a human flesh, and that's how Jesus come into being. And Jesus, <laughs> God, and uh, Holy Spirit are one because they move. Now, whether you believe in that, that's a different but uh, Who's different Holy Spirit in Europe? A mimima? No, you know, there's no such thing as that. No, no. You know, when, hold on now, when the Aworos goes into the realm, into that spiritual realm, mm -hmm. they are, they are communicating. Aworos where? <laughs> the Aworos. You know, the Aworos. The Aworos. Well, you ever, be, okay, you don't, okay, let me, let me, I don't want to go into that. So this is mm -hmm. tonight is not the night to you know dwell into okay. much of that, but you know, uh, but what I first what I see is that some of these four one nine call pastor. You remember there was a pastor called uh, Doctor Reverend King in Nigeria State in those days. I think the man is still in prison now. The man with the long beard, uh, long beard, it's all Danos Muyo. Yeah, it's all Danos Muyo. Yeah, that's good. You see that Danos Muyo? Look, I tell you what, that Danos Muyo was the least of the crime this man has ever. If you ever att uh, attended that church before, you would notice that this is not. It wasn't a church; it was a court. If you ever be, if you ever become a worker in that church, you are perpetually under bondage number one you can't even list, uh, uh, release yourself from the post you are assigned to because they'll be watching they'll be watching you from there to right if you leave they will beat the heck out of you so <laughs> once in that church you can't go outside to pee you have you can't stand up when the preaching is going on it was a terrible terrible and some people believe this man is a is, is, is a jesus christ 
even when he was incarcerated, he was in custody, they still believe that he was he, he was in uh, uh, persecuted. Being, being being persecuted. persecuted. Yeah, he was being persecuted. <laughs> so that tells you, you know, how how brainwashed people could. But people are also also I, capable. I think that's not of a guy named Jim Jones in America. Huh? Like, Jim Jones. Yes. Jim Jones, of course. Jim Jones. Of course. You know. You know. You know one thing. You know one thing, Thomas. One day uh, during our Bible school, uh, Bible. Uh, uh, I mean, weekly Bible study there. I asked my pastor there, who was Pastor Itua. Are you familiar with Pastor Itua? Of oh, course, it's Itua. 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 Yeah. Itua. Yeah. Yes. So I yeah. asked him one question. I said, look, I'm a young graduate. I came from a wretched family. Then I got a job, my first job in a general bureau, you know, with a good pay and all that. Ah, like big boy, you no, are the no, wait, nah. no, 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 I wasn't. I said, I, no, I'm just using that, you know, hypothetically. I said, look, yes. at the end of the day, I got a job in a general bureau with a good job, with a good pay, sorry. And I don't drink beer. And as a Christian, this in, in production of this uh, product involves alcohol and all that, that. Would you advise me as my spiritual father to take up that job? The entire church busted laughing. And the man looked at me and said, look, I can't tell you what to do, but the thing is this. I said, but the, the content, the product we are making, the end product is, is not allowed in Christian, right? In Christendom. So why should I be the one producing this? You'll be part of the production of this product. The man was like, okay. I said, look, I will draw your attention to something. There was a, there's a man called uh, Elder Ohiwere. Elder Ohiwere is one of the... Uh, uh, Deacon, I believe, in the Redeemed Christian Church of is one of the elders next to Olakuni and the uh, and uh, what is this man that died recently? So, and this man retired from Nigeria Beauty as a former MD of that company, later became the chairman mm. of Nigeria Beauty. And here he wow. is as an elder in the Redeemed Christian Church of God, not just an elder, a national elder that's part of. You know, and they didn't tell him to go and resign his post. So I, I drew his attention to that. I said, Look, you know this man very well, he's a prominent man. So, how come his investment in Nigeria Bury is still intact and yet is is uh, 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 one of the uh, leaders in the RCCG? So, my pastor said, Look, on the day of judgment, everybody will account. <laughs> so, in my mind, I was like, Hmm, so if a man. If this man is allowed to make investment in this economic sector that is, we know that is against the Christian doctrine, how come Redeem doesn't allow people to divorce? I'm just making those comparisons that some of this, 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 uh, these rules, this doctrine, sometimes they are kind of like inimical, you know, to our growth mm. and development. And if you look mm. at it, most of them mm. are made up. You know, they look at something that suits the, the that doctrine and pick it from the Bible and try to back it up. And that you know, and I also referenced that uh, you know, going to where that the geo sit and started touching and praying and all that. Those are the things that, as human being, you are capable of making a, a very sound decision. And not simply, and people go to church for various reasons. You can't tell somebody who is in Luth or who is in the uh, uh, UCH or who is in you know any hospitals on a sick bed. And what do you tell that person? You are giving that person hope by telling that person to embrace God and embrace Jesus, right? So, and Christian, the faith sometimes is still needed, but the way people are going about it, especially this Pentecostalism, is kind of like they are using it to defraud people. And it's wrong because some things that we used to believe before is not being seen as things that we should, you know, jettison and move away from completely, which is wrong. Christianity making us to lose our culture, our identity, which is wrong. Because everything being seen as local or as traditional now, I'm not talking about you know spiritual tradition. I'm talking about the culture that we hold here that make us who we are as people. We are losing it. It's eroding gradually. Can you imagine our children born in diaspora would not be familiar with some of our culture?